In order to raise 8 million medical expenses, I lay on the hospital bed and sang under the sea, moving 1, 3 billion people to tears. As a time traveler, I never dreamed that I would travel to a patient with brain cancer. Even though I came to the hospital early for treatment, I couldn't change the fact that the tumor in my brain had turned from benign to malignant. According to the doctor, if I don't have surgery soon, I can only live for another year or so at most. Faced with the high cost of surgery, I fell into despair. I have spent all my savings during these days in the hospital, and now I have no money to pay for the surgery. At this time, the phone suddenly popped up a push ad, shocking the top anchor. The gorilla spent a lot of money to hold a singing party, with a prize of up to 8 million. If you can sing, come. When I saw this ad push, my eyes, which were as lifeless as stagnant water, lit up with hope again. Just because I was a first-line singer in my previous life, in order to maintain my position as a first-line singer, I wrote lyrics and composed music at home day and night, which eventually led to my sudden death at home. Now I have crossed over to this parallel world, and after consulting a lot of information, I realized that the entertainment level of this world is quite low. Perhaps with my singing skills from my previous life, I can become popular in this world again. Even if I don't win any prize money, I can gain some exposure and raise funds for treatment through the popularity of this singing event. Upon thinking about this, I didn't hesitate and immediately clicked into the registration page of the Gorilla Singing Club, sent in an application, and after about 10 minutes, I received a message that my application was approved. Following the instructions of the staff, I completed the registration and uploaded the lyrics. Early the next morning, I was awakened by medical staff, preparing to take the special medication to suppress the spread of the brain tumor. Mr. Bye. Your medication is almost finished, and we have prepared another course for you. The cost remains the same as before. Please inform us as soon as possible about the surgery. You know that we really can't delay any longer. After I finished my medicine, I received a message from the manager on my phone. You are the first one at 7 o'clock this afternoon. Don't forget the time. I lay on the bed, rubbing my temples in pain. The pain, like someone gnawing at my brain, came back, because it was too torturous. I had to endure the severe pain. Got up to find a bottle of painkillers to take, set an alarm for 7 o'clock in the afternoon on my phone, and then closed my eyes and fell asleep. Only in this way can I make myself a little more comfortable. Time flies, and in the blink of an eye, it's already evening. At this moment, the gorilla's live stream room is already packed with over 5 million viewers, and the VIP seats are filled with over 100, 000 people. The gorilla sits in a chair, staring blankly at the screen in front of him. The show he impulsively put together has unexpectedly attracted so many big shots to come and participate. Without further ado, let's welcome contestant Bai Chen. If this contestant doesn't speak within 30 seconds, it will be considered as forfeiting. At this moment, I struggled to get up and took out my damaged phone. I said to the live stream room, Hello, is it my turn? The gorilla in the live room frowned slightly when he heard the strange sound from Bai Chen, but didn't ask much. Okay, you can start. I sat quietly on the sickbed waiting for my debut to begin. I put on my headphones, adjusted the volume, took a deep breath, and said, I'm Bai Chen, and this song under the sea is for everyone. As soon as the words fell, a melodious and ethereal sound of the chin floated out lightly. However, this sound of the chin seemed somewhat lonely, reaching the pinnacle of sorrow. It immediately immersed all the audience in emotions. Accompanied by my ethereal yet endlessly sorrowful singing, as the sound echoed, everyone in the audience seemed to be struck on the top of their heads. Trembling. Something seemed to have struck one's innermost being, making it instantly heavy. What song is this? An original? PDD asked with wide eyes. Puzzled. It might be. Haven't heard it before Ian Z also said from the sidelines. The audience was also amazed by the short two lines of the song. Is this a voice that can be sung with a cell phone? It doesn't feel any worse than someone who sings with professional equipment. And it seems to be an original. Unheard song. This song. The melody is a little funereal ah. At this time. Not only the judges, but the viewers in the live broadcast room had also been captivated by Bai Chen's mournful and incomparable singing voice. Even, it was as if they saw a bottomless black sea floating in front of their eyes. The, the moonlight on the night sky, which appeared to be somewhat cold, spilled down onto the sea through the gaps between the dark clouds. At this time, Bai Chen leaned against the wall to support his sick body, eyes slightly closed. With that ethereal but lonely, sad voice continued to sing. The waves wet the white dress, trying to push you back. The waves wash the blood, diluting themselves into warming you. Listen to the depths of the sea, whose whale is guiding. The soul has fallen into silence. No one wakes you up. Listening to this song filled with endless sorrow and loneliness, everyone felt like their hearts were being stabbed by needles. 
and even their breathing became a bit heavy, in everyone's minds, all of them saw in that sea filled with darkness, a woman in a white dress walked forward step by step with her feet bare, without any luster in her eyes, numb and insensitive, the sea water rolled up a wave and kept lapping at the woman's long skirt, seemingly wanting to keep her away from here, and also seemingly wanting to wash the bloodstains under the hem of the woman's skirt, but no matter what, it couldn't stop the woman's forward direction, and the direction she was walking in was the very bottom of the sea that was full of depression, sadness, and not seeing the light of day, who was that girl in the white dress, what was she going to do, this question surfaced in everyone's mind, even though they already had the answer in their hearts, they were slow to face it, it was at this moment that, Bai Chen's voice suddenly became low and hoarse, singing softly as if he was confiding in himself, saying, you like the salty breath of the sea breeze, stepping on the wet gravel, you said people's ashes should be scattered into the sea, you ask me where I'll go when I die and if anyone loves you, can the world be gone, always pulling a smile on cool people, people on the shore have nothing on their faces, there is nothing left on earth, everything is scattered into smoke, after singing here, the entire live broadcast room was silent, and, it was as if it was flooded by seawater, and even the sound of breathing couldn't be heard, the pop-ups were also few and far between, and everyone had red eyes, sinking into their emotions, as the song says, the girl walks as if she's seeking death in the sea, while the people on the shore are as if they can't see it, they don't reach out to stop her, they don't even care about what's happening in front of them, is this the indifference of the world, perhaps for the girl, the sea is her place, the sea, can tolerate all the world's unpleasantness, can wash away all the filth, take a leap and embrace the bottom of the sea, this earthly, there's nothing to hold on to, the listeners within the live broadcast room had their hands covering their faces, their bodies trembling slightly, in this world that appeared to be bright and shiny on the surface, it was actually full of disgusting filth, the pressure of studying, the darkness of the workplace, the unpleasantness of life, heavy things are like mountains on people's backs, every time when they can't hold on, they think that they will just endure and get over it, but who would have thought, this endurance is a lifetime, live, it's really tiring, only embracing death is the final destination, the end of the girl in the lyrics, is that jumping into the sea to say goodbye to this ridiculous world, at this moment, Bai Chen had also completely entered into the sad mood of the song, he thought of his previous life, where he had spent dozens of years in a mess, without a single friend, his family's indifference to him, and his bad luck at work, and in this life, before he could live again, he was given a death notice, after the heavy and tragic experiences of his past and present lives were superimposed together, the deepest despair and loneliness within his heart also surfaced and blended into his song, it's too late it's too late, you used to laugh and cry, too late too late, your trembling arms, too late too late, no one to pick you up, too late too late, you obviously hate suffocation, rumble, just as Bai Chin sang this, a deafening thunderclap suddenly came from the outside world, followed by a raging storm that instantly swooped in, this appropriately timed thunderclap was more than enough to completely involve everyone in the song, it was as if they saw the girl already being swept by the wind and waves into the storm-tossed sea, slowly sinking towards the bottom, and also at this moment, the pent-up emotions within the audience also erupted, with teardrops glistening in their eyes, they slowly stretched out their right hands, they seemed to want to hold the woman in white dress who was sinking to the bottom of the sea, but what he touched, only the cold screen, everything, all have been irretrievable, it's too late, these four lines are too late, full of despair for the world has been helpless, I used to cry with a smile on my face, because I used to be strong, the trembling arm is the struggle between life and death, and no one salvaged, is the complete despair of this cold world, why did you sink to the bottom of the sea when you hated suffocation, because, compared to the pain of suffocation, living is the real suffering, at this point, Bai Chen's song gradually dissipated, and the sad, lonely sound of the zither also abruptly stopped, as if drawing a conclusion to all of this, Bai Chen, who finished singing this song at the bottom of the sea, just like this, he leaned on the window sill in the hospital hallway, staring blankly at the torrential rain pouring down outside the window, not knowing what he was thinking, the audience in the live broadcast room seems to be unable to come out in general, looking at the cell phone screen is a little out of focus, even PDD, Ba Sin, and Pig Fong Fong, who were judges, sat in front of the computer for a long time, this song under the sea, completely subdued the hundreds of thousands of viewers in the live broadcast room, everyone would have their own depression deeply crushed to death in the bottom of their heart, and now, this song opened the iron door of the crowd's suppressed emotions, revealing their own scars in plain sight, people thought that these hidden griefs would slowly disappear and heal with the passage of time, but the truth is, not only do these scars not go away, they get worse, 
and when these scars are uncovered, what you will be faced with is a tsunami of sadness and loneliness. These emotions will be so overwhelming that you will be unable to move, as if you were at the bottom of a dark sea, feeling only the endlessness of the sea. The only thing you can feel is the endless loneliness and suffocating pain. Such a strange atmosphere lasted a full three minutes after the, the crowd only managed to come back to their senses. Who? Bud. This song is a bit strong. PDD, who had regained his senses, drew a tissue and wiped his eyes, listening to PDD's words. The audience also slowed down, tapping on the screen and discussing. Grass, how did I cry? I just got a moon reading? How can I see that someone seems to have fallen into the sea? Why? I'm suddenly so sick. I feel like I can't breathe. This song should be an original. I wonder what kind of mental state Beck Tatsu was in when he wrote it, listening and crying at the same time. Am I depressed? Suddenly I feel so negative and powerless. If I die, I'd like to die in a lively place. It's too cold at the bottom of the sea. It's too quiet. Really, this is the first time I've heard a song that makes me want to die. Brother, you'd better not die in my cell phone. Looking at the pop-ups floating over. PDD is also very curious about how Bai Chin wrote this song. This unparalleled loneliness and helplessness. It was as if there was nothing left in the world that was worth holding on to. He, what had he gone through? Not only PDD. Boss Yin and Pig Fong Fong were also pondering this question. After watching the several judges freeze without saying a word, the host had no choice but to remind them in the voice that, ahem, contestant Bai Chen has finished singing. Please ask Mr. John and Boss Yin to comment and score. Audience members can also rate their own scores on the screen. We'll record the statistics backstage. Listening to the host's words, PDD scratched his hair and smiled bitterly. Reviews. To be honest, I don't even feel qualified to review this song. In terms of vocals, to be able to use a cell phone to produce such an immersive effect that is comparable to CD, this kind of vocals is definitely top-notch in my area. I don't even dare to think what the effect of Bai Chen's singing would be if he added the equipment. But what really made me feel shocked and even dumbfounded, the lyrics and the mood of the song. It's too sad. Too depressing. It immediately drew me into the emotions. But that's why I can give this song 100 points. But I can only give it a 98. The reason for the two-point deduction. It's too depressing. It's killing me. After PDD finished his comment, Boss Yin and Pig Fong Fong also nodded in agreement. Boss Yin said, This contestant's song completely touched me. It can score 100 points with me. But the depression is also really depressing. And it gave me a whole lot of depression before the point was reached. So I'll give it. 100 points. Pig Fong Fong, ugh I haven't slowed down until now. And I can't review anything. It's all in the score. 100 points. Along with the high scores given by the three judges. The audience also murmured. Su Pig didn't say I almost forgot. This dude sang with his cell phone. Pinch ma. If you can sing with a cell phone like this, it's much better than a sound card monster. You can get full marks for that alone. But, Mr. Hor is right. This song is too depressing. It makes me sad. So I'll give it a 98. I always thought I was a happy person. But after listening to this song, I don't think I'm very happy either. How did he write this song? After about a minute. After a minute or so, the scores from the three judges and the audience were tallied up. The final result soon appeared in front of the public. Contestant, Bai Chin. Song, Under the Sea, Original. PDD, 98 points. Inzi, 100 points. Pig Fong Fong, 100 points. Pop-up score, 97. 7. Combined score, 98. 86. Congratulations to our player Bai Chen, who scored 98. 86 points. This should be the highest score so far. It's a sure thing. Let's congratulate Bai Chen again. Accompanied by the host's words, PDD and the others should have applauded in celebration and congratulations. However, due to the sad, despairing emotions of under the sea still permeating the hearts of several people did not dissipate, resulting in several people did not have the heart to make such a move as applauding. At this moment, PDD suddenly thought of something. PDD suddenly thought of something in general, sat up straight and opened his mouth to ask, Hey, is player Bai Chun there? I want to ask you, in what state did you write this song, and why did you choose to sing it here? Is it convenient to tell me? Listening to the question PDD posed, the audience was also very curious and stopped sending pop-ups, waiting for Bai Chan's answer. After all, for someone who could write such a song and sing it like this, there must be some kind of story in it, right? But for some reason, after almost a minute, there was no voice from Bai Chen in the YY. Eh? Bai Chen? Is Bai Chen still there? Is he not on the mic? After seeing no movement from the other party, Yin Zi also opened his mouth to inquire. Unfortunately, there was still no response. The audience who saw this scene also froze for a moment. What's going on? Where is everyone? How come they disappeared while singing? 
Just as the crowd was puzzled, a staff member's voice suddenly came out from the YY. Um, brother Lu, Bai Chen seems to have quit. You guys just finished evaluating the scores, and he just quit. Listening to the staff's words, PDD froze for a moment. Backed out? What's the situation? Normal players after singing will not nag a few words in the goat. After all, this program flows so big, that person does not want to say a few more words? This guy is good. From the beginning to the end in addition to singing, a total of three words. Singing also do not say a few words on their own away. It's a bit interesting. After watching Bai Chen finish his song, the pop-up screen also joked. This is a bit interesting ah. Sing finished on the slip? It's not a bounty hunter. Is it? I can't say. This guy is probably a professional player. Or specializes in originality. I'm just curious about what happened to him and how he was able to write such a song. Sigh. I was happy to watch the show. But this makes me want to drink. Who doesn't? Why did the third group make a big move as soon as they arrived? After hearing Bai Chin quit YYY without a word, PDD had no choice but to say, it seems that this is a mysterious player, but it's okay. Since he's already advanced, he'll definitely come back to YY in a few days. So let's interview him again then. Next, let's welcome the second player, Luffy. The song club was still in full swing. Bai Chen, on the other hand, had long since returned to his own hospital room and was tiredly lying on the hospital bed. Looking at the cold and incomparable ceiling, feeling a burst of severe pain coming from his body and head, Bai Chen's eyes gradually became somewhat numb. The reason why he participated in the singing club was to earn that huge prize money, which he used to fill up his surgery fee and gain that ray of hope. But for some reason, now it always felt, maybe death is the final destination? And even if you have surgery, you may not survive. But even if I survive, what can I do? Will the treatment cost nothing? Will the pain and suffering of the disease disappear completely? Can one still carry on? The meaning of living. What is it? No one knows what Bai Chin is really thinking at this time. And the song club in PDD's live room is also gradually approaching the end. Pinch the horse these three groups are really water buddies. How can they be more ruthless than one another? You don't say. The Luffy just now I almost thought it was Jie coming. Indeed. Not only did he sound the same, he used the same techniques. I'm afraid we wouldn't be able to tell the difference even if the real Jie was here. Not only Jia, Deng Ziki is here. The third group is definitely the group of death. These guys are too strong. I thought Bai Chen at the beginning would be the pinnacle of group 3, but I didn't realize it was just the beginning. But one thing, Bai Chen sang an original ah, his first place in the Water Friends tournament should be secure. Looking at the densely packed pop-ups floating by in the live room, PDD was also in a bit of a trance. Even he didn't expect that today's Water Friend track would be so amazing, especially the three groups in it. First, Bai Chen at the beginning had directly shocked himself, then later on, Luffy, Shoe Man's Bubbles, and so on the incomparably explosive songs that made PDD think for a moment that he had come to the scene of a singer's concert. On the side of the sea boss, Pig Fong Fong two people have even praised. At this time, after watching the first round of the Water Friend tournament come to a perfect end, the host then opened his mouth and said, Wow today's players are really too shocking, especially these three groups, the strength is really too powerful. I would like to ask the three judges, which contestant was more impressed today? Who possesses the strength to win the championship? Listening to the host's words, PDD took a puff of his e-cigarette, and after thinking for a while, he opened his mouth and said, let's start with the latter. I think that Luffy, Shu Shu Man, Little Purple Flag these three players are all very very blood mom bull. Their strength is unquestionable, all very likely to win the final champion. It also depends on their subsequent performance, can continue to maintain this level of it. But to say who was most impressed, without a doubt, it's definitely group 3's by Chen. He's the only one who sang me out of defense today. Now when I think of his song Under the Sea, I can feel the sadness and loneliness deep in my bones. It even makes me want to know more about him. It even makes me want to know more about him, to know what happened to him. Listening to PDD's words, Tarako on the side also nodded her head and said, Mr. Horish is right. I am also most impressed with this player by Chen. He immediately let me into the mood. This is very great, very much looking forward to his next singing. Pig Fong Fong also chimed in and said, Me too, it's rare to sing like this without professional equipment. It's also a very powerful player. Hearing Pig Fong Fong's words, PDD suddenly remembered. Bai Chen sang with his cell phone. After thinking of this, PDD didn't hesitate and directly said, His wait, please give me Bai Chen's contact information in the background. I'll send him a set of professional equipment. Such a player. I can't let him lose on the equipment in the subsequent matches. After hearing PDD's words, the viewers in the live broadcast room also praised that. 
Supig is atmospheric, sending equipment directly to all? This wave is really atmospheric. I heard that a set of professional equipment down to at least 10, 000, TSK, TSK, TSK 10, 000 dollars ah, uh, equal to my two months of wages, engaged in music so expensive? When the backstage staff saw this, they immediately went to look for by Chen's contact information, PDD. On the other hand, glanced at the time and realized that it was already one in the morning, and then slightly stretched his waist and said, Bud yo how come it's already one o'clock? Today's time passed really fast, but this song club is quite worth it. I didn't expect to see so many experts. I don't even know how to comment. Pig Fong Fong also said helplessly after sniffing. Sigh I have to admit that I don't know how to comment. Alas I have to admit. The strength of these players is really a bit too strong. We can't comment at all. Tarako, who was at the side, also nodded in agreement. Indeed, though I'm somewhat accomplished in this aspect of singing, but critiquing, I'm not very good at commenting. I'm not professional enough either. If the water contest is like this, wouldn't the anchor contest? Shouldn't we hire some professional mentors to comment on it? Listening to Ian Z's words, PDD nodded thoughtfully. Indeed, according to the quality of the current contestants, his own judges were a bit unqualified and unprofessional. It seemed that he had to find a way to contact a professional musician with his own connections. I could still contact someone with some authority to participate in this program, but this matter had to be done as soon as possible. After all, the schedule was still quite tight. Afterwards, after the three judges chatted casually for a bit, they ended today's song club qualifier. Even though PDD's live room was closed, many fans were reluctant to leave. Whether it is PDD or the players did not expect is that the organized song club, only the end of the first round of Water Friends elimination match, it has already exploded on the network. Many people have edited the high energy scenes that appeared tonight onto the internet, and among them, the one with the most heat. It was the song Under the Sea performed by Bai Chen. At this time, at 2 in the morning, inside a humble house, a young girl wearing a white nightgown with a layer of white gauze wrapped around her wrists, quietly came to the window sill on her tiptoes, and stood by the window on the 20th floor, looking down, with no fear in her eyes, but only a calmness like a puddle of stagnant water. She used both hands to support the window sill, and was about to close her eyes and leap down. Suddenly, an ethereal and sad song suddenly came from next door scattered moonlight through the clouds, hiding from the crowd, the scales of the sea, the young girl who was about to jump to her death suddenly stopped when she heard this incoming song, her eyes that were originally filled with dead silence suddenly had a ripple in them, in the midst of this sad, endless loneliness filled song, she, seemed to have heard herself, in this world, there were still people who were like herself, who could understand her, who shared the same feelings as herself, who is it, what was the name of the song, and who sang it, only to see the young girl immediately return to her bedside and pick up her cell phone, searching up the lyrics of the song she had just heard, clicking on the search. Not long after, a video with hundreds of thousands of likes suddenly appeared in front of one's eyes. Song Club surprises with depressing divine song, Under the Sea. The Sea. The Bottom of the Sea. Only to see the young girl put on her headphones before clicking on the video. She quietly listened to it. The moment she clicked on the video, a large wave of dense pop-ups instantly came. Kneeling in front, this song will be a god. High energy warning ahead. Please bring your own tissues. Don't listen to it if you're not in a good mood. The more you listen, the sadder it gets. As she watched these pop-ups, Yang Xiaoran was about to stretch out her finger to turn off the pop-up switch. But for some reason, her finger suddenly froze in mid-air. After hesitating for a while, she withdrew her finger. While browsing through these pop-ups, she listened to the song that resonated deep within her heart. You like the salty breath of the sea breeze? Stepping on wet gravel, you say people's ashes should be scattered into the sea, you ask me where I'll go when I die, is there anyone who loves you? After hearing these lyrics, Yang Xiaoran sighed out with a bitter and incomparable sigh, her eyes filled with sadness, after one's own death, where will it go? Will it be a complete disappearance? Or will he turn into a lonely ghost and continue to wander in this human world? In the end there is no one in love with themselves? But just at this moment, a flood of pop-ups came over. Whispering to you all oh dead but will go to hell, where the atmosphere of the eerie, inhaling breath are cold, everywhere is a terrible looking ghosts and monsters, and even the warm sun cannot be sunshine, it's scary, isn't it? So, let's all live well, for no other reason than to bask in the warmth of tomorrow's sun, upstairs is right, I just went there and came back, I don't want to go there again in my life, live well, if no one loves you, let me love you, that's right, let us love you, and then let us love the world together. I love you, stranger, I love you, looking at the screen full of I love you, 
Yang Xiaoran's meager body suddenly trembled, and two lines of tears silently slipped down from her cheeks. Is there anyone who loves her? Yang Xiaoran suddenly thought, in the late night half a month ago, his heart has long suppressed emotions suddenly without warning burst out. After rushing directly to the kitchen, she picked up a fruit knife and slashed at her wrist. When their parents see the wrist in the steady stream of overflowing blood, eyes no blame, no anger, only inexhaustible worry and anxiety, with their own reckless rush to the hospital, one still vaguely remembers, in that night, usually stable, law-abiding father, because he even broke through an unknown number of traffic lights, mother is all night to guard his side, clutching his hands, fearing that she would leave, I, seems to be loved, at this time, the song full of sadness is still continuing, too late too late, you used to laugh and cry, too late too late, your trembling arms, singing here, another burst of overwhelming pop-up surfaced in front of the screen, and the colorful, different sized pop-ups were all sending three words, in time, it's not too late, it's not too late, the first thing you need to do is to get the money to pay for it, after seeing this dense it's not too late, Yang Xiaoran finally couldn't hold it in any longer, with a wow, her eyes immediately surged out of her eye sockets, the emotions that had been accumulated for an unknown amount of time were finally let out at this moment, just as Yang Xiaoran was hiding under the quilt and crying, a burst of anxious voices suddenly came in from outside the room door, Ran Ran, what's wrong with you Ran Ran, Ran Ran don't cry, mommy's here, said, with a creak, then she saw a middle-aged woman full of anxiety rushing in, coming to the bedside and instantly holding Yang Xiaoran in her arms, constantly comforting, saying, it's alright Ran, I'm in, what's wrong with you, if there's anything wrong, you must tell mom, looking at the worry in her mother's eyes, Yang Xiaoran cried and cried, the corner of her mouth suddenly raised a smile, and after wiping the tears from the corner of her eyes, she said, I, I'm fine, right mom, I'm a bit hungry, can I, just before Ran could even speak, her mother nodded her head and said, okay Ran wait ah, mom is going to cook your favorite tomato and egg noodles for you, it'll be ready in a minute, said, then she saw Xiao Ran's mom glancing at the open window before going forward and locking it up before going to the kitchen to get busy, after seeing this scene, Xiao Ran immediately felt warmth in her heart, but it was at this time that, she suddenly felt, the person who sang this song, what in the world happened? Why would he sing such a sad, lonely song? In this world, is there really no one or thing left in this world that is worthy of his love? At this moment, not only did Yang Xiaoran think this way, but all those who heard this song, they're all curious about who Bai Chin is. What's wrong with him? In his song, there was no hysterical roaring, no hideous unwillingness, there was only the darkness that couldn't be seen at a glance, and the endless silence. It was as if he had really despaired of everything in the world. And it is this calm but sad sounding song that made Under the Sea catch fire all over the internet overnight. Certain blog hot search number 3, where to go? To the bottom of the sea, to drown my secrets, to fulfill my abandonment, the bottom of the sea. A certain sound hot search number 1, the sea breeze is fishy and salty. Perhaps it has kissed the corpse, gravel is sticky and wet. Perhaps it has dipped in blood, the bottom of the sea. A certain sound hot search number 4, big anchor PDD song friend will appear tear jerking original song, the bottom of the sea. Under the exposure of the major platform's hot search, it also made more and more people hear the song, and they have left a message saying, this song, really too depressing, hear me a big old man our heart blocked panic, he, I heard his despair and loneliness, I saw the sea and the abyss in the song, but I didn't see salvation, ugh people don't understand why depressed people are depressed, just be happy ah uh, it's like when you tell an asthmatic person there's air all around you, breathe it in, what's wrong with this by Chen Gai, after listening to this song, I suddenly want to hug him. Yeah, do any of you know who Bai Chin is? Is he a DJ? M. I don't know. This guy ran away after the song. He didn't even say a few words. Singing? Where did he sing? Su Pig singing party. No way. Bro, you don't even know about such a top program? With Under the Sea bursting into flames, many people even knew about the song club organized by PDD. And all of them said that they were waiting for the next time Bai Chin appeared on the stage and that they must personally go to see what kind of person it was who had written such a sad, desperate song. It wasn't even just the audience. The operators of the major music software were frantically searching for Bai Chen. They, who were extremely sensitive to the network's sense of smell, had already seen the traffic value of the song under the sea. If they were able to take the weekly airplay rights for this song, they would definitely make a huge profit. Unfortunately, no matter how much they searched, they couldn't find any trace of Bai Chen, and some even went straight to PDD. However, as a matter of courtesy, PDD didn't privately tell them by Chen's contact penguin number, just revealed. Then the subsequent competitions, 
Bai Chen will definitely continue to participate. Just this point, let these music software staff also pay attention to PDD held the song club to. Time passes day by day. After the network of video forwarding, text forwarding and other channels of proliferation, the song club held by PDD has completely caught fire, and was even once called the best web series of the year. A program with 5 minutes of singing and 2 minutes of commentary, without a single advertisement inserted throughout. What is this not the best web variety? Even this program has attracted the attention of many people in the circle, and many entertainment companies have paid attention to it. Maybe they could fish a good seedling out of it to cultivate and nurture. And at the same time, Bai Chen who was inside the hospital was completely unaware in all of this. Ever since he fell ill, he rarely looked at his cell phone. Just looking at it gives him a headache. At this time, Bai Chen was sitting alone in a corner outside the hospital building, gently strumming the strings on the guitar in his hand. This guitar was one that he had exchanged in the system a few days ago, and along with it, he had also exchanged guitar mastery skills. For some reason, whenever one strummed the strings and listened to the sound coming from the guitar, the analgesic pain in the head would seem to subside quite a bit. This might be an illusion, or perhaps it was the marvelous power of music. Just as Bai Chen was enjoying this rare moment alone, suddenly came a sharp ringing of the phone. After picking up his cell phone and seeing that it was an unrecognizable number, Bai Chin frowned slightly and hesitated for a few seconds before picking up the phone. Hello, is this Mr. Bai Chen? Whom, is it PDD? After listening to PDD's voice coming out of the phone, Bai Chin frowned slightly with a hint of confusion. Then he nodded and said, Whom, it's me. Bud yo you're so hard to contact. My staff contacted you for a few days but didn't see a response. I thought if you dropped out. That's right. Tonight is the 48 to 20 elimination round of the Water Buddy match. Please report to us the song you're going to sing tonight. After hearing PDD's words, Bai Chen suddenly froze for a moment. Is the elimination match tonight? So soon? I thought it would be a week later. Only to see Bai Chen ponder for a while before speaking. Hmm. I know. I'll send you the tracks later. Right. There's one more thing. Is it convenient for you to tell me the address where you live? Last time you sang on your cell phone. I'm going to give you a set of professional equipment. Although I may not be able to make it to the first round of elimination. I think I can still make it to the second round. After hearing that PDD wanted to send his own equipment, Bai Chin briefly hesitated for a moment and then shook his head and refused. Forget about this equipment. It's not convenient for me to be in the hospital. Hospital? After hearing that Bai Chen was in the hospital, PDD vaguely felt that something was wrong. So he asked with some curiosity. In the hospital? Are you sick? There's nothing wrong with your body, right? Listening to PDD's inquiry, Bai Chin also just flatly said. It's just a small cold. It's nothing. As long as you're fine. The weather in Magic City has changed a bit over the past few days. So it's easy to catch a cold. Right. I'll send the equipment to your home or near the hospital. It's a very simple set of equipment. Just a sound card and a microphone for singing. Give me your address and I'll mail it to you. I'll mail it to you directly. I'll tell you when it's time to use it. After seeing PDD say this, Bai Chen couldn't refuse. So he agreed. The two of them casually said a few more sentences. Then ended the call. After hanging up the phone, Bai Chen lay on the bench, rubbing the back of his head with a somewhat painful expression, that pain that went deep into his bones. Once again, it flooded into his brain in waves like a tidal wave. Whenever this kind of pain, which was like a syringe stirring up the brain, appeared, the only way to relieve it was to take painkillers. Afterwards, Bai Chen immediately pulled out his own medication from his arms and took a mouthful of it before sitting on the bench and rubbing his temples, waiting for the pain to soothe a bit before. Only then did he take his guitar, get up and walk back towards his hospital room. Yo Xiaobaya, where did you go shopping and came back? Bai Chen walked to the entrance of the ward, and saw that on the chair at the entrance of the ward, there was a man with a face full of silkworms, sitting on a face full of silkworms, hands are calluses, wearing a plain middle-aged man with one hand pinched a cigarette, one hand slipped a bottle of cheap ergwatu as with their own greetings. This old man called Uncle Zhang, a patient in the same ward with himself. The other party seemed to be a diabetic, and it seemed to be quite serious, the kind that needed insulin and medication every day. Uncle Zhang, you still dare to drink. Aren't you afraid of being seen by auntie? Only Bai Chen squeezed out a smile and waved in response. Hearing Bai Chen's words, Uncle Zhang smiled and said, It's fine. Your aunt went to help me with my discharge surgery. I haven't touched alcohol since I got this disease either, so I'm relieving my craving today. Discharged? Hearing this news, Bai Chen froze for a moment but still politely congratulated. Good to be discharged from the hospital. It means there's nothing serious. The words had just fallen. Then he saw Uncle Zhang's smile suddenly become bitter, shaking his head and saying, it wasn't the doctor who discharged me. 
It's me who can't stay. Ha! Huh? Before Bai Chen could ask any more questions, he saw Uncle Zheng pouring a hard drink and then continued. A few days ago, my lab test showed that I could not live on my own. My lab results came back a few days ago, and it's not just diabetes. Although your aunt hid it from me, I still saw the lab sheets and the pictures taken. What I have, it seems to be pancreatic cancer. After hearing this news, Bai Chen's pupils shrunk slightly, and for a moment, he didn't know what to say and froze in place. Pancreatic, pancreatic cancer. If it's early, there should still be a chance, right? Listening to Bai Chen's words, Uncle Zhang shook his head helplessly and said, Early stage is early stage, but I'm a rural person. Farming, I don't have the money to pay for a cure. This is cancer. In the past few years, I've spent a lot of money on diabetes insulin. I've spent so much money on insulin for diabetes. Anyway, I've come to realize that if I get it, I'll get it. We'll all die sooner or later. Instead of spending so much money on a disease that won't be cured, I'd rather save it for my daughter-in-law and my kids, and spend more time with them while I'm still alive. And unlike you, I'm still young and can handle it. At my age, I'm afraid I'll lose half my life if I have to undergo surgery or chemotherapy. But then again, it would be nice if I could live. I still want to wait for my kids to grow up and hold a big grandchild. Say no more. She's here. I'll go over first. I wish you a speedy recovery. Saying that, after he extinguished his cigarette, he drank a large mouthful of Erdwotu, and then left the place with a big bag and a heavy step. Staggering. Looking at Uncle Zhang's back with a bit of spontaneity, but also revealed a bit of despondency. Bai Chen always felt bad in his heart. Although the two of them have not known each other for a long time and have not exchanged much, this goodbye would be forever. Truly forever. No money. Could one only wait for death? If he hadn't obtained the system, perhaps one would have to be like Uncle Zhang? Sigh. There is only one disease in the world, and that is the disease of poverty. Back in the hospital room, Bai Chen lay on the hospital bed, his mind filled with what Uncle Zhang had just said. He was still thinking about holding his grandson. Because of the lack of money, he can only wait for death. Perhaps even if there is unwillingness and despair in his heart, it can only be turned into a mouthful of bitter wine deep in his throat, pretending to be spontaneous and frankly going to death. And whether it is himself or his family, can only watch all this happen, but cannot reach out to retain. And it seemed that his previous self was the same way, only able to wait for death to come, unable to put up a fight. Sometimes life is so fragile. When the moment of doom came, the only thing one could do was to cherish the time left, unable to hold back. Bai Chen froze like this for a long while before letting out a long sigh and he got up, opened his cell phone, and found the person in charge of the PDD song club and sent a message. Player, Bai Chen. Songs, what do I use to keep you? Time passed quietly, came to 7 o'clock in the afternoon. Under the thousand calls of countless netizens, the, the elimination match of the Water Friends track of the PDD songwriting competition has finally kicked off, only to see the live broadcast room PDD just open broadcast. The number of people in the live broadcast room is like a rocket. 500,000. 1 million. 3 million. 6 million. In just less than a minute, the heat of the live broadcast room rose to the exaggerated and incomparable figure of 6 million. And even the VIP seats had 100. 000 plus viewers waiting. The pop-ups also rolled over like a wave, spreading over the entire live broadcast room. Dug out three days ah. Three whole days, the hell knows how hard I've waited. Dude you waited three days for the elimination match but I waited five whole days for Bai Chen. I'm also a, a pure passerby, here for Bai Chen. I can't sleep at all without listening to Under the Sea once every night now. Under the Sea? I've only listened to it 100 times. This song is not as depressing and tear-jerking as you guys make it out to be. It doesn't have any feeling at all, sunglasses. Take off your sunglasses and talk. Tisk it's a pity that there's no soundtrack for Under the Sea, so I can only listen to it on the video. Looking at the pop-up scrolling rapidly on the screen, PDD also finally opened the camera in the live broadcast room. It was discovered that there was something wrong with PDD today. Unlike the previous general a hangdog look, but instead wore a set of somewhat serious clothes, a serious sitting on their own position with a slight smile and said, Good evening, everyone welcome to the scene of the first round of elimination matches of our song club's water friends group. Thank you to all the old and new viewers for coming out. After these few days of preliminaries, based on the scores from the viewers and several judges, we have finally selected 48 water buddies to compete in today's brutal elimination round. And today's elimination match will only be even more brutal than before. Because the number of spots that can enter the second round of elimination. There are only 24. So I hope that all 48 of today's contestants will play very well and bring everyone a wonderful musical event. Listening to PDD's words. The other judge, Boss CIN, smiled and joked. Saying, 
Today's Mr. Horish is extraordinarily serious. This opening speech, TSK TSK, even I, a former host, have to admit that it was well said. Pop up. Ha 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 bossing unlocked a new profession, host. Messing with you. 360 lines of work, all of which produce in Z. You've heard of the best in Tianjin. Brother, you know, Piggy is really serious today. Yeah, by the way, where's Fong Fong? Why haven't we seen him? At this time, at this moment, many viewers have also realized that the original three judges seem to be missing one. Just as everyone was wondering, PDD opened his mouth with a mysterious smile and said, Ahem, today, Pig Fong Fong is not feeling well, so she can't come. And after these few days of qualifiers, I realized, the quality of the contestants this time is too high, and it seems that I, a layman who knows nothing but what sounds good and what doesn't, am not qualified to be a judge. That's why I've specially invited a professional in the circle who knows about music to be one of our judges for today's elimination match. Let's invite, Mr. Zhang Yilei. Under PDD's impassioned voice, the entire audience froze for a moment. Zhang Yilei? A fake, right? Just when the audience hadn't reacted yet. A pleasant and incomparable singing voice suddenly came out from the live broadcast room. I'm with you detail operation la 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 decided to split. Why is it that there are still no exceptions to our losses? You said I have no operation don't understand the line of battle make people get off their asses. Why didn't you say in the opening game, but delayed until now? The moment they heard this familiar song ringing out, especially the alliance players, they all exploded. What the hell? Did Soy Pig really invite her here? It's like a dream link up. I, Noxians. Welcome the princess. All Noxus warriors rise to greet the princess. Fuck. Someone chop me up and give the princess her blood rage. Some people are not allowed to call. Some people accompany us to go crazy with us. Looking at the screen full of, welcome princess of Noxus, PDD somehow suddenly felt a sour nose. It was as if a certain heartstring inside had been stripped away. You know, he himself was an old alliance player. To be honest, at first, PDD didn't expect that Zhang Yele would really personally adapt a song called All Split Up to send to the Alliance players. No one would have thought that someone would really accompany some of their own stinky game playing nonsense. This would have been a very bullshit thing, but became a fact. This is a group of fools did not expect the romance. Just as countless Alliance players were moved by this, Zhang Yile smiled and greeted, saying, Hello everyone, I'm the singer Zhang Yile. I'm very happy to be able to participate in the song club organized by Mr. Horish, please teach me more. Listening to Zhang Yile's words, the nearby Yin Zi also joked in a lively atmosphere. Mr. Zhang is too modest, we're just a bunch of laymen, how can we teach you? If we want to teach you, we should be the ones to teach you. At the same time, I hope you can give us some valuable advice for our next contestants. Let's welcome Mr. Zhang Yile. Snap, 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 the words just fell. PDD, Yin Zi, and some of the staff members all applauded, welcoming Zhang Yile's arrival. After some more formal introductions, PDD also announced precisely that. Okay next we don't have much to say. The first round of the elimination round of the first PDD song club, officially begins. After that, the host also opened his mic and said. Okay, let's thank MS. Zhang Yile once again for coming to our song club scene. Now all the contestants, please pay attention. Today is still the same as in the past. According to the order of the mic in order to sing, now we have the first contestant. From our third group, Luffy, the stage is yours. Good evening, judges and teachers, audience members, I'm contestant Luffy. Tonight I'll bring you a song called Under Heaven. I hope you'll enjoy it. The accompaniment song plays. Love is like a wave of sand. Meeting him is like spring water reflecting pear blossoms. Waving my sword to break the sky. I'll let go of my love. In my dreams, I'm obsessed with him. Listening to Luffy's still stable scene. Many of the viewers who supported Luffy appreciated that. TSK 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 Luffy's singing is really stable. The feeling of singing is not much worse than Jez. Zhang Jie, luckily I debuted early. But there's one thing to say. I feel like all the people in the third group are really monsters. I heard that Bai Chen is also from the third group. Nonsense. This is group 3. We don't keep idlers in group 3. As we all know, there are 3 groups in this song club. The Water Friends group. The Anchor group. And the 3 groups. The time for one song passed very quickly. After Lu Fei finished singing without any advertisement commercial insertion. It went straight into the scoring review session. Good thank you, contestant Luffy for bringing us this incomparably beautiful world. Next, please ask our judge teacher to comment on it. Listening to the host's words, PDD then nodded and said, Luffy, you're a contestant I'm very optimistic about. You have a great tone and your music fundamentals are very solid. I'm also a mundane person. 
I like it when it sounds good. And the original intention of running this program is that good voices can be heard. So I can give it a high score of 97. Ian Z, TSK, TSK, Tiska just drifted off to Jia's concert scene. It's so similar. The singing was too similar. The soprano part is sung very steadily, showing that your control of breath and voice is also very solid. I can also give a high score of 97 on my side. Let's listen to MS. Zhang Yelai's evaluation next. We all look a bit amateurish here. When it was Zhang Yelai's turn, I only saw Zhang Yelai clear her throat first, and after thinking for a while she also nodded her head and admitted that. Luffy, there is no doubt that your voice is very good. This is your advantage. But in my case, it's a disadvantage. Why? It's because you sing too much like Jia, which causes me to compare you to Jia in my head. You have to realize that Jia is more powerful than before in terms of both singing and handling, which makes me subconsciously compare. I feel like I'm missing something. So I'm very, very sorry. I can only give it a score of 95 points. Sorry. Of course. You've been very, very good. But I hope to hear some of your own stuff later on. Thanks. After listening to Zhang Yilei's comment, PDD and Ian Z nodded approvingly. Even some of Luffy's fans in the pop-up screen very much recognized each other's evaluation, saying very pertinent. Along with the slow passage of time, two hours had passed, and the contestants who had sung were almost halfway through the program, during the five-minute intermission, to go to the restroom. PDD suddenly asked, Eh by the way, Mr. Zhang Yilei, do you have any insights about the contestants who have finished singing? Does it feel like being a judge in a music variety show? Facing PDD's question, Zhang Yele frowned and pondered for a while before saying seriously, I have to say, the singing skills of these contestants are all very solid, much better than some of the newcomers in the circle. Hearing this sentence, PDD's eyes flashed with a hint of a smile and nodded in agreement. After all, those who were able to enter the elimination rounds were either those who had received professional music training, voice training, or were gifted with a good voice. As for those true waterbenders, then they had long been eliminated. But then, Zhang Yele's voice changed. But to be honest, I feel that there is still a gap between these contestants and the truly powerful musicians. Those with unique voices have some flaws in their singing skills, while those with good singing skills don't have much character. And it seems that we haven't heard any original compositions so far, which is a bit of a pity. Oh there is an original rap that's not bad. In the face of Zhang Yele's true and unparalleled evaluation, PDD smiled and said, Hey, I'm just this one entertaining program. It's good that the contestants can sing like this, but I believe there's someone who will definitely give Mr. Zhang a surprise. Surprise? Listening to what PDD said, a trace of curiosity flashed across Zhang Yele's eyes. However, after seeing that PDD intentionally kept his mouth shut, he didn't ask too many questions himself. She just silently began to look forward to the next program. Once the five minutes are up, the, the host then immediately went online and said, Thank you all for continuing to watch our song club. As usual, without further ado, please welcome the next contestant. Speaking of this, the host also intentionally delayed the end of his voice as if to sell a secret, and slowly said, This contestant, I believe most of the audience is here tonight to wait for him to appear, right? Not to mention you guys, even I'm looking forward to what kind of songs he can bring us tonight, even. I've prepared a pack of tissues in advance to prevent my tear ducts from exploding and I don't have any tissues to wipe my tears. After hearing the host say this, Many of the viewers were directly jolted and instantly became energized. They all guessed. Who will be the next one to appear? Woohoo finally. I've waited for it. Brothers, are you ready for E? I'm ready. Pure passerby. Waited all night for this. Looking at the live broadcast instantly exploded. Only to see the pop-up screen spread across the entire live broadcast without any picture. Even Zhang Yele froze for a moment. Who in the world? Who in the world is it that can cause such a large number of viewers to follow them? Is this the surprise that PDD said? Only to see that the host saw that the booze were almost pulled. Took a deep breath and said. Let's invite the next contestant. Bai Chen. Boom. As soon as the words left his mouth. PDD saw a conspicuous and incomparable rocket in the live broadcast room rise up into the sky. Thanks to Xiaoliang Jun for the rocket's asterisk one. Thank you for the rocket sent by we must be strong. Thank you for the rocket sent by the bottom of the sea is too cold. Better to stay on the shore of the rocket asterisk one. Along with Bai Chen's arrival. The heat of PDD's live broadcast directly broke through 10 million. And even the VIP seats boasted over 200. 000 plus. At this time, not only fans, passers-by, marketing numbers, and even a lot of professionals in the circle were all guarding the screen again, waiting for Bai Chen to sing. Such an explosive number of live broadcasts and heat, even PDD himself is rarely seen. At this time, Zhang Yele, who was on the side, 
was wide-eyed and exclaimed, Bai Chen? Yes, isn't that the one that's been so hot these days, that seabed? So he's from your program, this contestant is really strong, that song made me cry, I wonder if there's any surprise this time. Looking at Zhang Yilei's look of surprise, PDD said with a hefty smile that, looks like Mr. Zhang has also heard the bottom of the sea. Don't worry, from the grapevine, what he's saying this time seems to be an original as well. At the same time, after the host turned off the mics of PDD and a few other judges, he opened his mouth and said, Contestant Bai Chen, you may begin. I heard that you haven't received your equipment yet, so it's the same as last time. We'll play the accompaniment when you say start. After saying that, I heard Bai Chen gently nod his head and say, Hello everyone, I'm Bai Chen. I'm going to bring you a song called, What Will I Use to Keep You Here? After a short self-introduction, as soon as the words left his mouth, I could hear the sound of a heavy and distant zither gently coming from it. Dum 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 dum. Immediately after that, I heard Bai Chen use that low, hoarse voice that revealed a hint of fatigue to gently sing. You forgot, the cold wind that cuts through the wound. You believe, no pain even after a lifetime. Why? Do you want to sing when you see snow falling? Why do tears fall at the moment of letting go? The four short lines of lyrics once again pierced through the hearts of the audience like a bullet. The melody, which was as always filled with sadness and heaviness, once again surged into the hearts of the audience. Just as the lyrics sang, I, seems to have really forgotten all the agonizing pain that he used to endure for his ideals, and he himself believed in fate, compromising and admitting defeat to it, believing that nothing good could come from his efforts. But even so, when one saw the snowflakes slowly falling from the sky, still moved with emotion, singing a song remembering his homeland ah, at this moment, PDD and Inzi, as well as the audience, were once again immersed in Bai Chen's song, which was filled with sadness, even Zhang Yele's eyes suddenly exploded with a flash of light when she heard this song, this person, he's got something, at the same time, Yang Xiaoran, the young girl from Mordor who was ready to jump to her death, was also lying on her bed, quietly listening to Bai Chen's song, I don't know why, I was always able to find a trace of comfort from the depths of my heart in his voice, I can always find a trace of solace from the depths of my heart in his songs, so that my restless heart can be completely quiet, this was a feeling one had never felt before since one had suffered from depression, the song continues, one by one I walk by one by one I miss, one by one coming through, one by one letting go, one laugh at a time, one roar at a time, one scene flashes and stings me, for enjoying its splendor, for enduring its decay, you say don't love ah and cling to it so life ah it's bitter as a song. Upon hearing this chorus, everyone instantly felt like something had burst open in their minds and suddenly went into a trance. It turns out that they it in the lyrics. Speaking of life, I'm not going to be able to do this. It's about the contradictions in life. Enjoying its splendor is a moment, while enduring its decay. It is also a moment when you tell yourself not to love, and yet you feel reluctant to part with it. In its long and short life, it selflessly delivers some peaks of joy and mercilessly claims the tears of despair, and licenses, its most beautiful meaning, is to suffer the most painful pace still know the true meaning of happiness, if you do not experience its decay, you will not know the splendor of it, this, this is also life, at this moment, everyone felt their hearts trembling, trembling for the life that Bai Chen was talking about, after hearing these lyrics, for some reason, Yang Xiaoran always felt that Bai Chen seemed to be in the darkness where he couldn't see the sun, whispering his bitterness, Zhang Yelai was also deeply shocked by Bai Chen's singing voice, only her eyes were slightly red, and she held a tissue in her hand as she gently wiped the teardrops from the corners of her eyes, she didn't understand, why did Bai Chen, whose voice sounded quite young, have such a deep understanding of life, and in his short twenty odd years, what exactly had he experienced, not only Zhang Yelai, but PDD and Yin Zi were also frowning, their breathing becoming heavier and heavier along with Bai Chen's song, the pop-ups were also saying, tears, Bai Chen, how can this guy always sing to my heart, sang out my heart that is in the deepest despair in life, I suddenly want to cry, I feel like dying, my grandfather, who raised me since I was a child, passed away in the autumn wind last October, and this year I learned that my grandmother is seriously ill with white lung disease, really don't know ah, ha, huh? bitter, rotten, withering, degenerate, rotten, is this my life, good man, this is not even on point, and it's singing emo for me again damn it, just when everyone thought that the lyrics, which glorified the misery and decay of life, were enough to sublimate the entire song and push the crowd to the climax, the, the next second, accompanied by the ethereal, faint drum beats under the accompaniment of the piano as the backing, it suddenly became firm and urgent, at the same time, Bai Chen also opened his mouth with a hint of determination and sang, 
Do you want to see a sea of flowers bloom? Do you want to see the swallows return? If they can't come back, then for whom should I exist? Do you want to see the sea of flowers bloom? Do you want to see the swallows return? If none of them can return, then for whom should I exist? Boom. Listening to Bai Chen's lonely yet determined, scarred yet full of love, fragmented yet full of hopeful singing voice. After feeling the lyrics and song constantly impacting their souls, the all the viewers in the live broadcast room were red-eyed and completely frantic. They originally had this song being heavy, helpless about the decay of life, and more negative energy. But along with the lyrics, they realized they were wrong. In this moment, it was as if they saw before their eyes the way the bitter winter had struck, in a ruined wasteland gleaming in the winter light. It was as if they saw the cold night fading away, and with the dawn gradually rising on the horizon. Seedlings breaking out of the ground and chrysalises breaking into butterflies. Bai Chin perfectly sang of the empathy within people, of being in the deepest despair of life, yet still waiting for the arrival of spring. Hope is still alive. Life is strong. Perhaps life is a road full of ups and downs. No one can avoid the alternation of hardship and happiness. But on this road, some people will fall down on the eve of happiness. And some people are so deep in happiness that they can't get across the difficulties that will come. But in any case, they are just the spice of life, the evidence of life's existence. At this time, Yang Xiaoran was already in tears, covering her tear-stained cheeks and trembling slightly. Do you want to see the sea of flowers in full bloom? Do you want to see the swallows return? I want to. I want to see a sea of flowers blooming all over the mountains and fields. I want to see the swallows return in spring come. I want to. Yang Xiaoran roared inwardly over and over again. If the bottom of the sea is to make herself who suffers from depression feel her own existence. Feel that there are also people who understand her heart. Then this song, What Will I Use to Keep You, was a complete and utter awakening of one's desire for life. Thinking. Then she saw Yang Xiaoran unwrap the white veil wrapped around her wrist, and looking at the hideous scar that was left because of her impulsive behavior. She suddenly smiled. I still want to go to see the sea of flowers blooming bright, but also waiting for the first ray of warm sun when spring comes. How can I die like this? Live well. At this time, Bai Chen's singing was also gradually approaching the end. The vivid, resounding accompaniment also suddenly turned and became calm, and Bai Chin also softly chanted, What are you in this vast river of stars? What are you in her gentle eyes? Flashing light falling and clinging, so life ah it sparkles like a song. As the song reaches its end, Bai Chen slowly tunes in, another moving and sad hum, sometimes up and sometimes down, keep moving forward, just like like the highs and lows of life, open-minded and helpless, brave and sighing, and so on too many emotions. At this moment, in front of the song language seems a bit pale and powerless, can only use the heart to feel the meaning of it, and in the live broadcast room, whether it's PDD or Zhang Yele, all of them were convinced by Bai Chen's voice, and they couldn't come back to their senses for a long time, even the host didn't react to the fact that Bai Chen's singing had ended, after an unknown period of time, PDD suddenly shivered and came back to his senses, looking at his computer screen somewhat dumbfounded, and not knowing what his brain was thinking, he suddenly asked, Bai, Bai Chen, are you okay? Maybe he didn't even know why he wanted to ask this question, but he couldn't help but blurt it out. And the audience, after hearing this question from PDD, first froze for a moment, and then they suddenly felt a tremor in their hearts. Right. A song about the bottom of the sea and a song about what I'll use to keep you. In both of Bai Chen's songs, both were able to feel a hint of longing, prayer, regret, a sense of despair of being deep in the mire and unable to pull oneself out. Each song seems to be confiding in oneself. What's wrong with him? Why would he write such songs? Is he? Is he okay? At this time, Bai Chen was still sitting in the middle of a remote hallway in the hospital. When he heard PDD's question, he froze for a moment. Then he looked down at the hospital gown on his body. His eyes fluttered for a moment, and he smiled and said, It's okay. Right. Who? After hearing Bai Chen's reply, PDD let out a long breath and snickered, saying, Yeah listening to your song gives me the feeling that you're going to leave at any moment. Okay, just fine. At that moment, the host, who had slowed down, spoke up. Ahem. Well, thanks to Bai Chun for giving us such a magnificent and thought-provoking song. Now you can take a break and have a drink of water. Now we have our three mentors to make their evaluations and score it. Audience members can also play their own scores on the screen. The words just fell. The pop-up screen in the live broadcast room, which had just gone quiet, instantly became active. I'm crying. I'm crying again. It's all by Chan's fault. Why do you always sing songs that make people feel so nervous? This song is so great. I feel like it's more powerful than the previous ones. 100 points. Maybe all three groups are monsters. But there's only one god. That's by Chen. 
100 points. Full faint full faint, must be 100 points. After looking at the 100 points on the pop-up screen, it could almost be said that it was a clear 100 points. PDD also took a deep breath and nodded his head, saying, to be honest, Bai Chen, after you came up with such a stunning piece of original work back in the qualifiers, my sense of anticipation for you is very, very high. This made me afraid that you wouldn't be able to produce something comparable to the preliminaries in the elimination rounds, resulting in a gap that would affect the scores I gave you. But the truth is, once again, you've amazed me and completely blown me away. I don't even know how to rate it. I give 100 points. I hope you'll do well in the next matches. After PDD finished speaking, Ian Z behind him also said a few short words before giving the same high score of 100 points. Next, everyone looked towards Zhang Yele, waiting for her evaluation. After all, she was a professional singer, and her score was definitely more authoritative. At this moment, Zhang Yele seemed to have cried a lot, her eyes were a little red. Only seeing that she cleared her throat slightly, she contemplated for a long time before opening her mouth and saying, I have to admit, Bai Chen, you're the only one who completely and utterly sang and cried for me tonight. I don't know what happened to you, but I know that your singing has touched me. Back to the song itself. This original has reached the point where it could be a single, both in terms of lyrics and arrangement. As for the vocals, some people might think you're a bit uncomfortable singing this song because you change your breath a bit too much, but I will instead feel that this is the essence of the song. But when you listen closely to this breath change sound, you will have a feeling of being out of breath. And this is exactly the feeling that this song brings to me. Desperately gasping for breath in a life that's as bitter as a song, just to feel its radiance. So, the singing was flawless for me. If I had to say the only flaw, that's that there might be some off-site noises and echoes on your side due to the equipment, but those are irrelevant. I give it a hundred points, a perfect score. Three one hundred points. The audience also froze after seeing this scene. You know, this was the first time that all three judges had given full marks, but when they thought about it, this was also something that was not expected and reasonable. According to what Zhang Yele had said earlier, the song that Bai Chen had come up with, no matter which way you looked at it, could have reached the point of being an album, and could even be taken to a regular talent show to earn a good ranking. This kind of work, can you not give it a hundred percent? Right after the several judges had finished their comments and scores, the backstage staff also recorded and organized the data uniformly. Soon, Bai Chen's final score was presented in front of everyone, after almost a minute. After the backstage counted down the scores from the three judges and all the viewers, the final result soon appeared in front of the public. Contestant, Bai Chen. Song, what will I use to keep you, original? PDD, 100 points. Inzi, 100 points. Mr. Zhang, 100 points. Audience rating, 98. 5. Combined score, 99. 55. Congratulations to our player Bai Chen, for his super high score of 99. 5. This is most likely the highest score in the entire elimination round. Let's congratulate Bai Chen once again. The entire room cheered as soon as the host's words left his mouth. After seeing such a high score come out, the entire live broadcast audiences got excited. Woohoo brother Bai is bullish. The whole audience got excited. What's white? Call the white god. I thought the bottom of the sea was already a big move, but I didn't realize this one was the killer. Ahem. I don't feel like I need to compete in the later matches. I'm not directly pointing to the championship. Am I? Thank you for the rocket sent by Bai. Thank you for the rocket sent by I just wanted dry rice. Thank you, Mr. Stool for the rocket. With a whole bunch of special effect gifts all over the live room, the heat of PDD's live broadcast room even rushed up to 10 million at one time, and the VIP seat even reached a horrifying 300, 000 people. It was obvious that, these people, without exception, were all rushing towards Bai Chen. At this time, the remaining players of the three groups who hadn't gone on stage yet, after seeing Bai Chen get a high score of 99, 55, were helpless in their hearts. What is the point of comparing this to other people? Not to mention the fact that what they sang was still original. This is simply not comparable. Unfortunately, however, it was only the first round of the elimination round, and there was still the second round, the semi-finals and the finals. Even if Bai Chen was more powerful, he wouldn't be able to produce an original song of such high quality every time, right? There's still a chance at the back. After the scoring session ended, PDD looked at the screen, took a sharp drag on his e-cigarette and marveled, saying, holy shit, 99, 55 points, this is the first time I've seen such a high score, it's really awesome, Torah aside also smacked his lips and praised, in that case, there's a lot of pressure on the players at the back, I even feel that Bai Chen's strength, can go to the anchor group, just as both of them were praising Bai Chen, Zhang Yele, 
who was on the side, was silent for a moment before she suddenly opened her mouth and said, Ah, uh, Bai Chen, I really like your songs very, very much, whether it's under the sea or today's song, it's all very moving to me, I wonder if there's a chance to leave a contact, and have a deep conversation, exchange, deep communication, after hearing Zhang Yele's words, PDD and the crowd of viewers froze, the pop-up screen, HM, deep communication, something's wrong, something's wrong with this Zhang Yelai, oh no, brother Bai won't be targeted, will he, ah, uh, don't be so dirty, I feel like it's just a normal conversation, right, ah uh, yes, 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 looking at some obscure pop-ups on the screen, Zhang Yele rolled her eyes speechlessly, then she didn't cover up and directly opened the door, saying, I just think that player by Chen's music is great, and it just so happens that I'm going to release a new song recently, so I'd like to exchange ideas and see if there's a chance to collaborate. Collaboration. Bai Chen was invited to collaborate by Zhang Yile? Crap. Although Zhang Yile might not be very popular in recent years, she was at least a professional singer who had released a hit song with over 3 billion plays before. She still has a certain strength and status in the entertainment industry. But a yo Zhang Yile teacher this is on the spot about the song it? He he he. It seems that our Mr. Zhang is also very appreciative of the Bai Chen contestant ah. At this moment. Some of the players in the live broadcast room were also shocked for a moment after hearing Zhang Yele take the initiative to ask Bai Chen for a song date. Afterwards, they felt a hint of sourness and jealousy in their hearts. After all, people were serious singers, and although they and the others sang very well, they could always only be considered a network singer, and they couldn't even touch the real song circle. And now, Bai Chen was Zhang Yile initiative to invite cooperation, that means he may be able to take the opportunity to enter the real circle, get some good resources and so on. However, in the end, this was something that he had obtained through his own strength, so there was nothing to be jealous of. Right after Zhang Yele made the invitation for cooperation, everyone waited for Bai Chen's reply, but 5 seconds, 10 oh seconds, after half a minute had passed and there was a delay in hearing Bai Chen speak, the audience froze. Hmm, where's brother Bai? Why don't you say anything? Uh, maybe he's a bit excited and doesn't know what to say? TSK, TSK, TSK it's understandable, after all. He's Zhang Yile. Just when everyone thought Bai Chen was excited and didn't know what to say, PDD suddenly thought of something. PDD, on the other hand, suddenly thought of something, and used his afterglow to sneak a glance at the YY voice chat box, only to see the chat box on a row of inconspicuous tips. Group 3, Bai Chen, has exited the chat room. After glancing at the time, it was already 3 minutes ago. Good guy, you're walking off after another song? As for being in such a hurry. After looking at Zhang Yile, who was still waiting for Bai Chen to speak, PDD had to speak somewhat helplessly and said, Ah, uh, MS, Zhang Yile, I'm sorry, Bai Chen seems to have some things to deal with, so he's not on our YY channel anymore, I'm really sorry, to be honest, it's really not very polite to leave without saying goodbye like this, although it's possible that people don't really care about it, but whether it's because of the organizer's identity or because they like Bai Chen's relationship, they still have to find an excuse for Bai Chen to explain himself. Ah, something's wrong, that's really too bad, I really, really like these two sons of Bai Chen's, only Zhang Yele sighed and shook her head regretfully, listening to Zhang Yele's words that were incredibly serious and didn't seem like a joke, PDD also smiled and said, AI it can't be helped, but it's okay, tomorrow is the second round of our elimination match, and we'll still have the chance to communicate with Bai Chen, if there's anything, we can talk tomorrow, let's not waste any more time, let's get on with the game. Please welcome the next player. To be honest, after seeing Bai Chen sing and leave once again, PDD was also depressed. It was really the first time he had encountered someone like Bai Chen. Other people came to this program of theirs basically for this huge wave of traffic, and even hated to be able to say and sing a few more words and songs to be able to give themselves some degree of exposure. But when it came to Bai Chen, he felt as if he had come purely to sing, not for any traffic. It was simply too strange. If he didn't come for any traffic, why did he come? Is it possible that he's a bounty hunter? For the sake of a reward? At the same time, the viewers in the live broadcast room saw Bai Chen disappear after singing once again, and they also said with regret, Ah, what's so urgent? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. He doesn't even want to introduce himself every time he sings. I only know his name is Bai Chen. Honestly, judging by Bai Chen's strength in these two songs, I think he's probably not a roadie. He's probably a professional singer who's here to blow up the fish. Come on. The two songs he sang were original. Even the first, 
And that professional singer would take a song of this quality and sing it on a network show like this. Forget it, let's watch the rest of the competition first. Maybe Bai has some reasons and doesn't want to disclose some information about himself? That's right. Anyway, tomorrow is the second round of the elimination round. I'm looking forward to see if Bai will still sing his original song. At this time, Bai Chen, who was in the hospital hallway, saw that he had successfully advanced, and then he exited the voice early, ready to go back and rest. But just as Bai Chen packed up his things, got up and was ready to leave the place, suddenly, he saw that there seemed to be a silhouette watching him from that dimly lit corner of the building. Was he the one who had disturbed the patients in this neighborhood? Thinking, Bai Chen touched his nose and apologized. Sorry, did I disturb you? After a few seconds, seeing that the other party didn't reply and showed no signs of leaving, Bai Chen frowned slightly, and was about to go up and take a look when, suddenly, rumble of thunderclap rang out in the, in the next second, a dazzling bolt of lightning was seen crossing the sky, and along with the lightning crossing, the shining white light shone through the window, which happened to shine on the petite silhouette that was in that corner. Subsequently, that petite silhouette seemed to have received a fright, spreading her feet and turning her head to run away, disappearing in the middle of the building. And at this moment, Bai Chen but suddenly froze in place. In the moment when the lightning had just crossed, he had gotten a good look at the silhouette's face. She seemed to be a little girl, but what was special was, she was wearing a white dress, her long hair and even her eyebrows were as white as snow appearing to have a trace of holiness, matched with her pair of light pink pupils. The whole person looked as if she was a little angel lost on earth. She, who is it? Back to the competition. Although at this time, the few remaining members of the third group were strong and many of the spectators were looking forward to it. But I don't know if they were influenced by Bai Chen, causing them to seem nervous when they sang, and they all made quite a few mistakes in one way or another. This resulted in the highest of the dozens of contestants at the back only scoring 94. Three points but they also made it to the second round of elimination without any surprises. After the end of the first round of elimination, after the first round of elimination, PDD did a short summary, then hurriedly off the air. The reason for this is that, own business by the major music software plus burst. Mr. Lu, this side of Miku Music is here to find you. Mr. Lu, cool music side also contacted us. Crap, brother Lu, penguin music, cool dog, and net depression cloud have all contacted us. What should we do? At this moment, PDD, who had gotten off the air, listened to the words of the staff beside him, and immediately felt a burst of speechlessness. The purpose of these music software people coming to look for him. He didn't even need to ask to know that 80 to 90% of them were for Bai Chen. Or rather, they came for the songs that Bai Chen sang. Even as a businessman himself, PDD naturally knew how much value Bai Chen's two songs could bring to these music programs. And it wasn't up to himself to say these things. He still had to ask Bai Chen himself, thinking. Then he saw PDD say to the staff member beside him, Don't worry about these things. I'll handle it. You first go down and contact the contestants who advanced today, and ask them to prepare the songs they will sing in the second round of elimination tomorrow and report them. The schedule is a bit rushed. You guys have worked hard. After ordering all the necessary things down, PDD took out his cell phone and found Bai Chen's number and dialed it. At the same time, in the Magic City Hospital. Bai Chen was lying quietly on the hospital bed, and for some reason, what appeared in his mind was the little girl's appearance that was revealed under the lightning. I don't know why, but in her body I still feel a familiar feeling, a sense of brokenness emanating from her bones, like an angel with broken wings, broken and helpless. Who is she? Was she attracted by her own song, or was it something else? Just as Bai Chen was pondering, the system's voice rang in his head, ding ding ding, congratulations to the host on his singing vocals. The singing rating is A+. Plus. Listening to this sudden tone, Bai Chen, who was lying on the hospital bed, was startled and opened his eyes violently. This system, it's really good at picking the right time. It almost scared itself out of existence. Only to see the system seems to perceive the resentment in Bai Chen's heart. Encounter is then said with an apology. M. I'm sorry. I'm disturbing the host's rest. Next time, pay attention. Alas. It's okay. What did you just say? Bai Chen slowly sat up from the bed, rubbing his temples before half leaning on the bedside. Ding Host's singing score is A+, gained healing value, 90, 000, 000, 000 points. This system suggests that the host exchange a set of special sound card settings produced by the system, so as not to affect the subsequent singing, listening to the advice given by the system. Bai Chen nodded thoughtfully. Sound card equipment? It was important to realize that for singing, a good sound card was still very important. Perhaps many people were cognizant of sound cards. People who can't sing well will sound better with a sound card. 
In fact, it is not. Often, using a good sound card to sing words. If you've sung well, the sound that comes out of the sound card will be more perfect and fuller. But if you do not sing well, then the sound card will be your singing in the voice defects, loopholes unlimited amplification out. Of course, if you've got voice modification, or if you've added electric sounds, that's another story. Thinking, with a thought, Bai Chen, who was lying on the hospital bed, tapped on the system and checked his personal panel. Host, Bai Chen, age, 24, talents, master singing, master tone, master guitar skill, health, 3, healing value, 1, 300, 000, 130, 000, 000, 000 healing value. It seemed like a lot, but it wasn't really too much. After all, in the system's mall, redeeming a master class music class skill at one's own discretion would cost tens of thousands of points of healing value. Even the sound card equipment just recommended by the system, the cheapest of which cost 5, 000, 000 healing points, was okay, not too expensive. As for the health value on its panel, it was also quite understandable. It was one's current physical condition. According to the system's algorithm, according to the system's algorithm, an adult's health value is normally between 7 9. 6 represents the body is very weak, a little sick. 5 is the body of some organs a little problem, but also is not much. 4 is that the body has a big problem, and even affect the health of the life, and their own this 3. It can be said that the body's condition is extremely poor, and even very not optimistic. And he also asked the system a few days ago if there was any kind of divine medicine in the mall that could make him heal. Only unfortunately, it was directly negated by the system. Ahem, how can I write down without denying it? Whisper BB. Ugh, looking at the reddish number 3 on the panel, Bai Chen sighed helplessly. In fact, without even needing the system to display it so intuitively, Bai Chen could feel his body's condition from time to time, and it seemed to be getting worse by the day. He didn't even know. Whether or not he can hold out until the day he finishes the finals and gets the prize money. If you can't make it to that day, what should you do? Like the old brother who was in the same ward with him before. Waiting for death? Blah blah blah. His situation shouldn't be that bad. After all, according to the doctor's statement, the tumor in his brain, that is, brain cancer, has not reached the advanced stage. As long as one has the money to undergo surgery, there was still a great hope of survival. Just as Bai Chen was worried about his condition. The cell phone on the side suddenly rang. Ringing ringing ringing. Hello? Bai Chen. It's me Lu Mao. I didn't disturb your rest, right? After hearing that it was PDD calling again, a trace of doubt flashed through Bai Chen's eyes. It's almost 12 o'clock. Is calling this late to find himself something? Oh, teacher Lu Ah. Is looking for me for something? Listening to Bai Chen at some tired words. PDD also did not sell what? Directly opened the door to the mountain said. Air. It's like this. Bai Chen. Due to your performance in the competition, many music software companies have contacted me today, wanting to ask you if you have any interest in selling the copyrights of the two songs you sang these past few days. Although I am the organizer. I'm the organizer. But I also know that it's not up to me to decide. That's why I'm looking for you today to ask if you have any interest in doing so. If so, I'll give them your contact information and you can talk to them in person. Want the copyright? When he heard this, idiot frowned slightly. Something like song copyrights would indeed have to be carefully chatted about. But what this kind of playback software wanted was probably the right to play their own songs. Right? After thinking about this, a twinkle flashed in by Chen's eyes. This was a good thing. If the negotiation went well, his medical expenses wouldn't even have to wait until the final. And he would be able to get it solved by selling the broadcasting rights. After which, Bai Chen nodded and said, Well, I also happen to have this idea. Whichever platform is inclined to buy it. Just contact me directly. Thank you, Mr. Lu. Hearing Bai Chen's polite words, PDD waved his hand and laughed. Hey there's no such thing as trouble. It's an honor for me to have a player like you at my concert. And to witness the rise of a new star in the music industry. Eh right Bai Chen. These two songs you sang shouldn't have been properly recorded in the studio yet. Right? Uh. Bai Chen nodded and said truthfully. Then he heard PDD speak directly. Saying. Hey if you need to send out a song you can contact me. In this regard. I, Lu Mao, still have some skills. Facing PDD's words, Bai Chen nodded his head and agreed after some thought. After all, if he was going to release a song, it was still very necessary to go to a professional recording studio to record a single. After finishing this matter, PDD didn't hang up the phone, but instead asked Bai Chen some questions about the East and West. For example, what, where do you work, what does he do for a living? After realizing that PDD seemed to have something to say, Bai Chen understood something in his heart. 
Bai Chen understood something in his heart and said with a slight smile, Is there anything else? Mr. Lu, hearing Bai Chen ask this, PDD scratched the back of his head and smiled, Ha ha ha, it's nothing big, just a small thing, that is. I want to ask you if you're interested in doing a live broadcast? If you're interested, I can arrange it for you. Live streaming? It was to sign himself under him, right? Maybe that was the purpose of PDD contacting himself so late at night, wasn't it? To be honest, according to this current popularity as well as popularity of his own, it was indeed possible to engage in a live broadcast. But, even if one wanted to do it, one's physical condition and mental strength wouldn't support it. The encounter is, Bai Chin smiled gently before shaking his head and politely refusing PDD's request. PDD saw Bai Chin refused also did not say anything. Just let Bai Chun if there is this idea then you can contact yourself. Anyway, absolutely will not treat each other poorly. The two then casually exchanged a few pleasantries before hanging up the phone. Bai Chen is going to rest, while PDD has to be busy for tomorrow's second round of elimination, as well as the elimination of the anchor track later. After looking at the huge pile of things waiting for him to deal with, PDD was also helpless. In the beginning, he only wanted to make a small match to mix up the time, but he didn't realize that accidentally made this song club so powerful. A few days in a row on the hot search are the news of their own song club. At this time, the long is mixed, but he is also really tired ah. Only to see the fat baby at this time, sitting in front of the computer is still ready to rest for a while, then heard himself beside the staff exclaimed, Crap brother Lou, we're on the hot search again tonight. Water friends also said that this guest tonight is not enough weight ah. Asked you finals cannot give JJ invited over. PDD. Invite JJ, really give yourself as a god? Late night, 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. Although the night was late, some night owls on the internet were incredibly active. Just as the netizens were surfing in boredom. Suddenly, on the major short video websites, a conspicuous and incomparable hot video was seen. Hot search number 1, bitter and bright. Gorgeous and short life at what will I use to keep you? Hot search number 3, shocked. First the under the sea which is full of sadness and loneliness. And then what I used to keep you which makes the supreme one feel the heaviness of life. He. What the hell has he been through? Hot search number 8. Shocked the best variety show of the year is freshly released. This being half rating of up to 9. 9 is actually from. At PDD 101 songwriter. On this hot video with a variety of titles. No matter which one you click in. All you hear will be the song that Bai Chin sang in the song club. Originally. These surfing screen names clicked in with the intention of seeing what's going on. But I never thought. This point of entry is a road of no return. Countless people felt their hearts trembling when they heard Bai Chen's voice full of despair. In this heartfelt song, it was as if they saw a person suffering from an incurable disease, who was enduring the pain to get up and want to see that beautiful sunrise, wanting to see that hope rise from the sky, and then pass away in the warm sunlight themselves. And the comments underneath these videos are heavy on the heart to watch. This song. Shouldn't this song be sunny? Why does he sing it with such despair? The sunshine is because there is still hope and the despair, and the despair is because what he sings, is the reality, but some people will never see the flowers bloom, and never wait for the swallows to return, dad, alas, perhaps we have been fortunate enough in this journey of life to feel ordinary, happiness, pain, despair, wait, when life passes by like dust, remember that suffering is also the gift of the journey, you guys go listen to Under the Sea by this author, that's what's called despair, this song at least you can still hear a glimmer of hope, and still see the light that is revealed through the cracks, and under the sea, all I can see is a vast expanse of darkness. On this night, countless people were touched by Bai Chen, or Bai Chen's song, all of them were successfully powdered by Bai Chen. No, it couldn't even be described as fanning, it could only be described as a group of people wandering in the darkness hearing this song that touched their hearts, and then following the strands of the song, they all gathered together, snuggling and warming each other, and on this night, the major music playing platforms also took action. According to the statistics from the past few days, they were shocked to discover any video or audio related to Under the Sea had a click rate as high as a staggering 10 million, and the total number of hits even directly exceeded 1 billion. Even this growth trend continued unabated. In order to obtain the broadcasting rights for this kind of explosive song, the people from these music platforms were frantically searching for Bai Chen, wanting to contact each other. Bai Chen, who had long since fallen asleep, was unaware of all these things happening online. The next day, early in the morning, Bai Chen had only just reported the songs he was going to sing tonight to the staff of the song club and finished taking his cancer medication for the day when he received a call from Penguin Music in the next second. Hello there, is this Mr. Bai Chen? I'm a staff member of Penguin Music over here. May I ask if you have any intention to cooperate with us? 
Penguin music? Although Bai Chen knew that with his current heat continuing like this, there would definitely be a lot of people who would spend a lot of money to buy their music copyrights. It was just that he hadn't expected it to come so quickly. Or from Penguin Music, one of the three major music platforms, only seeing a glint in Bai Chen's eyes, he calmly and incomparably said, Cooperation? How do you want to cooperate? After hearing that Bai Chen had no intention of refusing, Penguin Music staff immediately felt a surge of joy. Before contacting Bai Chen, he had already investigated him himself. It was discovered that before Bai Chen attended the song club, there was no trace of him either on the internet or within the circle. In other words, this person was most likely just a white guy who had studied music and then had a little bit of talent. The most important thing was that the other person was still young, only 24 years old. This kind of fledgling just out of society is even more negotiable. For such a person, one only needs to spend a little bit of money and throw out a little bit of interest. He will be able to lull him into a state of confusion. Thinking. Then he saw Penguin Music staff members say in a serious and incomparable manner. Mr. Bai Chen. I'll be straight with you. We appreciate your talent. So we'd like to get the rights to your song. Of course. We're here in good faith. One price. One. Five million. We will spend one. Five million to acquire all the copyrights of your two songs. And we will also spend all the resources to promote your songs. So that your songs will not be a problem for the entire network. We even have cooperative relationships with many large entertainment companies. So we can help you introduce them to you at that time. This is a win-win situation for both you and us. Especially for you. It's even related to your future. I wonder what you think. After saying that. Penguin Music staff then confidently waited for Bai Chen to agree. After all. He didn't believe that Bai Chen would be able to resist the one. Five million in cash as well as the entertainment company's recommendation. One must know that such conditions were something that some of the top internet singers couldn't even get. Listening to the other party's words, the smile on Bai Chen's face gradually turned cold. You want to buy all the copyrights of a song for one, five million? Dream on? As for the entertainment company, not to mention his current appearance, even if he was in good health, he didn't have any plans to enter the entertainment industry. Encounter is. Then he saw Bai Chen sneer twice before saying, Well, I can see your company's sincerity. When he said sincerity, Tian Chang also specially emphasized the pronunciation of these two words, but I still have to think about it first, so go back and wait for my notice. Saying that, before Penguin Music staff could speak, Bai Chen directly hung up the phone. Does he really think he doesn't know anything? 1. 5 million for the rights to two songs? This is not pure black slave price. Bullying honest people. Worthy of being under the banner of horse painting vine, it's really good at sucking blood, even if he is really in desperate need of money now. But it's not as if he's just going to sell the rights to these two songs like this. And according to this momentum, the number of people contacting him will only increase, not decrease. Thinking, Bai Chen then slightly stretched his waist before getting up and preparing to go out for a casual stroll. After all, staying in this depressing hospital room all day was not good for his body and mood. Just as Bai Chen was walking slowly along the wall, in the corridor of the hospital, he suddenly realized that, for some reason, those little nurses who were on duty at the nurse's station had been staring straight at themselves. Hmm, what's going on? Is there something on my face? Only seeing Bai Chen frown, he looked at a little nurse who often took care of himself and asked in confusion. After hearing Bai Chen's question, the little nurse shivered before hastily shaking her head and saying, Ah, no, nothing. Looking at the little nurse's appearance, Bai Chen thought that he was a little dizzy from the night shift, so he didn't care. But after pondering for a few seconds, he opened his mouth and said, Eh, by the way, is Dr. Lian right now? I'd like to ask when I can have my surgery. I'm almost ready on my side. Although the matter of one's copyright was not yet settled, this was basically a sure thing. After all, he himself knew that this disease couldn't be delayed any longer. If it can be treated as soon as possible then let's do it as soon as possible. After hearing Bai Chen's words, the little nurse first froze for a moment. Then she nodded and said, Oh, well, Director Li seems to be in. Let me take you there. Hearing the words of the little nurse, Bai Chen waved his hand and refused, saying, It's fine. I can go by myself. It's not like you can't move. With that, Bai Chen turned around and left the place. What he didn't realize was that, right after he left, the little nurses in the back talked about it. Xiao Cheng, is he the Bai Chen you said sang under the sea on the internet? Really? I really didn't lie to you guys. A few days ago when I was on the night shift I heard someone singing on the hallway over at the Ancon building. I didn't pay attention to it at the time, and just last night after I heard someone singing over there again I went over to sneak a peek, and it should be him. I also think that Xiao Qing didn't lie. This is not the patient list also has his information ah, uh, it's called by Chen ah, uh, eh, 
Today is not the second round of the song club it. As really his words will certainly go there to sing, why don't we go together tonight to see? I think it's okay. These few little nurses were also surfers. Naturally they had swiped through the songs sung by Bai Chen on the internet. And at the same time, they were also deeply attracted by Bai Chen's singing voice. Especially the song What Will I Use to Keep You? After all, as nurses, they had seen a lot of births, deaths, and human suffering in the hospital. So their understanding and feelings for the song were also more profound. Alas it looks as if he is a few years younger than even me. I really don't know how he wrote such a song. Yeah, that song Under the Sea, I listen to it every day. I've cried several times. What on earth did he go through to write a song that sounds so desperate and sad? Eh by the way Xiao Chang, do you know what kind of disease he has? Only one of the nurses seemed to have realized something and suddenly asked. Facing her co-worker's question, Xiao Qing looked at the direction Bai Chen left and hesitated for a while before slowly opening her mouth and saying, He, he's suffering from cancer, brain cancer. At this time, Bai Chen didn't realize that someone in the hospital had already noticed him, but was still discussing his surgery with Director Li. Ready ha? Huh? Okay, then later on you'll first go through the blood tests and lab tests again, after everything is fine. I'll try to schedule your surgery before the end of this month. Right. Remember to eat lightly these days and rest more. You're still young. The success rate of surgical removal of brain tumors is still quite high. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you. Director Li. After walking out of the physician's office where Director Li was located, Bai Chin immediately felt a sense of relief in his heart. It was as if a large stone that had been weighing on his heart had finally moved away. Although, when he had just been diagnosed with cancer, he had really thought about getting rid of it. After all, the astronomical cost of the operation and the subsequent treatment costs had been enough to drag himself and his family down. The cost of the surgery and the follow-up treatment was enough to drag down his family. So his family still doesn't know. They don't know that they have brain cancer. After all, there is no point in talking about this kind of thing. His family condition is just an ordinary working class. And there is also a sister at home who is about to get married soon. This kind of happy event can't be delayed because of certain things. But fortunately, with the advent of the system, he was able to seize the opportunity to live. And everything, everything seems to be going in the right direction. Thinking about it, Bai Chen, who was leaning on the window sill of the hospital building, looked at the warm sun hanging in the blue sky, and the corners of his mouth rose slightly, revealing the first smile he had seen in a long time. Jingle bells jingle bells jingle bells. Bai Chen had only just returned to his hospital room when his cell phone rang. Boom. It can't be any music platform again, right? Thinking. Bai Chen picked up his cell phone and took a look. He suddenly froze. There were only five words on the cell phone's caller ID. The most beautiful woman. Looking at these words, Bai Chen hesitated for a few seconds before slowly pressing the call button. Hello. Mom. You brat. You still recognize me as your mom? You don't even know to call home after so many days? Hey goo. You've graduated from college. You have your own job. You can support yourself and you don't need me as your mom. Right? You brat. Listening to his mother's voice. Bai Chen smiled helplessly and said, Not at all. I've been a little busy lately. Busy. Busy is good. The mother on the other end of the phone seemed to have sighed, and then said in a rambling manner, You work in a big city like Magic City. You can't afford not to be busy. Let you come back home to develop and you do not want to. Really the more you grow up the more disobedient. Right. You are not two months ago that you often headache it. A few days ago your old man happened to meet an old Chinese medicine to help you ask. Said it should be too much work pressure led to neurasthenia. This is not I let the old man to get you a few pairs of Chinese medicine. In a few days to send it to you. I have a headache which is because of the neurasthenia. In spite of this, listening to this mother that caring words, Bai Chin still feel warm inside. I went to the hospital in the past few days to check. And there is no big problem. The doctor told me to just rest more. It's fine. We're worried about you being out there alone. So if there's something wrong, you have to tell us. Okay? Aha. Uh -huh. How are you and dad? Don't worry about that old man. He dances with a bunch of old ladies every day. He's in good health. I may be getting old. My memory is not so good these days. I can't see things clearly. Maybe it's presbyopia. Other than that there's no big problem. Don't worry about it. Just take care of yourself outside. Ah right. The first of May this year you come back? Your sister will be back this year. Two. She's planning a wedding. May 1st? Right. There are still a dozen days to go before the May Day vacation. After pondering for a while, Bai Chen flashed a hint of helplessness in his eyes and said with a fake relaxed smile, I may be a little busy this year. If it's okay, I'll come back. But if I'm busy, I might not come back. Listening to Bai Chen's reply, although mother Bai definitely wanted Bai Chen to come home in her heart, she still smiled and said, Say don't come back if you're busy. 
Your career is important. Okay, let's not talk about it now. I have to go make lunch. Take care of yourself outside. Don't touch anything you shouldn't. And tell your family if there's anything you want to do. Got it? Aha. I know mom. You go about your business. Okay. I'll hang up now. Do. Da. Da. After hanging up the phone, a soft smile flashed in by Chen's eyes. Although he was a traveler, his own mother in his previous life had left in an accident at a young age. But in these few short months in this world, he had unexpectedly harvested a missing mother's love and truly felt the warmth and love of his family. Maybe this world is a circle. In that end of their own missing things, in this side of their own but got compensation, and it is precisely for this reason that I am not willing to tell them the news that I have cancer, or perhaps, I hadn't figured out how to tell them the hard truth, now that one's own illness could also be resolved, there was even less need to say anything more, thinking, Bai Chen then prepared to go back to his hospital room, ready to participate in the second round of tonight's elimination tournament after a bit of rest, suddenly, wah, accompanied by a burst of tinnitus that grew stronger and stronger, his mind suddenly felt a spinning in the sky, his vision suddenly became confused, and there was also a wave of nausea that made him want to vomit, at the same time, the pain in his brain that was like a needle prick that penetrated into his soul was like a monstrous wave hitting his head one at a time, this unbearable pain was more than several times stronger than before, at this moment, Bai Chen's face turned pale with a brush, and his entire body sat paralyzed on the ground, holding his head with both hands and clenching his teeth to death, at this moment, Bai Chen even thought that he would immediately pass out from the pain, and his entire body trembled violently. After an unknown amount of time, after the pain inside his skull slowly subsided, Bai Chen wore a large mouthful of thick air, slightly slowing down a little. Looking at the body has been cold sweat invasion wet shirt, Bai Chen rubbed his head a little puzzled. What happened just now? At that moment, he even thought that he was going to die, and it was the first time he had felt this way since he had been sick. Is it because he didn't take his medicine today? No. I think I did, but it seems like I didn't. Bai Chen frowned tightly, recalling whether he had taken his medicine this morning or not, but he realized, he had lost his memory. He didn't remember what he had done this morning, whether he had taken the medicine or not. Alas, maybe I didn't rest well. Thinking, Bai Chen slowly stood up holding the wall, rubbed his temples, and returned to his hospital room after feeling that there was nothing wrong. Time passed, and soon it was 7.50 p.m. At this time, PDD's live broadcast room even before it was opened. There were already a large number of viewers waiting here. Saw Pig quickly open the door. Pinch the horse Sapo made this program is really a fairy fight. Last night's elimination match was too wonderful. Eh do you guys think Bai will sing a new original song today? Am honestly I don't think it's likely. It's already been two original songs of such high quality in a row. If Bai really does come back with a new song. This thing. It's really hot. At this time. PDD looked at how many people were in his black screen live room and his entire body went numb, this is really their own run of the song club, actually has been on fire to this point, but also within reason, not to mention so many of the various gods are mixed in, just Bai Chen alone, Bai Chen alone had brought this song club of his to heights where it didn't belong, even now, before the second round of elimination matches for the song club had even begun, it had already rushed onto the hot search, hashtag tonight at 8pm, M, we'll see you all at the second round of the elimination round of the PDD song club, hashtag, Hashtag Bai Chen confirms that he will continue to compete Hashtag Hashtag who is Bek Tatsu who wrote the song Under the Sea Come and find out at the PDD Song Club Time passes by 8 o'clock PDD started broadcasting on time and turned on the camera Within just a minute of starting the broadcast The heat of the live broadcast room rushed to 10 million And the VIP seats also reached a horrifying 300 000 people After all This second round of elimination It's 24 to 10 so the competition is fierce. It's finally on. I'm in a hurry. I heard that Piggy invited another pro tonight. Ha, huh? this guy didn't really invite JJ. Did he? Is Piggy's card that big? Thank you for sending the anchor a big rocket from my milk fryer gang. Thanks to Bai Chen for sending the anchor a big plane. Thanks to the VIP CSTG in Z for sending the anchor a superfire. This live broadcast was just opened. And a screen full of pop-up gifts floated over. At this time. Looking at the audience who had been waiting for a long time in the live broadcast room, a hint of cunning flashed in PDD's eyes, and after looking at a small note cupped in his hands, he, sitting upright, with a smile on his face, cleared his throat, opened the music player software, put out a relatively quiet pure music, full of feelings, said, perhaps, is the first time to listen to the song do not know the meaning of you, or perhaps in listening to the song is already in the person of you, perhaps, maybe it's you who are chasing after the music. 
or you who are chasing after the confidence of your youth. No matter how the seasons flow, where we are, there is music, that is where our hearts are. Welcome to the second round of the 24 in 10 elimination round of the 101 Song Club. Thank you all for your support. Listening to PDD's emotional, staccato opening lyrics. The audience was humanly dumbfounded. Good guy. The opening words are all there? This is surely not the voice live? Is Susu Pig so professional? Ahem. I think I saw a little note in Piggy's hand, reading it out live? At this time, after reading the lines of PDD also saw that there seems to be the audience notice their own small fry. Immediately will small fry secretly hide. Scratch the back of the head smiled. Said, he 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 my opening line is okay, right? If you think you've done a good job, let's do a wave of 666 on the public screen. The words just fell. A screen full of 666 began to brush up, along with the song club more and more hot, and today is related to whether or not to advance to the semifinals of the second round of elimination. PDD also intends to come to a little awkward, to set off the atmosphere. So far, the actual fact is that it's not a good idea to have a good time. Hey I don't mess with these have no. Quickly into the main topic. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. I'm purely a passerby to watch this program just because of the fast pace. Sing fast. Speed. 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 After watching the audience in the live broadcast room all urged up, PDD also do not engage in other tawdry operation. Directly hand wave. Vibration voice said. I declare. I announce. The first PDD 101 Song Club 24 into 10 second round elimination match officially begins. Let's invite tonight's first judge Mr. Zhang Yilei. Live streaming room. Woohoo welcome Princess Noxus. Teacher come one or split it. Come one come one come one. Looking at the uproarious pop-ups, Zhang Yele smiled and shook her head, saying, Thank you all for your support and love. I won't delay any longer. I'll sing again later when I have the chance. After Zhang Yele briefly finished her greeting, I saw PDD give a mysterious smile and said, Tonight's other guest is also a professional. Maybe you haven't heard of her, but this teacher has trained a lot of hot, professional top singers. She is. Our teacher Chen Yu Huan. Chen Yu Huan? Who is this person? Many people froze for a moment after hearing this name, but there were also quite a few people from the moving line who were shocked for a moment. Afterwards, it was popularized on the pop-up screen. This teacher Chen Yu Huan is quite powerful. She seems to be the vocal teacher of even practice. Era troupe, as well as the vocal instructor of Era Juanfun's practicing students. Very, very professional. It's just that she's more behind the scenes, so she might not be very famous. After looking at the pop-ups and seeing someone popularize it, the viewers were also confused. Hiring a Zhang Yilei was not enough, but now there was a professional vocal instructor? Is this so professional? Hello everyone I'm Chun Yu Wan, I'm very happy to come to Mr. Lu's singing club but as a judge, thank you for your support. Zhang Yilei seemed to recognize Chen Yu Wan, the two of them exchanged a few pleasantries to end the conversation. PDD will not delay time, directly opened his mouth and said, Welcome to the two teachers. Thank you. Next I do not say much. To all the contestants, I hope you all have a good play today, to bring a feast for the ears. As PDD's words fell, he saw that the host also couldn't wait to say, good no more words. Please welcome our first player for today's second round of elimination. He is from Rup 3. Bai Chen. What? The first one is Bai Chen? Did the opening round come with a king bomb? Hearing the host's words, the audience in the live broadcast room froze for a second before getting excited. Bai Chen. Bai Chen. Bai Chen. After looking at his own live screen where White Chen two words dominated the screen, PDD cannot help but doubt. PDD couldn't help but wonder. Is this his own concert or Bai Chen's personal concert? It's a coincidence that I'm here today. I didn't expect the first one to be Bai Chen. After listening to Chen Yu Wan on the side who suddenly spoke up, PDD raised his eyebrows and said, Oh it seems that teacher Chen has also gotten to know Bai Chen Ah. After Chen Yu Wan heard this, he then said, without mincing words of appreciation. To be honest, I'm here today for Bai Chen. The quality of his previous two songs was quite high, so I have high expectations for him today. Let's hope that it can still continue to hold up at this level. Listening to Chen Yu Wan's words, PDD was shocked in his heart. She came specifically for Bai Chen? You have to know. The person behind Chen Yu Wan represented Times Junfeng, one of the top entertainment companies in the country. Although their main focus was to cultivate singing and dancing artists, it didn't prevent them from cultivating singers like Bai Chen. He himself hadn't even expected. Bai Chen had been targeted by such a top-tier entertainment company so quickly. After seeing Chen Yuan's expectant expression, PDD smiled thievishly and said, Don't worry, M.S. Chen, I can reveal a little bit. The song Bai Chen is singing today is also an original. The quality shouldn't be low. 
Just as PDD and Chen Yu Wan were whispering, the host also happened to hit the chat public screen with information about Bai Chen singing. Contestant number one, group three, Bai Chen, singing track, Fading Sorrows. Looking at this first announced message, many of the audience members brightened up. Sorrow? I didn't seem to have this song in my search. Is it an original again? Digging. Brother Bai is so fierce. Three original songs in a row. I'm ready with the tissues. This song title just doesn't seem right. Just when the crowd was looking forward to Bai Chen singing, Bai Chen, however, suddenly said in his voice, I'm sorry, Mr. Lu, I'm not going to sing this song today. Can I change the song? The entire audience first froze for a few seconds before they began to wonder. Suddenly change the song? What kind of operation was this? Even PDD froze for a moment. This was the first time he himself had heard such a request. As for changing songs on the spot, yes, it was possible. It was just a bit of a hassle on his side. After all, the backstage personnel would have to re-enter the lyrics to synchronize it and stuff like that. Uh, do you want to change a song temporarily? Yes, but it might take a while, and you'll need to upload a new copy of the lyrics to our backstage staff. Okay, thank you, Mr. Lu. It was also by Chen. If it was any other contestant, PDD wouldn't necessarily agree, and would even be angry about it. After all, this program of his own was aired in the primetime slot. And for every minute of delay there would be an unknown amount of traffic that would be lost. But herein Bai Chen unexpectedly did not appear such a problem. The audience in the live room not only did not quit but also more and more. The VIP seat even has broken through the 40 plus signs. At the same time, it can be seen that the vast majority of these viewers are rushing to Bai Chen. At the same time, while waiting for the backstage staff to get the lyrics again, PDD also can't let the audience in the live broadcast room just like this waiting. Encounter is then opened his mouth and asked. Eh by the way. Bai Chen, why don't you have a chat with us? From the beginning of the game to now you did not say much. Every time after singing the song slipped, Shadow cannot be found. Why don't you introduce yourself while you're here and get some votes? Ah, uh, you don't seem to need to canvas. Just say a few words anyway. Bai Chen, who was just sitting in the hospital hallway holding his guitar, shook his head and laughed when he heard PDD's words, saying, I'm just a little short on words, but to be able to come this far, but also thanks to all the judges, all the audiences support it. Thank you. Listening to Bai Chen's such official words, PDD seemed to feel that there was no program effect, and after a hint of cunning flashed in his eyes, he said, Eh, Bai Chen, can I ask you a small question? Just how did you come up with the idea to participate in this program of ours? Is it because you often watch me live? Or did you want to come to the stage to express yourself? Actually, this question of PDD's was exactly what the audience wanted to know. According to their understanding, Bai Chen seemed to be neither a singing anchor nor any network singer. Could it be that he was really PDD's only water friend? No way, absolutely impossible. How can anyone sing so beautifully and have all their songs be original? Listening to PDD this more sensitive topic, Bai Chen pondered for a while or truthfully said, Ah, uh, I saw that there was money to be gained from participating in this program. So I came. PDD. Audience? Live broadcast. Ha 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 pinch ma. So brother Bai is a bounty hunter because there's money to be taken, so I'm here, Bai Chen is too honest, but it's true, if it wasn't for the million dollar prize, there wouldn't have been so many big shots competing, I didn't expect Bai Chen to be so straightforward and speak his mind directly, even PDD, after hearing Bai Chen's straight words, scratched the back of his head and laughed, saying, but your feelings you are a bounty hunter oh, so what's your goal for the song club, goal, of course is the champion, after all, win the championship to get the money is more well, uh, Okay, good guy, and money and cannot get around it, put himself as the delivery boy all, so PDD could only smile a little and then change the topic and said, eh right Bai Chen, send your equipment you should receive it, right, the magic city hospital is quite close to my place, it should be here, don't forget to go get it, I just went to get the equipment, already used, thank you, Mr. Lu, although he said that he didn't use the equipment given by PDD, he used the more portable and compact equipment that he exchanged on the system mall. But in any case, it's also someone's good intention. So there's no harm in thanking them. And at this time, the, the audience in the live broadcast room discovered a key point. Magic City Hospital. HM, is brother Bai from Mordor? Magic City Hospital. It's pretty close to my house. Does Bai work at the hospital? M, based on the two songs Bai Gu sang before. I think it's very likely. Indeed. People who work in hospitals often see some human suffering, life and death. But it's because of these reasons that Bai Chen was able to write such a song. To be honest, your analysis is a bit reasonable. While PDD, after listening to Bai Chen's words, 
raised an eyebrow and said, somewhat puzzled. And didn't you say you had a cold before? Why are you still in the hospital after so many days? The body is nothing serious, right? Nothing much. It's a small problem. It doesn't affect anything. Although Bai Chin said this, PDD still felt something was wrong. What kind of small cold would go to the hospital for several days in a row and not be cured? But the other party didn't seem to want to say more, so he couldn't ask too many questions. At this time, after hearing the backstage staff say that they were ready, PDD didn't continue to ask. Okay, the body is fine on the line. The backstage work has been prepared. I will not waste time. The stage. I'll leave it to you. With that, PDD closed his mic. Bai Chen, on the other hand, leaned against the wall on the side of the building, looked at the moonlight that shone through the window, and said softly with a slight smile, after which he said, Hello everyone I'm Bai Chun, today I bring you this song, I want to give it to someone, this person, is the most beautiful woman in this world, at this point the pop-ups, it seems like Bai Chen isn't working at the hospital, seems like he has a cold, it won't affect your play today, will it, Ego? what do you care, with Bai's strength as long as it's not mute, feel free to sing, indeed, I don't care what Bai Chen does, I just know that his songs are beautiful. Ha, huh? for the most beautiful woman in the world, is it hard to believe that this is a love song? Ah, a love song? No way. A little bit looking forward to Bai's love song, just as the crowd was speculating whether Bai Chen's new song would be a love song or not, a beautiful zither sound slowly came out from it. This time, the sound of the zither didn't have that depressing, heavy feeling that the previous two songs had. It just felt very soothing and tranquil. This song, shouldn't be as tear-jerking as the previous two songs, it should be a sweet little song, thinking, PDD also pushed the tissue in front of him that was ready to wipe away his tears to the side, and laid back easily, closing his eyes and listening with peace of mind, following the accompaniment, Bai Chen also had his eyes slightly closed, a gentle smile slightly emerging from the corner of his mouth, and slowly sang with that magnetic, story-filled voice, saying, sunrise and sunset deep and deep again, a small square table with one meat and one veggie, a figure bustling about with ease, a pair of hands makes this time warm, only four lines of lyrics, accompanied by the ear-catching melody, once again pierced through the audience's hearts like a stringed arrow, in their minds, they seem to have seen deep inside, in that gentle little harbor, a figure that was already a bit hunched over was busy in the kitchen, and on the plain, unadorned wooden table in the living room was the flavor that they had longed for since they grew up, and this gentle harbor, wasn't it the place that I wanted to run away from before, but now I was haunted by it, and that busy figure, isn't she the ordinary but great one? So, this song is not a love song, and the most beautiful woman in the world is not a lover, but her, her own mother. This is a song about a mother. The crowd shuddered in reaction, wriggling their lips. It had begun to choke up a bit. PDD's originally relaxed expression once again became grave. Both palms held his forehead and lowered his head, not knowing what he was thinking. And at this moment, the song continued. The one who is too young he is always unsatisfied stubbornly unwilling to stop his long walk, looking up at the sky and walking a long way, forgetting to look back to see if she's crying. After singing this, most of the audience had begun to tense up and they tried to restrain their emotions, but no matter how hard they tried, but no matter how hard they tried to suppress it, all they got in return was a tidal wave of memories. The people gathered in this live broadcasting room are either students studying outside or workers working outside to make a living, and no matter who they are at this moment they are all the same. All of them are wandering outside the wanderer ah, although the fledgling grows up, will eventually for their own ideals, goals and leave the warmth of the nest, but how many people in the nest to leave the warmth of the warmth of the nest, but how many people when leaving the nest, but how many of us, when we leave the nest, forget to look back at her wrinkle-free, ageless face, forgot to give her a big hug, forget to sip away her tears, maybe they are still young, just stepped into the first step of life, there is still this long way to go, but she is different. She has begun to slowly towards the twilight years, just with her day and night you. I didn't realize it. Maybe once upon a time we always feel that time passes very slowly. They have not grown up. But as one day, you look back at her. Take a look at her face whether it is still as before generally rosy and young. Take a look at her figure whether it is still as before as upright. Take a look at her whether it is still as before generally robust. When you see her wrinkled face, slightly hunched posture and hesitant steps, you will realize, time passes really fast and quickly. She has begun to grow old, and he himself is not young. At this moment, many viewers thought, if, if you can, go back 10, or even 20 years ago, at the moment you left home, would definitely not forget to give her a hug, would definitely take a close look at how she looked back then, and say a proper goodbye. After singing here, 
Bai Chen gave a slight pause, then he took a deep breath and raised the pitch, as if calling, as if in conversation with the general tender and incomparable chanting said, The moon is bright the wind is light, but you're knocking on my window pane, don't worry if you hear this, actually, I'm doing okay, the moon is bright, the wind is light, have you ever come to my dreams again? You must have been too careful when you came, knowing that I'm a light sleeper. After singing here, PDD, who had been holding back his emotions before, could no longer control more than that. He lowered his head and reddened his eyes as tears gushed out from his eyes like a torrential flood. He thought of himself. He thought of the hard days when he defied his family's opposition and came out to play professionally by himself. Every time his family called to ask if he was eating well and how he was doing, he himself just smiled slightly and said in a pretense of relief, I'm doing okay. And everyone here, who isn't like that, even if you have been living in the outside world how wretched, how unsatisfactory, but in the family asked about their own situation, who doesn't lightly say, I'm fine, it's all good, in fact, so say, isn't it all about making sure your family doesn't worry about you, because after you talk to her about what you're sad about, she won't be able to sleep either if she realizes she can't help, is it really good, it's just something that only you know, if Bektatsu's previous song was depressing and sad in a hard way, and this one is completely different. He sang about the softest part of everyone's heart. The most untouchable place. The most untouchable place. Maybe the whole song doesn't have a single word about motherhood. But every word speaks of it. Maybe are she. A little worldly. A little greedy. A little pretentious. Even a little false sometimes. But she did her best to teach us all the good qualities. She wanted me to become good people. All the unpleasantness she suffered alone. If she could. She was even willing to give us everything just because we were her children. Such a person. What makes her not the most beautiful person in the world? If she's not even that, who else is? The song. It's still going on. The moon is bright. The wind is light. Have you ever come to my dreams? You must have been too careful when you came. Knowing I'm a light sleeper. You must have been too careful when you came. Afraid I'll think of you again. Meanwhile, inside a humble and incomparable small house, a young man bit his lips in death after listening to the unflinching and gentle song on the live broadcast strongly holding back to not let the tears flow down, only to see that he hesitated for a moment and then exited the live broadcast room, picked up his cell phone and dialed a phone out, da da da, hello, missy, dry claws well, is not again mo get money with it, you're a child, only when there's no money, you think of me how much do you want, I'll transfer you over here, after listening to his mother's affectionate name, the young man said with red eyes, somewhat choked, I don't know, I, 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 you what you owe, what things can not say to mom, I, I just heard a song, and as I listened to it, I suddenly missed you, after hearing the youth finally say the words I miss you, the other party suddenly fell silent, after three seconds of silence, he suddenly heard the mom on the other end of the phone laugh, only the laughter seemed to have a hint of choking in it, you waifu, mom wasn't listening to the song but she was thinking of you too, mom was thinking of you even when she wasn't listening to the song. These gentle and incomparable words completely shattered the youth's efforts to control his emotions, and he could no longer hold back his tears of pain. On the other side of the room, a young man who had just fallen out of love just happened to come to PDD's live room, and after also hearing the song sung by Bai Chen, I don't know why, he also opened his WX and found his mom and sent a message saying, Mom, I want to ask you a question, do you really think there's a girl, who wants to grow up with a boy? After a few seconds, his mother replied, Of course there is. Son, when we first met, I was in my twenties. At that time, mom's forehead didn't even have wrinkles. The mother's words hit the boy's heart like a heavy hammer. Right. Himself. He seemed to have neglected the girl he grew up with. Maybe. Maybe if he sent his girlfriend a set of thousands of dollars of cosmetics, he wouldn't necessarily win her heart. But if one gave one's mother a dress that cost a hundred dollars, she might be able to be happy for a long time. At this moment, countless people silently picked up their cell phones and dialed a call out along with the song gradually approaching the end when, Bai Chen, who was in the building's hallway, was also singing with more and more devotion, and didn't realize that, in a doorway not far behind himself, there were a few little girls who were holding their cell phones and recording a video, wow he's really that Bai Chen, I didn't realize he was right next to us, woo woo, the song he sang was really so touching, I miss my mom, who says otherwise, in the midst of those little nurses talking during the day, Bai Chen's song that went deep into his heart gradually ended, but even so, all the viewers were still immersed in Bai Chen's song, unable to pull themselves out of it, PDD, who had been on camera earlier, had long since left his seat and ran to the bathroom to control his emotions, the remaining two judges, Mr. Chen and Mr. Zhang, 
also did not open their mouths to speak. Obviously also some by by Chen to break the defense. The pop-up screen in the live broadcast room. Too hard to bear. I miss my mom. I was supposed to go out with my classmates on this May Day vacation. Now I don't want to go. I just want to go home and be with her. I miss my mom too. But, I can't see her anymore. It's been five years since my mom passed away, but I haven't dreamt of her once. I realized today that she didn't want to wake me up. I'm also, grandma knew I was afraid of ghosts, so she never came to see me. I was 18 that year. She's 43, I'm 31 this year. She's 43, mom, I miss you. Can you come back and see me again? Hugs to you all. If you miss your mom, touch your belly button, where you used to be connected to your mom. Looking at these pop-ups floating across the screen, even the professional host didn't control his emotions, and choked a little, saying, thank, thank you, bye Chen, or, why don't you say a few words yourself, I'm still a little out of control, while saying this, even the intermittent sobbing of the host could be heard, everyone didn't expect that, the song that bai Chen brought today would actually have such a great killing power, and almost everyone's had broken their defenses because of it, live broadcasting room, the first time I saw this song, I was able to get a good look at it, and I was able to get a good look at it, don't kill me with a loved one's knife, Cam, I'm not afraid of emo, I'm not afraid of depressants, but I'm afraid of this song for my family, Bek Tatsu knows how to break the defense, what's the title of this song, looking at these pop-ups in the live broadcast room, Bai Chen lightly leaned on the wall and faintly smiled and said, this song is called one meat, one vegetable, thank you all for your favorites, at this moment, just toilet control emotions of PDD back, then to White Chen's words, eyes once again become moist up. The first thing you need to do is to get your hands on some of the most popular products in the world. A meat and a vegetarian does not exactly represent the role of the mother. A meat and a vegetarian. A soup and a meal. This is not the most common but exceptionally nostalgic days before. Alas. Bai Chen Ah. You are the first person who let me make such a big fool of myself in the live broadcast. And you are the only one who sang and cried to me like this. In my heart. This song is already number one regardless of your performance afterward. This night, in my heart, you're number one. M.S. Zhang Yele, you can say something too. I need to take a break first. Seeing this, Zhang Yele at the judges table cleared her throat and adjusted her emotions, saying that, I, I don't know what to say. I even think, you're ready to debut. If you were to debut, you would definitely be the brightest new star in the Chinese music industry. But, I'm more curious, how did you suddenly remember to change the song? the song you prepared before. I took a look at the lyrics and it seems to be written quite well too eh. Did something happen to you when you suddenly changed the song? Or is it simply because you miss your mom? Listening to Zhang Yele's question, Bai Chen smiled and said, Just, after I had a phone call with my mom at noon today, it just came out of nowhere. That's all. And the purpose of singing this song, I hope to make everyone pay attention to the people around me, so that they don't only think of her when they listen to the song. Of course, this song is not just for mothers. It's for anyone who's dedicated to you. She could be a mom, a grandma, etc. Finally, cherish the people around you. Don't wait until one day when the people around you are completely gone before you realize that you feel sorry for them. Listening to Bai Chen's words, PDD also nodded with great recognition. What Bai Chen said is very right. Let me add one more thing. I hope that all the audience friends also do not to the closest people bad words. Perhaps at that time is your momentary anger in said words but it is possible that the words caused by the damage will be very huge. Of course, if you're a parent, you have to refrain from that, because if you're a parent, the words you say to your child may become a scar that will remain hidden in his heart for the rest of his life. I hope that mothers and daughters, fathers and sons will show more understanding and humility to each other. That's all I have to say. I wonder if Ms. Chen Yuan has anything to say? After the topic was given to Chen Yuan's side, it was only after a few seconds of silence that she opened her mouth and said, Bai Chen, to be honest, I've been concerned about you from the very beginning, but my feelings for your first two songs weren't very deep, probably due to everyone's different experiences. Those two songs didn't really hit me straight in the heart, they just sounded depressing. But today's song is different. I'm not afraid to tell you all a joke. I actually cried just now, especially since my mom also passed away a few years ago, which caused me to be particularly moved. Even I don't know how to review this song, I can only say yes. This song is just so well written. By the way, I don't think you've signed with a company yet? Are you interested in coming to us? If it's possible, I can guarantee you that we'll be able to get you an A-grade contract. I wonder if you're interested. Saying that, Chun Yu Wan suddenly pulled up people. The audience who heard this news also froze. This was a direct invitation for Bai Chen to sign? 
and the moment he opened his mouth, it was A rank, you know, the general signing contract, grade A is the signing standard for first tier artists, and upwards is the grade S contract, which already belongs to the signing standard for super first tier artists and singers, as for the next level, that would belong to the heavenly kings, at this moment, Bai Chen also froze for a moment after hearing Chen Yu Wan directly extend an invitation to himself, but then he shook his head and refused, saying, I think it's better to forget about it. This was a rejection? In the face of such top-notch signing conditions, did you just reject it without even thinking about it? Both the audience and Chen Yu Wan were a bit surprised by Bai Chen's choice. Looking at the screen full of question marks in the live broadcast room, Bai Chen helplessly explained, Thank you, Mr. Chen, for the invitation, but because of some small personal problems I may still have to stay in the hospital for a while. There's also the matter of Mr. Lu looking for me to talk about live broadcasting last time. It's also because of this reason that it's not convenient. These things, if you have a chance, let's talk about it when I get out of the hospital. It's not convenient. Listening to Bai Chen still, Chen Yu Wan seemed to sigh with a bit of regret. On the other hand, PDD on the side as well as quite a few viewers caught on to something that wasn't right. Discharged from the hospital. Bai Chen was talking about being discharged from the hospital. That means Bai Chen is now staying in the hospital. Is it hospitalized? How could a normal small cold reach such a level of hospitalization? And before, Bai Chen had said so frankly. He came to the competition for money. If the two points are linked together, this matter might not be that simple. Thinking, only to see PDD frown, seemingly a little worried. He asked, Eh wait, Bai Chen Yu, are you hospitalized right now? Is your body alright? Listening to PDD's worried words, Bai Chen shrugged and said, Uh, it's not a big problem, right? A small problem. It'll get better after a while. Seeing that Bai Chen didn't want to disclose anything, PDD had no choice but to nod his head and say, Okay, if you need any help you can talk to me, I'll definitely do my best to help you. The words that PDD said were not polite. After all, since the start of the tournament, he had always been quite appreciative of Bai Chen. Or in another way, the fact that his song club was so hot, and was able to attract Chen Yu Wan and Zhang Yelai to be the judges, had nothing to do with Bai Chen. From these two points of view, if Bai Chen needed any help himself to help out, it was still quite reasonable. And at this time, in the hospital hallway outside the doorway peeping in the cracks of the several small nurses heard, looking at Bai Chen sitting alone in the dimly lit hallway that looks lonely, silent figure, have frowned a wrinkle, some heartbroken, said, isn't what he has cancer, how can you say it so lightly, I don't know, maybe, maybe he doesn't want to be disturbed, a eh, right green, aren't you his nurse in charge, how is his condition now, is it serious, after hearing these three sons of Bai Chen's, and having all been informed of Bai Chen's true condition, the, these few nurses all had an indescribably difficult feeling in their hearts, perhaps it was because they felt that heaven was jealous of their talent, or perhaps it was because they felt that fate was unfair for Bai Chen, who was able to create such songs, whatever the reason was, they all felt like going up and hugging him, they all had the feeling of wanting to go up and hug him, Xiao Cheng, on the other hand, after listening to her co-workers inquiries, said truthfully, according to Director Li, the situation is not very good, but as long as we can operate and remove the tumor before the cancer cells start to spread, there's still a high probability that it can be cured, he went to discuss the operation with Director Li today, there should be no problem, listening to Xiao Qing's words, a few colleagues were slightly relieved, back to the live broadcasting room, after the three judges finished their comments, the host opened his mouth and said, good thank you for the three judges comments, now I'd like to ask the three of you to put the scores you have in mind on the public screen, at the same time, we also ask the audience to play their own scores, we will make the count in a minute, just as the votes were being tallied in the background, Bai Chen stretched out slightly, to be honest, it didn't mean much at the moment whether he advanced or not, or won the championship or not, after all, his purpose at the beginning was to get the prize money, and now with the explosion of the songs he sang, the royalties would definitely be less, of course, it would definitely be better if he could continue to sing, after all, the exposure heat of this song club was already no less than a first tier variety show, looking at the ratings that hadn't come out yet, Bai Chen was ready to pack up his equipment and get up, ready to head back first, however, he didn't think about it, the moment he got up, that feeling of his head being stirred by steel needles, that roller coaster like feeling of the sky spinning once again came up, what, what's going on, didn't I take the medicine in the afternoon, how come it's coming back, could it be that he had been sitting for too long and got up a little too hard, just as Bai Chen covered his head and staggered, feeling for the wall, wanting to sit down first to take a breather, the next second, an unbearable pain instantly hit his entire body, 
In the past, it was only the entire head that hurt, but now, now, it was from the top to the bottom, and the bones of the whole body felt as if they were being scraped by knives. In just a moment, under the torment of this pain that was like a million ants devouring his bones, a dense cold sweat directly covered by Chen's forehead. What? What's going on? Buzz buzz buzz. Feeling the increasingly intense tinnitus in his ears, as well as the pain in his body, Bai Chen vaguely felt that something was wrong, so he gritted his teeth and forced himself to endure the pain, wanting to follow the wall and walk down the aisle in the hospital to call for help, but he didn't realize that, I just moved a little bit, as if touching some nerves, the pain in the whole body as if magnified a hundred times general attacked up, someone, Bai Chen didn't even yell out, the next second, with a thud, as soon as his eyes went black, his entire body was planted on the ground, and he was no longer moving. At this time, the audience in the live broadcast room was still waiting for the announcement of Bai Chen's score without knowing anything about it. Good I've kept the audience waiting. Now, please look at the score earned by our first player, Group 3 Bai Chen in this round of elimination. Please look at the public screen. Accompanied by the host's words, the score obtained by Bai Chen quickly appeared in front of everyone's eyes. Contestant, Bai Chen. Song, a meat and a vegetable, original. Score, PDD, 100, Chen Yu 1, 100, Zhang Yele, 100, audience score, 98, 55, final score, 99, 86, another super high score that left all the contestants in the dust, even the audience score reached 98, 55, you know, the audience within this live broadcast could be considered picky, it's been called, the original singer had to be slapped twice before he could leave, the audience that actually managed to score this high, obviously. All of them had been impressed by Bai Chen's song, Bang Crackle. Just as the crowd was cheering for the high score Bai Chen had achieved, a murmur with electricity suddenly came from the voice, and there were even some noisy human voices mixed in. Hearing this murmur, PDD suddenly frowned and said with some dissatisfaction, Hmm, who's Mike? So noisy? Just as PDD wanted to ask the backstage staff to deal with the murmur, the murmur that suddenly came out suddenly stopped moving again. Ha, huh? was there a problem with the voice software? After hearing the murmur completely disappear, PDD didn't pay much attention to it and smoothed his glasses before returning to the program. Yeah yo the audience teachers actually managed to score so high? I didn't expect it. With this score, Baek Chion's entry into the semifinals is basically assured. Then why don't we congratulate Bai Chun for successfully advancing to the semifinals with a super high score of 99, 86. Does Bai Chen have anything he wants to say? 1 second, 2 seconds, 3 seconds. Facing this familiar and incomparable silence, PDD also expressed his helplessness. Bai Chen, are you there? Bai Chen? Ha, huh? it's not going to slip away again, is it? Saying that, PDD glanced at the chat room on the screen and realized that Bai Chen was still in there and hadn't quit, and the microphone privileges were there. Why didn't he say anything? Hello Bai Chen? PDD asked again. After a few seconds and still no reply, PDD had to smile and say, Ah, uh, Maybe there's something going on over at Bai Chen's side. Or there's a problem with the equipment. Then we won't waste any more time. Let's get on with the game. Please welcome the next player. After saying that, PDD then turned off his microphone. Frowning a bit dissatisfied, he looked at some of the staff behind him and said, What just happened? Where did that noise come from? I've said no less than 10 times before the start of the match to check the equipment, voice lines, and so on. How can there still be such a problem? It's okay this time. What if the next time a mistake like this occurs while the singer is singing? It could be seen from PDD's incredibly serious tone that he was already a bit angry. Although it was said that the purpose of running this program by himself in the beginning was to paddle and mix up the hours, but running it to this day, the song club was so hot, and PDD had taken it incredibly seriously, especially if such noises appeared while the contestants were singing, affecting the sense of hearing. It would definitely have an effect on the scores given by the audience and judges. Such a mistake. PDD would never allow to occur. Just as a staff member was being reprimanded by PDD and didn't dare to look up or talk back, a staff member beside him suddenly said, Brother Lu, I took another look. The murmur just now doesn't seem to be a problem on our side. It seems. It seems to be coming from wherever player Bai Chen is. Hmm, Bai Chen? Listening to the words of the person beside him, PDD's eyes flashed with a hint of doubt and said, Are you sure it came from his side? I'm sure. Maybe there's a problem with the equipment on his side? Problems? I just sent the new equipment. It's unlikely that there's a problem, right? Could it be that it wasn't modulated properly? All right, all right. You guys go about your business first. I'll go ask. Saying that, PDD let a friend at the side take his place to listen to the following players sing first, while he himself walked to the side and took out his cell phone to find by Chen's phone number and dialed it. 
If it was a problem with the equipment, he might have to help people modulate again, or even follow up with a new set of equipment. Beep 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 beep. After watching the phone number dialed out, but no one answered, PDD frowned. How could it not answer? You're not going to sleep at this hour, are you? After looking at the time, it was only less than 8.30. PDD called another one out. Beep 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 beep. After the phone rang for a minute, still no one answered. PDD heart began to worry a little. The commotion just now sounded a bit like something had fallen. It can't be that something happened, right? Looking at the white chin delayed to answer the phone after. PDD also have no way. Had to go back to the live broadcast. After all, the song club is still continuing. They left too long is not like it. By Chen that book and so on words. Can only wait for the next broadcast in the contact to ask a question. At the same time, outside the emergency room of the Magic City Hospital, Xiao Chang and a few other nurses were waiting with an anxious face. Bai Chen, is he alright? I was scared to death just now. Luckily we didn't go far. How could he suddenly faint for no reason at all? It can't be that his condition has worsened again, right? Just now, the moment Bai Chen fainted, Xiao Chang and the others who hadn't gone far heard a strange sound coming from the hallway where Bai Chen was. Knowing that Bai Chen was seriously ill, they instantly realized that something was wrong, so they immediately ran back. Only a few people pushed open the iron door of the building. I saw the face of Bai Chen, just like a dead body generally fell unconscious on the ground. If it wasn't for the undulating belly that could be seen, several people thought that Bai Chen was not already. He's already done it. At this time, standing at the door of the emergency room, Xiao Chang and the others did not realize that in a corner not far away, there was a little girl who poked her head out and was cautiously focusing on this side. If Bai Chen saw it, he would definitely recognize her as the angelic girl he saw in the hallway a few days ago. This was added a bit at the end of the previous 12 chapters. After almost 10 minutes or so, there was a creak. The closed iron door of the emergency room suddenly opened, and a physician wearing a white coat walked out from it. Seeing this person, several nurses opened their mouths worriedly and asked, Director Wang, is he alright? Director Wang, how is it? Has he woken up yet? Looking at the several little girls surrounding him, Director Wang stroked his glasses and said, At the moment, his life is not in danger. He just suffered a bump when he fainted. As for the reason why he fainted, we don't know yet. Ah yes, you guys look familiar. You're from the next building, right? Why are you here? Transferred here for the night shift? In the face of Director Wang's inquiry, several people looked at each other and then, they truthfully told some of the circumstances. After listening to the ins and outs of everything, Director Wang's expression suddenly became serious. The patient on Director Li's side, brain cancer. No wonder he suddenly fainted. Listening to Director Wang's words, the several little girls also seemed to realize something, and asked with some concern, How? What's wrong Director Wang? Has his condition deteriorated again? Facing the doubts of several people, Director Wang sighed and shook his head, saying, It's possible that. Alas I'm not too sure now. We also have to wait for the results of the blood draws and tests to come out before we know. I'll just say hello to Director Lee later. You guys should go back now. You're not off work at night and you're here to listen to someone sing. What are you talking about? Hurry up and go. After seeing the other party say this, the few of you had no choice but to nod and leave the place. Late at night, Bai Chen, who was still in a coma, didn't realize that he had rushed onto the hot search again. A certain blog hot search number 5, no matter how delicious mountain delicacies and seafood, are no better than the meat and vegetables in her hands in her childhood. Some blog hot search number 7 PDD at, a certain sound hot search number 3, the most beautiful woman in the world is actually her uh, a meat and a vegetarian. Even PDD and the others didn't expect that before the song club ended, then they rushed to the hot search once again. Even this sudden hot search, once let PDD's live room VIP seat reached 500, 000 plus attendance. If it wasn't for the fact that he was originally a big anchor, the platform gave the best server. Or else this live room really can't carry so much traffic. Of course, it wasn't just ordinary people who were attracted to Bai Chen. Even some singers had noticed Bai Chen because of the continuous hot searches over the past few days. At the same time, inside a simple luxury house facing the Pearl of the Orient in Magic City, the popular singer Shui Jichen was looking at the video playing on his cell phone with his hands over his mouth and his eyes somewhat lost in thought. What was playing on the video was exactly the video that was edited down by netizens when Bai Chen sang one meat and one vegetable. The moon is bright the wind is light. And have you ever come to my dreams? You must have been too careful when you came. Knowing that I sleep lightly. Listening to the unflinching song in the video. Shui Jichen's eyes had long since turned red and moist. Five minutes later. The video finished playing. Shui Jichen didn't listen to it for a second time. But rather. After taking a trembling deep breath. 
He covered his face with both hands and gently leaned back on the sofa. Maybe most of the moms that come to mind while listening to this song, and in Lao Shui's case, he thought of bringing himself up from a young age to his grandmother. In the past, he always quarreled with his grandmother, and went toe-to-toe -to -toe with her, but now even if he wanted to quarrel, or even wanted to be scolded by his grandmother again, it had become a luxury. After a long time, after Shui Jichen's emotions stabilized, he searched for this person by Chen with some curiosity. Nowadays, in this circle, there are not many people who can use songs to impress themselves, but this Bai Chen's one meat and one veggie song has easily broken his defense. Of course, one was that he had thought of his grandmother, and the other was that the lyrics and music of this song were very well written, many times better than those written by some of the people in today's music industry. Such a person couldn't possibly be a generalist. Looking at the search box, Bai Chen's previous songs Under the Sea and What Will I Use to Keep You popped up. Shui Jichen was once again startled. These two songs, Seemed to be original new songs as well, clicking in and listening to them. Then he saw a ray of essence suddenly erupt from Shui Jichen's eyes. This person, he's got something. The quality of these three songs are all very good. And looking at these videos released within half a month, three new songs in 15 days. Is that prolific? When did someone like this come along in the music industry? Is it possible that someone in the industry wrote the songs under a new label? That's not true. If someone in the industry had a new song of this quality, they wouldn't go to a live program with this kind of song. It should be a newcomer, right? Thinking. Then he saw Shui Jichen open his Weibo and share this video of Bai Chen singing. Shui Jichen hashtag, treasure song. I don't dare to listen to it for the second time at a meat and a vegetable. The original is Bai Chen, a newcomer who is very good at writing songs, right? Interested friends can go and listen to it. His Under the Sea and What Will I Use to Keep You are both well written both in words and in music and I personally believe that he is very likely to become the next shining star of the music industry, and I hope that for such a musician who has an attitude, you can support him more, I hope we can support him more. After posting this, Shui Jichen quietly went to the windowsill and looked up at the stars in the night sky. If, if people turn into stars after death, she must be silently watching over herself, right? Shui Jichen, who was thinking about his grandmother, also didn't know that he had only just sent out his Weibo. It directly exploded. In just a few minutes, the likes directly exceeded 100, 000. There were tens of thousands of retweets and countless comments. Crap old Shui also listens to Bai Chen's songs. What kind of dream linkage is this? I've cried to Lao Shui's love songs, and Bai Chen's songs make me break my defenses. What you two wrote is not a song, it's a knife. Old Shui's comment was too subtle. I feel that Bai will definitely become the next god of song. Ahem. Don't say that upstairs. Don't give Bai a bad name. Look at the guy next door. Ah. Uh, that's true. The guy next door is the eternal god of the Hallyu music scene. At this time, in the same magic city, in a luxurious villa, a gloomy looking man was looking intently at his cell phone, and the content on the phone. It was the message that Shui Jichen had just sent. His is this kind of sick song popular now? A meat and a vegetable. The words are okay, but the song is too simple, right? It won't make it to the international stage. Can this be a new star? As the pillar of the younger generation in the current music scene, the rising star Wamuwa, who had been nominated countless times for domestic and international pop music awards, didn't feel very amazed listening to Bai Chen's song. There were even quite a few fans who sent private messages asking them to comment on Bai Chen's songs. Looking at the comments section at the bottom, some of the words empathy, tearful, depressing divine song. Wamuwa seemed to think of something. Wamuwa seemed to think of something. I slightly narrowed and sent a Weibo out. Woji flower hashtag. What's wrong with you lately? Do you like to listen to some painless songs? If this is the new star of the music scene, then I have nothing to say. Really good songs are meaningful and artistic. Please look forward to my new song. A healing song dedicated to cancer patients. Please look forward to it. As soon as this simple message was sent out, it immediately ushered in countless onlookers. Wow. Flower is finally releasing a new song? I'm looking forward to it. Is it specifically written for cancer patients? My flower god has a heart. What's with the white star and the bottom of the sea? It's all just painless moaning. Indeed. That by Chen's song sounds half dead. So what's the point of comparing it to my flower god? In this comment area, there are also quite a few fans of Bai Chen saw immediately stood out for Bai Chen after saying a few words, did not expect to be immediately surrounded by this group of fans. Looking at the comments and support from his fans, Wamu Hua nodded his head in satisfaction before plunging headfirst into his own music recording studio and began to create a song with a distorted expression and flailing teeth. He, to bring a little shock to the Chinese music scene, with the retweets of major celebrities and big Vs, Bai Chen and his A Meat and a Vegetable instantly exploded across the internet in a very short period of time. 
Countless people shed tears of emotion after hearing this song, and as they watched such a sensational piece of music appear across the net, all the major music platforms couldn't sit still. At this time, in the net suppression cloud headquarters, Brother Wang, the statistics for one meat, one vegetable are out. It's exploded. It's really exploded. It's only been four hours now, and the total number of plays on the entire network has already exceeded 1 billion, and it's still growing. I feel like it might break 10 billion. The views of his other two songs are also very impressive, reaching 1, 4 billion and 800 million respectively. But there's one problem. But there's a problem. The Bottom of the Sea and another song suddenly got a lot of bad reviews, basically saying that these two songs are too negative energy, painless moaning and so on. If you want to acquire it the price may have to consider it. Wang Lei, the person in charge of this side of net depression cloud, frowned slightly after listening to the words of the staff. The wind evaluation suddenly dropped it. It should be a bit of a move in the back, right? But it doesn't affect. Those two songs own also heard. The writing is really good. But the depressing is also really depressing. But this is not also exactly in line with the net suppressed cloud style of the song. Thinking. Then he saw Wang Lei pick up a cup of water and took a sip of water before looking at the staff and saying. Hmm. Right. I heard that penguin music has made a move. Right? Have you poked around and found out anything? Listening to the person in charge's words. The staff pondered for a while and then said truthfully, I heard that Penguin offered $3 million to buy the copyrights of those two songs. As for whether or not the other party agreed to, I don't know yet. After the staff finished speaking, Wang Lei raised his eyebrows slightly. $3 million for a broadcasting right. When did Penguin become so generous? Can't it be that they bought the exclusive broadcasting rights? That's not good. While listening to Wang Lei's mumbling, the staff reminded him that, Ah, uh, manager. What they paid $3 million for is not the exclusive broadcasting rights. It seems to be all the copyrights of the song. Ha! Huh? Wait. What did you say? $3 million and you want to buy all the copyrights of these two songs? Hearing this news, Wang Lei's eyes widened and the corners of his mouth twitched. This. This penguin is still. It's still really dark as always. It should be known that all the copyrights of a song and the broadcasting rights were different. The broadcasting rights only involved whether the music platform could shelve the song or not while all the copyrights could be different. It can be said that if a singer sells all the copyrights of his or her song, it means that the song doesn't belong to him or her anymore. And even without permission, the singer can no longer perform the song in concerts, TV programs, webcasts, etc. Without permission, to buy all the rights to such a hot song for $3 million is really Penguin. But in that case, it would be a good thing for himself. I believe that no one would agree to such NI terms, right? He should still have a chance to fight for it. Thinking that, Wang Lei then looked at the staff and said, somewhat urgently, quick, you wait and immediately give me Bai Chen's information. I'll personally fight for these songs. After saying that, Wang Lei hurriedly returned to his office, and such a situation that, not only did it appear in the net suppression cloud headquarters, as long as the music platforms that had a little bit of energy, they all contacted Bai Chen as if they were crazy, all hoping that they could fight for the exclusive broadcasting rights of the songs that he sang, even more than just music platforms. Some entertainment companies have been prying into Bai Chen's news, wanting to sign him under their own banner. It was only a pity that, this night, no matter what way they used to contact Bai Chen, Bai Chen disappeared as if he had disappeared. He couldn't be contacted. At this time, in the Magic City Hospital, after confirming that Bai Chen's life is not in danger, the hospital's medical staff will transfer him back to his own ward, and Xiao Qing is due to their original as Bai Chen's nurse in charge. In addition to the sudden situation tonight they cannot let go of the heart. So they took the initiative to apply for transfer into the night shift, in order to take care of Bai Chen. Inside the hospital room, Xiao Qing looked at Bai Chen lying on the hospital bed with a worried face, only to see that his face was pale, the cold sweat on his forehead was constantly breaking out, and his body seemed to be shaking from the torture of the cancer in his body. His body also seemed to be suffering from the cancer in his body, and he was trembling from time to time. Looking at Bai Chen in such a state, Xiao Cheng immediately felt her heartache for a while. At the same time, she seemed to understand a bit, why he was able to write such desperate and depressing sounding songs like Under the Sea, because, only someone who had personally experienced those people, who had seen that boundlessness and darkness, could write a song like that ah, whether they are terminally ill or depressed, for them, no matter how wonderful and wonderful the world is, in their eyes, there's only darkness, and at the same time, perhaps it was this kind of experience that gave Bai Chen a profound knowledge of life, and that's why he wrote a song like What Will Keep You Later On, Thinking, then he saw Xiao Qing secretly take a picture of Bai Chen with his cell phone, and immediately after that, he sent this picture on his social account and prayed for it, saying, 
The sea of flowers is still waiting for you to bloom. The swallows are still waiting for you to return. It will definitely get better cheer up. Image JDP, possibly because of the heat of the text. This graphic was only sent out. There were many people who liked and commented saying, Hey, isn't this use? Stay in the lyrics. Xiao Qing you also listened to Bai Chen Sanza? Ah? Who is this quite handsome little brother? Why does he look so pained? What kind of disease is he suffering from? Look at the two bottles of medicine next to the bed. They seem to be anti-cancer drugs. My grandma has taken them before. Alas so young to get cancer. I hope to be able to get well, Amit Babuda. Cheer up he will definitely wait until the flowers bloom and the swallows return. Get well soon, peace and quiet. Looking at these words of blessing in the comments, Xiao Qing smiled slightly. Actually, she didn't know why she was doing this. Perhaps she also wanted to seek a peace for Bai Chen. After a few tens of minutes, Xiao Cheng wiped the cold sweat on his forehead with medical gauze, and only after seeing Bai Chen's face, which was twisted because of the pain, become gradually soothed. Did she gently get up and close the door of the room, leaving the place? The next day, early morning, a touch of red gradually emerged where the water and sky met, and that warm light sprinkled in through the window, only to see that at this time, Bai Chen, who had also woken up early, leaned against the bed with some fatigue. Last night, what happened to himself? How could it suddenly be like this? Even when he was in a state of unconsciousness, he could feel the severe pain coming from all over his body. This feeling was as if one was fixed to a torture rack, being burned by a blazing fire and pierced by sharp needles but unable to move. Even at that moment, one thought if one was dying, could it be that he hadn't rested well in the past few days? Or maybe it was some complications caused by brain cancer? What exactly was the reason? One could only wait for the lab results to come out to find out. Ugh. Thinking. Bai Chen let out a long sigh and rubbed the back of his head, preparing to lie down and rest for a while when the, the cell phone on the side suddenly rang. Aha, who called him? Pick up the cell phone to see. It was PDD's familiar phone number. But the next second Bai Chen then take a closer look. Surprised to find. In his own coma actually has nearly 40 or 50 missed calls, dozens of which are PDD called. This is what happened. So anxious to find himself? Beep beep beep. Hello, Bai Chen? Is that you? Bai Chen, hello? After picking up the phone, listening to PDD's tone that seemed to be very anxious, Bai Chen asked in a bit of confusion that, hello, what's wrong? Mr. Hor, is there something urgent? After a second, PDD seemed to be breathing a sigh of relief, and smiled sarcastically, saying, phew bud, you're fine, what happened to you last night? Your mic suddenly popped, and you were gone, what happened to you last night? Is everything okay? I couldn't reach you all night, I was scared to death. Listening to PDD's words, Bai Chen also finally understood. So he was talking about the fact that he fainted last night. I, it wasn't a big deal. I just suddenly fainted. I fainted all of a sudden. Ha, huh? fainted? Hearing this news, PDD's eyes stared blankly and asked with some concern. You've been in the hospital for so long. What kind of disease is it? How could you pass out all of a sudden? Listening to PDD's words of worry, Bai Chen said with the same lighthearted look. Alas, it's not a big deal. The doctor said it's possible that I'm a little tired these days, caused by neurasthenia fainted. Tired and fainted? And a fainting or a night? How is it possible? For what Bai Chen said this time, PDD obviously do not believe. But since he didn't want to say it explicitly, he couldn't ask more questions and could only nod his head and say, All right, there's still a week to go before the semifinals, so take a good rest during these days. If anything really comes up, if there's anything you really need, like a doctor or anything else, just let me know. I still have a few contacts here in Magic City. As long as you're okay, I won't bother you anymore. Bye. Um, bye. In fact, after these few days of contact, Bai Chen found that PDD this person is still quite good. What he said also does not seem to be polite words, but for their own situation they do not want to say anything more. As long as you wait for the royalties to be negotiated down we'll basically be able to solve it. Mentioning royalties, Bai Chen thought of Penguin Music who had come to him the other day. Three million. All the copyrights. What a pitfall, although it did seem like 3 million was already high, but it was important to realize that the potential of these two songs wasn't low either, and in their own influences. In his previous life, there was a man who made a hundred million dollars with a song that cost 70 or 80 million, that would be an exaggeration. Of course, it wasn't just Penguin that had approached himself, several other music platforms had also talked to him, but the prices offered were a bit low. The most expensive one was Dogku Music, which offered 800. Zero 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 dollars for the broadcasting rights, but one felt that it could go a little higher, so one kept dragging it out. Just as Bai Chen was thinking, another call came in, and after looking at the records, 
This caller had also contacted himself many times last night. Hello, who is it? Hello, may I ask if it's Mr. Bai Chen? I'm the person in charge of this side of the net suppression cloud. May I ask if you have time to have a chat now? Yo Netsuke Cloud? Hearing the other party's intentions, Bai Chen was slightly pleased. Net suppression cloud. This only platform that hadn't contacted him had finally come. Thinking. Then he saw a faint glint in Bai Chen's eyes, and calmly and incomparably said, Net suppression cloud. You're here to talk about song copyrights, right? But before we talk, I'll say in advance. I'll only sell the broadcasting rights, but nothing else. Sell only the broadcasting rights. This is by Chen's bottom line. At this time, Wang Lei, the executive of Net Suppressor Cloud, listened to Bai Chen's words, and the same hint of essence flashed in his eyes. According to Bai Chen's words, there should be quite a few platforms that have contacted them, but perhaps the negotiations weren't as good as they wanted to be, and they haven't sold the rights yet, right? Afterwards, then he saw a smirk emerge on Wang Lei's face and said, Haha Mr. Bai Chen, it's really hard to contact you, that's right. I just want to talk about the copyright of your song. As for your concerns, we also know that, so we're only here for the broadcasting rights. It won't involve your personal singing or anything like that. After hearing the other party say this, Bai Chen nodded slightly and, all right, then can you tell us the conditions on your side? After Bai Chen finished speaking, he saw the other party immediately reply with, conditions, don't worry, our side will never be as black-hearted as Penguin, they've fallen into the eyes of money. We have two contracts for you. The first one is, the first is one, five million dollars for the broadcasting rights of your three songs, our platform will be responsible for the operation, but you have nothing to do with the rest of the income. The second one, the second is a buyout contract, we will spend three, five million dollars to buy the exclusive broadcasting rights of your three songs, the three songs can only be uploaded on our platform, but some of the subsequent revenue share, we can give you up to 30%, I wonder what you think, listening to the other party's words. Bai Chen nodded thoughtfully, the conditions offered by the other party, it was honestly pretty good, and it also mentioned the subsequent share of income, Penguin and the other platforms hadn't even mentioned any of this, one must know, after selling the broadcasting rights, the platform would also license the song's broadcasting rights to short video platforms, KTVS, and even movies and TV shows to make a profit, if it was calculated this way, they don't lose money, and most of them are also divided in this way. While all of the songs of some singers are on fire, the reason why some singers get very little money is because the money is swallowed up by the entertainment companies they sign with. And most importantly, I sold the copyrights myself as an individual. There was no middleman to make a difference in price, so I was able to get the money in real terms. After thinking carefully and comparing it to the previous ones, Net Depression Cloud was indeed the platform that offered the most favorable conditions. Thus, Bai Chen nodded and said, Hmm, your conditions are indeed good. Is there a specific document for the second contract you guys are talking about? Can you give me a look at it first? If the contract is fine, then I wish us a happy cooperation. After Wang Lei heard these words, he immediately felt stabilized. So without hesitation he immediately replied that. It's definitely no problem. I'll show you the electronic contract later. If there's no problem, you can sign it directly. Aha, direct contract? Do you have staff in Mordor? Listening to each other's words by Chen froze for a moment. How to feel the other side than their own still anxious awe. Only Wang Lei smiled and explained. In order to facilitate the signing of musicians, it's now possible to sign directly online. Of course, if you're not sure, you can sign the paper version offline. We'll see you. Oh, that's how it works. Okay, let me see the contract first. But I can't give you the songs yet. I haven't recorded them yet. Wang Lei sniffed and then said without a care in the world. It's okay, we have a way in Magic City. We can provide you with a free recording studio and professional staff to help you record. Just let me know when you have time to record. Well, okay. After chatting about these two people casually polite two sentences and then hung up the phone. Wang Lei is too busy with other matters to go. Wang Lei went to work on other matters. While Bai Chen carefully read the contract. After more than half an hour. Seeing the contract on all the shares are clearly written. There is no ambiguity in some of the terms. Bai Chen did not hesitate. He signed his name directly on his cell phone through the electronic signature. Now his surgery cost is completely solved. 5 million even after deducting some taxes. He can still get 3 to 4 million. Used to cure the disease is also enough. This does not include the subsequent share of funds. After negotiating the matter of the song copyright, Bai Chen lay on the bed with a relaxed face and looked at the bright sunshine outside the window. Should I go out to eat something nice today? Although he had cancer, there were no taboos on what to eat. As long as he didn't eat before the surgery. 
Just when Bai Chen was pondering what to eat, a knock on the door suddenly came in. Knock knock knock. Who is it? Please come in. After Bai Chen answered the door, he then saw the door of the ward being pushed open, and Director Li, dressed in a white lab coat, walked in with a face that had some gravity to it. Director Li, why have you suddenly come? Is, are the arrangements for the surgery done? Only Bai Chen's eyes carried a hint of joy in them as he said that he was about to get up from the bed. Eh eh eh. You just lie down. I came. I'm just here to ask a little question. Director Li came to Bai Chen's bedside and didn't directly answer his question. Instead, he asked while looking at some of Bai Chen's physical condition. Eh, do you have any family over here? My parents are in their hometown. It's just me and Mordor. Oh, I heard that you suddenly fainted in the hallway of the next building last night, right? After seeing that Director Li didn't answer about his surgery, but instead asked some other questions, Bai Chen frowned slightly and, ah, uh, whom? What was the situation at that time? But when I stood up I suddenly felt dizzy, followed by first a headache and then my whole body. When Bai Chen finished describing it, Director Li nodded thoughtfully and didn't say anything. Looking at his lowered, thoughtful appearance, Bai Chen softly inquired again. Eh right Director Li, when can that surgery of mine take place? Hearing Bai Chen's inquiry, Director Li's eyes flashed with a hint of hesitation, then smiled again and said, Just, eh, soon, soon, we have to observe for a few days on our side. Eh, right. I heard that you went over there to sing right? Qing also told me. You participated in a singing competition. I went to listen to it. You're quite a good singer. You don't have to go there all the time if you want to sing in the future. You're the only one living in this room at the moment. So you won't affect anyone else here. At this time, looking at Director Li's look of being hesitant to speak, and constantly changing the subject, Bai Chen also gradually realized that something was wrong. A few days ago, he had already done a preoperative examination. It is reasonable to be able to go directly to the operating table. But why do you still need to observe a few days? And the surgery signature can be signed by yourself. Why do you need to find a family member? Even if you want a family member, you can just sign a power of attorney. Well, okay, I won't disturb your rest. You have a good rest. Just seeing Director Lee saying yes oh this, he was ready to turn around and leave the place. But just as Director Lee opened the door to his room and prepared to go out, Bai Chin frowned and took a deep breath before finally opening his mouth to call out to Director Lee. Please, please wait. Lee, Director Lee, just tell me what you have to say. And there's no need to beat around the bush with me or hide it from me. Hearing Bai Chen's voice, Director Lee stopped in his tracks at once, and after turning to look at Bai Chen's somewhat complicated eyes, he, after three seconds of silence in place, then he took out a lab data from his bosom and handed it to Bai Chen, shook his head and said with a long sigh, saying, you, you can't have an operation in your current condition, the speed of the cancer cells spreading in your brain, it's too fast, sometimes nature is so fickle, the cold-toned gray clouds unpredictably covered the seven-colored rainbow beyond the nine heavens, the originally clear sky was suddenly crowded with inky thick clouds that sank as if they were about to fall, depressing the entire world into silence, after being informed of his true situation by Dr. Lee, Bai Chen had been sitting expressionlessly at the window, his eyes lost in thought as he watched the pattering raindrop smashing down outside the window, still with the indifferent cold wind crossing his face. According to Dr. Lee, now one situation is not just something that can be solved by having surgery to remove that tumor in the brain, the so-called cancer cells. In just a few days it has already spread to the vertebral canal and even the spine and other parts of the body along with the circulation of the cerebrospinal fluid. If you want to operate now, you have to go through a period of chemotherapy. Radiotherapy and other means to see if you can suppress or eliminate the spreading cells before you can consider surgery, and you can't remove them completely. Dr. Lee gave himself two options. First, radiotherapy for a period of time, and then choose to do surgery to fight. If you are lucky, you will be able to remove part of the tumor, and you will live for a few decades, but you will be left with some serious sequelae, such as deafness, facial paralysis, hemiparesis, and so on, if you are unlucky either you become a vegetable, or you die outright. Secondly, if you spend a lot of money to support your life, and all the maintenance and medical care is in place, you might still be able to live for a year or two. Anyway, it's just a matter of how long you live. But if you want to be completely cured, it's already impossible. As for how to choose, Bai Chen himself didn't know what to do, saying that he'd give it some time to think about it first. Since the growth period of cancer also has periods of time, after this period of rapid proliferation will be stabilized for a period of time, so Director Li did not say anything more. In the face of this sudden bad news, Bai Chin didn't even know how to laugh. Bai Chin didn't even know whether he should laugh at whether God was playing tricks on him, or whether he should cry bitterly to vent the injustice of fate. 
On this day, Bai Chen did not do anything else. Bai Chen did not have any other action, just like a lost soul sitting in front of the windowsill, listening to the sound of the rain and stayed in a daze, until late at night, only to return to their own bed, sleep peacefully and quietly. The next day and even the third day remained the same. During this period, Dr. Li made a trip over, Xiao Chang and several other nurses also made a trip over, and no matter what they said or consoled, Bai Chen just smiled and gently said, I am fine, although Bai Chen was smiling, but they all found that Bai Chen's eyes that were originally full of hope, became as dull as before, perhaps he had lost hope, or perhaps he had lost interest. On the fourth day, Bai Chen took the initiative to tell PDD, he abandoned the game, and will not come to the semifinals. When he learned this news, PDD was even more dumbfounded. It's no exaggeration to say, this program can be so hot, Bai Chen completely have half of the credit ah, especially now that we've reached the semifinals. If the audience knew about this, it would be great. If the viewers found out, would they not drown their own broadcasting room in spittle? Just like the West cannot lose Jerusalem, they cannot lose Bai Chen ah. The first thing I did was to ask the audience to help me. PDD then kept asking Bai Chen what had happened. What had happened? Can you come back and continue singing? Even with Bai Chin did not say, PDD immediately have to come to the Magic Hospital Award Award to see to find themselves. In the face of this scene, Bai Chen can only tell him his real situation. When PDD learned that Bai Chen is suffering from cancer, but also silent, after a long, long time before sending a few messages of comfort to show understanding, even let himself give him a bank card number, he will play a million to himself first used to cure the disease, if embarrassed can be counted as borrowed. For PDD's kindness, Bai Chen still refused. After all, the money he has already got his hands on. Before the song royalties net suppression cloud directly paid a third of the first to himself. The rest is to wait for the song to be recorded and handed over to the other party to pay the final payment. Although at this time Bai Chen completely lost the mood to sing. But this is, after all, has been promised to the other side of the matter. And how to say also have to find a time to go to the song recorded to hand over to the other side. Time passes day by day like this. Maybe it's because the weather is not favorable. And then after learning the bad news, Magic City has been shrouded in cloudy and rainy weather for a week, and it looked foggy. On this day, Bai Chen was still sitting in front of the window sill in a somewhat muddled state, looking out the window with a numb face at the drizzle. After these few days of contemplation, one might have thought about it, but then again, it seemed like he hadn't, although people always die. But when one is so clearly seeing hope, even hope is in front of one's eyes, and one is just short of the final kick the feeling of shattered hope, it was really a feeling of helplessness and bitterness, alas, system, is there really no way out, Bai Chen asked with a hint of unwillingness, only to see the system silent for a while before saying in his own mind, this system can make the host walk away with less pain, Bai Chen, I thank you, ugh, just as Bai Chen was looking out the window in a daze, an unexpected yet reasonable person suddenly made a call to himself, ding, 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 ding. Bai Chen froze for a moment after picking up his cell phone and looking at it. It was his own sister. Beep. Hello? Old Bai. Are you still in Magic City? Are you busy? Listening to the other party's familiar and unfamiliar name. The corner of Bai Chen's mouth pulled slightly, due to the fact that when he was a child, his character had been on the side of solitary and mature. Right. That his more jumpy and big-headed sister Bai Jia had often called herself Old Bai. But along with the passage of time, when I was a child, I got tired of my sister every day, but also because of their own careers. Feelings of two people are not often contact, and occasionally send a message to each other during the New Year's holidays so, but no matter how and how not contact, two people's affection is still always in. Old sister ah, where else would I be if I wasn't in Magic City? Is something wrong? As soon as Bai Chen's words fell, he saw Bai Jie sneer and say, You brat, can't I find you if there's nothing wrong? I just happened to finish my business trip recently and happened to have to stay in Magic City for a day, so don't think too much, don't think too much, I didn't come here to see you, I just wanted to have some fun, and it just so happens that you know your way around Mordor, come over and be a guide for me, listening to his sister's heartless words, Bai Chen suddenly smiled, revealing his first smile in the past few days, okay, what time will you arrive, get to the airport around 5pm I guess, get ready to greet your old sister, Hoof. the other party didn't exchange much pleasantries after saying that, and directly hung up the phone. Two o'clock. Looking at the time, there are still seven or eight hours left. It's still quite generous, but after all, I can't wear this hospital gown to pick her up, right? In any case, I have to go back to the small single room I rented to change my clothes first. Thinking about it, 
Bai Chen went to the nurse's station and talked to the nurse on duty. Bai Chen then went to the nurse's station and greeted the nurse on duty, then left the hospital. Back to the simple small single room, Bai Chen first comfortably took a bath, then rested for a while at home. After waiting for the afternoon to be almost time, he put on a set of casual clothes, drove a mobility scooter that his family had bought for himself when he graduated, and drove towards the Magic City Airport. Outside the Magic City Airport, 17, 20, the light rain was still pattering down. After Bai Chen waited for almost 20 minutes, he saw the familiar figure from his memory running all the way over. His how come it's raining in this magic city too? Annoying as hell. Hey old Bai, haven't seen you for a long time, why are you getting more and more like a white boy? Bai Jia who came in front of the car first froze for a moment after looking at Bai Chen's somewhat pale face. Then she opened her mouth and made a snide remark, looking at Bai Jia's familiar face as well as her character. Bai Chen laughed while opening the passenger door and said, Hey isn't it good to be a white boy? Finding a rich woman to fight for 50 years less is also pretty sweet. Listening to Bai Chen's words, Bai Jia rolled her eyes and said, Can't you have some ambition? No more. Quickly drive. Go to your place first. My clothes are all wet. I need to change first. After that, Bai Chen started the car and headed back. Bai Chen started the car and drove back to the road. On the way, the two of them also chatted with each other. And in no time, they arrived inside the hut they were living in. I'll go change first. Let's go eat something together. I haven't eaten all day and I'm starving to death. After entering the house, Bai Jia went straight to the bathroom to change out of her rain-soaked clothes, while Bai Chen swiped his cell phone with nothing to do outside. Hashtag tonight PDD Song Club semifinals officially kicked off. Who can actually advance to the final? Let's wait and see. Hashtag PDD. Hashtag will Bai Chen sing a new song tonight? Hashtag. Hashtag at 7.30 p.m. The best of the year PDD song contest will begin. So come and enjoy the audiovisual feast. Hashtag. After watching both the short videos and the various headlines about tonight's PDD semifinals, Bai Chen suddenly drifted off for a moment. Today is the semifinal? It doesn't matter. Anyway, it had nothing to do with him now. After a few minutes, then he saw Bai Jia change into a light green long dress and walk out. Hurry, help me see if it looks good? Looking at his sister's eyes that had some small expectations, Bai Chen nodded helplessly and, good looking you look good in anything, is it okay? Although Bai Chen was helpless in this regard. To be honest, Bai Jia was only three years older than herself, and on top of that, the Bai family's jeans were also very good, so it was true that whatever she wore looked pretty good. Ugh asking you is a waste of time. Just wear this out. Eh? By the way, are you not staying here lately? Hearing Bai Jia's sudden question, Bai Chen froze for a moment. From the time he was diagnosed with cancer until now, it seemed like it had been almost a month, and it was true that he hadn't been back much within that month, having stayed in the hospital the entire time. How did she find out though? Thinking, Bai Chen then looked at this house of his. If he looked closely, he could see that the floor, the desk, and even the chopsticks were covered in dust. So it did seem like he hadn't been home for a long time. Old Bai, you're not out fooling around, are you? Honestly, where have you been these past few days when you weren't here? Listening to his sister's forced questioning, Bai Chen shrugged without changing his color and said, No ah, uh, I recently live in the company side. After all, all my co-workers are there it's easier to live there. Regarding his physical condition, Bai Chen didn't know how to tell his family, so he could only hide it until he was ready, or wait for an appropriate time to say it. Oh, yeah, looking at Bai Chen's look, although Bai Jia was skeptical, she didn't continue to pursue the matter, but touched her stomach and said, right, is there a place nearby where you can eat and drink? I'm tired for the past few days, so I can relax a bit, have a drink, you still want to drink? Bai Chen frowned slightly. Egu let's just have a drink and relax. I've been bored to death lately. Looking at Bai Jie's look that had suddenly turned sad, Bai Chen said after thinking for a while, let's go to a nearby night market. We can just walk there. It just so happens that the rain has stopped. Okay, I'll listen to you. The two of them walked for about 20 minutes before arriving at a night market. Since it was 7 or 8 o'clock in the evening, it was the moment when people came out to relax and take a break after eating and doing their business. As a result, the entire street was filled with people and bustling with activity. Looking at this street that was completely different from the hospital that was full of silence, fireworks, and people, Bai Chen suddenly felt that the haze that had been hanging over his heart for the past few days seemed to have been dispersed a little bit. The two of them came to a tavern called Time, and after looking at the atmosphere inside seemed good, they went in. After entering the tavern, after looking at the wooden, retro, cozy set, Bai Chen nodded slightly. He still preferred this kind of quiet bar. The kind of disco was really too noisy. Seeing that there were still quite a lot of people in the tavern at this time, 
nearly all of the general seats were occupied, so the two siblings looked for an empty seat in the corner and made their way down. What to eat? Bai Chen asked after scanning the QR code for ordering with his cell phone. Bai Jia in front of her rolled her eyes again after watching Bai Chen's movements and said, You rest, my treat. Don't spend a bit of money recklessly. Keep some for yourself. With that, he took out his cell phone, scanned the QR code and ordered a number of snacks, stir-fried dishes, and then ordered two cups of this place's special blend, while waiting for the food to be served. Bai Chen suddenly asked, Eh, right sis, why did you suddenly come to Magic City? Only to see by GSI after hearing this, and somewhat helplessly say, Alas don't even mention it. Our group received a single. The result is that little cute party A does not know anything but also picky. How to change it is not happy. Then our team leader let me go to find that little cutie face to face. Talk for a few days now is also considered to be a good deal. When I went back to the headquarters, I happened to pass by Mordor. So I came to see you. I don't want to talk about that cutie. I'm upset when I mention it. Looking at his sister who looked like a whining woman. Bai Chen smiled and comforted her. Relax. Work. It's not always like this. Listening to Bai Chen's words, Bai Jia raised her hand and gently knocked his forehead, rolling her eyes and said, This guy of yours, why do you still look so old-fashioned? Right. How's your work over here? Do you have a girlfriend? If you do, then ask her out. I'll help you out. Bai Chen sniffed and paused slightly, then shook his head and said, I don't have time to talk about it. I'm too busy at work. Bai Jia looked at Bai Chen after hearing this and nodded without saying anything. After a while, the snacks and drinks were sent over by the waiter, only to see Bai Jia receive the special drink, and after a slight sip suddenly looked at Bai Chen, frowning with a hint of uncertainty, she asked, You, have you been alright lately? Hmm. After hearing his sister's words, Bai Chen, who was in the middle of chucking vegetables to eat, suddenly froze for a moment. I, I'm okay, eating and sleeping. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just that you don't look too good. Bai Jia took a bite of food and drank a mouthful of wine before continuing. And, I always feel like you're hiding something from me. Why? What's wrong? If you don't talk to mom and dad, you can always talk to me as your sister. Right? Looking at his elder sister's serious eyes, Bai Chen suddenly felt his heart tremble for a moment. But then he laughed again, and directly stuffed the food into his mouth while chewing and vaguely said, What can I hide from you? Ah yes. A few days ago I heard my mom say that you are ready to go back on May 1st, is to talk about the marriage thing? Well, your brother-in-law's side has been talking about almost, I go back to discuss the time and so on, estimated that maybe in the next year that a few days to tie the knot it, when the time to your kid also pull the marriage, but also the oldest not small. Listening to his sister's words Bai Chin smiled bitterly and did not answer. After all, wait until next year words, they will be like what do not know it. Just as the two siblings were chatting in the tavern. The live broadcast room on PDD's side directly exploded. Crap. How come there's no brother buy in today's list? I saw it yesterday. I thought it was a bug. Why isn't it there today? It can't be that he's not going to participate. Right? No way. Why don't you come out and explain? Looking at the hundreds of thousands of people in the live broadcast room who were asking about Bai Chen's whereabouts, the two judges, Mr. Chen and Mr. Jang, were also a bit confused. Eh? Is Bai Chen not on the list? It seems like I don't see him. What's going on? I don't know. Let's wait for Mr. Lu to come and ask him. He should know something. After almost five or six minutes, I saw PDD appear in the live broadcast room. Looking at the screen full of pop-ups were asking about Bai Chen's downfall. PDD was also a bit helpless and could only sit in front of the screen with a pre-prepared speech to open his mouth and say, Ahem. Good evening viewers. Welcome to tonight's semi-finals of the Song Club. And thank you for your support as well as the support of the judges and teachers. Before the semi-finals begin, I have some bad news for you. That is, unfortunately, due to his own problems, our player Bai Chen has chosen to withdraw. Withdrawal? The moment they heard this news, the viewers waiting in the live broadcast room froze for a moment. After the entire live broadcast room stood still for three seconds, the, the pop-up screen instantly exploded. I'm Geneva. Bouncing. F asterisk CK. What's going on? How did you suddenly withdraw? Nima is there some kind of shady deal? Someone forced Bai Chen to withdraw? Or did Sao Pig take money and have the winner decided? It's not interesting. I came here because of Bai Chen. Since he withdrew, there's nothing more to see. I'm out of here. Among them, some pop-ups wondered why Bai Chen had withdrawn. But there were also some inexplicably offensive pop-ups that popped up. Hey it's good to withdraw from the competition. What's the use of only singing some of these six songs? Maybe he only knows these three songs, and now he can't come up with any good songs to compete, right? Indeed, 
This kind of person is not worthy to be compared to Flora, and he is also a new star in the music industry. Dream on. After watching this very targeted pop-up screen appear, many of Bai Chan's hardcore fans instantly steeled themselves against him. This caused the already messy live room to become even more chaotic. At this time, looking at the situation in his live room, PDD was also helpless. After all, in Bai Chen's situation, he couldn't possibly force people to compete, could he? As for those welcoming pop-ups, he couldn't possibly respond to them, letting the house manager block or kill them. I also feel very sorry for Bai Chen's withdrawal, but it's all about factors that can't be denied, and if it's possible, I also hope that Bai Chen will be able to come back here again. Sai I won't say much, let's leave the stage to the players. After PDD finished speaking, the host got on the mic and went through the flow. Starting tonight's semifinals, the two of them, Chen Yuan and Zhang Yele, were also very curious and puzzled as to why Bai Chen was competing, but obviously now is not the time to ask. Can only wait for the end of the song club to ask PDD in the end what happened. Bai Chen abandoned this news. In just a few minutes it was on the hot search again. The news of Bai Chen's abandonment of the competition was again on the hot search in just a few minutes, causing many people to pay attention to this matter. At this time, Bai Chen on the other side didn't know anything about it. With the passage of time, the people inside the tavern slowly grew. Bai Chen and Bai Jia had finished the special blend they had ordered at the beginning, and then ordered two dozen more beers, causing them to get slightly drunk. In fact, after being diagnosed with brain cancer, Bai Chen's mood has not been good, and sometimes he would like to use alcohol to eliminate his boredom, but he has not dared to drink for fear that it would affect his condition. But now, Bai Chen may have figured it out, or maybe it's a complete swing. He doesn't care if it affects his condition or not. He doesn't have many years left to live anyway. Just drink and do whatever you want. He poured bottle after bottle into his stomach. Bai Jia was a bit surprised to see the scene. Yo so few years have passed. Why are you suddenly able to drink? Listening to his sister's words. Bai Chen waved his hand drunkenly and said. It's just a way to drown my sorrows. Drinking away her sorrows? Bai Jia suddenly stared at Bai Chen and said. No. You're definitely hiding something from me. Ever since I was a kid. I've known every fart you've ever made. Speak up. What is it? In the face of his sister's questioning, perhaps it was because he had been drinking. Bai Chen lowered his head and rubbed his hair in a tangled mess, wanting to say something but unable to do so no matter what. Seeing this scene by Jia's eyes flashed with a hint of worry. What the hell happened? A Gu. It's really nothing. I'm simply a little annoyed by Chun, who had hesitated for a long time. Still didn't know how to say it. Bai Chen. I'm your sister. When you were a kid, when you blew up cow dung and blew yourself in the face, or when you peed your pants, you cried and came to me to tell me, what is it that I can't know? Aya, uh, it's really nothing. Faced with his old sister's relentless pressing, Bai Chen had to find a way to digress from the topic. And so, then he set his eyes on a stage with various musical instruments in the middle of the bar not far away. As sis, it seems like you can order songs here. What do you want to hear? I'll order you a song. Boss, boss come here. Looking at Bai Chen's poor diversion skills, Bai Jie sighed and shook her head somewhat helplessly, and didn't say much. What's wrong little brother? Is there something wrong? After seeing a mustachioed boss come over, Bai Chen inquired that. Boss you can order songs here right? I'll order a song for my old sister. Hearing Bai Chen's words, the boss touched his head and smiled. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, my friend, the resident band is busy today, so I can't order a song. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, the older sister said with a smile on her face. Hoof, you can't do anything about it, can you? After seeing this, Bai Chen frowned. After looking at the fully equipped stage, eh, that's right, boss, if you can't order a song, can you go up and sing by yourself? Hearing Bai Chen's words, the boss nodded and smiled, saying, sing by yourself? Of course you can, this is a music tavern, do you want to go up and try? At this time, Bai Jia, who was by the side, stared at Bai Chen with wide eyes after hearing this, looking at him unbelievably and saying, hey, older brother, it's not so bad, right? Weren't you afraid of performing on stage when you were studying? Not to mention singing. You can't even speak well. Is it possible that you're hiding something? You'd rather go on stage than talk about it? Listening to his older sister's words Bai Chen breathlessly rolled his eyes in the same style, turned his head to the boss and said, I'll give it a try. Trouble. With that, he walked towards the stage in the center of the tavern. Hey, hey. Only to see that the boss who walked onto the stage picked up the microphone and then tried the sound for a couple of lines before handing the microphone over to Bai Chen. When the people inside the tavern heard the commotion, they all looked over with a bit of curiosity, watching the action, facing the gazes of these strangers. Bai Chen didn't feel uncomfortable, and with a slight smile, 
He looked at his older sister sitting in a corner and said, Ah, uh, excuse me for a moment. Friends, I'd like to dedicate a special song to a special person. The song is called Sister. I hope you'll like it. With that, he asked the bar owner for a guitar. And as soon as the words left his mouth, the people inside the tavern on stage applauded facetiously. Good. Pa 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 pa. When the applause slowly stopped, Bai Chin gently plucked the strings with his fingers. Only a pleasant, melodious melody floated out from it, and many people slowly shook their bodies to the rhythm. The entire tavern was quiet, waiting for Bai Chin to speak. Even the owner of the tavern had secretly turned off the lights around him, leaving only the one light above Bai Chen's head. Everyone's eyes converged on Bai Chen, who was quietly plucking the strings in the center of the tavern. Only Bai Chen opened his mouth with a slight smile and sang. When I was little in school the teacher always said you couldn't beat me. I also hid in the corner and laughed secretly. Rushing out of the classroom welfare club, on credit of the favorite few mando, you gave me the coupon. Flower on the face was a game. And grandma sang a flower opera with a phonograph. At this time, and after by Jia, who was sitting in the corner, heard these lyrics, shivered lightly. Along with the lyrics, the memories that were dusty in the depths of his mind and from his childhood slowly surfaced, like flashes of light passing through his mind. The lyrics of this song may not be that flashy, and the melody is not that bright, but it was that simple and unadorned sincerity. It captivated the listeners in the tavern. Many people spontaneously used their hands to clap the rhythm. Some people took out their cell phones and turned on the flash to shake, and some people turned on their cell phone's video function to record all this. The song continued, After growing up now you will be a mother and a wife. I remember when I was a child making house mud like this. When will the paper airplanes you folded fly away in my childhood? When will you fly back to me? Smearing mud on your face was a game, chasing me barefoot to teach you a lesson. At this time, by Jia's eyes had already become moist as hell. However, a smile emerged on the corner of her mouth, her eyes softly looking at Bai Chen on the stage, letting the tears cross her cheeks from her eyes and fall low to the ground, and not only by Jia, some men with sisters under the tavern, after hearing this song, also instantly tensed up, maybe in the old days when they were children, the siblings would often fight or quarrel, but somehow, accompanied by the day by day, their own slow growth, this kind of affection seems to be slowly worn out by the time like, become ethereal, so that the original very intimate two people from the family to become relatives, just like the paper airplanes that flew out when they were there, it just flew farther and farther away, unable to turn back, just a man sitting in front of the stage, when he heard this, he couldn't hold his head in his hands and cried, he thought about how when he was a child, his sister studied in the city, and when she came back once a month, she would bring back lots and lots of snacks and delicious food for herself, and it wasn't until later that he realized the snacks his mother had given to his sister. He realized that the pocket money his mother gave to his sister was actually not much. Not long ago, my sister got married that day, even though I was reluctant to let my sister leave. But in the end, I could only hide at the end of the silent white tears. After all, that was her big day. Even under the infection of Bai Chen's song, some only children suddenly thought, how nice it would be if they had a sister. And the tavern owner on the side nodded with appreciation in his eyes as he listened to Bai Chen's song. Being a music tavern owner himself, he still knew a little bit about this music aspect. Although the melody and lyrics of the song sung by Bai Chen were very simple, it didn't hinder the true feelings that flowed out of it. Often the more simple the song, the more able to move the heart. Moreover, he hadn't heard this song before. I think he wrote it specially for his sister. My sister has a pair of cute tiger teeth. Big hand holding my little hand, accompanying me as I grow up. My sister has long black hair. Find a beautiful girl in the future. Must look like her. Bek Tatsu on the stage held his guitar and used his sincere voice to tell his feelings for his sister. Many of the empathetic audience members also sank into the sincere song. Even after the entire song was finished, the entire tavern was quiet for a moment. Snap snap snap. After a few seconds, the, along with the first applause, it drove a series of applause to ring out. Clapping that was continuous. Looking around at these clapping people. Bai Jia also wiped the tears from the corners of her eyes, came to the front of the stage and looked at her brother who was a head taller than herself, smiled and stretched out her arms, gently hugging Bai Chen. You guy, how could you suddenly give me this show? Thanks ah, this is a song I really like. Looking at his old sister who seemed to have already cried a lot, Bai Chen also gave her a gentle hug. Afterwards, just as Bai Chen was about to walk off the stage, a social cow little brother who was in the tavern suddenly shouted out, Don't leave. Let's have another one. Yeah, yeah, he sings so well, and he's so handsome. Why don't you give me another one? Look at my brother. He was drinking well. You made him cry and look for his sister. He'll have to make up for it. Yes, I was drinking quite happily, 
But when you sang this, I suddenly felt bad, I have to make up for it. Looking at these people looking for all kinds of reasons to let themselves make up for one, Bai Chen was also a bit helpless, under the coaxing of various passers-by. Even the boss came forward and looked at Bai Chen and said with a smile, Little brother, how about another one? Today thanks to your blessing, singing introduced a lot of people. In a song I will give you free and send you a few bottles of wine how? He said. The boss turned to look at the crowd and shouted, Everyone come with me. One more, one more, one more. Woohoo yes. Come one, come one, come one. Accompanied by the boss's words, the atmosphere of the entire venue was suddenly pushed to a climax. Looking at the crowd that was so excited, Bai Chen thought for a moment then returned to the middle of the stage and said, Um, then let's sing one last one. The people who had been uproarious immediately quieted down after hearing this. The lights on the tavern were once again on Bai Chen, only to see Bai Chen lowered his eyes seemed to be thinking about something, gently strumming the guitar. After a few seconds, after a few seconds, he looked up at the crowd under the stage, who had been slightly drunk, whether because they were happy or sad, and then looked at the moon outside the window which was covered by dark clouds for a large part of the day, and after a deep sigh said softly that, Hmm, let's give a song called Fading Sorrows to, give it to everyone. Sorrow? The title of the song was a bit interesting. Don't many people who come to the tavern alone to drink wine just want to use wine to dispel their sorrows? The tavern owner who heard this song title brightened up, and immediately had a lot of expectations for this song. The audience under the stage was also interested in this song they hadn't heard before, and they all quieted down to wait for Bai Chen to open his mouth, accompanied by the slow sound of the guitar. A simple, yet lonely intro wandered throughout the entire tavern. Even though it was only played on the guitar, the melody was quite beautiful. In just a moment, people were attracted to this lonely intro. After the prelude ended, Bai Chen slightly closed his eyes and slowly sang in that hoarse voice, When you walk into this pleasure ground, carrying all your dreams and thoughts on your back, all colors of faces, all colors of makeup, no one remembers what you look like, three rounds of drinks later you're in the corner, stubbornly singing a bitter song, hearing it drowned in the clamor, you pick up the glass and say to yourself, the moment by Chen's unique and incomparable, storytelling voice came out, everyone felt goosebumps turn up, the lyrics hit the crowd straight in the heart, in this world, perhaps everyone has everyone's dream, but along with going deeper into society after, only to realize that everyone wears their own masks, and one is no exception, wearing the same mask, slowly, not only others, but even myself have forgotten what I look like at first, with the lyrics laid out sentence by sentence, it exactly corresponded to the scene inside the tavern at that moment, some people are full of smiles, celebrating with their friends, but some people are sitting alone in the corner, drinking wine, they want to drink to drown their sorrows, but they only drink to drown their sorrows, but they are only trying to drown their sorrows with alcohol, at that moment, by Chen's chorus came out, a toast to the sunrise, a toast to the moonlight, wake up my yearning, and soften the cold window, so I can fly against the wind without looking back, I'm not afraid of the rain in my heart and the frost under my eyes, one cup for the homeland, one cup for the faraway land, guard my goodness and urge me to grow up, so the road between north and south is no longer long, the soul has no place to lay its head, boom, the moment they heard the chorus, everyone felt their skylines tingle, these lyrics, accompanied by Bai Chen's lonesome voice, were like a sharp sword plunging straight into the depths of everyone's hearts, prying open a crack, peeping into the lonely self hidden in the depths, in the morning it's the sunrise, in the night it's the moonlight, a man with a bottle of wine, no friends, to the sunrise and the moonlight, to the sunrise and the moonlight, in front of me is a faraway place, behind me is my hometown, since I have something to hold on to in my heart, here's to the faraway place, here's to the hometown. The feeling of loneliness that penetrates the soul is brought out to the fullest extent at this moment. At that moment, the entire tavern was silent, so quiet that even the undulating breathing of everyone could be heard clearly. Even some of the people who had been wandering around in the magic city for a long time, after listening to Bai Chen's muffled singing voice, the lonesomeness deep inside their hearts instantly used their hearts, and with one hand clenching the already empty wine cup, their eyes became slightly red, and the tavern owner is also was ruthlessly shocked too. What kind of life experience was it that created such a stirring song? Every word and every sentence epitomized the lonely souls of people. The world is large, encountered a lot of people, but walking to the end, look back at the time, but I realized that I am always alone. Just when the crowd already felt that this song was shocking enough and deep enough into the soul. The, accompanied by the guitar sound that stirred up the heartstrings, Bai Chen sang softly as if he were muttering, One cup for tomorrow, one cup for the past, the body that supports me thickens my shoulders, though I never believed in the so-called high mountains and long rivers, life is too short to remember, 
one for freedom, one for death, forgive me for my mediocrity and dispel the confusion, well, it's always a scribble after dawn, sober people are the most ridiculous, sober people are the most ridiculous, when he sings this part, Beckjean's voice is not full of silence, in his disregard for life and death, he had a hint of relief, the kind of relief that is forced by reality, it was a kind of helpless and bitter relief, at this moment, the people in the entire tavern were frozen like petrified, even forgetting how to breathe, it was thought that the four cups of wine in front of them, I thought that the previous four cups of wine, to the sunrise, to the moonlight, to the faraway place, to the hometown was already amazing enough, but I didn't expect it, but what I didn't expect was that the next four toasts, to tomorrow, to the end of time, to freedom, to death, is the real bomb, and these eight toasts, are not people's lives, one cup is stronger and more bitter than the other, and one cup hits the heart harder than the other, even the tavern owner was completely mad, this, is this song something you can hear in a shithole like mine, is it a song that I can hear without spending any money, after the entire song was finished, Bai Chen slowly withdrew his voice, closing his eyes and gently plucking the strings, a melodious and soothing whistling sound slowly blew out of his starting mouth, soothing the hearts of the crowd, looking at Bai Chen's eyes slightly closed look, it was as if he was walking back to the horse lights, Bai Jia in the corner covered her heart, her own heart was aching, looking at Bai Chen's lone figure under the only spotlight, Bai Jia only felt her heart trembling, as if it was being poked through by spikes, although he was illuminated by the dazzling light of the spotlight, she, I could feel the darkness in his heart that no matter how strong the light was, no matter how strong the light was, it couldn't dispel the darkness, what had happened to him in the days we hadn't seen each other over the years, why did he sing life is too short to remember? Why did he sing a cup to freedom, a cup to death, seemingly free, but in reality, he felt so helpless? What happened to you? What happened to you? After the song was finished, Bai Chen, who was sitting on the stage, was also slightly dazed or tired. When he looked at his older sister in the corner, he found that Bai Jia was also looking at him with complicated eyes. After seeing this gaze Bai Chen shook his head deeply inside. He quietly walked off the stage, and at that moment, the the audience underneath the stage was also sitting in their original positions in a daze. They were still keeping their heads down, immersed in Bai Chen's song, and were slow to come back to their senses. Since everyone had been drinking, it was the time when their emotions were amplified infinitely, causing countless people to see their own shadows in this song, bringing them into the mood of the song, and instantly feeling their eyes moist and their noses sore. One of the old man even picked up a bottle of beer to show off in his mouth. Originally, he had come to drink to relieve his boredom. But after listening to Bai Chen's two songs, his heart became even more depressed. After almost almost a minute, until the owner of the tavern slowed down and took the lead in applauding. After the owner's applause, everyone present sobered up as if they were enlightened. Instantly, the entire room resounded with applause like thunder. Well sung. Good. Crap that's awesome. This drink is worth it. Shit. Indeed. I don't even need any food. Just listening to this song is enough for me to drink for a day. Let's have another one. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have another one. Just as the crowd looked up and prepared for Bai Chen to have another one, they, but they realized that, there was no one on the stage. Ah Lu, people Lu, do not know ah, how to turn back to God is gone. After seeing Bai Chen left at some point, the crowd was a little confused. The tavern owner was even more remorseful. He already knew music. Naturally, he was able to hear how excellent Bai Chen's song was. One could even exaggerate a bit. This was the best and most soul-stirring song he had ever heard in the music industry in recent years. He was also thinking that he might be able to enter into a little partnership with Bai Chun to increase the popularity of his tavern. But unfortunately, he didn't even know the other party's name, let alone their contact information. But fortunately, the video of Bai Chen's performance had all been recorded by himself, so he might be able to use it as publicity for the tavern. At this time, after Bai Chen and Bai Jia left the tavern, the two of them were walking silently on the pedestrian street. Only from time to time, Bai Jia used her afterglow to look at Bai Chen's bleak eyes, which were like a puddle of stagnant water, and only felt that her heart was aching vaguely. On him, what on earth had happened to make him turn into what he was today? Although it was incomprehensible, but Bai Jia didn't ask anything, and Bai Chen didn't say anything either, so the two of them fell into a silence. After walking for almost 20 minutes, when they arrived at their own doorstep, Bai Chen suddenly opened his mouth and asked, Right sis, where are you sleeping tonight? Do you want me to deal with a night there? I'll just make a bunk. Listening to Bai Chen's words, Bai Jia shook her head and said, No need. You only have enough room there for one person. My hotel is already booked. I'll go directly to the hotel. Saying that, then he took out his cell phone and showed Bai Chen the hotel that had been booked. 
Oh, then I'll drive you for a while? In the face of Bai Chen's good intentions, Bai Jie smiled and shook her head and said, No need, you rest yours. I'll just take a cab there. Not much more to say. I have to catch a plane back to the company tomorrow morning. Get some rest. Bai Chen didn't say anything more after seeing this, waved his hand and said, Okay, then you should rest early too. I know. With that, Bai Jie turned around and prepared to go to her own room. Bai Jie then turned around and prepared to walk towards the hotel she had booked. And after seeing this, Bai Chen also took out his key and opened the door to his room and walked into his home. And what he didn't know was that, after entering the door himself, Bai Jie didn't leave immediately. Rather, she looked at her own house under the apartment building and stood in place for a long time before leaving with a deep sigh. At this time, Bai Chen, who had returned to the hut, first painfully washed himself in the morning before sitting somewhat tiredly on a small sofa inside the house, looking ahead with some eyes lost in thought. After just a few drinks in the tavern, Bai Chen seems to have figured it out. That song of sorrow was not only for others, but also for himself. As the lyrics of the song said, life is too short to be nostalgic. Since his cancer condition was finalized, so what? At least I am still alive. I can still eat, eat, drink and sing, so why should I dwell on an ending that will only come later or even in the future? I was so confused for a while before. In the final analysis, is it not that he is still afraid of death? And now the ending is actually not important. Life is a train that has been driving forward. Since they already know where the end station is, then do not care about it. Cherish the rest of the journey in the scenery outside the window is. After thinking about this, Bai Chen felt a lot more relaxed. And at this moment, the, the cell phone ding dong a sound rang. Open the cell phone to see. It was a message from my sister. Bai Chen, I know that there are some things that you may not want to say or know how to say them. But no matter when, if you are willing to say them, I've always been there. Looking at this paragraph sent by his old sister, Bai Chen instantly felt a warmth in his heart and smiled as he replied, Aha, got it. Subsequently, Bai Chen looked at the time has also been 11 o'clock, then also did not play more cell phone, directly went to bed and slept over. At this time, Bai Chen did not know that he had withdrawn from the competition. Bai Chen still does not know because he withdrew from the Song Friends tournament. In the internet rolled up how big a storm. Hot search. Hashtag PDD Song Friends match Bai Chen suddenly withdrew from the match. This is the distortion of human nature or the loss of morality. The reason behind in the end. Hashtag PDD. Hashtag who the hell is Bai Chen? Where the hell did he go and why did he drop out? Hashtag. Hashtag Bai Chen withdrew from the competition. The well-known rising singer Wu Jihua commented, probably Lang talent Jiang exhaustion, but also take out that a few works. Such singers can only be said to be a flash in the pan. Please pay attention to my upcoming release of the new song. Definitely will not let you disappointment. Hashtag. Among the countless hot searches for Bai Chen, the one with the loudest discussion was undoubtedly the one where Brilliance Rain spoke out, and countless Bai Chen's fans flooded in wanting to speak up for Bai Chen. But Naiha, the other side's fan base was just too big, and most of them were still some brainless defenders. Hmph, what third rate network singer is worthy of being compared to our flower god? Don't come to touch porcelain, okay? I don't know what to say, but I don't know what to say. You plus the flower god can write the bottom of the sea can write a meat and a vegetarian such a song. Funny, right? Chi that kind of painless song is also a song. Listen to Woogie Hannah's songs more often. That's what I call a song. Yeah, yeah. And how many hit songs has the flower god created since her debut? What the hell is Beck Tatsu? Your flower god's early songs were okay. But did he write the most popular ones himself? Didn't he buy them all? One thing is for sure. I used to listen to Woji Flower's songs too. But I don't know when this thing learned how to yell and sing so badly that I stopped liking it. Don't worry about these idiots. Our flower god is the only god in the Chinese music industry. Don't care about what these people think. Fans of the two families have been arguing in the media for a long time. And there are even some who are trying to get attention. There are even some bloggers and marketing numbers that are looking for eyeballs. And for the sake of this huge flow of traffic, they intentionally ignite the fire. And directly take the title to say. Suspected that all of Bai Chen's songs are plagiarized. Because there is nothing left to plagiarize so he chose to hide and withdraw from the competition. In the face of the plagiarism claim, many people, on the other hand, didn't believe it at all. Not to mention that the copyright is in the hands of Bai Chen. That plagiarism also have to have the original song to copy ah. Uh, the whole network cannot find similar and Bai Chen sang these song songs. Talk about what plagiarism? However, this is also the status quo of the contemporary network environment. Is an individual can rely on a keyboard can be in scrupulous rumors. Fabrication of false news. But even with such fake news that could be seen at a glance. Many net names followed the trend. 
choosing to believe in it after seeing the huge number of fans of Woji Flower saying that Bai Chen was a plagiarizing dog, and how a mediocre vegetarian could possibly write such a song. Even many righteous people who hate the plagiarism incident, who couldn't find Bai Chen, directly led countless slanting keys immortal, rushed into PDD's live room, wanting to denounce Bai Chen, the PDD live broadcasting room. At this time, the semifinals of the Song Friends tournament has already ended, but the semifinals with less Bai Chen, not only let the audience feel less interesting, and even PDD feel that their song friends will lose their soul. Even the audience in the live broadcast room is cursing all over the place. The audience even cursed in the live broadcast room, saying that Bai Chen withdrew from the match with some kind of shady practices and so on. What's more, the group of rhythm dogs came over to bring the rhythm of Bai Chen's plagiarism. What's a new star in the music industry? Just a plagiarizing dog? Yeah, yeah, it sounded good to me at first but I didn't realize it was a plagiarism dog. It's not interesting. The music world is in trouble. Plagiarism. How could my brother buy plagiarize? Right. Don't listen to what you hear. Even if it's not plagiarism, so what? You don't even dare to participate in the semifinals after singing three songs. You're just a clown. You guys, Bai Chen should just play on the internet. Don't touch the god of our music scene, right? Even though many of Bai Chen's fans had been defending him during the live broadcast, they couldn't say anything to this group of internet spammers that had suddenly appeared. Looking at these spammers that had suddenly appeared, Chen Yuan and Zhang Yele, the two mentors who hadn't left yet, frowned, wanting to say something but not being able to say it very well. And when PDD saw the appearance of these pop-ups, when PDD saw these pop-ups, he instantly knew that there must be someone who was either trying to gain traffic, or deliberately smearing the rhythms brought on by Black White Chen. So he saw PDD's eyebrows frowning, and without the slightest bit of politeness, he directly disliked in the live broadcast room, saying, No, you say white Chen plagiarism, at least have to come up with evidence to ah, uh, what evidence are not put aside deliberately bring rhythm it, what a bunch of stupid things, the live room management should be sealed and killed, directly send a 365 package, right, I thought that if I said this, the pop-up screen would subside a little bit, I didn't think that this group of people not only didn't see any reasoning, but also became more arrogant, evidence, everyone saying it's evidence, Flies don't bite seamless eggs, if you're not a thief, why don't you dare to come out and prove yourself, laughing my ass off, if you don't even dare to come out to prove yourself in the semifinals, you're just being vain, I was such a fan of him before, I'm not a fan anymore, looking at this unreasonable like a mangy dog general speech, PDD suddenly was angry not light, this group of you, I don't want to say anymore, and I've already said more than once tonight that by Chen's withdrawal from the tournament was informed to me three days ago, and it was only today that I said it, to be honest, it's also my selfishness, I don't want to affect the semi-finals of the song club so I'm telling you this news today, here I can apologize to the viewers and friends who like and support Bai Chen, I'm sorry, and then I'm here to say one last time, the reason why Bai Chen withdrew from the competition is not so much speculation, due to people's privacy issues, did not go through his consent I'm not also not good to publish more, I can only say is, white Chin body out of a little problem, need to recuperate for a period of time, so chose to withdraw from the race, for which I am also very sorry, but people have to recuperate can only be so, so you spammers, sometimes give your own mouth a little virtue, don't what's spewing, lastly, thank you all for watching tonight, let's see you in a week's time for the finals, that's it for today's broadcast, bye, after saying that PDD will be directly off the broadcast, very speechless lit a cigarette fiercely inhaled up, I really can't figure it out, these little black people spraying people really do not bring cerebellum, now this network environment is really not as good as before that time. Not that the previous network environment is very good. Just really do not now such a miasma. Demons and monsters a lot. You and their reasoning. They will be the facts. And they will be the facts on the facts aside. They will only believe what they see anyway. Just when PDD was feeling very depressed. Chun Yu Huan and Zhang Yele's voices suddenly came out from the voice channel. Hey is Mr. Or still there? After hearing the voice that suddenly came out. PDD froze for a moment. After glancing at the voice channel, he realized, the two actually hadn't left yet. Eh? The two teachers are still here. Is there something wrong? Eh teacher Horish, I want to ask what's going on with Bai Chen's side? Is it convenient to talk about it now? Yeah, you just said that Bai Chen has a physical problem. What kind of problem? Is it serious? Listening to Chen Yuhuan and Zhang Yile's somewhat worried words, PDD frowned and pondered for a while before slowly saying, It's, it's kind of serious, but I'm not sure how serious it is. After hearing PDD's ambiguous words, Chun Yu Huan and Zhang Yele became even more curious. Then, then what exactly is wrong? Is it not convenient to say? After a long time, 
PDD sighed deeply and said, somewhat heavily, he, he has cancer. From his tone, he's been suffering from cancer for a while. Silence. The moment they heard this news, the two of them fell silent for a long time. At this moment, Chun Yuhuan and Zhang Yelai both instantly understood why Bai Chen's songs were always so depressing and desperate. Full of darkness, it turned out that he wasn't moaning without pain, but rather, he was the one who was in the darkness ah, maybe. What Under the Sea sings about is that he can't see the light and sings about the darkness within himself, while with What Shall I Keep You sings about his realization of life as he has also fought against his illness. All of this is his personal experience, singing about himself, and the only difference in style from the first two songs is a meat and a vegetable. Maybe it's the only tenderness or fondness he has for this world? Upon hearing the weighty news, Chen Yuhuan and Zhang Yele were slow to accept the fact that Bai Chen was suffering from cancer. Eh? Teachers, this matter was also something that I pressed Bai Chen for a long time before the reason told me. So, before PDD could finish his sentence, Chen Yuhuan and Zhang Yele nodded their heads and said, Don't worry teacher John, I understand. I also understand Bai Chen's feelings, and won't talk nonsense about this. Then let's call it a day. See you in the finals. With that said, the two exited the live broadcast room after getting the news they wanted. Perhaps by publicizing this matter, the source of all of Bai Chen's rumors would turn back to be extinguished, and even these people would turn around and care about Bai Chen, but one public opinion disappearing, there would be endless other public opinions that would pop up, for the current Bai Chen, perhaps what he wanted wasn't the concern of these people on the internet, but rather just a peaceful and quiet environment that wasn't disturbed by the outside world, although it was inconvenient to tell Bai Chen's personal matters, Chen Yuhuan and Zhang Yele still felt that they should do something, thus, after exiting the voice, the two of them coincidentally opened their social media software and edited a large paragraph to send out. Hashtag senior vocal tutor Chen Yuhuan hashtag, in the short few days I've been attending the song club, I've been deeply touched, especially for this contestant by Chen, whose singing voice always touches the heart so much. As for some of the comments on the internet, I just want to say that please keep your eyes open when you speak. Justice lies in the hearts of the people. Finally, I hope Bai Chen can recover soon and return to our stage. At Bai Chen. Hashtag Zhanyile, certain internet assholes should stop talking nonsense. Don't we know whether Bai Chen's song is plagiarized or not? Or do you think you're more professional than us? If that's okay, why don't you be the judge? Can you? Funny really. And for those of you who say Bek Tatsu is moaning without pain, there are some things you don't understand and you can choose to shut up. Please don't comment on them. Finally, at Bek Tatsu you'll be fine. We'll be waiting for you. Go for it. Any topic about Bai Chen at this moment was at the tip of the storm. It didn't take long for the news about the two to be sent out, and it led to a lot of spectators from the melon-eating public. Even Shui Zhichen, who had previously admired Bai Chen, followed suit and retweeted after seeing the news sent by the two saying, Hashtag Shui Zhichen, I dare to pack my bags. Bai Chen has nothing to do with plagiarism. These songs are all original. Please don't believe in some public opinion and fake news. But look at what the two judges said. Bai Chen seems to be sick so he dropped out. That's a shame. I'm still watching the live broadcast today. I hope Bai Chen can get well soon. We need fresh blood like you in the music industry. Go for it. Since both of them were considered well known in the circle, they spoke with a certain authority. And with the hottest Shui Jichian in recent years saying this, it made a lot of passers by still believe in this statement. Honestly, a bit reasonable, ah. If it is plagiarized, then these two have long heard out. What do you mean by reasonable, ah? White brother plagiarism is a stupid marketing number fabricated. Not even a piece of evidence. I just read it. There's no evidence. It's all just speculation. If it's not plagiarism, then why did he quit? Upstairs, are you blind? Didn't you see that Bai Chen is not feeling well? Right. And PDD has already said that Bai Chen has been in the hospital. It seems to be in the Magic City Hospital. I've seen it before. I'm really embarrassed to be black. I like Bai Chen to get well earlier. I actually like listening to his songs. In just a few hours, after the three professionals supported Bai Chen, the number of people with Bai Chen's plagiarism rhythm instantly decreased a lot. This is a scene that's true and unparalleled on the online environment. Even those who were furiously spraying plagiarism a second ago, after seeing that quite a few people were speaking up for Bai Chen, they chose to support Bai Chen again. It was really the good guys and bad guys all being performed by one person. In this way, the people on the internet turned their heads, not caring about whether Bai Chen plagiarized or not. Instead, they focused on the real reason why Bai Chen withdrew from the competition. Early the next morning, after experiencing a whole week of cloudy and rainy Mordor, it finally cleared up and the sun rose today. At this time, Bai Chen, who was still at home, had just woken up from his sleep and was unaware of the extremely dramatic scene on the internet last night. But even if he knew, with Bai Chen's nature, 
he wouldn't care about anything. Ah, eh. After stretching comfortably, Ai Chen got up and went to wash up, preparing to go back to the hospital later. After a night of thinking last night, Ai Chen also realized that he had to face all this, although he could not choose the end, but he could choose to use what kind of posture towards the end. Director Li gave his first treatment plan, naturally rejected it. After all, who would like to lie on that stiff and cold bedpan to spend the rest of their lives, since they can live a few years, then of course also choose the latter. After coming to the hospital, Bai Chen found Director Li and talked in detail about some of the options for follow-up radiotherapy treatment. Summarized it is, the more money you spend, the better your treatment will be and the longer you can live. All the costs of all the conditioning, instrumentation and medication costs are calculated. Not a few hundred or even tens of millions of dollars cannot run. After listening to these words, Bai Chen had to sigh. Fortunately, he now also has the ability to make money and can pay for these costs, which is also considered to be unfortunate in a million fortunate it. After chatting with Director Li, Bai Chen returned to the ward. Although the ward is only for himself, quite spacious and quiet, but in the ward Bai Chen always felt too depressing, always feel cold. So after staying in the ward for a few minutes, Bai Chen was ready to take his guitar and go to the small garden inside the hospital to relax. But just when he went to get the guitar, he found that, on the head of one of the cabinets in the hospital room, there was a bouquet of lightly scented flowers. Ha, huh, didn't you notice it just now? This is, has someone else moved in? Just when Bai Chen thought that this bouquet of flowers was a gift from a new patient who had moved into this ward, but then he suddenly realized, there was a small note on the bouquet, which read, you'll definitely wait for the flowers to bloom. You'll definitely see the swallows return. Don't worry about other people's comments and opinions. We believe in you. Go for it Bai Chen. After seeing the words on this note as well as his name, Bai Chen was slightly shocked. This flower, is it for himself? And by the looks of it, it was also given to him by a fan who had heard his song and was also considered a fan of his, but no one knows about him except PDD. Even if PDD came to see him, he wouldn't sneakily send a flower and leave, would he? And PDD doesn't know which room he's in? If it's not PDD's side, I don't think it's possible that those few little nurses? Director Lee also said before, if it wasn't for Xiao Chang and the girls being there when he fainted that day, he wouldn't have been able to guarantee that his life would have been in danger. And they seem to have come to listen to himself sing by himself as well. They should be the ones who sent the flowers. After thinking about this, the corners of Bai Chen's mouth slightly showed a hint of a smile. And after finding a pen and pulling off a note, he wrote at the back thank you for your concern Bai Chen. After writing, Bai Chen then took his guitar to the nurse's station. And after pressing the note under a landline, he left the place. After walking out of the overwhelmingly depressing hospitalization department, Bai Chen came to a beautiful back garden and found a stone chair to sit down. Looking at the clear blue sky, the brilliant sunlight was shooting down from between the gaps of the dense pine needles, forming a beam of thick and thin light pillars, spreading on himself, not far away. There was also a brilliant sunflower planted by an unknown person that was facing the sun, being irradiated and radiating a thin layer of red light. Seeing all this, Bai Chen's mood also seemed to become less depressing than in the hospitalization department, so he hugged his guitar and played softly. At once, a beautiful melody with a hint of cheerfulness flowed out from his fingertips. This guitar finger-picking tune was called Sunflower, a tune that Bai Chen had always loved. Sunflower, alias Sunflower. Some say its flower language is love that can't see the light. But at this moment, but at this moment, looking at that bright yellow, beautiful flower not far away, Bai Chen thought, perhaps the sunflower's words are a yearning for light and hope, because no matter if the sun rises in the east or sets in the west, the stamen of the sunflower is always facing the sun, with that beautiful guitar sound slowly coming out. Many birds seemed to be attracted to gather around, and even the stray cats that were roaming around the hospital were lying not far away and listening quietly, and Bai Chen also very much enjoyed this moment of tranquility, just when Bai Chen was immersed in the beauty of the music, suddenly felt a gaze that seemed to be watching him, Bai Chen, who had thought it was a passerby, turned his head slightly in the direction he sensed, and, at that instant, the, the hand that was plucking the strings of the zither came down, it's her? only to see that behind a patch of haystacks that was not remote, a little girl with a head of beautiful, snow-white hair was holding a brown plush bear in her hands, standing in place and looking at herself. No, to be precise what she was looking at didn't seem to be herself, but the guitar in her hands. And this little girl, wasn't it the one that he had met in the hallway some time ago? It wasn't even just that time, when he was singing meat and vegetables in the hallway last time, he felt the same kind of gaze secretly looking at him in the dark, so it must have been her as well wasn't it? Although the little girl's white hair was as lovely and beautiful as an angel's, Bai Chen could tell, that was a sickly white color on her, because, 
Not only her hair, but even her eyebrows and even her eyelashes were the same snowy white color, and Bai Qin also noticed that on her small wrist, there was a plastic band. Such a band. Only people who were hospitalized in a hospital would have it. From all the signs, it's not hard to guess what kind of disease this little girl is suffering from. Looking at the little girl who seemed to be interested in the guitar in her hands, Bai Qin revealed a smile and looked at the little girl and softly said, Little friend, do you want to play this? Listening to Bai Chen's words, a hint of curiosity, fondness, and trepidation showed in the little girl's eyes. Looking at her hesitant demeanor, Bai Chen was about to step forward and get a little closer when he, however, he didn't realize that, like a scared rabbit, she hugged the brown bear and ran away. Seeing the scene of Bai Chen some awkward touch the nose, I'm not a strange uncle, not so scary, right? Although Bai Chen is also a little curious about this little girl who seems to often come to listen to his own singing, but the other party ran out of sight, he could not find, he can only put away his guitar and return to his own ward. In the next few days, Bai Chen was either cooperating with the hospital to do some pre-treatment examinations, or coming to the garden to play the piano and relax. Although the days in the hospital were a bit boring, the days of playing the piano and humming randomly were also enjoyable and quiet. But the only thing I regretted was, that angelic little girl, never appeared again. For this special and faithful little listener, Bai Chen was still quite concerned. He had even asked the nurses at the nurse's station about the little girl, but unfortunately they were only in charge of their own floor, and didn't have any information about the patients on the other floors. And within these few days, Bai Chen also made a rough plan for his short future, ready to wait for the first chemotherapy is over or almost after. He first went to the song recorded to the net suppression cloud, the follow-up then ready to travel it. After all, the world is so big, if you don't try to see it, it would be too regrettable. Just as Bai Chen planned for the future, no longer worry about other things and entangled, enjoying the tranquility of this, but do not know, this short-lived peace. However, he did not know that this short-lived tranquility would soon be broken, and the cause, was the song he sang in the bar to dispel his sorrows, after singing in the tavern that day, the, the owner of the tavern as well as quite a few people who were there that day had posted the recorded video to the short video media. In fact, at first, after these people posted the video of Bai Chen singing to the short video media, it didn't cause any waves, and the reason for that, it was because the hot search traffic that night was all taken up by Bai Chen's withdrawal and the plagiarism controversy, but as time slowly passed, after the third day, sorrow suddenly caught fire, it was like a stone stirring up a thousand waves, in a short period of time, all the major social media platforms were full of videos about fading sorrows, in just one day's time, as long as it was the video of Bai Chen singing inside the tavern, the likes were over a million. And the video that the tavern owner had shot with the most clarity, the number of likes had even reached a terrifying 7 million plus. Even the owner of the tavern directly gave up the plaque of his own time village and directly changed the name of the tavern to Sadness Tavern. The name of the tavern was changed to Sorrow, which gained a lot of popularity and customers. Almost everyone was deeply shocked by the song Sorrow, because the lyrics of this song hit too many people. The lyrics were written too real, too graphic. Countless people felt, isn't this song about yourself? When they stepped into this world with high expectations, but found that, this world is not as simple beautiful as one imagines. Many times, I am like a small transparent general hiding in the corner, watching others spring wind, talk happily, and I can only take the wine, to the sunrise, to the moonlight, to tomorrow, to the past, and even, to freedom and death. It's no exaggeration to say, these eight lines of lyrics are straight from the gods. In the end, when combined with the lighting, by Chen's meager, lonely figure, and his lonely, bleak eyes, all made people feel moved. All of them were moved and left their own comments. Eight cups of wine for sorrow, two steps on the mountain road. People's wealth does not stink of copper, and the old man is as empty as if he were an empty man. The thatched cottage is at ease, and the moonlight draws the breeze. The fragrance is shared with others, but the summer is too hasty. Lucky to have a person to guard. Ordinary is different. Any period of time should be filled with gratitude. I'm not sure if it's a disaster but I'm sure it's not a disaster for me. I don't know what to say, but I don't know what to say, so I'll just say it. Crap, what an awesome song. One for my father, one for my mother, once their hope, now they're living like this. Cough, it's all about writing, you don't have writing, it's all about sincerity. On this day, as long as you can use your smartphone to swipe the video, you can see the topic of sadness, and a lot of them also go along with the sadness and hear the song sister. Although the song's melody or lyrics are not as good as fading sadness, the same sincerity has touched many. K.A.M. recently stabbed the knife nest, right? First a meat and vegetable song and now a sister song? Damn. 
For the last time, don't use a loved one's knife to kill me. I'm an only child, but I don't know why I'm crying. I'm different. My sister has a pair of scary fangs. Upstairs, the tears just came out and you made me laugh again. Who's that guy singing? He's so handsome and melancholic. Isn't he some kind of artist? I don't know. I don't know. But I feel that the vocal line of the song is a bit like my brother buys one meat. One vegetable. I have a wild guess. Come on. Don't do everything by chin. Sometimes the higher the praise, the worse the fall. With the outflow and explosion of the tavern video. For a while, countless people were curious as to who the person singing in the tavern was. This was the second song to cause such a huge ripple in this period of time. And the first. Naturally, it was Bai Chen. There were even more people who were excited. This is the year of the rise of the Chinese music scene. First there was Bai Chen's emergence. And then there was the eight lines of sorrow that sealed the deal. Could it be? Is the Chinese music scene finally going back to the days of the gods and goddesses? With the explosion of fading sorrows. And even after it topped the hot searches. The ones who were most excited were some of the media companies. When Bai Chen burst into flames some time ago, they had earned a wave of traffic. But along with the white Chen retired after the race, this person like evaporation like how can not dig down the news about him. The only know is that he has a physical problem, has been in the magic city hospital, but the magic hospital is so big, it's not easy to find someone who has never shown his face. This led to these media companies being silent within these few days, but it's different with fading sorrows. The very first time this song was heard, it was letting people know that there was bound to be some story going on behind this song. Moreover, the faces in the video were very clear. So they should be able to dig out a little something. Just digging out a little something deep. It's another big wave of traffic. You have to know that the energy of these media companies is very huge. As long as they have their eyes on you. What kind of speeches or activity social information you have had on the internet. They are able to dig out all your bottoms. And with countless people digging deeper. Finally. Found a hint of clues. That was the photo that Xiao Qing had posted on social media a few days ago when Bai Chen was in a coma. The one she had prayed for Bai Chen. After comparing it within the company, everyone was beyond confirmation. That person lying on the hospital bed looking haggard was the same person who was singing to drown his sorrows in the tavern in the video. Although it was just a mere photo, and a paragraph of Xiao Cheng's text, it was already enough. The encounter was that, under the company's operation, a hot search instantly dominated the major media platforms. Hashtag shocked, the creator of fading sorrows has been exposed, and his backstory turns out to be like this. Hashtag. With the topping of this hot search, countless people who had already listened to Fading Sorrows were very curious and clicked in. After all, to be able to write such a song, one must have experienced quite a few stories. But when they clicked into this hot search, however, there were only two photos found, one of the tavern kind, and one of the one that Xiao Qing had posted on social media. Other than that, not to mention the copy, there weren't even a few words. Just as people wondered what this meant, they suddenly realized with a jolt. Isn't the person on both pictures the same person? Especially after seeing the face that was pale and revealed a hint of pain in the picture taken by Little Ching as well as the one with the accompanying text. The crowd instantly understood. So, was this the story behind it? Many people also found the comments under this picture. And after learning that the two bottles of drugs in the picture were anti-cancer drugs, they felt a tug at their hearts. No wonder he can write a song that sounds so heart-wrenching. No wonder when he sings a cup to freedom and a cup to death. He seems to have a touch of relief. A feeling of relief. No wonder the song sounds so heartbreaking and bitter. No wonder the song sounds so heartbreaking and bitter. All of this is the feelings of a terminally ill man about his own life. God envies the talented. This is the word that comes to everyone's mind when they get this. First, Bai Chen appeared some time ago. Just when everyone felt that there was finally a new star rising in the music industry. He suddenly chose to withdraw from the competition and disappeared from the public's view. And now after discovering a song like Fading Sorrows, he was told. Its creator is terminally ill. What is this if not heaven's jealousy? Why is the god of thieves so blind that it has to let such a sincere musician die? This is cancer. There's no way. Bai Chin just disappeared after he withdrew from the competition. And it's not easy to find another treasure musician who's not going to die soon. It's a shame. Right. What happened to Bai Chen? He didn't even have a blog or an account to give us any news? I don't know. Didn't PDD say he's recovering from an illness? Maybe he'll come back when he's better. I hope my brother Bai is okay. I hope my white brother is not serious, can be well on the line. After learning of this shocking and regrettable news, after learning this shocking and regrettable news, the words about the creator of sadness suffering from cancer and dying soon, the internet is once again full of words. Many people expressed their regret and wished him well. And as the first media company to break this news, after tasting the sweetness of this huge traffic, they absolutely had to dig deeper. 
Because, they captured the location where Xiao Qing took this photo, which was at the Magic City Hospital. Maybe, more hot news could be captured there. On this day, Bai Chun who was in the hospital, as usual, took his guitar after eating his lunch with his medication and walked out of the hospitalization building ready to relax in the back garden for a while. And right on the walkway outside of the hospitalization building, there was a man squatting in plain clothes, carrying a satchel with a face full of scruff, gnawing on the bun in his hand one bite at a time. Although he is eating, but the man's eyes have been glancing around, seems to be looking for something. Since there were long lines in the hospital for some procedures, this kind of squatting on the side of the road to eat was often seen, causing Bai Chen to naturally not notice this man as he passed by. The moment he brushed past him, the man looked up and pretended to unintentionally scan himself. The next second, then he saw a hidden ray of essence instantly erupt from the man's somewhat tired eyes. After watching Bai Chen's figure slowly walk away, he immediately stuffed the remaining half of the bun into his mouth, took out the photo in his pocket to make sure, and then touched the satchel and followed it naturally. This man carrying a satchel is named Dong Kai, precisely the professional paparazzi hired by the media company. In the industry, Dong Kai even had the title of paparazzi sleuth. As long as you pay enough money, even the star night room in the end is in the landlord or mahjong, can give you the news out. And this time, in order to find the news of this person who sings to eliminate sorrow, he or she has received a five-figure sky-high payment. Even as long as the content was explosive enough, the money would only be more and not less. Although five figures sounded a lot, this money was not good to take. After all, the target only has a photo and a general location. In a high traffic area like a hospital, finding someone with just a photo is basically a matter of luck. And today, it looked like he had good luck. Along the way, with his years of tracking experience, the paparazzo Don Kai smoothly followed Bai Chen to the middle of the back garden, and right in the vicinity of Bai Chen, he found a very suitable location to hide, and opened the camera to aim at Bai Chen who was not far away, through close observation, but Don Kai was still able to detect that Bai Chen's complexion was not good, and indeed looked like a person suffering from cancer. However, what was he doing in the back garden when he had cancer instead of lying properly in the ward? In the midst of Dong Kai's doubts, Bai Chen pulled out a few knots of ham sausage from his own pants pocket, then he tore open the package before squatting down and gently calling out, Nini Nini, along with Bai Chen's call, he saw two or three stray cats drilling out from the dense weeds, wagging their tails and licking the ham sausages in Bai Chen's hands. In the past few days, every time Bai Chen played the piano here, these stray cats would come over to act as listeners, and naturally became familiar with each other over and over again. Dong Kai, who saw this scene, felt an indescribable feeling in his heart. This person is obviously suffering from cancer, facing the torture of the disease. Not only did he not complain about the injustice of fate and harbor resentment, but he was still in the mood to come here to feed the stray cats. He, what a gentle person in the end. Even Dong Kai had thought through the hot search that would appear tomorrow at this moment, he really was too gentle, deep in darkness, but with a heart for the light. Just when Dong Kai thought Bai Chen would leave after feeding the stray cats, I never thought, after feeding the ham sausage in his hands, Bai Chen sat directly on the stone chair and took out his guitar, slowly playing it. He, did he come here to play the piano? Dong Kai wasn't surprised by Bai Chen's actions. After all, the few pure musicians he had come into contact with, all of them treated music as the faith in their lives. And in Dong Kai's eyes, Bai Chen was without a doubt this kind of pure musician. Even in death, he would be accompanied by music. Within the next few moments, I only saw Bai Chen playing the guitar for a while, and when he got tired of playing, he went to tease those kittens, and after teasing them for a while, he continued to pick up the guitar and play again. Dong Kai, who was hiding in the dark, was not bored. After all, Bai Chin just played a few guitar songs are very good, is their own have not heard, should also be original, this put out should also collect a lot of traffic, earn a good price. With the slow passage of time, two hours passed, he put down the guitar in his hand, got up and scanned the surrounding area and found nothing, then shook his head inside. He shook his head inside, and sat down again, fluctuating the guitar in his hand somewhat casually, looking at Bai Chen who sat down again. Even the professional paparazzi Don Kai was also a bit unable to resist. After all, he could be said to have crawled motionless in the pile of grass for two hours ah, he was really too dedicated, he admired himself, just when Don Kai felt that today's harvest has been enough, and was about to put away the camera and leave the place silently, but seemed to see something that, suddenly froze and stopped his hand movements. At the same time, Bai Chen, who was sitting on the stone chair, also seemed to sense something and, he looked up, then he saw, the little girl that he had been pining for a few days ago had once again appeared here. After looking at that familiar figure, Bai Chen also slightly froze for a moment, and then a smile, if any, 
appeared at the corner of his mouth. In fact, he had chosen to come here for the past few days to rest and practice the zither, in addition to relaxing for a bit of self-entertainment, in order to see if the little girl who often peeked at his singing was still here. Although Bai Chen didn't know why a little girl he didn't know would attract his attention like this, but, but it was just a somewhat inexplicable feeling. Looking at the little girl standing in place not far away, Bai Chen gently plucked the strings on his guitar, an incomparably beautiful melody came out from it. After seeing that trace of curiosity and interest in the little girl's eyes, Bai Chen stopped the action in his hands and looked at the little girl and softly asked, Little friend, do you like this? Want to play it? Said. He then saw that Bai Chen did not walk over like last time, but sat in his original position and slightly passed the guitar in his hand forward, looking at Bai Chen's movements. The, the little girl's eyes clearly showed a hint of heart, but she was still a little timid and didn't dare to go forward. It's okay, if you're interested, you can come over and play. Listening to Bai Chen's gentle words, the little girl hesitated for a long time before. After hesitating for a long time, the little girl slowly walked to Bai Chen, holding the plush bear in her arms, and after looking at Bai Chen's sure eyes, she slowly stretched out the young bear's head to the front. After looking at Bai Chen's affirmative eyes, she slowly stretched out her tender fingers and gently hooked them onto the strings of the zither. Buzz. After listening to the sound coming out of the guitar, the, the little girl's eyes immediately radiated a burst of joyful light and giggled. Do you like it? Come on sit up. Brother will teach you how to play. Listening to the little girl's healing laughter. Bai Chen also laughed along with her, patting the empty seat beside himself to signal the little girl to sit over. After some contact, the little girl slowly let go of her heart. After some contact, the little girl slowly let go of her guardedness, and sat beside Bai Chen with a happy face, holding the bear. While watching Bai Chen play the guitar with great interest, she also used her little hand to touch it from time to time. At this time, Dong Kai, who was hidden in the dark, looking at the camera, the sunlight shone through the gaps in the leaves, and the two of them, Bai Chen and the little girl, who were blossoming under the tree with smiles on their faces, created a picture of healing that was incomparable, and they felt that they had earned it, especially that one little girl, the healing laughter in conjunction with her head of snow white hair, at this moment appears particularly beautiful, really like a little angel left on earth in general, only, why is her hair white, Egu whatever, it's enough to have something to look at, thinking, Dong Kai then took out another exquisite and incomparable camera, and finding a good angle he clicked click click clicked on the 2 by Chen and took a lot of beautiful pictures, in the garden, due to the bridge built by the music, Bai Chen and the little girl quickly became acquainted, seeing Bai Chen help the little girl drag the guitar, still letting her strum the strings on it recklessly, although the melody that came out was very raw, it didn't stop the little girl from having fun at all, little friend, what's your name, how old are you this year, listening to Bai Chen's question, the little girl looked up before continuing to lower her head again while playing the guitar and whispering, my name is EE, I'm already 7 years old this year, and I'm not a kid anymore, kids cry when they get injections and take medicine, but EE has never cried, listening to EE's words, Bai Chen smiled and joked too, it seems that EE is quite brave, are not afraid of injections, when he finished speaking, EE shook her head and said, no, if I cry when I get the injection, mommy will cry too, I don't want mommy to cry, Listening to Yi Yi's words of unparalleled understanding, Bai Chen's smile suddenly froze in the, his nose felt suddenly sour as if he had been punched. Originally, is it because you don't want mom to worry, so you don't cry? Yi Yi didn't notice Bai Chen's abnormality, but said to herself, actually, I've also seen mom crying in secret a few times, although mom never says why she cries. I know why she cries. It's all, because I have this disease. Disease? Albino? Actually. It was easy to tell from EE's unusual appearance that she should be suffering from albinism. However, this disease had a somewhat different appearance, and some people were a bit sensitive to sunlight, but it didn't have a big impact on the rest. However, Bai Chen also knew that children with albinism were generally regarded as abnormal by their peers, so EE must have been affected as well. Just as Bai Chen was about to comfort EE, she shook her head and said, EE, however, shook her head and said, it's not, albinism I had it when I was a child and my mom even complimented me on how pretty I was. Actually, I have secretly heard. Mom cried because I have leukemia. Here at first the front white blood albino confused. Can only be changed this way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Leukemia? The leukemia that is called blood cancer. Hearing this news, Bai Chen instantly froze. The difficulty of treating this kind of disease was completely no less than cancer, and the cost of treatment was also a sky-high cost for the average family. After listening to Yi Yi's voice getting smaller and smaller, Bai Chen had to reach out and gently touch her head to comfort her, saying, 
It's okay ee, -e. maybe mom is experiencing something else? Ah eh, right, last time you met me how did you run away? And I haven't seen much of you in the past few days. Listening to Bai Chen's question, ee -e shook her head and said, I've been here for a few months now. Mom took me home the day before yesterday. Eh by the way, why hasn't brother gone singing lately? Singing? Does that mean he goes to the building to sing by himself? Bai Chin suddenly remembered the image of the first time he saw Yi Yi. When he met him, he pinched Yi Yi's little face and smiled and said, What? Do you like listening to the songs I sing? Hearing Bai Chen's words, Yi Yi lowered her head and nodded somewhat shyly without speaking. After looking at Yi Yi with this look, Bai Chen flashed a smile in his eyes and brought the guitar over and said, What song do you want to listen to? At this time, Dong Kai, who was lying in the bushes, suddenly became depressed. His hand holding the camera was trembling, and his eyes were even a little red. From Bai Chen's conversation with the little girl, he also instantly understood. It turned out that this little girl actually suffered from leukemia. At this moment, he suddenly felt that the picture he had just taken was not so beautiful, but instead seemed to have a hint of sadness. Because, the two people in the photo are a musician suffering from cancer and a seven-year-old girl with leukemia. Even if such a photo is nice, it doesn't make people happy. And then, after Dong Kai heard that Bai Chen seemed to be singing, he immediately organized himself. After all, the focus of his essential work was still on Bai Chen. After all, quite a few people on the internet right now were paying attention to being sung by this person who sang about eliminating sadness while suffering from cancer. The clip of him singing himself naturally could not be missed. And at this moment, just as Bai Chen was fiddling with his guitar and was thinking of what song to sing to this little girl, an abrupt and seemingly anxious call came over. E -e. Ee, -e, why did you run here? Accompanied by this urgent cry, the only to see a woman with a wrinkled face and carrying a large pile of bags in her hands, hurriedly running over. Ai, I'm sorry, young man. My daughter didn't give you any trouble, did she? Sorry, sorry. Looking at Ee -e playing with her own little hand, touching the guitar in Bai Chen's hand, her mom thought that Ee -e had disturbed Bai Chen by being playful. Hearing Ee -e's mom's words, Bai Chen smiled and waved his hand and said, "It's okay." After saying that. I saw the woman squat down and looked at Ee -E with a worried face and said, Ee, -E, why are you running around again? Don't bother your brother. Let's go. Listening to her mom's words, Ee -E beamed and said, I didn't run around. I, I came to hear my brother sing. He's the one I was talking about. Singing? The woman glanced at Bai Chen and suddenly remembered that a few days ago Ee -E had said to herself that she had heard someone singing in the hallway at night, and that their singing was very good. At that time, when she heard this, she almost broke out into a cold sweat, thinking that it was because her daughter's condition had worsened or that she had encountered something unclean. Now it seems, it was himself who overthought it. Afterwards, then she saw the woman look at Ee -E and smiled, and after dotingly touching her little head, she said, Mommy knows that you love listening to your brother sing, but I can't do it today. The discharge procedure is done. The car is already waiting outside. We can go home later. We don't have to come to the hospital anymore. If you like your brother you can say goodbye to him. When she said never come to the hospital again, the woman's tone suddenly became a bit choked and trembling. Listening to her mother's words, Ee -E hesitated for a while before nodding her head in a well-behaved manner. But when Bai Chen, who was on the side, heard this, his eyebrows slightly furrowed and he suddenly got up and, eh, auntie, wait a minute, eh, E, is Ee -E going to be discharged from the hospital? But she, has she been cured? The woman who understood what Bai Chen was about to ask, revealed a miserable smile and shook her head helplessly, saying, Ee, -e, did I tell you everything? I really can't do anything about it. She was diagnosed with myeloid leukemia in the past, and there is only one way to treat it. You have to find the right bone marrow for transplant. In order to find the right bone marrow for E, I've quit my job and sold my house and land in my hometown. The child's father left early, so now it's all up to me to hold on. I can still hold on, but, but, but now there is really no way. Cannot find ah. The doctor also said there's no way out, if there's no suitable bone marrow. According to Ee Yee's current situation there are only three months left, so let's bring it home and stop suffering in the hospital. When I heard these words, Bai Chen and Dong Kai in the shadows were both shocked. His own paparazzi career has secretly photographed, seen and heard a lot of things, some of the Star Circle fancy, ruining the three views of things he has also seen a lot. But this time, it made his mind feel a heavy shock. A rural woman with her child suffering from leukemia and her husband dying in an accident. She relies on one person to support it all. This, isn't this living human suffering? It's true what they say. The twine is made to be broken, and the bad luck is only for those who are suffering. Yes, I can't find a bone marrow match. Nowadays, 
There are so many public welfare organizations, and the internet is so developed that you won't be able to find a match for so long, right? Listening to Bai Chen's words, Yi Yi's mother's eyes flashed with a hint of despair, and said helplessly, Yi Yi's bone marrow matching situation is a bit special. It's difficult to find bone marrow that can match, and those charity organizations on the internet, if you want them to help you publicize the news, you have to charge money, and they may not be able to help you find a donor, and I don't have the money to find one. I can only make Yi Yi happy, not to suffer in the hospital, and to live out this period of her life with ease. At this time, listening to the woman's words, Bai Chen was also a little wet eyes looking at Yi Yi, only to feel his heart in a hidden pain, for a moment did not know what to say, and never thought that. Yi Yi on the side always maintained this gentle and lovely smile, and also comforted Bai Chen in turn. It's okay brother, don't worry about me. At first, the doctor said I could only live for half a year, but I've already lived for a year and a half more, so I'm already very satisfied, and I'm not afraid of death. When I was little, I heard my grandfather say, People will go to a very beautiful place if they die. Grandparents and dad are in that place. E just went to look for grandparents and dad. Only, only I'm afraid that my mom will be sad. Can't let go of me. If I could, I could go with my mom to see the wind and snow in the sky. See the sudden rain on the big mountain. It would be nice to be able to travel a bit. Listening to E E's wish, and looking at E E's heart-wrenching appearance that had no fear of death, but instead was incredibly knowledgeable and understanding. She couldn't bear it any longer. E's mom couldn't take it anymore. She can't take it anymore. I don't want to cry in front of E. I don't want to pass on my bad feelings to E. I've always set up a strong image in front of my daughter. But today, E E's words were like the last straw that broke the camel's back, completely shattering his psychological defenses. Crouching on the ground, he covered his face and cried bitterly. It's me who's useless. It's me who's useless I E. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A E. After seeing her mom cry in pain, Yi hurriedly came to her mom and used her own small hand to wipe her tears. It's okay mom, I don't blame you. After I go and find my dad, you won't have to work so hard. You won't have to worry about my illness every day. And you can find another daddy and have another Yi out. They'll love mommy well too. Listening to Yi Yi's somewhat comical and hilarious words, Bai Chen couldn't laugh. It felt like a layer of fog had instantly risen in front of his eyes. After a long time, the, under Yi Yi's pacification, the woman's emotions gradually stabilized, only to see her wipe her tears, stood up dead holding Yi Yi's small hand, looked at Bai Chen a little embarrassed and said, No, I'm sorry lad, I've made you laugh, we have to go, the car we called is still waiting outside the hospital, he said, with that, he brought Yi Yi to walk outside the hospital, looking at this scene, Bai Chen seemed to have suddenly thought of something, and hurriedly got up to chase after her, Auntie wait, let me give this to Yi Yi, she seems to like it, with that, he handed over the guitar he had redeemed from the system in his hand. Yi e Yi's mom, who had stopped in her tracks, looked at Bai Chen's hands to take the exquisite guitar. Naturally knowing that the price was certainly not high, she could only shake her head and refuse, saying, Thank you, young man, but, I don't need it. This girl is just playing, and will not play. Even though he said that, Bai Chen was still adamant about giving away the guitar. The woman looked at Bai Chen, then at Yi e Yi's interested look and had no choice but to nod and say, it's, alas, E.E. E. quickly thank brother, say goodbye to your brother, listening to her mom's words, E.E. E. didn't take the guitar right away, instead, she suddenly ran to the side of a flower stand, and after picking a bright red flower on her toes, she stuck it on a stuffed bear toy and handed it to Bai Chen, saying with a smile on her face, I know brother is sick too, I know brother is sick too, when I used to go to school, as long as I behaved well the teacher would give me a little red flower, I hope that my brother will also behave well in the hospital and cooperate with the nurse's sister's treatment oh, this bear was also given to me by the nurse's sister to keep me company, now I'll give it to my brother. Looking at Yi e Yi's behavior, Bai Chen also nodded and smiled with tears in his eyes, handing over the guitar in his hand, the two completed the exchange. Afterwards, I saw a very happy Yi e Yi holding a big guitar that was as tall as herself, while walking outside with her mom, while waving at Bai Chen, she shouted, Bye, brother. Don't worry about EE. E. You should get well soon too. Bye. After watching this mother and daughter's back slowly disappear in front of his eyes, Bai Chen felt an incomparably heavy heart. This one sentence of goodbye. Maybe it's really goodbye. At this moment, Dong Kai, who had filmed all of this from a short distance away, only felt that his mind was deeply shocked by this scene. Suffering is suffering, and there is no point in glorifying it. He couldn't even imagine how a woman in the countryside had endured all this alone and in silence. Nor could he imagine. That little girl named E. In the end, 
How many ordinary people can not endure the trials and tribulations to become now this understanding of the heartbreaking appearance? But even so, God still wanted to take her life. What about all the public service organizations that are so popular on the internet? How come they're nowhere to be seen? What about those public service media? Why don't they report? Do they really not know? And myself, can't you do something about it? By Chen by Chen, Director Lee has something for you. It seems to be news about your treatment. Director Lee? Okay, I'll be right over. Just as Dong Kai over here was slightly stunned, Bai Chen suddenly heard a nurse not too far away come looking for him. So after responding, he, he then carefully pocketed the stuffed bear toy with a small red flower in his hand and left the place. Bai Chen? Is his name Bai Chen? Dong Kai frowned after hearing that name. Bai Chen. This name seemed quite familiar, as if he had heard it somewhere before. After pondering for a few seconds, suddenly, only Dong Kai's body trembled violently, and his eyes were wide with incredulity. Wait, Bai Chen, he, is it hard to believe that he is that Bai Chen? After noticing that he seemed to have discovered some extraordinary news, Dong Kai's eyes became excited and, directly sitting down in place, he opened the small backpack he was carrying and pulled out stacks of white information papers from within. Inside, records were all collected online about Bai Chen's news. After all, as a professional paparazzo, he was very concerned about any hot characters on the internet. In addition to Bai Chen Song himself is also very favorite, and can even be called white powder. Naturally collected a lot of Bai Chen's information news. What a find to see this Bai Chen in the end is what the big man. But why this person revealed very little news, not even a photo. Coupled with the explosion of the flow of sorrow, this matter will be delayed. But there was no such thing. Now he had come across it here himself. But could it not be a coincidence? Thinking, Dong Kai's eyes were covered in blood, and it was as if he was going crazy as he looked through the information about Bai Chen in his hands. 4. 11. Bai Chen, the original creator of Under the Sea, seems to be in bad health in the hospital. 4. 15. Bai Chen sang with what to keep you, according to the chat with PDD. Bai Chen seems to be living in Magic City. The exact location is not clear. 4. Before singing a meat and a vegetable, PDD revealed that the hospital where Bai Chen is located is the Magic City Hospital, and it seems that he does not have a cold, but has some minor health problems, and is hospitalized, accompanied by the information he recorded floating before his eyes. Dong Kai's breathing also became more and more rapid. This can't be a coincidence. How can there be so many coincidences in the world? It can't be wrong it definitely can't be wrong. The person who sang sorrow was the same person as Bai Chen, who became a big hit at the PDD concert some time ago. After receiving the confirmation, Dong Kai immediately felt a numbness in his spiritual cap, as if he had been struck by lightning. He had never expected that the mysterious Bai Chen would be encountered in this way. In the spirit of a paparazzo's occupational disease, Dong Kai almost jumped up in excitement. The singer of Fading Sadness and Bai Chen were the same person. Amazing news, this was absolutely shocking news. If this news breaks out, there was no need to even think about it. But it can become the number one hot search on all major platforms and even stay on the list for a few days in a row. I didn't expect it. This is really unexpected. But after the excitement, Dong Kai seemed to have thought of something, and the smile on his face suddenly froze, since the two of them are the same person. Then, then cancer also. After thinking of this point, Dong Kai suddenly could not smile, a little dumbfounded frozen place, late at night, in the middle of a barbecue stall on the street of Magic City. Dong Kai was drinking a mouthful of mulled wine, while his cell phone was ringing non-stop on the side. He didn't need to see it to know that it was the media company calling to ask about his progress. Dong Kai also knows very well that, if the news he discovered today was sold, it would definitely be worth an astronomical amount. It was even worth more than what he had earned in a few years. But, but after the little girl's face and Bai Chen's words and actions appeared in his mind from time to time, Dong Kai hesitated. The pissiness of this media company that contacted him could be said to be incredibly clear to himself. Every time he gave them some information, they would add some flavor to it before releasing it, and for the sake of traffic they would fabricate some things regardless of any authenticity. Once, I photographed a male celebrity and his own sister going out to dinner and shopping together, and I made myself clear when I sent them the message, but what ended up on the hot search was hashtag night encounters with a male star asterisk 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 and his rumored girlfriend, and there are countless things like that. The hell knows what will appear on the hot search tomorrow after he gave them this message? Hashtag, shocked, Bai Chen actually did such a thing to an albino girl? Hashtag, shocking the family for 100 years, Bek Tatsu and the author of the sorrowful song actually, when he thought about these boohoo filled headlines and the out of context, made up content, Dong Kai couldn't help but smile, of course, the exposure of these news naturally couldn't be separated from disgusting paparazzi like himself, 
After all, stealing photos was originally an unethical thing to do, and then to fake it fabricating facts was even more bottomless. Looking at the camera placed on the desktop, a time suddenly a little trance up. When was the last time? When did my passion for photography and love of documenting my life turn into the executioner of the black-hearted media? Was it also for money? After pondering for a long time, Dong Kai, the knot in his eyes slowly disappeared. Then he suddenly got up and walked straight to the place where he lived. After returning home, he threw his cell phone to the side and opened his computer. He logged on to his own Facebook page. As a senior professional paparazzo, he still had a lot of fans on his account. Immediately after, Dong Kai uploaded the videos and photos he had taken today onto his computer, edited a simple paragraph, and let out a deep breath. Click. Send. Hashtag LaodongAllThings at WhiteChin at Subdued Sorrow at Leukemia. Everything you've been watching and wanting to know is right here. Hashtag News. As after all this, Dong Kai closed his eyes and lay down on his computer chair, lighting a heel of cigarettes and inhaling deeply. One's own help for Bai Chen, who suffers from cancer, or perhaps for the little girl who suffers from leukemia, can only go so far, after the post was released. Many of the star's private followers and melon eaters who were concerned about Dong Kai, after seeing the attention beep, thought that it was not that star who had had another fierce story blown out of proportion. But when they excitedly clicked in and saw that the title actually had something to do with Bai Chen and Fading Sorrow, their eyes widened. Trolling. One was Bai Chen, who had been missing since retiring from the tournament, and the other was Sorrow, who was the hottest topic of the day. This was really something. It's so fierce that it has no boundaries. As for the leukemia topic, I don't know why it was added, but they didn't care. After all, these people were basically either here for Bai Chen, or they were here for the Sorrow, when they clicked in. The first picture that caught their eyes was the one of Bai Chen and Ee laughing and playing the guitar together in the back garden, looking incredibly healing, with just one glance. Quite a few Sorrow fans immediately recognized the thin figure in the photo as the one who sang Sorrow at the tavern. Crap Brother Sorrow, he's really been found? The background behind Brother Sorrow looks like a hospital building, so it looks like it's true what the internet said about him having cancer. Alas, he got this disease at such a young age. No wonder he couldn't write a song like Sorrow. It's a pity. Who is that angelic little girl in the photo? Is she the younger sister of Brother Sorrow? I don't know, but it's a pretty good picture. Honestly, that smile looks pretty healing. Ahem. Is there a possibility that Brother White is actually that little girl? Joy. And don't know. Maybe there's no Bai Chen. This post is just rubbing the heat of a Bai Chen. Under the discussion of countless netizens, this post instantly exploded as soon as it was posted. Many people were curious and continued to look down, but found that. This post below actually does not have any content. Picture below only a long video. Click on the video. In the beginning, Bai Chen was sitting alone on a stone chair, looking a bit lonely, playing the guitar, listening to that beautiful and incomparable guitar sound. People who like Sorrowful have commented, it has to be my sad brother. This guitar is a superb pure music when played casually. It's true. It seems that this Sorrowful brother is really capable. Who do you think is better? Sorrow or Bek Tatsu? Well, Bek Tatsu is good but I still prefer sadness. Indeed, Bai Chen's first two songs are too funereal, a bit of painless moaning. Unlike Sorrow, who wrote them after experiencing this kind of thing, which makes them seem a bit more real. And Bai Chen sang three songs and then hid, before the online public opinion also do not come out to respond to a bit, and never show a face, maybe really have a ghost in the heart. Plus one, I feel the same way. And he didn't come out to clarify himself after the incident. He didn't come out after the accident and let others clarify. Maybe he found a publicist. After seeing a lot of people preferring to be sad, and even talking about Bai Chen's previous public opinion, some Bai Chen fans were a bit unhappy, wanting to be on the right side of the line but didn't know how to be on the right side of the line. After all, according to normal people, after having so much traffic should not immediately get a scarf. Teasing sound account or something, out of sucking powder? Bai Chen, on the other hand, was as if he didn't care, and left after each song, as if he was in a hurry. And in the face of public opinion, he also did not have a little response. Our PDD side and help him respond. It's hard not to. Is there really a ghost in his heart? Or is he looking for a publicist? However, this post says that there is news about Bai Chen. Maybe we can get some news from it. So let's take a look again. Afterwards, the group of people then continued to watch this video that Dong Kai was secretly filming. Along with the video's progress slowly ticking by. The people who were still discussing over Bai Chen and Brother Sorrowful at the beginning. When they saw the little girl appearing at the back and the arrival of Ee's mom, suddenly fell silent. After hearing the woman say that her husband had died, her child had leukemia, and that she had been struggling to support herself all by herself, 
the people felt a violent shudder in their hearts when they heard what Ee said and saw that she was so understanding and had no fear of death. The crowd felt that their hearts had been pierced through and felt heartbroken by it. In this seemingly beautiful and harmonious society, are there really, is there really such a bitter person? Some people suddenly understood when they saw the scene. Why Bai Chen had said that life was as bitter as a song and as bright as a song. Bitter. It's the experience of Ee's family as if they were being toyed with by fate. Bright. Ee's mom is facing all these things, but she is still able to support herself with great tenacity. Indeed, suffering does not deserve to be glorified, but the spirit of tenacity in the face of suffering is, it's worth spreading. These people who came to watch the video, whether they were fans of Bai Chen or fans of Sorrow, how could they not expect? They just came to eat a melon, but they ate their own tears. Woo woo, Ee -E is really pitiful. I feel like hugging her. Is it really that hard to find a bone marrow? Or is it just like what Ee's mom said? Is it really that hard to find a bone marrow? Or is it like Ee's mom said? Dude, don't think the world is so beautiful. When you're out in society, you don't get up early for nothing. Brother Sorrow was so gentle. He played with Ee, and when he saw Ee's interest in music, he gave her his guitar without saying a word. It's a pity that Yui wanted to hear him sing a song, but she couldn't because she was in a hurry to leave. Don't forget, Brother Sadness is also suffering from cancer. The video is about to end. Many people felt injustice for Ee Ee's fate and also felt sorry for such a gentle and talented person as Brother Sorrow. Some of them are wondering, is this the so-called big news? Although the video EE -E thing is really very difficult to people, and sad brother suffering from cancer thing we all analyzed, this is not to talk about what the breaking news, fierce news, right? Moreover, the video is about to end. By Chen's topic or shadow has not appeared from the beginning to the end. Can't it be that it's really just rubbing the heat of Bai Chen's topic? Just when many people feel puzzled by it, the end of the video suddenly came a burst of call sound. Bai Chen Bai Chen, Director Li has something for you. It seems to be news about the treatment of your condition. Director Li? Okay, I'll be right over. Along with the sound of the video, the camera also happened to be on the sad brother who answered the nurse's call. After seeing this, after seeing this, the people watching the video reacted exactly the same way as Don Kai did before. Wide-eyed. Unbelievable look. Froze. Bye. Bai Chen? Did someone just call Brother Sorrow Bai Chen? How? That's impossible. Both Bai Chen's fans and the fans of the so-called Brother Sadness couldn't believe this scene. They were all sliding the video's progress bar, thinking that they had heard it wrong. But it turned out, they didn't hear it wrong. This, what is this? Is Bai Chen Brother Sorrow? Is it true? Don't ask me. My cups are already smoking. I think it's very likely that it's true. Didn't you say that Bai Chen had health problems and was hospitalized in Magic City? I don't think it's that coincidental. And the hospital that Brother Sorrow is in isn't necessarily the Mordor Hospital. Maybe it's just the same name? I'm a native of Mordor. And this backyard is definitely the Mordor Hospital. The first thing I'd like to say is that I'm not sure if this is the right name for the hospital. It's all true, isn't it? Accompanied by the explosion of the last scene of the video, the thread posted by Dong Kai instantly exploded. The comments below directly skyrocketed to nearly 10. 000 in just a few minutes. Countless melon eaters or media personalities were frantically reposting this post, causing the post to become increasingly hot. In this amazing clicks as well as forwarding volume, the post of the heat is if sitting on a rocket like a wildly rising, in just half an hour directly rushed to the first on the scarf hot search list. The number of views was even more explosive and directly exceeded 10 million. Now, as long as you open the scarf or some other social platforms, you will definitely be able to see this hot message. Hot search one hashtag laodong all things considered at white chan at silence at leukemia. Everything you care about and want to know is here hashtag. Hot search two hashtag shocking. By Chen's identity exploded. Brother sad is actually him. Hot search three hashtag there's no such thing as the so-called music world returning to the top. Nor is there such a thing as the so-called fairy fights. He's the one who made it all. Hot number four by Chen. Percent dollar carat dollar percent percent. At this moment. It could be said that the entire hot search list was dominated by Bai Chen alone. There is no other reason. The main reason was that this wave of revelations was really top-notch. Most people didn't expect Bai Chen and Brother Sorrow to be the same person. Although during this period there were also people who had guessed, but due to that period of time is at the tip of the public opinion of Bai Chen, resulting in anyone who said that there is no possibility that Brother Sorrow is Bai Chen, were a group of spammers chasing after the spray, and even also to the fans of Bai Chen to hang up the name of the white filial son. And when this news spread out, there are also some before caught White Chen Black, said White Chen plagiarism White Chen shrinking turtle dare not come out to respond White Chen does not deserve to be compared with the sad brother these people hard mouth is not willing to admit, 
said that these these people are not willing to admit it, saying that these are all coincidences, but most people still have eyes and brains, there are not so many coincidences in the world, and when all the coincidences point to the same point, then it will not be a coincidence, but a fact, it's a fact, just before, an uploader who specialized in editing clips of Bai Chen singing at Little Broke Station was naturally excited when he saw this news, this uploader from the first day, was Bai Chen's of bottom of the sea by the fan, in the back is more and more like Bai Chen, in that burst of public opinion storm, he has also been supportive of Bai Chen, but also attracted a lot of Bai Chen's black powder, and later, on the day when Eliminate burst into flames, he was also mesmerized by the song Elimination, and listened to it more than dozens of times in a row, but as he listened, he suddenly realized that the style and vocal line of this Elimination song was almost identical to Bai Chen's vocal line when he sang about meat and vegetables, a bold guess was made within him, it was only when he had voiced out this guess that he had instantly attracted a number of little black people to mob him, even during that period of time, as soon as he himself started broadcasting, the pop-ups in the live broadcast room were basically all cursing himself, and he couldn't broadcast a bit at all, today, when he saw Bai Chen actually really his sad brother, cannot resist the heart of the accumulated grievances, directly open the live broadcast is ready to prove their guess is not wrong, but I had no idea that he was in the live broadcast ready to use this to counterattack before attacking their own little black people, did not think, this group of little black people inexplicably disappeared, the live broadcast room, hey, both of them are on the knife route, why didn't I realize that, worthy of being my brother by, again the bottom of the sea and the elimination of sadness, bull, I can only say that this wave is a double chef's ecstasy, looking at the pop-up screen clear white blow, this up master also just smiled and did not count more, after all, this is really worth blowing a blow, dare I ask which young generation in today's music industry can write such amazing songs, and one song is more amazing than the other, Fading Sorrows was even directly crowned as a god with 8 cups of wine, such a person, perhaps even in the previous era of godly fights, might be able to break into some bright circles, just as many of Bai Chen's fans were rejoicing over this news, suddenly, a conspicuous pop-up screen appeared right in the center of the live broadcast room, in that case, doesn't that mean, Bek Tatsu is the one with cancer? He withdrew from the competition for medical reasons, so it's because of cancer? This conspicuous and incomparable pop-up screen instantly woke up the viewers in the live broadcast room. That's right, since brother's sadness was Bai Chen. Then, wasn't the one who had cancer also Bai Chen? In this instant, Bai Chen's fans, who had just been cheering and laughing, suddenly froze, and the uploader in front of the screen also froze. So, was he the one who had cancer? It turned out that it wasn't other people that he was singing about in Under the Sea, he was singing about himself, whether they were depressed or cancer patients, they were all the same, both have lost the light in their lives, both have lost sight of hope, they're all trapped in endless darkness, no wonder his songs always sound so desperate, and some even say it's painless moaning, it's not painless moaning, it's just him talking about his helplessness and despair over his life that's coming to an end, why didn't he come out and respond to public opinion before, it's because he's fighting the disease, and even if he weren't, what kind of cancer patient wastes his time responding to fabrications on the internet, this moment, those who had even followed the wind and hacked by Chen before suddenly felt a bit guilty, such a person, shouldn't be hacked, himself, I shouldn't have done that myself, as for those who were originally by Chen's hardcore fans, they were slow to accept this fact, if they could, they would rather by Chen be by Chen, and brother sorrow is brother sorrow ah, at this moment, it wasn't just in this uploader's live room that this situation had occurred. After a short period of revelry, Bai Chen's fans on the internet have also realized that Bai Chen is suffering from cancer. And PDD, who was live streaming, after seeing this news, he also immediately felt a mix of flavors within his heart. Although he had long known that Bai Chen was suffering from cancer, he had never thought that. Bai Chen and brother Sorrow are the same person. Mr. Horing, is this true? Bai Chen is brother Sorrow. And the one suffering from cancer is also Bai Chen? Angkor, did you already know? Why didn't you tell me when Bai Chen withdrew from the competition? Yeah, I thought it was really like what the internet said. That's why Bai Chen dropped out. If I had told you, I, I wouldn't have been able to follow the trend. I'm sorry Bai Chen. I was wrong. I'm sorry, Bai Chen. After watching the live broadcast all say sorry. PDD is also used to these pop-up faces. If apologizing is useful, what do you need a police rat for? Everyone, I can't directly explain this kind of thing. I also said that Bai Chen withdrew from the game because of his health, but you guys didn't believe me. Now I don't know what to say either. Anyway, I hope Bai Chen can get better. After all, our country's medical level is developing quite well. As long as it's not too serious, it shouldn't be a problem. Listening to PDD's words, 
Some viewers then suddenly said, Can you let Bai Chen come back? We owe him an apology. Right, right. Can you contact Bai Chen? Let him come back. We still want to hear him sing again. 10. 000 people are begging for Bai Chen's return to the tournament. Kneeling for his return. Looking at the pop up invitations, PDD helplessly shook his head and said, This, how are you guys going to let me invite people? Bai Chen should still be busy with his treatment right now. How would he have time to come back and sing again? Although he said that, PDD himself really hoped that Bai Chen would return. Even if he didn't participate in the semi finals, he is the organizer. How to come is still not their own decision. It wouldn't be too much to learn from those variety shows and have a resurrection match, would it? These weren't problems. The problem was, I don't know if Bai Chen will come back to continue competing. Just as PDD was feeling sorry for this, Ding Tong is sound. A beep suddenly came from the cell phone beside him, only to see that PDD suddenly froze for a moment after glancing at it slightly. Mr. Horish, is it in? Can I trouble you to do me a favor? This is. Why Tatsu sent this? It was already late at night, but Bai Chen couldn't sleep no matter what. As long as he closed his eyes, Ease and her mom's silhouettes would appear in his mind during the day. And no matter what, he couldn't get them out of his mind. Looking at the little bear toy with a little red flower inserted into it that was placed next to him, Bai Chen carefully took it over and looked at the bear and started to stare. It's funny, a person who was terminally ill and had no years to live, actually had the heart to feel worried and sorry for others, but therein lies the difference. He might not be able to live a long life even with all the treatments, but EE -E was different. As long as she finds the right bone marrow and has enough money to support the surgery and subsequent treatment costs, she can grow up like a normal child, and she's only 7 years old. She hasn't even gotten to know the world properly yet. Is she going to leave like this? After thinking about this, Ai Chen let out a deep sigh. In fact, before Yi's mom left Yi during the day, she wanted to help her as much as she could. But as of now, part of the money he had earned some time ago had already been used to settle the hospital fees and medical bills for this period of time. And the remaining part was obviously not enough to help Yi. But as long as he recorded the song and submitted it to Netsuke Cloud, the rest of the final payment should be enough, and there could even be a lot more. As for his family, he didn't only have these few songs, he could wait for a while and buy a few more, leaving a sum of money for his family. After thinking of this, Bai Chen then chose to contact PDD. After all, PDD had also said that he had some contacts in the Magic City. If he wanted to find a recording studio, he could contact him. Not long after sending the message, Bai Chen received a call back from PDD. Hello, Bai Chen? Sorry. I was just on the air. Right. How have you been? How's your body? Listening to PDD's concerned tone, Bai Chen smiled and said, I'm okay. By the way, Mr. John, can I trouble you to do me a favor? What kind of favor? You directly say, as long as can help me Lu Mao absolutely not say a word. After seeing PDD so quick, Bai Chen also directly opened the door to the mountain out of their purpose. After PDD heard, he froze for a moment and said with some concern, Signed up for net suppression cloud. You're not physically still. Can you record a song? Can you record songs? If you really need money urgently, I can lend it to you first. There's no rush to do this when you're feeling better. Facing PDD's kindness, Bai Chen shook his head and said, This money is not for me to use. It's for me. I have a sister who has leukemia and needs money for a bone marrow transplant. So it's not appropriate. After listening to Bai Chen's words, PDD's eyes narrowed. Sister? The sister you're talking about wouldn't be the EE -E from the original video, right? Ha? Huh? The original video? How do you know it's EE? Ha? Huh? Don't you know the internet is blowing up? Due to the fact that a bit too much had happened in the past few days, it caused Bai Chen to not even look at his phone much, so he wasn't really aware of what was happening online. After PDD's explanation, Bai Chen immediately opened his cell phone's hot search and took a look. Sure enough, it was all about himself, only for some reason. All that was on the hot search was the news that his identity had been exposed, but there was no news related to EE, -E, and even when he clicked in, there wasn't even any picture or figure of EE -E on the report. This shouldn't be the case. Just now, he had thought to himself that EE -E might not be able to get some social help after this wave of traffic exposure. Now that I look at it, it seemed a bit off. Subsequently, Bai Chen then frowned and told PDD about his doubts. After PDD heard this, he said, as if he had expected it, this is actually normal. Didn't you see what Yi's mom said in the original video? She sought help from public welfare organizations, but they won't spend a lot of energy to help you expose and search for bone marrow if you don't pay them. This is very realistic, but this sentence after all, it is detrimental to the reputation of these public welfare organizations, so it will certainly make people to suppress this matter, and those media numbers will only focus on your current exaggerated traffic. 
so naturally they won't spend more boards to get ease matter. It seems that the original video was on the hot search for only a few minutes, and then it was taken down. It was probably suppressed. Listening to PDD's incredibly realistic words, Bai Chen only felt that this world was so cool. Under the lure of huge traffic, a life would really seem so worthless. At this time, PDD knew what Bai Chen was thinking after seeing his sudden silence. To be honest Bai Chen, I really quite admire you. Even after being like this yourself, you can still think about doing something for others. A person like you, is the only one I've ever seen? I also know that you really want to help EE, but this money is just as important to you, and even if you give it to them, they won't necessarily accept it. If you really want to help EE, I do have a good idea, but I also admit, this method has selfishness in it, but this method might be able to solve EE's matter faster and more efficiently. Of course, the decision is in your hands. Listening to PDD's sold words, Bai Chen asked, puzzled, what solution? Seeing PDD's eyes flash with a hint of cunning, he said, Song Club, in this day and age, news on the internet not only circulates quickly, but also updates quickly. Just last night, when everyone was still shocked by the news that Bai Chen was Brother Sorrow, the next day, he said, I don't know what to say. The next day, the day before the final of PDD's song contest, PDD himself announced that, the three groups of Bai Chen contestants, will participate in the finals as the best popularity contestant, but in order to be fair and impartial, Bai Chen needs to perform two songs. The first song needs to get the votes of two judges, three in total, and six finalists, ten in total. In order to officially enter the finals as the eleventh contestant, the announcement of this news. Once again, this announcement caused an uproar across the internet. Holy shit, Bek Tatsu returns, really? Su Piget himself said it's 100% true. If it's not true, Piggy's head will be sprayed all over the place. Shady, it's so obviously shady, but I like it he he he, Bai Chen yyds, what a fair and just, but I like it too being able to listen to one more Bai Chen song, his but Bek Tatsu, his illness, doesn't it affect, wouldn't it be forced, a gu, Piggy's character is still good, he should have contacted Bai Chen before announcing this, great, the return of the white god, I'm looking forward to it, on this day, the PDD song club, which hasn't been on the hotspot for a long time, once again dominated the first list of hot searches, even, just after PDD announced Bai Chen's return, he even received another surprise, a singer who has been famous in the music industry for a long time, and in a few years are very hot, take the initiative to come to their own song club to act as a judge, this was something that PDD had never expected no matter what, although he may not be a king level figure, he is still a mainstay of the music industry today, however, he didn't publicize this news, rather, he had to wait for the day of the finals to give everyone a surprise. At this time, Bai Chen, who was inside the hospital, looked at the hot search in his cell phone and also smiled a little. This might be PDD's so-called selfishness. Indeed, his own return was able to bring the Song Partner Tournament, which was losing heat, back to the top once again. But at the same time, he himself was also able to use this wave of traffic to help EE, letting more people know about EE, and even helping to find and donate suitable bone marrow. Of course, there was another layer of reason why he himself agreed to PDD. That is, the song he wanted to give to EE. E. He hasn't had time to send it out yet. I hope she can hear it. At this time, in the middle of a poor countryside, inside a hut that couldn't even be talked about as a house. It was just a scavenged hut piled up with a bunch of mud bricks, tree trunks as well as thatch. EE tomorrow is your birthday. Do you want to eat something? And whatever mom wants to eat, EE e. will eat. Listening to EE's e. words, Ee's mom touched Ee's forehead with some bitterness and, Mommy will buy you a big cake, okay? Does Ee e. want any more gifts? Listening to her mom's words, Ee e. shook her head and said, No more gifts, mom, I already got my favorite birthday present. Saying that, Ee e. then effortlessly picked up the guitar by Chen had given her and shook it in front of her mom. Looking at Ee e.'s adorable appearance, Ee's mom tenderly went forward and hugged Ee. E. Afterwards, after playing the guitar with Ee e. for a while, her mom went out of the house. Ee's mom walked out of the house and sat on a small bench and sighed deeply. Then she took out a somewhat worn cell phone and looked through the text message records on it with a heavy face. All of them were organ donation organizations, public welfare organizations and other contact information that she had found on the internet. These days, I uploaded the information about my daughter's bone marrow to various platforms, hoping to find a suitable bone marrow or donor. However, I have received very few replies. The content of the replies is more or less the same, no suitable donor has been found. Please wait patiently and we will notify you as soon as we have any news. Although this is the case, E's mom was still hoping for a miracle. 
Just as Yi's mom was sliding her cell phone screen with some impatience, she accidentally clicked on a push message. Looking at the loading page, Yi's mom was about to slide it out when she suddenly froze and stopped her hand. PDD Song Club? Group 3 by Chan returns, tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. See you there. Underneath this title, it was the photo taken by Paparazzo Dong Kai of by Chan and Yi playing guitar under a tree. After seeing Yi's happy smile on this photo, Yi's mom's heart violently trembled, and then she placed her eyes on Bai Chen, who was next to Yi. Bai Chen, was that young man's name Bai Chen? Afterwards, Yi's mom looked back inside the house again. She saw that Yi was just as happy as in the photo, playing the guitar that Bai Chen had given her. After seeing this scene, Yi's mom suddenly smiled with tears in her eyes. Then she turned around and lowered her head and, searching somewhat clumsily on her cell phone browser, where can I watch the song club? Time passed in an instant, and the next day, under the anticipation of millions of netizens, it finally came to 7.50 p.m. There were only 10 minutes left before the PDD Song Club finals started. At this time, a large number of netizens have already arrived at the PDD Song Club finals. A large number of netizens have already come to wait in PDD's live room. Even if it's not on yet, the heat of the live broadcast room is as high as 30 million. The VIP seat is already hundreds of thousands of people waiting. Open the door Atark Pig, quickly open the door, didn't I say 8 o'clock? Open the door, open the door, open the door. At this time, due to the explosive number of people in the PDD live room, the backstage staff of the fish is also busy. Even if the song friend match has not officially started, the number of viewers pouring into the fighting fish is close to the peak value of the previous. If they were to wait for the official start of the songbird tournament, they couldn't even imagine what kind of scene would occur. They were even worried. Their own servers would be overwhelmed by the sheer number of people. They also didn't expect that Bai Chen's influence would actually be so exaggerated. With time passing by minute by minute. 8 o'clock in the evening exactly. Ding dong the anchor you've been following. PDD is on the air. Accompanied by the prompt from the teasing fish system. The. The next second. The next second. I saw the black screen of the live broadcast room enter the loading state. I'm not going to be able to do that. Finally. Woohoo Bai Chen YYDS. Brothers. Do you think Bai Chen will sing a new song tonight? Funny which time Bai Chen sang something that wasn't a new song? Looking forward, White God bravely rushes, White God bravely rushes. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make it. The live feed had only just loaded out of the screen. It was stuck with this screen full of pop-ups. The number of people online was also rising at an extremely exaggerated rate. Seeing this scene, even PDD, who had seen many big scenes, froze for a moment. The VIP seat is almost 1 million? Yarr. People are all coming to their side, right? This can be said to be the only one in the real live broadcasting world. Then, after drinking a mouthful of water to suppress the shock, he opened the camera and said, Here we go. Good evening, everyone in the audience. With the opening of the camera, the viewers in the live broadcast room were surprised to find that today's PDD was dressed formally. Even the little suit and tie were on. Duck child yo whoring teacher so formal? To be honest, this is the grand final. The grand final of the white god's return so it's definitely time to be a little more formal. That's true, but Saw Pig is a little handsome in a suit. After looking at the pop-ups in the live broadcast room that were saying he was handsome, PDD also narrowed his eyes and smiled. All right, I believe you all received the news of Bai Chen's return to our family, and I understand how all of you viewers feel, so I won't get into any awkward opening remarks today. Let's get straight to our program. Welcome everyone to the PDD Song Club Finals Live. First let's invite our old friend Chen OK Mr. Chen Yuhuan. In these few days of contact, PDD and Chen Yuwan were also very familiar with each other, with PDD's words falling. Subsequently, then, he saw a small split screen appear among the lower right corner of the live broadcast room. Teacher Chen Yuwan, who was also well-dressed, appeared in the screen, only to see her with a smile on her face, waving towards the camera. She said, Hello good evening everyone, see you all again. As Chen Yuwan's comments were professional and funny. This also led to many netizens having good feelings about her and praising her. Wow. M.S. Chun Yu Wan is so beautiful. I love you. She said. It's the finals. Isn't M.S. Chun Yu Wan going to sing a song? I love you. I love you. I love you. Looking at the netizens, Chen Yu Wan smiled and said. Agu. I won't delay this precious time tonight. Besides, the judges haven't even finished their introductions yet. Today's new judge is a very pleasant surprise. Listening to Chen Yu Wan's words. The audience who only just found out about this news were also shocked for a moment. Did you change the judges? Is my princess of Noxus not coming? There's no way that someone would ask a pig to stuff people in? I feel that Zhang Yilei and Chen Yuhuan are pretty good. 
Looking at the audience who seemed to be a bit dissatisfied with the substitution, PDD smiled and explained, It's a pity that our MS, Zhang Yele is absent from our finals due to scheduling issues. However, I, Lu Mao, swear that this new judge will definitely not let you all down. Let's invite our final judge, the new generation love song king to appear. The words fell. Ding dong, countercurrent's blood, entered the judge's channel. Blood against the current? Who is it? Who's this non-mainstream LD? Just when the crowd was wondering who this non-mainstream person was, suddenly, a strange voice could be heard coming out of the channel. Oh my god, what kind of screen name is this? It's so unorthodox and embarrassing. After hearing this extremely recognizable voice, many of the audience froze for a moment. This, this voice, can it be that? Just as the viewers were about to call out the name in their hearts, they saw a split screen appear in the lower left corner of the live broadcast room. Hello, viewers, I'm Shui Jiqian. Sure enough, it was Shui Jiqian. Looking at Shui Jiqian who was greeting everyone in the split screen, the Qian fans in the live broadcast room instantly boiled over. Dig it it's really Qian Qian? It can't be the sub Ken that saw Pig got from the teaser sound, can it? Bull, it's really for Qian Qian to invite up. So Piggy is so powerful? It's not a big shot hidden in the entertainment industry, is it? In this world, Shui Jiqian was just as hot as in his previous life because of his unique Shui style love songs. And with his hilarious speech and not so bad character, he naturally had quite a fan base. A network show organized by an anchor. Did they really invite all the singers like Shui Jiqian? PDD looked at the incredibly shocked crowd in the live broadcast room and directly laughed out a pig squeal. He 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 is this surprise big? But let me say this first. I'm not that capable of inviting Mr. Shui Jiqian. It was Mr. Shui Jiqian who took the initiative to contact us. And as for the reason, Bai Chen, naturally. Ha, huh? Bai Chen again? Zhang Yele came here because of Bai Chen. Chen Yu Wan also because of Bai Chen. And now because of Bai Chen's return, Shui Jiqian has been lured here? After learning this news, Bai fans felt their faces rising. Ha ha, it's indeed like what Mr. Horish said. I was mesmerized when Bai Chen sang a meat and a vegetable. At that time I wondered how someone could write the lyrics and the song so well. It even made me cry to hear it. Cry like crazy. I don't dare to listen to the song a second time until now. I really don't. No one would doubt Shui Jiqian's words. As long as people with the ability to empathize were listening to one meat and one vegetable, there would definitely be waves in their hearts. After praising one meat and one vegetable, Shui Jiqian wasn't done yet and continued to praise, saying, Originally I thought this song was already amazing. Just the day before yesterday. After I realized that Fading Sadness was also sung by Bai Chen, I was really, I was stunned. I, a person who's been studying words for 10 years, was sung to my knees by this song Fading Sorrows. It's so well written really. I admire it. Alright, alright, I'm not going to say much. Maybe you viewers don't want to listen to me blathering more here. Let our John teacher go through the process and invite Bai Chen straight up. After listening to Shui Jiqian's impatient words, PDD also smiled and said, Good thank you to our mister. Chan Yu Wan and Mr. Shui Jiqian for coming to our song club. I believe you all know the rules of the competition. Since Bai Chen sang one round less before, he will make up a song for us before the finals. As long as the number of judges' votes and the number of votes passed by the finalists exceed 60%, Bai Chen will be able to return to our finals. So next I announce, the finals of the PDD Songwriter Tournament. Bai Chen's resurrection field officially begins. It's finally started. Let's go. Bai Chen. All the contestants go for it too. In fact, even if Bai Chen doesn't sing one more song and directly force his way into the final, the guys won't have a problem with it. After all, his strength is obvious to all, and can even be said to be the champion has no suspense, is Bai Chen undoubtedly. But, in fact, by this time the rankings were no longer important, whether it was the audience or the judges. The anticipation was only for Bai Chen's vocals and songs, along with the official start of the competition. Online topics related to it are also soaring. Hashtag Songwriters Club. Bai Chen's return to the stage. Hashtag. Hashtag PDD Song Club Final Start Hashtag. Hashtag Teasefished Hashtag. More and more viewers flooded into the live broadcast room. And the number of online viewers reached a terrifying value. Such ratings. Even certain S-ranked variety shows couldn't beat their horses. And the creator of this unprecedented scene was undoubtedly. Is Bai Chen. Bai Chen. Bai Chen. White Tatsu. Bai Chen. Looking at the dense pop-ups floating by like locusts. Holy shit. There must be millions of people here, right? I've never seen a concert like this before, right? Chen Yuhuan, who was at the side, was also a bit shocked and nodded her head. Seeing the terrifying number of viewers in the live broadcast room, even though both of them were psychologically prepared, they were still shocked. Looking at the two people's shocked expression, 
PDD secretly smiled proudly at one side. He was originally idle to make a song club. Did not expect to cause such a shocking scene now. This way by this way earned hemp genuses. After PDD and the other three judges had finished what they were supposed to say, the program host said in his voice, Could I believe everyone is very excited for Bai Chen's return? Then I won't make any more introductions here. Let's invite. Group 3 Bai Chen. Welcome the return of Bai Chen. Pa 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 pa. Along with the host's words, PDD and the others in the live broadcast room applauded. Woohoo Bai Chen. A loud bang in the sky and the white god shines. I love you Bai Chen. White God's Iron Fans give away Super Rocket Asterisk 1. I love you. Shireto. Cute little fan girl sends out a Super Rocket Asterisk 1. With one special effect gift after another bombarding the live broadcast room. Immediately after that. The crowd was then surprised by the hairstyle. And a split screen once again appeared in the center of the live broadcast interface. This is. Is this a video singing? Hello? Can you hear me? Along with Bai Chen's familiar voice coming out. In the split screen. Bai Chen's somewhat fair face also appeared in the crowd's field of vision. Holy shit Bai Chen is still really brother sadness? Isn't this something that has already been confirmed? Where is the real fake? I'm not listening to what I'm hearing, but seeing is believing. After seeing Bai Chen show his face, the second wave of climax came in the live broadcast room, and the whole room cheered. Just when everyone was looking forward to Bai Chen's performance, but the next second, a sudden scene, made the lively atmosphere in the live broadcast room suddenly pause for a moment only to see Bai Chen in the split screen adjusting the camera and then sitting on the bed with the redeemed guitar. Many sharp-eyed viewers instantly realized that this bed was a hospital bed and wasn't the unique set around it the set of an inpatient room in a hospital? He, this is in a hospital. Yeah, he, where else could he be if not in a hospital if he had cancer? The excitement of the moment made them all almost forget that Bai Chen was still a special patient. At this moment, the audience, who had just been reveling in Bai Chen's return, instantly felt a bit down. Bai Chen. Is Bai Chen in a hospital room? Alas. People who have cancer basically have to stay in the hospital for a while during the treatment period. My grandfather was the same way. He. He's like this himself. And he still comes back to sing for us? He's warm. I'm crying. At this time. Not only the audience. Even PDD and the others looked at Bai Chen's appearance and felt a tug in their hearts. They wanted to say something but didn't know what to say. At this time. The host. Who noticed that the atmosphere in the live broadcast room was a bit off immediately stood out. Ah, uh, may I ask, player by Chen, if you're going to sing directly? Or, is there anything you want to say? According to Bai Chen's character in the past, he should have just started singing. But this time, Bai Chen suddenly smiled, and brought an incredibly cute little brown bear toy from off camera and placed it in front of him, with a small red flower on his head. Only this little flower at this moment looked, seemed a little wilted. Afterwards, he then saw Bai Chen look at the camera with a slight smile and said, Sorry for the delay, but let's say a few words. Say a few words? When the audience thought that Bai Chen was going to respond to the public opinion and rumors, he didn't expect Bai Chen to say anything about these things. I didn't expect Bai Chen to mention any of these things. Instead, he took a deep breath and looked at the bear in front of him and slowly said, Before singing, allow me to tell you a little story. A short story? Many people were curious about Bai Chen's words and listened with ears open. Some time ago, I happened to meet a little girl in the hospital. A girl as beautiful and lovely as a little angel. Meanwhile, the sky gradually fell into the night. E Yi's home. Only a candle flame that looked a little weak was seen swaying through the window. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to E. Happy birthday to you E. Inside the house. Only a delicious looking fruitcake with seven rainbow candles was placed on the wooden table. With E and E's mom snuggled up to each other. Do you want to make a wish? You E. E's mom gently touched E's head with her rough hand and said gently. Listening to her mom's words, E.E. E. nodded her head obediently and then put her hands together in a decent manner, her eyes slightly closed, and murmured in a low voice, E.E.'s e. wish is, E.E.'s e. wish is, I wish for my mom to be in good health and to be happy every day, and then, I hope that after E.E. E. goes to heaven, she can meet her dad, and at that time, dad can take E.E. E. to the snowy mountains to see the snow and play in the rain, and, and E.E. E. hopes that big brother will also get well soon be happy too, on the side. Looking at the childish smile on Ee's face, Ee's mom held back and tried hard to restrain herself from crying out. She didn't want her emotions to affect Ee. After almost a minute, Ee opened her eyes and blew out all the candles after taking a deep breath. Phew. All right, let's eat cake together, mom. Um, Ee's mom cut three pieces of cake down. One piece was handed to Ee. One piece was placed in front of herself, and the other piece was quietly brought out and placed in front of Ee's father's picture. Son's father. Finally accompany EE e. for her birthday. After saying that, 
Then she saw Ee's Ee mother hurriedly wiping her tears and returned to Ee Ee's room and, she sat next to Ee Ee who was eating the cake and said softly, Ee Ee, don't you like Big Brother very much? Aha, mommy also prepared a gift for you today, you'll definitely like it, she said, under Ee Ee's expectant, curious eyes. Ee's mom took her cell phone out, opened the tea's fish platform that she had placed yesterday, and found PDD's live broadcast room and clicked in. Look is this Big Brother. Eh, it really is eh. Today Big Brother will sing oh don't you like it? Is it bad for mom to watch with you? Aha. Uh -huh. Looking at Ee Ee's happy face, Ee Ee's mom put her phone on the table and watched it with Ee Ee. Only as she watched, Ee Ee's mom realized that something was wrong. Those pop-ups in the live broadcast room seemed to be discussing Ee Ee. At this moment, 10 minutes had passed on this side of the live broadcast room. During these 10 minutes, the viewers were all deeply shocked by the short story that Bai Chen had told them. They could hear that this was not a story, but it was the tragic fate of a little girl. When they heard Ee say, the doctor said I can only live for half a year, but I've already lived for a year and a half. No one felt heartbroken for Ee Ee's cheerfulness when they learned that Ee Ee only had three months left to live. No one didn't feel sorry for her, and at the same time, they also admired Ee Ee's mother for her perseverance. Almost everyone in the audience, after hearing the story of what happened to E, all of them felt as if a large stone was being pressed on their hearts, unable to catch their breath. Even PDD, who already knew about this incident, now heard by Chen's narration again. His eyes were also a little red. Originally, hell is on earth. Not everyone is living a splendid life. Wu Wu E E is really so miserable. Is she really hopeless? It seems like there's still a way to save her, but she can't find a bone marrow match. Didn't you hear Bai Chen say that people won't help you find a match unless you spend extra money? Money, 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 everything is money. Looking at the audience's comments, Shui Jiqian in the background, who was trying to control his emotions, couldn't help but ask, Mr. Horing, can you help me contact this little girl later? I, I really can't watch these things. If I see it and know about it, I think I might be able to help her. After PDD heard this, he didn't refuse or agree, but nodded and said, Let's talk about this later. Actually, Bai Chen's reason for coming back to the song club is also because of this. He wanted to let more people know what happened to Ee Ee through this live broadcast, as a way to hopefully help her. Listening to PDD's words, Shui Jiqian froze slightly as he looked at Bai Chen on the split screen. He, the reason he returned to the song club. Actually because it was this? At this moment, Bai Chen's image became somewhat taller in Shui Jiqian's mind. At this moment. Bai Chen in the hospital looked at the pop-ups in the live broadcast room and said with a slight smile, All right, the short story is finished, and the reason why I came back today is because I, I owe Ee -E a song. I hope wherever she is, she can hear the song, a little red flower for you, for Ee. -E. After saying that, Bai Chen was seen holding the guitar and, clipped the little red flower on the bear's head to the pitch change clip, and after placing the bear that Ee -E had given him in his arms, he, he took a deep breath, with a somewhat hoarse voice, he softly sang, sending you a little red flower. Immediately after that, the beautiful guitar sound, accompanied by a slight drum beat and Bai Chen's singing voice resounded together, sending you a little red flower, blooming on your new branch bud that grew yesterday, reward you for having the courage to come and talk to me of your own accord. Uncommonly icy water ah, oh strong drink of righteousness, what a day of suffering, you have overcome it. This song, was it written by Beck Chen specifically for Ee? -E? Listening to that song, which was full of empathy. Quite a few people suddenly felt a bit choked up as if their throats were blocked by something. The things Bai Chen had just said about Ee -E flashed through their minds like a slideshow. They seemed to have seen Ee -E's face that always maintained a strong smile while facing the torment of the disease. She was a lovely, understanding, little girl who deserved to be loved. Why did fate treat her like this? At this moment, Ee -E looked at Bai Chen who was singing on the screen in a somewhat dumbfounded manner. And after slightly freezing for a moment, the, the corner of her mouth suddenly grinned. Her eyes smiled like a crescent moon, and with that somewhat thin little hand, she shook her mom aside, and said happily, Mom look, Mom look, look, Big Brother said, this song is for me for me, and even praised me for having courage, he he he. Looking at Ee Ee's happy go lucky look, Ee Ee's mom only dared to cover her mouth and nod with a trembling body, how could she not have expected, Bai Chen, who had only met her once, could actually remember Ee Ee, and had even dedicated a song to Ee Ee in such a program. And the most unexpected thing to her was, Bai Chen also made a point of telling everyone about Ee. Looking at the heartbroken Ee, I want to go hug Ee ah, that floated across the screen. Ee's mom had an indescribable feeling in her heart. At this time, the song was still going on, sending you a little red flower to cover up your newly added scars today. 
reward you for taking me home on a rainy day. Oh Colorado blizzard oh Himalayan plunge. As long as you believe in me, you can get there by closing your eyes. Bai Chen's voice was as plain and calm as if he was gently speaking and praying, but it was this kind of singing voice that caused waves to rise within all of them. Close your eyes slightly. As if they really watched the roiling white snow appear in front of their eyes. As if they really felt the pouring torrential rain drenching them unscrupulously. At this moment, Yi e also nodded slightly and closed her eyes to see the surroundings. Eh, hey, I see it. I really see snow mom. There's so much snow. Although she clearly knew that this was the child's imagination. Ee's mom still cooperated and closed her eyes, hugged Ee -E and nodded her head, saying, Well, mommy saw it too. Mommy, let's build a snowman with Ee, okay? Aha build a snowman, but along with Bai Chen Song. The moment she closed her eyes, Ee's mom suddenly felt as if she had really arrived in the snowy world over there. She saw Ee's happy face in the snow, laughing as she ran off into the distance, running further and further away. The more you run, the farther away you go. I'll give you a little red flower. Bloom at the end of the mountain where cows and sheep are everywhere. Wherever you go, don't forget me. The sandy beaches as white as snow. The calm waters of the lake. Those real phantoms are my attachment to you. A little red flower for you. Blossoms in the deepest sands of your heart. Reward you for feeling the struggles of every destiny. Who is it that squanders time? Who is it that suffers from the luxury of hope? That's not a question. Nor do I need you to answer. Sending you a little red flower. Send you a. Listening to Bai Chan slowly telling Song. The audience in the live broadcast room couldn't hold it in any longer. Their eyes became moist. Perhaps the song didn't sound depressing, nor did it have a very sad melody. But instead, it seemed extraordinarily gentle under Bai Chen's voice, especially the opening line, reward you for having the courage to take the initiative to talk to me. But this song is too gentle. It's so gentle. It's so tender that it hurts your heart. Maybe death isn't scary, but forgetting is. So is Bek Tatsu trying to tell everyone not to forget Ee? -E? In the face of the unfairness of fate that happened to Yi, -E, Bai Chen didn't tear his heart out and cry out for her, expressing his dissatisfaction for her, but rather told her in an incredibly calm and gentle manner, letting her take it all as a so-called reward. Since there is no way to change fate, then change your mindset. When faced with some difficult to adhere to the trials and tribulations, perhaps a small smile, with a different mindset to face, it will be much easier. For what will happen in the future? It's not a question, so don't worry about it. I don't have to answer. As the saying goes, the light boat has crossed 10,000 mountains, and the road ahead is long and splendid. At this time, E's mom finally couldn't hold back any longer, and hugged E before trembling and sobbing. E, e I'm sorry. Mom is sorry. It's mom's fault. I didn't take good care of you. Looking at her mom who was crying, E, e then stretched out her own little hand and slowly wiped the tears from the corner of her mom's eyes. Mom, don't cry. E, e doesn't blame you. E thinks. Mommy is the best mom in the world. As long as mom doesn't forget E in the future. The more E said this, the more E's mom felt her heart twitching, and she wanted to say something, but choked up and couldn't say anything. Afterwards, only to see E, e suddenly broke free from her embrace and ran to a wall with ten or so small red flowers pasted on it, patting her toes and picking one off of it before running back again. Mommy E, e sends you a little red flower too. Stop crying. Said. Then she put this little red flower that she used to get in kindergarten and stuck it on her mom's forehead. At this time, Bai Chen's song had quietly ended. Not only the audience in the live broadcast room. At this time, even PDD, Shui Jiqian and the others were silent. They too hadn't expected. This song was able to bring about such a mind-blowing effect on its own. In Bai Chen's song, they saw Ee, -E, and perhaps looked at themselves as well. They also saw the bitterness and sorrow of life. The optimism and strength of the suffering people who were tortured by fate, the pliability of life, and the immovable power of fate and age. This picture of suffering makes people feel touched. And what touches people's hearts even more is that, mixed in this endless suffering fate, by Chen's portion of tenderness, in the live broadcast room, alas when my dad left, he was also short of a hundred thousand or so to cure his illness, and now that I've earned money, there are countless hundreds and twenties of thousands of dollars, but they can no longer be replaced for my dad. Is there anything more painful than watching a loved one leave and not being able to do anything about it? I'm also a leukemia patient. But I'm lucky. My mom and dad insisted on my treatment and replaced my bone marrow, so that I can live healthily until now, and I'm 18 years old this year. I'm so grateful to my parents for that. At the same time, I also feel very sorry for E. I hope she can get well too. E is so cute and understanding. Like a little angel. I really can't let her go like this. Just when the group was still discussing E. E. Bai Chen. On the other hand, gently removed the little red flower that E.E. E. had given herself, which was pinned to her guitar. 
Although the petals had begun to wither at this point, and the bright red color had become dull, its rhizome was still straight as if it had just been picked. Then, it got up and came outside the camera, inserting this flower that was about to wither into a small water bottle, and at this time in the live broadcast room, the host, on the other hand, choked a little and said, sending you two little red flowers, one to reward you for fighting the disease, and one to reward you for rejecting the world. Ee story and experience has moved us, and by Chen's song is also very moving, I believe. Ee will definitely hear the song, but, let's return to our program first. Will Bek Tatsu be able to come back to life? Although everyone must already have the answer in their hearts, we still have the three judges to vote. As the host's words fell, PDD then looked at the camera for a few seconds of slight contemplation before opening his mouth and saying, I, I don't have much to say, because my vocabulary is not enough to express my feelings at this moment. I can only say, Bai Chen has once again deeply shocked me. I can even say that I, Lu Mao, am honored to know such a talented musician. Awesome. Pass. Mr. Chen Yuhuan, comment a few words. After PDD's comment, Chen Yuhuan also seemed to be a little less stable emotionally. And, I, I don't know how to describe it. I can only say that Bai Chen's song is still so straight to my heart. I'm through too. Give our new Mr. Shui a few more words. At this moment. When it was Shui Jiqian's turn for the camera, the audience realized that Shui Jiqian's eyes had long since become reddish in color, and his eyes were a bit fluttering, as if he was still sedated and coming out of the song he had just sung. Mr. Shui, Shui Jiqian is here for you. After hearing the host's reminder, Shui Jiqian was also finally slowed down, and after taking a deep breath, his voice had a hint of choking as he said, No, I'm sorry, everyone, I lost control of my emotions just now, I'm sorry. Please give me a few seconds. I'm sorry. With that, he drew a tissue and turned his body back. It seems our Mr. Shui is also deeply moved. Let's wait for Mr. Shui for a few seconds. After the crowd in the live broadcast room saw the scene, no one would think that Shui Jiqian was putting on a show, because Shui Jiqian was originally a very emotional person. Coupled with the knowledge of Yi's experience in conjunction with this song, no one could hold on. After a few seconds, after seeing Shui Jiqian turn around again, he let out a long sigh and shook his head, saying, Bai Chen, you know how to sing, today I really sang to you on my knees, maybe in the past I just thought your lyrics were good, but today is different you know, when I say you know how to sing, I don't mean you're a good singer or have good technique or anything like that, it's that I see a light in you, the whole song may sound bland, but I can feel the deafening power in it, your songs are full of power, full of life, you've brought the song to life, you know, looking at Shui Zhichen's clenched fists and clenched teeth, Many of the audience nodded in agreement, only to see a somewhat agitated Shui Zhichian continue to say, I see sincerity in you. This is the most important thing for singers, especially original singers. Only songs created with heart and sincerity can touch the hearts of the people and touch me. It's obvious. You've done that with every song, without exaggeration. Today's music industry needs people like you. I sincerely hope that you can carry on with your sincerity. So, pass. The three judges passed and Bai Chen was successfully resurrected, passed, not much more, although everyone had expected it in their hearts, they were still overjoyed, woohoo Bai Chen is awesome, voice breaking, white tatsu's yyd super rocket from tai pants, super rocket from temporary clutch, white god's only love fan sends out a super rocket asterisk, looking at the super rockets flying all over the screen in the live room, pdd did some rough math, from just now until now, today's gift income should be on the verge of reaching 500, 000 plus, it's really too terrifying. After listening to the three judges' comments, Bai Chen also returned to the camera and nodded, saying, thank you for the three teachers' evaluations, and thank you all for liking it. But, I prefer that today. Everyone focuses more on EE. The main character today is not me, but EE. Listening to Bai Chen's words, Shui Jiqian in the split screen nodded and said, Bai Chen is right. Perhaps in ordinary life, there are some things and some people that we can't see and don't know but since I know about EE's matter, then I for one will definitely not let it go. That's why I can directly promise here. When the game is over tonight I will personally take out 500, 000 dollars and donate it to EE's little friend. Listening to Shui Zhiqian's words, Chen Yuhuan, who was on the side, also spoke up and said, I'm also heartbroken by EE's experience. I'll donate 250, 000 to EE. I hope this money can help her. And I wonder if Mr. John has the contact information of EE's family? After looking at Shui Jiqian and mentioning this matter, PDD didn't continue to drag his feet. PDD also did not continue to delay, directly opened his mouth and said, Thank you for your kindness, 
In fact, after learning about Yi Yi's matter, Bai Chen had a chat with me, and the reason why Bai Chen returned to our song club was also to help Yi. But nowadays, what Yi lacks the most and what's most important is to find a suitable bone marrow within a period of three months. So, I'm going to delay you for ten minutes. So please click on the web link that appears in the live broadcast. But don't worry, I won't ask you to donate anything. Instead, I'd like you all to forward the content of this web page, which has the bone marrow matching information that Yi needs. As the old Chinese saying goes, many hands make light work. I believe that with the power of so many people in the broadcasting room, we will definitely be able to find the right bone marrow to keep our little angel Yi on earth. And please don't worry, I, Lu Mao, can make a statement. The bone marrow will be paid for. I Lu Mao will pay for it. If there is a suitable candidate, please contact us as soon as possible. And during tonight's finals, all gift proceeds. I'll donate them all transparently to EE. We're on a tight schedule. So I'd like to ask you all to help me spread the word. Let more people see our EE -E little angel. Listening to PDD's words. Some people in the live broadcast room instead became unhappy. Dugout Su Pig is looking down on the brothers. Isn't he? The QR code is released. I'll donate to EE -E as well. Right. 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 I'm just a student. But I don't know if I'm going to donate. I'm just a student. But I'll donate $10 to EE's -E sister. Looking at the live broadcast of the audience who have to offer a love. PDD is also some helpless. At the same time, there is also a hint of inner touch. But after all, he is not a public welfare organization. This kind of personal initiated donation is a little bit not quite in line with the process. In order to avoid some trouble, ready to refuse everyone's good intentions, PDD suddenly received a message from the management of the amusing fish. Looking at the message in his cell phone, PDD froze slightly for a moment, and then a smile surfaced in his eyes as he looked at the camera and said, Thank you all for your kind words. But I didn't get the donation channel either. So I'm sorry. But, just now, the backstage of Teasing Fish gave me the word that the platform won't take any share of the gifts given in my live room today. It's also a way to give EE -E a chance to do her part. But please be sensible. Just do your best to help forward EE's -E's message. Thank you all. Just as the words fell, the entire live broadcast room suddenly got stuck for a moment. And then, the next second, the entire screen's pop-up suddenly disappeared. And in their place was a densely packed gift-giving prompt. Even PDD was shocked by the horrifying number of gifts, although it had only been 10 minutes. But with the support of this huge audience space, EE's news quickly spread throughout the circle of friends, Penguin Space, teasing sound platforms, and so on. With such huge exposure, EE's news finally rushed onto the hot search list. Hot search number one, Little E, the little angel left behind on Earth. Search number two, a little red flower for you, EE. Hot search number three, Leukemia. Hot search number four, give a love. Save a life. Note, please rest assured that appropriate bone marrow donation will not cause any loss to the body. The bone marrow can be recovered on its own. This time, under the efforts of everyone, finally let everyone see this strong cut optimistic little girl. Even for those who don't know Bai Chen or the PDD Song Club, after seeing this piece of news, they all felt heartbroken for this little girl's fate. Inside the comments section of the major media platforms, this little girl is really too pitiful. Albinism is horrible. Read more upstairs. This is leukemia, conspicuous package, connotation myself, wrongly written in front. Sorry, sorry, whom, and by the looks of it, EE -E seems to be suffering from a combination of leukemia and albinism. This is the first time I've seen such a case, but it's okay. Albinism doesn't have a big impact on health. It's still leukemia that's serious. Look at the news. Is she in urgent need of bone marrow for transplant? It seems so, but it seems that it's a bit hard to find an HLA match for her. What kind of match? I'll see if I'm a good match. You can go to the link that everyone forwarded to the live broadcast room. It has EE's HLA match. Ugh. I saw that. I've donated once before. But it doesn't match EE's. As EE's case slowly expanded. After many people learned of this news, whether it was for the sake of donating love, or for the sake of donating the right bone marrow to get paid by PDD, they all expressed how they could provide help to EE if they had the right HLA match. Not only that, there are also a large number of people who, after seeing this, have also downloaded the teasing fish and come to PDD's live room wanting to send some small gifts. For a while, the heat of the live broadcasting room, which had already reached a bottleneck, once again rocketed. 5000 W, 7000 W, 9000 W, 100 million. Looking at this horrifying heat, PDD was already numb. Although he said that he had reached this level of heat before, but it was all brushed out by himself with money, of which bots accounted for a large portion. And nowadays, this 100 million heat was at least a few million people or even tens of millions of real people, right? 
The horror. It's too much. Heater send an airplane asterisk one. EE -E cheer sends an airplane asterisk one. Give you a thumbs up sends a super rocket asterisk one. In this short period of 10 minutes, there were very few pop-ups in the live room. Basically all of them were gift reminders, only to see PDD secretly glancing at the background records. He directly froze for a moment. In the column of today's gift earnings, it is written, 356-3887. 34. More than $3 million. In less than 10 minutes, he had raised more than $3 million. This is simply too terrifying. Subsequently, after seeing that it was about time, PDD adjusted his emotions, stood up and bowed to the camera and said, Thank you, thank you, thank you all for helping EE. The gifts can be stopped. The amount has now reached more than $3 million. It is already enough. I can promise you that 500 000 of this amount will be used as compensation for bone marrow contributors, and the rest will be used for ease treatment and other expenses. I, Lu Mao, thank you all very much. Thank you. After hearing PDD say this, the audience in the live broadcast room not only didn't stop, but instead became even more frantic. KAM saw Pig is looking down on the brothers. I'm charging a hundred to send it in. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'll be eating noodles for the next month. For EE, Rush, brothers, I'm going to donate my wife's money to EE, and the main focus is the light of the righteous path. Seeing this crazy and incomparable scene in the live broadcast room, PDD also smiled somewhat helplessly. All right, all right, we've seen all the good intentions of the brothers, but for now, let's continue with the song club. After we're done with the song club, I'll go personally contact EE tonight and provide her with all the help I can, so that's enough about that for now. Let's return our attention to the stage. I can tell you that the first contestant to sing later is Shirado. And it's also a new original song. According to the momentum of today's development, PDD suspect that today's gift revenue may reach 10 million. PDD, who has been on the internet for many years, naturally knows that sometimes things go too far. Sometimes things get too big, even if what you do is good. Now that the purpose of helping EE was half accomplished, that was enough. In order to shift the audience's attention back, PDD also had to bring out Bai Chen only to see that it was true. After hearing Bai Chen's song again, many of the audience's attention instantly shifted back. Cough cough brothers stop ah, ee -e now lack of not money, is the bone marrow ah, it's the bone marrow that saves lives. Upstairs is right, we should forward it more often. Let everyone help, come back and listen to the song when you're done. I almost forgot, the contest isn't over yet, is the first one by, it's still original. Don't, if this is the case, then all the other contestants don't have to play. Right? My brother Bai will be the champion. Looking at the comments on the pop-up screen, PDD smiled and was about to re-announce the start of the PDD Song Club Finals. Didn't ever think. The words had not yet been said. The live broadcast suddenly got stuck for a moment, and a circle appeared showing that it was loading. Immediately after that, the loading circle turned a few seconds later. The audience will see PDD's live room suddenly closed. The anchor you watch has been off the air. You can transfer to other live room. What's going on? What's going on? How come Saw Pig's live room is gone? Wang Defa? What's going on? I just charged up. Brothers, I've found it. It's the big brother who unplugged Saw Pig's internet connection. Looking at the black screen of the live room, not only are the viewers confused and don't know what's going on. At this time, even PDD was a bit confused. He scratched the back of his head and was about to re-log into the live broadcast software. The result was, the network fluctuation of the live broadcast room is abnormal. Please try again later. Ha, huh? why can't I see the live broadcast? Mr. Horish, is there a problem on your side? Facing the doubts of both Shui Zhichen and Chen Yuhuan, PDD was also puzzled, frowning and somewhat dissatisfied. He looked back at the staff behind him and questioned, why is my live broadcast room gone? What is this situation? Is it a problem on our side or something else? In the face of PDD's questioning, several staff members shook their heads in bewilderment even after a quick check. Brother Lu, it's not our problem. The equipment on our side is fine. Ah, uh, what's going on? Looking at the crowd didn't know what the problem was. PDD didn't say anything. Picked up the phone and called the backstage staff of T's Fish. Hello? What's wrong with you guys? How come my live room is gone? Can you quickly get a get? After listening to PDD's dissatisfied voice, the fish staff said with some helplessness, Brother Lou, I'm sorry. There are too many viewers on your side. I, I, our backstage servers are fried. PDD. Oh, oh. Staff, after, the backend server blew up? What's the situation? Can you get it working? Listening to PDD's unbelievable tone, the teeming fish personnel also laughed bitterly and said, it can't be helped brother Lou, the commotion you made today was too big, just now, 
The number of simultaneous online viewers in your live room has reached 30 million. Our server can't withstand so many people watching online at the same time. It has already collapsed. If we want to repair and upgrade it, we'll need to do it tomorrow at the earliest. 30 million people online at the same time? What the hell? Since PDD was on speaker, Shui Jichin who was still in the YY chat was also shocked by this number. This is the number of people online at the same time, not the cumulative number of viewers. This is the number of people online at the same time, not the cumulative number of viewers. Bai Chen, who was also still in the YY chat, smiled gently when he learned of this news. The more people knew about it, the more people knew, the more hope EE -E had, right? After learning the real reason for the sudden closure of the live broadcast, PDD said helplessly after a few seconds of silence, saying, Sigh okay, as soon as possible, I'll have it ready by tomorrow afternoon. After hanging up the phone, PDD put on the headset and smiled a bit awkwardly. Ah, uh, teachers, I'm sorry, I have a problem here. You should have heard it too. Maybe we'll have to postpone the concert until tomorrow. I'm really, really sorry. I don't know if you two have time tomorrow. Listening to PDD's words, Shui Jichian also smiled and responded. It's okay, it's okay. It can't be helped that this server crashed. It's understandable. I'll be fine tomorrow. I'll have time to keep coming back. Chen Yuan also said he had time. After hearing the reply from the two of them, PDD was sort of relieved. If these two didn't come, it would be hard for him to find other powerful judges in a short period of time, in which case the program's points of interest might be quite a bit less. Then let's stop here for today. I happen to go and take care of these affairs to make some arrangements. Oh right, by Chen later on. Please send me the tracks you're going to sing tomorrow, then just rest up. You can contact me anytime if there's anything. Hmm, I'll give it to you now. Bai Chen in front of the screen sniffed and then directly sent the information of the prepared song. For the song to be sung in the finals he had prepared it himself, he just forgot to send it. That's good everyone have a good rest. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Ding dong Bai Chen exits the chat room. Ding dong, Chenik exited the chat room. Ding tone, blood against the current. After watching the people in the voice chat room leave, PDD didn't have time to rest. He also had to immediately send out a statement about the server crash. Send out a screenshot of tonight's income to ensure authenticity. And then he had to get busy with EE's side of things. Since he chose to do it, he couldn't afford to be disingenuous and perfunctory. And there were still an unknown number of eyes staring at him. After all, if this kind of thing is fake, if it is not exposed, it may not be able to live with his conscience. But if it is exposed, then his reputation can be stigmatized. Just when PDD was busy with these things, Ding Dong is sound. Blood against the current enters the chat room. Hey is Mr. Or still there? Hello? Is anyone there? Ha! Huh? After noticing the strange movement coming from within the voice, PDD glanced over and realized that it was Shui Jichian who had gone and returned. Eh? Hello Mr. Shui? Is there something else? PDD inquired as he put on his headphones again. Hmm. He he he. Just a little something. Can you give me a little bit of information about the track that Beck Chin is going to sing tomorrow? I'm just too excited and curious about what he's going to sing tomorrow. Listening to Shui Jichian's somewhat excited tone, PDT smiled and said, No problem, Mr. Shui, why don't we add a V, and I'll send it to you directly? Okay. Subsequently, after forwarding the song information that Bai Chen had sent to him to Shui Jichian, PDD continued to busy himself. At this moment, Shui Jichian, who was half lying on the sofa, received the file sent by PDD and immediately sat up straight, exhaling deeply and clicked into it. After clicking into the file, I saw a few words written on it. Contestant, by Chen, pre-selected track, Mountain and Sea. Mountain and Sea. Just by looking at this song title, Shui Jichian was already filling his mind with imaginations of the song's content. But even so, Shui Jichian did not choose to look at the lyrics below. If he looked at them now, the surprise would be much less when Bai Chen sang it tomorrow. This anticipation. Let's leave it for tomorrow. Subsequently, Shui Jichian also personally edited an article on the topic of EE and published it on his necklace. It's also a way to make a small contribution, right? Although it is said to be a small contribution, but Shui Jichian is after all a very popular singer. Body still has a lot of star effect. Some people in the circle saw Shui Jichian posted EE's thing, also followed have forwarded up. There is even a popular topic of Save the Little Angel EE, and the viewers who converged on PDD's live broadcast room. After seeing that the server crashed and could not continue with the songwriting competition, did not stay idle. After seeing the server crash and being unable to continue the match, the viewers who had gathered in PDD's live room turned their heads and continued to fight for EE, frantically sending out all kinds of messages related to her. For a while, 
the entire internet world was filled with the topic of EE. At this time, E's home, only to see EE's mother covering her face with both hands, staring at her eyes, somewhat stunned, looking at the black screen of the live broadcast on her cell phone. Just now, everything and anything that had happened in the live broadcast room had been seen by her. When she heard Bai Chin call for more attention to EE, she was grateful. When she heard that Shui Jichen and Chen Yu Wan would take out hundreds of thousands of dollars to donate to EE, she was excited. And later on, when she saw that PDD had asked the entire live broadcast audience to help EE find a suitable bone marrow, and that he was going to donate millions of dollars worth of gift proceeds to EE, EE's mom froze for a moment, completely afraid to imagine that this was real. Because, all of this was like she was dreaming. It was too dreamy and too sudden. Even, she couldn't tell if they were putting on a show with EE's name or if they were serious. In these two years of looking for bone marrow for EE, -E, she had already experienced too much deception or flimflam. So, she couldn't tell the difference. She really couldn't, whether this was all true or not. At this moment, EE, -E, who was eating cake with her mouth full of cream, looked at her mom, who was fuming, and asked curiously that, Mom, what are you doing? Aren't you coming to eat the cake with EE? -E? Since EE -E had happily run out to eat the cake after listening to Bai Chin Singh, she didn't see what had just happened in the live broadcast room. Looking at EE -E who ran to her face, EE's -E mom wanted to tell EE -E this news, but didn't dare to tell EE, -E because she was afraid. She was afraid that she would be fooled again, afraid that she would break EE's -E heart once again. No, it's okay EE, -E. is the cake good? M, mommy E too. As she watched EE -E bring the unfinished birthday cake to her mouth, EE's -E mom was just about to open her mouth when the phone on the side suddenly rang. Jingle bells jingle bells. Eh, EE? -E? Mommy has to answer the phone first. We'll eat later. Said. E's mom then picked up the cell phone on the desktop and pressed the call button. Hello are you E's mom? After listening to the voice coming from the phone, E's mom's pupils suddenly shrunk, and her hand violently trembled. This voice. Wasn't it the voice of that fat anchor in the live cell phone broadcast just now? I. I. I'm E's mom. You. Are you. E's mom's voice was a bit shaky, while PDD on the other end of the phone smiled and said gently after hearing her words. Oh hello there, E's mom, may I ask how to address you? Chen, Chen Shui Feng, hello 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 MS, Chen, my name is Lu Mao, I don't know if you have read the news online, I am this side, in the next 5 minutes, E's mom's eyes went from shocked, unbelievable, in a trance, ecstatic until finally breaking into tears, until PDD made everything clear as well as the cause and hung up the phone, E's mom was still a bit unable to believe that, this is all true until she picked up her cell phone in a hurry and looked at the hotspots on the internet. Even the local news stations were broadcasting about EE's incident. Then she was completely convinced that it was all true. And the other party did not procrastinate at all. Tomorrow to arrange for vehicles to pick up themselves and EE back to the magic city. First to heal EE's body. When the bone marrow is found, the operation will be arranged at the first time. And the source of all this cannot be separated from Bai Chen. Cannot be separated from him and EE's meeting between the building. EE. EE, -E, slowed down the mother of EE, -E, while crying while laughing rushed into the room, directly a big bear hugged dead hold EE -E broke into tears and laughed, said, EE, -E, we've met a valuable person, we've met a valuable person, no matter what happens in the future, you, you must remember big brother, big brother is our nobleman, at this moment, although EE -E didn't really know what was happening, she still nodded her head with a smile and said, aha, EE -E will absolutely never even forget big brother, at the same time, Bai Chen, who had just finished taking medication to stabilize his condition in the hospital, also received the news that PDD had already arranged things for EE. Not only that, even in the network to see, some professional organizations are in the EE issued a document, said to be checking the donor inventory there is no with EE to the matching bone marrow. If there will be the first time to EE to retrieve over, a lot of large and small public welfare organizations actually began to act for EE. Bai Chen felt a tinge of irony at this, as expected. When one possessed value in oneself, the people around them all became good people. After all, with the current situation, as long as anyone came forward to provide EE -E with bone marrow, they would definitely get a good reputation online, and that was the value for them. Bai Chen did not think much about it. What he can do has been done. The rest depends on God's will. Looking at the desktop of the brown bear, Bai Chen will take it over a eyes flashed a trace of memories. Why would he want to help EE -E in this way? Perhaps it was the curiosity of the first meeting. Or perhaps it was learning about EE's sad fate, or being infected by EE's strong optimism, or maybe it was the so-called mother of God's heart? In fact, none of them. Just a person who has already fallen into the mire. 
unwilling to see a flower that should be blooming in the sunshine, also fell into this hideous mire, thinking about it. Then see by chin eye surfaced a touch of gentle incomparable smile after. Put the bear on his pillow. Turn off the light. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you for your support. I love you. Time passes slowly. Even though it's late at night, the topic of EE's hotness is still high. And even more touching is that, some people are careful to find. The link to the webpage that helped EE was added with something new. As long as you clicked in, the song Send You a Little Red Flower sung by Bai Chen would automatically play. And the background image of the entire webpage was the picture of Bai Chen and EE in the backyard garden that was secretly taken by the paparazzo Dong Kai. Many netizens have left their blessings here. Sending you a little red flower. Hang in there. I'm sure you'll be able to wait for the hopefully EE. Send you a little red flower. Promise me. Don't give up. Okay? Give yourself a safflower. Tumor surgery must be a success. I'll give you a hug. And you have to work hard. The surgery will be a success. While netizens were praying and wishing for EE, there was a small incident on the internet. At the same time, in the studio of Harvest Flower. You. Are you sure you want to post this song at this time? Air. Song. Only Wang Hong. Wawood Flower's manager. Looked at Wawood Flower with a hint of uncertainty in his eyes. When else can we wait if we don't release it at this time? Haven't you seen what's going on with EE online? Send it now. Just say that this song was customized by me for EE. I hope hearing it will make her feel better. Listening to Woji Flower's words, Wang Hong raised an eyebrow. Ha? Huh? Feel better? Are you sure? But then again, nowadays, EE's traffic was so high that she was indeed very hot. With EE's name, there was indeed nothing wrong with sending a song to give a voice to cancer patients. And it could even pull in a lot of roadkill. The problem. The problem is that his song. People don't understand it. I've also advised him to just do a song in the normal pop style. But he said. This is art. He wants to go international. Art can't be defined and doesn't need to be defined. What? You wrote a Cthulhu song. Didn't you? Although think so. After all. He is also on their side of the ace now. Arm twisting cannot be big leg. He wants to release a song they cannot stop. Wang Hong could only connect with Wamowa's staff and released his heavyweight album Cancer. Healing in the wee hours of the morning. At the same time, Wawood Flower's personal neckerchief was updated with the same dynamic. The new song Cancer, Healing has been released on all major music platforms. I hope fans like it and can feel the pain of cancer patients. At the same time, this song was created for our little angel EE. I hope you won't be tormented by your illness anymore at E. Immediately following, under the operation of Woji Flower Studio, in addition to EE's own topic heat, it didn't take long. The message hit the hot search list. Hashtag singer Wamuwa has given a voice to EE by writing a single for her. Cancer. Heal hashtag. Hashtag Wamuwa's new song Cancer. Heal is released. Hashtag Wamuwa's new song Cancer. Healing was released an hour ago and has already exceeded 100. 000 plays. Hashtag. Only to see various phrases climbing up the hot search list at an alarming rate, causing many netizens who hadn't gone to sleep to see this news. Eh? Well wooden flower guy issued a new song. Also specially created for EE. It seems that this person is still weirdly good. I'm going to listen to it. Air. Although I don't have any feelings for this person. But for the sake of EE. I'll also go and take a look at what's going on. My flower god is so kind. He wrote a song for Yui so soon. I envy Yui for letting the flower god do this. Upstairs. Envious? Good. I'll let you get leukemia too. What are you talking about? After seeing this message. After seeing this message. Both fans of Woji Flower and those who were concerned about EE's situation opened their music platforms and searched for the song. Even after many of them searched for this song, their eyes lit up. This was actually a pure music? Since it was created for EE and the cancer patient, then this pure music should be the kind that is more melancholic and quiet. Right? Thinking of this, the, the netizens then put on their headphones, lay down on their beds, clicked the play button, and prepared to listen in peace and quiet. But the next second, a dark melody with eerie colors, as if it was from the netherworld, came out from the headphones. It made people feel that their bodies were shivering and their backs were cold just by listening to it. Hiss this song. Something is wrong. Listen to it. Since it was only the intro and nothing could be heard, the netizens chose to continue listening, waiting for the intro to slowly end. And then, a strange sound was heard coming out from it, somewhat similar to a lament, and as if it was whispering, Oh 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 oh. oh. Listening to this fearful, scalp numbing, back chilling sound. There were already people who realized that something was wrong, but not sure. Listen in. Along with the progress bar of the song, Hua Chang Yu's singing voice became more and more exaggerated, especially after reaching two minutes and seven seconds. I could only hear his voice getting more and more urgent and shrill, 
just like a soul-seducing tone from hell. Hearing this moment, quite a few people directly collapsed from their beds and threw their headphones directly out with a tug. Crap, there's something dirty in my headphones. The group of netizens who had heard this new song said that they had cracked up. Some even directly clicked into Woji Flower's scarf and struck their keyboards in the comments section. Geneva, big brother, I didn't offend you, did I? Why are you making my ears suffer like this? This song is not a cure, it's a death sentence. Thank you Lou. While listening to the song I saw that I am too milk. And, is this song really created for EE? -E? Brother, you still don't think he isn't suffering enough, do you? Ahem, I appreciate your kindness in speaking out for EE, -E, but you don't have to listen to the song. I'm happy that you're speaking out for EE, -E, but this song, Uncle Tongue doesn't like it. Uh, isn't the song Flower God about the pain of cancer patients, so I don't think there's anything wrong with it, right? Right, this song, eh, this song, forget it sister. I don't know how to wash it. I hope EE doesn't hear it. Ugh, if you don't know how to write a song, learn from Bai Chen. Don't make this kind of stuff out to scare people, okay? This moment. Those who like WoW and those who don't like WoW are silent. The next day, after experiencing last night's amusing fish server crash incident, after countless netizens agonizing wait, they finally waited for PDD's live broadcast in the evening. The finals of the True Songwriter Tournament kicked off. In the live broadcast room, PDD is still wearing a formal and incomparable suit, waiting for the arrival of the final time 8 o'clock sharp, and after last night's teasing fish staff's all-night efforts, not only will their own live room server maintenance, and even an upgrade, can accommodate more netizens at the same time online to watch. At this moment, the, although the heat of their own live room was not as high as yesterday, it was still horrible, just opened the broadcast to have a whole 50 million plus heat, and even the VIP seat has nearly a million people. Hey ah soy pig yesterday how to do it. Watching the I was excited about it live room gone. Indeed. I had my pants down and it said the server crashed? How's EE's case going? Did you find the bone marrow? Yes. I saw the anchor post yesterday. I saw the anchor's post yesterday saying that the millions of dollars from the proceeds will be used to help EE. Is that true? I read that if EE doesn't find the bone marrow in 3 months, she'll leave. Is that true too? Looking at the pop-ups in the live broadcast room that were concerned about EE. PDD didn't hide anything and responded with a serious face. Don't worry everyone. I, Lu Mao, do what I say. I've already made arrangements for EE's side of things. About tomorrow will be EE will be received to the magic city. At that time she will be arranged in the hospital I have already found a good hospital. The first to carry out a certain amount of conservative treatment. At least let her be able to wait until the moment of transplantation of bone marrow. As for which hospital it is I won't say. After all. EE's situation right now is also not convenient to be disturbed. Please viewers understand. At that time I will also visit EE and give you all real-time updates on EE's situation. Please don't worry. Now let's continue with our song club first. And also the finals that everyone has been waiting for. After looking at PDD's serious and incomparable expression, which didn't look like it was perfunctory, the audience was slightly relieved. PDD still can. Everyone can rest assured. And there are we are doing supervision it. Indeed. It's better to listen to the song first. I heard that Bai Chen is going to sing the original again. Brother Bai's hand, must be original. No need to doubt at all. Hurry up. As time passes by, 8 o'clock, after the three judges were in place, the host said, Welcome, everyone, to the finals of our singing club. Although there was a small incident yesterday, it won't affect the continuation of our audiovisual feast. At the same time, thank you to our three guests and the audience, because without you there would be no event. Without every single water friend in the live broadcast room, there would be no afterglow of the contestants' voices. Next words without saying much, PDD Song Club Finals. The official start. Woohoo it's finally started. I want Bai Chen. Thank you for the airplane I don't know the name of. Thanks to Dog Author still in the water for the rocket asterisk one. Thanks to, after a short cheer, the game officially began. Host, let's invite the first contestant. Yen King Word Show to the stage. Good evening audience. I'm Yen King Word Show for you all today. After looking at the Yen King lyric show that appeared on the player's split screen, before he could finish his sentence, he saw many viewers frowning. HM, how come it's Yen Wang show? Isn't the first one Bai Chen? Right, right. Thanks for coming so early. Where did Bai Chen go? The dog anchor is messing with my mind? I want Bai Chen. At this time, after PDD saw that quite a few viewers had suddenly made a scene, he immediately spoke out and explained that. Ah, uh, it's like this audience friends. The order of appearance is determined by the players drawing lots two hours before each round. Today's finals are starting all over again, and the contestants have to draw lots again. So please understand, besides Bai Chen, the other players are also very good. 
Let's just listen to the song quietly. In the face of PDD's words, although some people are not too happy, but after all, he is the organizer. How to come people say, also can only wait. After PDD finished explaining, the director person also said, please understand and comprehend. The strength of the players who made it to the finals aren't bad. Okay, please continue with our Yen King lyric show. At this time, Yen Wang lyric soon naturally saw the discontent of the pop-ups, but he didn't take it to heart. Instead, he smiled and said, Hmm, in fact, I also share the same feelings as all of you about Bai Chen's song. But please don't worry, viewers, I won't let you all down either. The song I'm bringing you today is Teacher Tinga 2's Paradise. I hope you all enjoy it. The words just fell. Inside the live broadcast room, Paradise's melody that was filled with the atmosphere of the prairie slowly flowed out. After Yen Wang lyric show took a deep breath and relaxed, he opened his mouth and sang with immense devotion. Blue blue sky, clear lake water eh yeah, green grassland, this is my home, yeah. Only heard Yen Wang word show's voices vary. Steady emotion is also incomparable in place. Almost perfectly sang that full of grassland flavor. And the audience who were dissatisfied with this before, after hearing this numbing prairie song, instantly changed their face. I'll go this is also a big brother ah, I thought it was the original singer. I've already lowered my head and started eating grass. Not to mention you, even if Mr. Tenger 2 came here today, he'd have to eat two pounds of grass before he could leave. Sure. Honestly, I feel like if it wasn't for Tatsuya, this guy would have been the champion. I don't know. I don't know if the song by Chin came up with tonight was powerful enough. It doesn't matter if he's the winner or not. Bai Chen is already number one in my heart. At this time, not only were the viewers shocked by the Yen King's word show, but also Bai Chen, who had returned home to wait. Even Bai Chen, who had returned home to wait, listened quietly with his eyes slightly closed. After hearing the sound from the prairie, he felt like he was in the vast prairie. As if seeing the grassland, the rolling flocks of sheep appeared beside him. Just as PDD said, the players who can go step by step from the beginning to the final. None of them will be simple characters. Five minutes passed. Yen Wang lyric show sang into the hearts of the audience with that shocking and incomparable sound of the grassland. Even let the audience see the beautiful grassland scenery. After the song was finished, the entire audience cheered. In an instant, the atmosphere in the live broadcast room was driven up by Yen Wang. The screen full of gifts also began to send up. When the host saw Yen Wang finish singing, he came out to control the scene and said, Okay, let's thank Yen Wang lyric show for bringing you a different flavor of heaven. Next we have the three judges to make their comments. PDD, well, Yen Wan Lyric Show is a contestant I've always liked. And he played well this time, catching me singing Paradise. Very good. Chen Yu Wan, Yen Wang you play very consistently every time. I also admire your courage in picking out heaven this time. And most importantly, you took out the song and still managed to give him a perfect rendition down. Very good. Listening to the two judges' comments, Shui Jiqian also nodded his head in appreciation and said, Wow this contestant is really good. I have cooperated with Mr. Tenga 2 twice. And your song does have his flavor. But the shortcoming is that the breath is not so strong. And the grassland flavor is slightly weak. But it's also very good. Good luck. Okay is there anything you want to say about the Yin King lyric show? Or give yourself some votes. Listening to the three judges comments. Yen Wang Ishio was also very happy and said. Thank you teachers for your comments. And thank you viewers for liking it. At the same time. I'm also very grateful to Brother Lou for giving us friends who love to sing such a stage. And in fact, I can go this far I have been very happy, very satisfied. Everyone in the audience just watch and give. Thank you. Listening to Yen Wang's words, the audience in the live broadcast room also appreciated. This Yen Wang is bullish. It's a bit interesting. Pinch horse. It's worthy of being the previous favorite to win the championship. After listening to this song, I feel that this guy is a threat to Brother Bai. Okay, okay, let's see the score. I have a feeling this guy won't go lower. Along with the audience's comments. Soon, Yen Wang's score appeared on the public screen. Player, Yen King Lyric Show, Track, Heaven, PDD, 96, 8, Chun Yu Wan, 96, 5, Shui Jiqian, 95, 4, Audience Rating, 95, 76, Combined Score, 96, 32. Congratulations to contestant number 1, Yen King Lyric Show for scoring 96, 32 which is a high score and expected to be number one. Thank you thank you to all the judges and audience teachers. Thank you for your support. After seeing this score, Yen Wang Ishiu was already very satisfied. With this score, getting a second place should not be a problem if he was lucky. As for the first place, with that guy by Chen, he wouldn't dare to think about it. Host, thank you King Yen for singing. Now let's welcome the second contestant, LF Luffy. 
Time was frantically lost in the beautiful singing of one contestant after another. After almost 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 an hour of competition, there were already five contestants who had finished singing, and according to the scores so far, first, Yan Wang Zi Xiao, 96, 32 points, second, Xu Xu Man, 94, 87 points, third, Yang Yai 94, 56 points, fourth place, LF Lufei, 93, 32 points, fifth, Miao Yu Yu, 90, 24 points. At this time, Miao Yu Yu, who had just finished singing, naturally knew that she had no chance of competing for a good ranking after looking at her own score, and exited the voice channel after delivering a speech about leaving the stage. After looking at the players have passed half, PDD slightly stretched a lazy waist and said, Ego, I'm tired of listening to this song. Chen Yu Wan, I don't think I'm tired of listening. It's because Mr. Hor wants to hear by Chin Sing, right? After seeing his mind being pierced, PDD scratched the back of his head and smiled. He he he. How about an intermission where Mr. Chen performs? I thank you. I'd rather not delay the contestants. Just as the two were chatting backstage, the, the host's voice suddenly rang out. Oh, half the time has passed. Aren't the viewers a bit tired of listening? But, please don't leave the screen, viewers, because, the next contestant to sing is, contestant number 6, Bai Chen. Just as the supporters' words fell, I saw Bai Chen's LD appear on the singing channel and, good evening everyone, I'm Bai Chen. After Bai Chen's unmistakably familiar voice appeared on the live broadcast, the, boom, the atmosphere of the entire venue reached a climax once again. Is it finally my Bai's turn to appear? Woohoo! Go Bai Chen! I'm from EE. I'd love to have your little red flower. Cheers for the competition. I'm also from EE. This little brother's singing is really touching. Upstairs. Understand. Before the bottom of the sea. Sadness and the little red flower. Wait a minute. They're all sung by Bai Chen. Only to see the pop-ups in the live broadcast room scrolling madly. Countless people sent up gifts. However, PDD looked at Bai Chen, who appeared in the camera and seemed to be out of the hospital at the moment, and asked with a bit of curiosity. Eh, Bai Chen, did you go home? Facing PDD's doubt, Bai Chen smiled and said, The song in front of me is quieter, right? It doesn't matter if I'm in the hospital. This time's may be a bit manic. It's better to go home. Mainly these days Bai Chen's condition has stabilized a little, so it's not a problem to leave the hospital for a while. Only to see Shui Zhichen looking at Bai Chen, who appeared on the split screen, with those incredibly expectant eyes, with a slight smile and said, Yo is it a bit manic? Then I can look forward to it even more. Is there anything you want to say before you sing? Bai Chen. Listening to Shui Zhichen's words, Bai Chen hugged that little brown bear and thought for a while before speaking. Hmm. Say a few words. I believe that everyone probably knows, more or less, about me getting that disease, right? Listening to Bai Chen's words, the audience in the live broadcast room, who had just been buzzing and cheering, suddenly fell silent. Perhaps it was because there were too many hotspots these days, such as Yi Yi's matter. Or perhaps it was because Bai Chen had never taken the initiative to mention his cancer in front of the public, causing quite a few people to perhaps forget that. Bai Chen was also a patient. His right. Bai Chen. Bai Chen is also someone who was afflicted by illness. I almost forgot if he didn't mention it. Ah, uh, what are you guys talking about? The little brother who sings to E is sick too. What disease? Bai. Bai has cancer. Ah, 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 ah. Many of the new viewers froze for a moment after hearing the news. Their eyes were wide open. Somewhat unbelievably, they looked at the man on the screen. Even PDD and Shui Jichian froze for a moment, looking at Bai Chen with some confusion. After learning that Bai Chen was suffering from cancer, he himself had made a point of not mentioning this matter in front of Bai Chen. After all, things like cancer, it would affect his mood if he mentioned it. But what was the point of mentioning it at this time? To sell the championship? With PDD's understanding of Bai Chen, he naturally wouldn't believe that he would do such a thing, only to see Bai Chen on the screen, looked at the little brown bear in his hand, shook his head and slowly said in a somewhat hoarse voice, Actually, in fact, after learning that I had this disease, I was afraid, really afraid, maybe I was afraid of dying, or maybe I was afraid of something else, it felt like I was plunged into a boundless darkness, wanting to struggle but not knowing how, those who haven't experienced this feeling may find it hard to imagine, after hearing this, Many of Bai Chen's old fans were reminded of which song under the sea, perhaps, this song, which sounded so depressing and depressing, was created by Bai Chen during that period of time, wasn't it? After a slight pause, Bai Chen raised his head slightly as if he was reminiscing and continued. And then, I didn't know what to do for a long time, 
I was trying to tell myself to accept it all, but I couldn't. I didn't even dare to tell my family. I was afraid they'd accept the fact that I couldn't even accept it. I didn't want to think about anything. I didn't want to do anything. I couldn't even sing. Hearing this, the veteran audience instantly realized that Bai Chen's abandonment of the semifinals earlier. That's why he abandoned the semifinals, isn't it? And some of the people who had hacked Bai Chen during that period, after seeing this scene, they felt guilty. They really deserved to die themselves. After saying this, Bai Chen suddenly laughed a little and touched the little brown bear in his hand and said, But, now that I can come back, I can walk out from this thanks to one person. She is E.E. -E. In her, I saw an optimism and strength that even I, as an adult, didn't have, especially in the face of a fate that was even darker than what I had experienced. She was still able to maintain this optimism and strength. After learning what happened to her that day, I went back to the hospital room and thought about it so much that I didn't sleep all night. I don't remember what I thought about. But after that night, I suddenly wasn't afraid of the so-called cancer or the so-called death. To say so much, what I want to say is, actually, death has always been waiting for you, as if death is an object you hate very much. So well, since you must marry this boring guy, then I must waste my fidelity, my passion, my curiosity, my love, my everything on this world, leaving it with only an empty shell of nothing. Note, original quote comes with Stetson. So, come on. Although Bai Chen's voice wasn't loud, after hearing the words, the audience froze a bit. Before they could react from these deafening words from Bai Chen, they, they saw Bai Chen exhale deeply. His eyes seemed to have to be firm. And picking up the microphone, he hoarsely said, a song called Mountain and Sea. For everyone, the words just fell. Without giving the audience any time to think, a beautiful intro suddenly sounded. The moment he listened to this intro, Shui Jiqian, who had been looking forward to it for a long time, narrowed his eyes slightly. This wave-like melody, it gave him the feeling of driving a car and listening to a song while speeding down a mountain trail, especially at the moment when the drums of the drum kit sounded. This feeling was extremely strong. How can I put this feeling? Freedom? Just as Shui Jiqian was pondering the meaning of this song, Bai Chen on the screen held the mic and sang softly with his head lowered. I look at naive myself, appearing in a story without me, waiting for a response from me, a reason why I'm here. Bai Chen's voice was low and magnetic, with a hint of huskiness. This lazy and somewhat disheveled feeling instantly attracted many viewers, looking at Bai Chen's somewhat lonely figure on the split screen. Some people even associated it with appearing in a story without me. Is Bai Chen hinting at his own ending? Shui Jiqian is also trying to figure out the meaning of the lyrics. After all, every time Bai Chen sings a song, it all has some meaning to it. And this time, what was it for? Just as the crowd was pondering, the accompaniment that sounded bland and not so bland suddenly stopped, and after Bai Chen's throat slightly wriggled, he switched to a kind of tearful singing style and sang. He understands he understands I can't afford to give. So turned around and walked towards the mountains. He understands. He understands I can't afford to give it. And turned toward the sea. The bursting horse smoke voice was incredibly high-pitched. And together with the sudden, strong drums, accompanied by the bass, a strong sense of shock instantly swept over everyone. Everyone in the audience at this moment had their eyes wide open, feeling their eardrums vibrating. No one could have imagined that Bai Chen would actually sing such a song with a completely different style from the previous one, one that was so explosive that it was incomparable. When Shui Jiqian heard this, he naturally heard that the style of this song was on the rock side. If he had heard Bai Chen's songs and understood him in the past, I wouldn't have been able to associate him with rock. But today, he watched the different Bai Chen. The surprising thing is this. After this bombastic chorus, the accompaniment turned once again, changing back to what it was before. I listened to that teenager's voice, in the past where there's still a future, longing for a happy ending, but failed to become myself, the low, raspy voice sounded again, and this time, the lyrics, caused many of the audience to feel a tug at their hearts, obviously, the accompaniment was cheerful, free, and rocking, but there was a sense of decadence and helpless silence in the song, and this contrasting color, but it makes the emotion in the song even stronger, and after hearing this, the, the audience also saw something different in this song. They saw their former selves, as well as their current selves. The young, wild, springy one was himself before, and the bleak, constantly falling one is also himself now. The lazy, disheveled singing seems to be a disillusionment with oneself, a failure to live up to the expectations of the former self. The hissing of the climax is more like the impotent barking of a self whose light has been dulled by reality. If I could go back to the old days, I would have made sure I studied hard. Where are the ifs? I'm sorry Johan, I didn't become what you imagined. I'm sorry Zhang Wei. Looking at these pop-up sentiments, Shui Jiqian also nodded. 
In his opinion, what the song was describing and trying to express was also this layer of meaning, but after all, there were thousands of people, each person's experience was different, so the synopsis of the song was also different, and each song had each person's own ideas that belonged to them, the audience heard this meaning, and by chance sang this song in the heart of what he thought, is it the same? Just as everyone was interpreting the song with their own interpretations, by Chen's ear catching an incomparable singing voice came again, he understands he understands I can't afford to give, so he turned around and walked towards the mountains, he understands, he understands, I can't afford to give it, so turned and walked toward the sea, this time, by Chen's hissing came even more violently, as if a storm was coming in full of mania, this explosive power was combined with the rhythmic blast of the drums, like roaring ocean waves impacting the souls of the crowd layer by layer, looking at the screen, by Chen's defiant, tearing voice, veins popping out as he roared and hissed with reckless abandon, Shui Jiqian froze for a moment, and he suddenly thought of a saying that, rock and roll is actually like burning a fire in the heart, some people die in the past, but there is still a body left in reality that can't get out of the past, until the fire that burns in the heart makes the soul become red hot as well, some people may say that rock and roll is defiance, rebellion, freedom and fanaticism, in fact, it's not, rock and roll is just an attitude towards fate, an attitude towards life, people can be destroyed, but not overcome, rock music brings great beauty and poetry to people, and it will tell us ourselves that we will not live our lives in a coy way, we will not just cowardly cry, insensitively obey and worship, and finally go to death in a mediocre and stupid way, we will eventually come back to ourselves, and it makes us a better version of ourselves, not someone else, and now by Chen, he sings this song, is venting, just simply hissing and venting what he had suppressed within himself for so long, right, a person who has cancer and is still being maliciously smeared on the internet, even if he's gentle and cheerful, he won't feel comfortable inside in any way, right, so, he wants to use his soul that is burning to perform that outbreak of despair, the silence and the wantonness, he catharsis himself in the music, found himself in the music, this may be the Shanghai in Bai Chen's heart, looking at the one on the screen who is shouting, the free and reckless Bai Chen, Shui Jiqian felt a pang of heartache while feeling admiration, because even though the climax of the song sounded explosive and full of endless power in general, but he saw in Bai Chen that there was a sense of powerlessness that wanted to break through something, but couldn't do so no matter what, was it a barrier, or maybe it was fate, no matter what it was, even though his heart was filled with power and his soul was already burning, he was hardwired to not be able to break through it no matter what, so Shui Jiqian thought that today this different Bai Chen was venting, venting without any hanging needles, and he, also need this time to vent, after the final segment ended in Bai Chen's unbridled hissing, the, the unique accompaniment melody did not end immediately, but continued to echo in the live broadcast room, it was as if he was saying his final goodbye, saying goodbye to his former self, helplessly saying goodbye, hissing goodbye, and so on, all the viewers in the live broadcast room were also shocked by Bai Chen's exhaustive performance. They were still immersed and echoing in the emotions sung by Bai Chen, and were unable to extricate themselves. Even the professional host froze for several seconds before coming back to his senses and saying, Tisk even if the mountains cry out for help, I'll stick to my original heart. I believe that this mountains and sea song has sung the hearts of the audience, right? Let's also thank contestant Bai Chen for bringing this different performance to everyone. Thank you. As the host's words fell, the words of PDD, Shui Jiqian, and a bunch of staff members, and even the audience who were watching with their cell phones, all applauded. Good I don't have much to say. Contestant Bai Chen has finished singing. Next we have our three judges as well as the audience teachers to evaluate and score Bai Chen. Please, listening to the host's words. I only saw PDD take a sharp drag on his e-cigarette off camera before returning to the camera and shaking his head in amazement and saying, Shocking. My current mood can only be described by the word shock from our song club qualifiers, then the elimination rounds, and now the finals, Bai Chen has really brought me in the audience too many shocks, touches, and surprises, although there were some small twists and turns in the middle, Bai Chen was able to accompany us here in the end, I'd like to say thank you Bai Chen, back to the song, in addition to bringing me some profound feelings, it's one word, cool, this song made me feel for the first time, the charm of rock and roll, right, I don't know how to describe it, but anyway, it's just Bud Yori cool. I give. Still 100 points. That's it ms. Chen Yu Wan say a few words? After the topic was thrown to Chen Yu Wan, only to see her also praising without mincing words, she said, the change in style of this by Chen player really surprised me. The rendition was also very perfect. And I don't know much about rock music, so I can't evaluate anything. I can only say, it's great. 100 points. Let's leave the rest to Mr. 
Shui. After it was Shui Jiqian's turn, only to see that Shui Jiqian's expression wasn't as relaxed as PDD's and Chen Yuan's, but instead said, with a slight hint of seriousness, Bai Chen, to be able to see you sing this song today, to sing a song like this, I feel happy for you, I can feel what's going on in your heart, and understand what you're singing and hissing, what I want to say is, it's the right thing to do, no matter what happens in the future, it doesn't matter, and there's no need to take it to heart, what matters is the moment, so, I'll give it 100 points, and this 100 points is for you, you're good, go for it, listening to Shui Zhiqian's words, some of the audience seemed to have understood something, but none of it mattered, what mattered was another three perfect scores, no matter what, the song that Bai Chin had brought to the table all the way through was worth those three 100 points, for this scene, the audience had expected it, but still remained ecstatic, what the hell can't this just be declared the winner, I can only say that brother Bai is too good, indeed, he deserves these 300, after a short wait, Bai Chen's final score came out, player, Bai Chen, PDD, 100, Chen Yu won, 100, Shui Jiqian, 100, audience score, 99, 34, final score, 99, 87 points, seeing this number of votes, the entire audience was once again in an uproar, 99, 87 points, this seemed to be the highest score since the start of the song club, right? More importantly there were a lot of viewers in the live broadcast room, millions of people were able to give Bai Chen an average score of 99, 34, thus showing their recognition of Bai Chen, congratulations, congratulations to Bai for winning the championship outright, there's no need to even compare at the back, after watching the pop-ups directly popping champagne for Bai Chen, PDD also smiled and said, bud, don't be anxious, there's more to come, and our ranking is not important. The important thing is to be able to let everyone hear more beautiful voice. Although Bai Chen is basically number one, the song contest isn't over yet. Now let's start by asking contestant Bai Chen to go down and rest for a while first. Hmm. Thank you all for your favorites. Thank you. After saying a simple sentence, Bai Chen closed the camera in some haste and left the voice channel. After seeing Bai Chen exit the voice channel, the, the remaining few players were also a bit helpless. This really wasn't comparable to others, but it didn't matter. Even if there was no hope for the first place, there was still the second and third place. According to the rules of the song contest, the first prize money is 500, 000 yuan, the second 250, 000 yuan, and the third 100, 000 yuan, which is not bad, there's still a chance to make a run for it. At this time, Bai Chen, who had exited the chat room, was lying on the bed, breathing a bit rapidly, and kept rubbing his head with his hands trying to ease the sharp pain that was coming from his mind. Although his condition had entered a period of remission, his body had not yet recovered. Singing such an explosive song would naturally be a bit difficult to support. But even so, Bai Chen's current face wasn't in pain, but instead had a hint if a smile on it. Painful. After singing this song, he only felt an incomparable pain, as if his blocked soul had been unblocked all of a sudden. Although he said that he had figured it out before. In fact, in the deepest part of his heart, there was still unwillingness and resentment. And now, it was truly cleared, perhaps compared to the pain of the physical body. The shrinking of the soul was the most terrifying. A bit of time. It's a good feeling to go crazy in spite of everything. Dum 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 dum. Just as Bai Chen was lying on his bed, enjoying this moment of euphoria, a sharp and incomparable knock on the door suddenly interrupted himself. Hmm, who is it? Knock 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 knock. Seeing that the person outside the door didn't answer, but instead was knocking on the door one after another when, Bai Chin sighed and somewhat helplessly got up from the bed before holding onto the wall and walking towards the door. Ka Chao, who is it? Along with the door of his home being pushed open to reveal a crack, when Bai Chen looked into the crack, his pupils suddenly shrunk, and his heart trembled for a moment. The action of opening the door in his hand suddenly stopped. Froze in place, sister? After seeing that the person outside the door was actually Bai Jie, Bai Chen was a bit confused for a moment, after freezing for a few seconds, he, then he squeezed out a smile and feigned a natural, surprised tone, saying, old, old sister, you, why are you suddenly back again, only to see Bai Jie staring at Bai Chen with those somewhat reddened eyes, her throat slightly wriggling for a moment, but not speaking, looking at Bai Jie's appearance, which was different from the previous days, Bai Chen, Bai Chen also guessed, that she should know something, after all, in the past two days Yi's matter has made such a big fuss, his own sister is not an old person, and often surf the internet and so on, how could she not know Yi's matter with herself? Although it was said that so far he was not ready to confess his matter with his family, 
but there are times when what should be faced must be faced. Ahem. Come in first and sit down for a while sis. I'll get you a glass of water. With that, Bai Chen turned around and walked towards the house. Bai Jia looked at Bai Chen's back that seemed to have lost a few points, and after freezing for a moment, she also followed and walked in, inside the house. After pouring the water, the, the two sat on the edge of the bed like this, neither of them opening their mouths to speak. However, Bai Chen still used his afterglow to see Bai Jia's look of wanting to ask something, but ultimately not saying anything. Looking at his sister's worried, yet cautious look, Bai Chen also sighed inwardly before taking the initiative to bring up his matter. At this time, the Song Club and PDD's live broadcast room was also coming to an end, with all 11 players having finished singing, and the results, Bai Chen won the first place without exception, and the second place went to the stunning performance of Yin King Lyric Show. Woohoo congratulations, congratulations to Bai Chen, Bai Chen is awesome, tears in my eyes, Bai Chen deserves his name. Looking at the flurry of scrolling pop-ups, PDD also had a million emotions in his heart, although from the opening to now is almost a month less time. But in this period of time song will become the audience's dinner must watch program. Now that the song club is really over, there is really a feeling of emptiness in the heart. Ugh can't bear to part with ah. Su Su is not going to organize a second concert in a hurry? I'd like to make a suggestion. Looking at the words on the pop-up screen, PDD said with mixed feelings, Well, I'm very happy to see everyone enjoying this program so much. And now that it's coming to an end, it's not just you guys who are sad to see it end. I'm also sad to see it end. But after all, a competition is a competition. There's a beginning and an end to it. In fact, you do not have to lose. To participate in our song club contestants basically have their own live room. Like to listen to them sing the audience can go to the attention. Support it. At the same time, I also wish that the players can continue on this path of music and shine. PDD. After PDD had finished speaking and the applause had fallen. The. The host then entered the stage and continued. Thank you to the audience and the three judges for their company. Next is our award ceremony. According to the rules, the first place winner in the song club, Bai Chen, will receive $500,000. The second place winner, Yen Wanxiao, will receive $250,000. And the third place winner, Shou Shou Man, will receive $100,000. Don't be discouraged if you didn't get a good ranking. In order to thank you for the good singing you brought to the audience, all the contestants who made it to the finals will be awarded five. Zero 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 dollars. Good next we have the contestants who won the top three on the mic. Say a little bit. Ding dong Yen King Lyric Show enters the chat room. Ding dong. Shu Shu Man enters the chat room. As the host's words fell, he saw the two immediately enter the chat room. While Bai Chen, who won first place, but he was slow to come in. Ah, uh, Bai Chen? Is Bai Chen still here? Hello? Looking at this slightly familiar scene, the host didn't know what to do all of a sudden. Right at this moment. PDD who glanced down at his cell phone, paused for a moment before looking up at the camera and smiling, saying, Um, I'm sorry, viewers, just now Bai Chen sent me a message, he's a bit busy with something over there, so he couldn't personally come to say goodbye to all of you, but he asked me to bring a message, say, thank you all for your support and favorites, and thank you for all the support along the way, thank you, live streaming pop-ups, what's going on, what's going on with Bai, he's disappearing again, alas, it may be resting, we all know about Bai's health. So understand it. Let's give Bai a good rest. Hey, Piggy, does Bai have a live studio? Upstairs, Bai Chin doesn't seem to do live broadcasts. Ah, what if I want to hear Bai sing later? Let's talk about the future later. Let brother Bai rest and recuperate for a while first. Looking at the pop-up comments, PDD had no choice but to explain. Eh, let's talk about these things later. I will also take care of Bai Chen's side. This is the end of today's live broadcast. Tomorrow EE -E should receive Magic City. I will also go to take a look. And then, friends of the live broadcast, if there's a suitable bone marrow donor please be sure to contact me. Thank you all. Bye. Shui Zhichian. Bye 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 everyone. Chen Yu Huan. Bye. After the song club ended, everyone went about their business. At this time, on the sidewalk by the river in Magic City, Bai Chen's hair was stirred by the breeze, and his arms were on the railing on the sidewalk looking at the bustling city in front of him. Bai Jia was also at the side of the river, looking at the dark river, but from her reddened eyes, as well as from the corner of her eyes that have not yet dried up the tear stains can be seen, she is probably already completely aware of what happened to Bai Chen. You, have you really thought about it already? No, don't you want to give it a try? Listening to Bai Jia's somewhat choked voice, after pondering for a while, Bai Chen raised his head and smiled against the breeze from the riverside and said, Actually, 
Some endings are already predestined. I guess, if I don't have the surgery, I'll die, but if I do, I'll end up with paralysis, amnesia, and mental retardation. Instead of living a life worse than death, I'd rather do something meaningful while I'm here. For example, accompany you more, or go traveling around the world? Looking at Bai Chen's appearance of having looked away from everything, Bai Jia only felt a mixed bag of emotions inside. Although she was able to understand Bai Chen's choice, as a family member it was difficult to accept his choice. Then, what about what if? Medical technology has also advanced now. What if? In case, looking at Bai Jia's undying look, Bai Chen stretched out his arm on Bai Jia's shoulder and comforted, saying, Aya actually, it might not be as bad as you think. Maybe after chemotherapy for a while, and finding out that the results are good, and the situation improves, the risk of surgery won't be that high? Don't be so pessimistic. I'm still alive and kicking right now. Your brother? Listening to Bai Chen's words, Bai Jia was silent for a while before letting out a long sigh. And, then, mom and dad sighed. What are you going to do? Although they don't go online much, but sooner or later, they'll know, right? After mentioning his mom and dad, Bai Chen also fell silent. He was dashing. But could his parents really accept it? Bai Chen didn't even dare to think about it for a moment. Ugh. They said again on their side that they'll go back when I'm almost done with my affairs. This night, the siblings talked about many, many things, from childhood to school, and from school to work. They even talked about Bai Chen's singing, to which Bai Chen also made up a flawless excuse, and Bai Jia did not suspect anything about it. The two have been chatting under the night sky, as if back to childhood in general. It wasn't until the early hours of the morning that they left the river, and at this moment, along with the end of the Song Friends match, the Hot Search was once again dominated by Bai Chen and the Song Friends match. Hot Search hashtag songwriters match has come to a successful end. Bai Chen won first place. Congratulations. Hashtag do you remember the young you at Shanghai hashtag. Hashtag Beck Chion is back with another masterpiece. Let's listen to the story of Mountain and Seed together. The netizens are not surprised by this. Tisk I don't even look at the recent hot searches. I know it's by when I think about it with my toes. That's true. But the Mountain and Sea song by Sang today. Holy shit. It sounds so good. Of course. I've already looped it 10 times. I love every song of Bai Chen, but there's no sound source on the music platform yet. Right. Every time I listen to Bai Chen songs, I have to find a video to listen to. Don't worry. Everyone knows Bai's situation. Let's give him some time. At the end of the concert, many netizens were anxious as if ants were crawling on their bodies when they saw Bai Chen hadn't released a song yet. Although the quality of Bai Chen's singing at the concert was high, watching the video was never as convenient as listening to it on the software. And at this moment, it's not just the netizens who are in a hurry. Wang Lei, the person in charge of Net Depression Cloud, is also in a hurry. However, he was anxious not because Bai Chen had not yet given himself the recorded audio, but he felt that the price he had offered seemed to be somewhat insufficient. Along with all the big commotion that had been going on in the past few days, Bai Chen's popularity was also getting higher and higher. Every song he had sung had reached billions of hits on the internet, and two of the hottest ones, one to dispel sorrow and one to send you a little red flower had even reached the tens of billions of hits in the past few days. Sounds exaggerated, right? But this is the truth. Although it was said that the exclusive broadcasting rights of the first three songs had already been taken by themselves, it was not ruled out that that rich and powerful Penguin music wouldn't use an astronomical price to make Bai Chen directly breach the contract and turn his head and run over to its side to send out the songs, in order to avoid this situation. The more he thought about it, the more panicked Wan Lei couldn't sleep at all, so he directly climbed up from the bed and made a call out. Hello, Mr. Ding, I'm not disturbing you, right? Okay, okay, okay. I want to discuss a matter with you. After a long 10 or so minutes of talking, the Wang Lei's eyes went from worry at the beginning to delight at the back and finally directly reduced to shock. He hadn't even expected that the above would be so bold as to offer such an astronomical price to Bai Chen. In order to take the exclusive broadcasting rights for all the songs Bai Chen was currently singing, the above had directly mobilized $30 million for themselves. No matter what method was used, even if it meant adjusting some of the split upwards to a 40-60th split, one must take the exclusive broadcasting rights to these songs sung by Bai Chen. $30 million for 7 songs? For such a situation, even Wang Lei had seen it once, but he quickly reacted. $30 million was indeed a lot, and Bai Chen had indeed earned it. But, Net Depression Cloud would only make more money. You think spending $30 million to buy just these 7 songs, at the same time to buy or buy Chen's exaggerated traffic group ah, such a huge amount of live traffic, is money cannot be bought. So, after hanging up the phone, 
Wang Lei sat on the bed and froze for several seconds before coming back to his senses. Immediately afterward, he casually put on a piece of clothing and then came to the computer. He was working overtime overnight to redraft a contract. If it wasn't already too late today, he even wanted to directly make a call to Bai Chen and get this new contract immediately. But now he could only wait for tomorrow. The next day, it was just a little bit of dawn. Bai Chen, who had only gotten up for a short while, received a call from Net Suppression Cloud. After learning that the other party had offered such a high price, Bai Chen was also a bit surprised. Even after hearing that the other party was willing to raise their share by one point, Bai Chen agreed to the new contract. After all, the conditions offered by the other party were indeed very good, and after removing his own expenses, he was even able to leave a lot of money for his family. But after all, the amount is a bit large. Even if it is given separately, you have to wait a few days to arrive at the account. Bai Chen is not in a hurry. After all, his song has not been recorded. Songs then, in the next two days, I'll look for PDD and try to record it before the chemotherapy. Just as Bai Chen was arranging his plans for the next two days, Bai Jia came to her place with two breakfasts. Looking at Bai Jia who hadn't left yet, Bai Chen took the breakfast and said, somewhat helplessly, Sis, you don't have to be like this. You have things to do over there as well. I can take care of it myself. Before the words left his mouth, he saw Bai Jia glancing at himself and not saying anything. Seeing this, Bai Chen had no choice but to sit down and eat his breakfast. After all, to put it another way, if the one who was sick was his own sister, he was afraid that he wouldn't just leave her alone. While eating, Bai Jia then said, I know what you're thinking, right now I'm not going to worry about my business. Then in these few days, you should honestly recuperate your body and wait for the treatment. After all, in the hospital some procedures to run around, these I help you get. Right, what did the doctor say? When can we start chemotherapy? Listening to Bai Jia's words, Bai Chen counted the days that Director Li said and said, Soon, it should be in these two days. Whom? Subsequently, not long after the two had just finished their breakfast, Bai Chen suddenly received a call from PDD. Hey Bai Chen, are you in the hospital? HM, I'm at home now. What's wrong? At home. Nothing's wrong. EE -E is in the hospital today. I'm here making arrangements, and I'm ready to see you now that I'm done. EE -E is here? I can't imagine that this PDD acted so fast. It seems that he is really quite concerned about this matter. Listening to PDD's words, Bai Chen also smiled and politely said, Thank you for your concern, Brother Lu. You wait for me for a while? I'm going back to the hospital now as well, and I'm going to take a look at EE -E on the way. Okay. Oh by the way, you remember to give me your card number. I'll transfer you yesterday's bonus. After the two of them exchanged a few words of politeness, Bai Chen hung up the phone and sent his bank card number over. After all, 500, 000 bonus is also a huge sum of money. Right. After sending out the card number, it didn't take long to receive an arrival notice. And what surprise Bai Chen was, PDD actually gave himself a million dollars? But after thinking about it carefully, he understood what was going on. This month PDD's hotness can be said to rocket up a lot which a few credit naturally cannot be separated from Bai Chen. So this extra 500, 000 is also regarded as PDD's small meaning. Bai Chen also smiled brightly after peacefully received the money, and then with Bai Jia two people together to the city. Afterwards, he and Bai Jia two people together to the hospital to rush. At this time, inside the hospital, in a high-class ward that looks quite good, several medical personnel are inside getting some instruments and so on and PDD is outside the door is a little bored in the back and forth pacing. Want to take out the electronic cigarette from the pocket to get a couple of mouthfuls, looked at the surrounding environment and then the electronic cigarette stuffed back. After a few minutes, the click, the door of the ward was pushed open, and after looking at the somewhat haggard E's mom who walked out of the ward, PDD went up and smiled and said, How is it? Big sister Chen, this room is quite okay, right? In order to allow EE to feel at ease with her treatment, PDD directly arranged for her to be admitted to the hospital's most upscale inpatient ward, where the level of decoration is almost comparable to that of a star-rated hotel. Listening to PDD's words, E's mom stepped forward and held PDD's hand with her own wrinkled hand, saying somewhat incoherently, Thank, thank you, I, what kind of luck did I have in my life to be able to let you help us so much? Great benefactor, you are my Chen family's great benefactor, I don't even know how to repay you. As she spoke, when she saw Yi's mom bending down and preparing to kneel down, PDD hurriedly pulled her up. And, don't, don't do this, Mrs. Shun. It's everyone who helps Yi. I can't afford to kneel like this, and we don't want anything in return. If Yi e can get well and grow up healthy, that's the biggest reward for everyone who helped her. Good people you are all good people. 
Looking at Yi's mom who was a bit agitated, PDD could only continue to pacify her in a hurry. After almost 10 minutes, Bai Chen and Bai Jia also followed PDD. Bai Chen and Bai Jia also followed the location message sent by PDD to Yi's hospital building. Looking at PDD and Yi's mom not far away, Bai Chen smiled and went up to greet her. Brother Lu, Auntie, listening to the voice and looking over, Yi's mother, whose emotions had just stabilized, once again stretched out her hands in excitement when she saw that the visitor was Bai Chen. Little, Junior, thank you, I'm thanking you for Yi. You're also my family's great benefactor ah. Looking at Yi's mom in such a manner, Bai Chen could only nod his head and say a set of words similar to PDD's, while PDD noticed Bai Chen's sister on the side. Eh, this one is? Oh this is my sister. Sis, this is Brother Lu. That song club on the internet was organized by Brother Lu. Listening to Bai Chen's introduction, Bai Jie and PDD both greeted each other and exchanged a few polite words. After watching several people all standing at the door chatting, Yi's mom then also opened her mouth and said, Hey, you all come in and sit down. It's big inside. We won't disturb Yi. Will we? No, I'm not disturbing you. All right, go in and take a look at Yi. With that, the group entered the ward. Yi stopped playing. Get up and see who's here to see you. Who is it? Only to see Yi climb to the end of the bed while holding her guitar. And after sticking out a small head to look in the direction of the room door, her eyes instantly blossomed with a touch of joy. And, big brother, after seeing that the visitor was Bai Chen, Yi e. e. put the guitar in her hand aside, and without even bothering to put on her shoes, she climbed out of bed and rushed towards Bai Chen. When Bai Chen saw this, he squatted down and opened his arms to meet Yi, e. e., who was running over, and hugged her up. Looking at that smile on the two's faces, the surrounding Bai Jie several people also followed suit and laughed. Ha 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 ha, wait big brother, I've prepared a small gift to give you. Listening to Yi e. E.'s words, Bai Chen touched her little head and smiled and said, what little gift? Hey, hey, wait for me to bring it over. Big brother will know. After putting Ee e. down, she saw Ee e. run to the side of her bed and took out an A4 drawing paper from under her pillow and handed it to Bai Chen. Looking at the small gift Ee e. had given herself, Bai Chen froze slightly, only to see the drawing paper on the simple and incomparable drawing of two small people. Although it is the appearance of a matchmaker, but it is not difficult to see that one is himself. One is Ee. E and in the two small people around the small people are pasted all over the red small red flowers. These little red flowers were all given by my school teacher in the past. I picked them and made a picture of them. Does big brother like it? Looking at this special little gift, Bai Chen was also a little unexpected, and suddenly felt warm in his heart. Like it? How could I not like it? Thank you ee. He 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 he. The next time, a few people chatted in the room for a while before PDD suddenly said, It's almost time, let's go out for dinner later. After dinner, Let's go to the mall and buy something for Yi. By the way, is there any place that little Yi wants to go play? You can tell uncle. After all, there was nothing to do in the hospital these days. Instead of being bored in the hospital room every day it would be better to take Yi for a stroll in the magic city. Whom? I don't know. After looking at Yi Yi couldn't think of any place. Bai Chen pondered for a while and said. Why don't we go to Disney and the beach in the next two days? I haven't had much fun in the past two years since I came to magic city. Disney? Seaside? Yes. Yes, yes. Hearing the word Disney Ee's eyes seem to be filled with light. But it is understandable. What Snow White? Disney and so on for Ee such children are really full of attraction. Ee was also looking forward to the beach. As for Bai Chen's proposal, PDD also nodded in agreement. However, he seemed to have thought of something and looked at Bai Chen and said with some hesitation. You, no problem, right? Looking at PDD's eyes, Bai Chen shrugged and said, I'm fine. I just looked for a doctor before I came here and my treatment won't start until three or four days later. Just go for a stroll in these two days. Relax and unwind. Bai Jia, who was beside her, just wanted to say something after hearing this, when she saw Bai Chen look at herself and smiled and said, Let's go. Sis, let's have a good few days together. We haven't gone anywhere together in years, have we? Looking at Bai Chen's face, Bai Jia nodded and smiled. Okay, let's go for a stroll together. Afterwards, after a few people packed up what they should bring, they followed PDD into a Cullinan and drove towards the place where they would eat. The eating place PDD chose a very good upscale restaurant, specially for EE e. ordered some easy to digest, light and not exciting but delicious food. Simply eat something, a few people will drive the car to the shopping mall. They were prepared to give EE e. a good selection of clothes, although the clothes EE e. is wearing now are quite clean, but it still looks like you can tell that these clothes are a bit old. Today we came out together. No matter what, we have to dress EE e. up beautifully. After getting out of the car in the mall parking lot, 
Bai Chen found that PDD pulled out a selfie stick out and, you, you're going to start a live broadcast? Hearing Bai Chen's words, PDD shook his head and said, I don't dare to open it even if I want to. You and EE -E are here. If your friends find out about it, it'll be a mess. I'm just going to record it and make a vlog for the fans, so that they don't feel at ease. Bai Chen smiled after hearing this. However, PDD's words gave himself a reminder that he would have to wear a sunglasses and a hat if he went to Disney, so that he wouldn't be recognized and get into trouble. Afterwards, PDD then brought a few people to a pretty good-looking children's clothing store, and brought EE -E to walk in. Welcome children's clothing, do you need recommendations? Only to see a receptionist lady walk over and ask with a smile on her face, Um, please take this little friend to take a look at the recent new models. Listening to PDD's words, the young lady froze for a moment after glancing at EE. -E. How did it feel? This little friend looks a bit familiar? Although there were doubts in her heart, but after all, she was a professional, and serving the customer was what she should be doing right now. So she nodded and smiled and said, Okay, come here and take a look. This row is all new, very suitable for this little sister. Saying that, EE -E was brought by the young lady to a hanger full of small skirts. Looking at this wide array of beautiful small skirts, EE -E was also overjoyed. But, faced with each and every skirt hanging here, EE -E only carefully looked at it, without reaching over to touch it or anything. At this moment, the service lady also caught the timidity and hesitation in EE's -E eyes, so she smiled and then took the initiative to take down the small skirt on the hanger. Little sister, you can try it on. Let's see what colors and styles you like. We have a lot of them here. At the side of the PDD is also directly said, E, you see on which piece directly say, today bring you here is to be happy and beautiful. By Jia also squatted down, holding the skirt on EE -E body compared. How about this one? Do you like it? Finally, E's mom said, see for yourself which one you like. Remember to thank uncle. Uncle? However, with PDD's 30 something years of age, he could really afford to be called uncle. After EE -E sniffed, she turned to look at PDD and said, thank you fat uncle. Subsequently, only then did she receive these little dresses with a happy face and went to the fitting room one by one to dress up. Fat uncle? After PDD heard the words froze for a moment, and then touched his stomach, indeed quite fat. After a while, EE -E was seen walking out wearing a white, small dress with light gold patterns. Wow our EE -E is so beautiful. She's like a little princess now. Which one does EE -E still like? Go pick another one? Listening to the words of PDD and others, EE -E shook her head and said, I'll just take this one. I'm already very happy. Although EE -E said so. Although EE -E said so but PDD still took two more good-looking small skirt to pack up, then quietly paid the money. Why don't we shop for a while? Bai Chen, do you want to go look at a set as well? And Sister Chen, EE -E is all dressed up. You should take a look too. Listening to PDD's words, E's mom then shook her head and refused. Bai Chen, on the other hand, turned his head to look at Bai Jia and, Sis, let's go. I'll pick you a pretty little dress. Listening to Bai Chen's words, Bai Jia also shook her head. I don't need a pretty little dress, and your money is useful for yourself. Don't spend it frivolously. This can't be done. When I was little you used to buy me things. Go go go. Bai Jie also didn't argue with Bai Chen, so she could only nod and accept it. In the end, Bai Jie also changed into a beautiful dress, while Bai Chen bought a set of casual clothing, as well as a pair of sunglasses and a hat, and then bought a little bit of good-looking headdress for EE -E before leaving the place and rushing towards Disney. From the mall to Disneyland was about 20 kilometers or so, and it took PDD almost 30 minutes to drive Cullinan to get there, mainly because there were just too many cars in Magic City, so they could only drive slowly. When the crowd arrived at the Magic City Disney Town, it was also almost almost 1 o'clock. Although it wasn't a holiday, there were quite a few people waiting in line outside of Disney Town to go in and play. PDD and Bai Chin both wore a pair of sunglasses before getting out of the car. After looking at even at noon there were quite a few people waiting in line to go in. Bai Chen frowned slightly and said, Are there so many people in the off-season? How long will this queue last? Listening to Bai Chen's words, PDD said with a mysterious smile, Don't be in a hurry. You guys wait in the car for a while first. Since I'm here, I definitely have to arrange it. A few people heard the words and didn't ask too many questions. So they waited in the car. After another 10 minutes or so, only to see a strange man came to PDD in front of him and greeted him, then handed a few tickets to him and left. Okay, let's go. E later fat uncle to help you and Snow White take a picture okay? Snow White? Yes, 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 yes. Afterwards, 
PDD and the others took the Supreme VLP tickets that their friend had just sent them and directly entered the fast track. Bai Chen was also a bit surprised by this. Knowing that Disney's VLP tickets were not cheap, his own five people basically had to be tens of thousands of dollars. After entering Disneyland, after entering Disneyland, a few people went on a sightseeing car. Due to PDD for Disney is also considered familiar, so did not find a tour guide to lead the way or something. On the sightseeing car, PDD is also excited to introduce to the crowd up. Disneyland is quite big. There are Mickey Street, Fantasy Garden, Fantasy Garden, Adventure Island, seven theme parks. In fact, we're still a little late today. We can't finish playing here for the whole day. Now let's go to Mickey Street to have a look first. After doing the sightseeing bus for a period of time to reach Mickey Street Park, PDD took Bai Chin, EE -E and the others out of the bus and started the trip to Disneyland. Bad. Goddess boyfriend he said he likes me and is going to ask the three of us to live together. Ahem. Just kidding. Wish you all big 520 happy it. Single noble people when I did not say, Omega, as the first stop in the Mickey Street is the most attractive, is nothing more than swing dancing and float parade, only to come a little late. Missed the Mickey Donald Duck and other cartoon characters of the swing dance, but just in time to catch the float parade. Not far away, a group of staff dressed in fairy tale costumes, accompanied by music jumping in the avenue parade. Watching the scene, EE -E waved her little hand and said excitedly, Princess is that Snow White? Eh there are little squirrels and dwarfs behind it. This world's magic city Disneyland seems to be richer than the previous life. In the float parade can also see a lot of fairy tale princess play. Looking at EE's -E tiptoe hooked head look, Bai Chin pinched EE's little face and smiled and said, Come to EE, -E. brother hold you to see. PDD, who was listening to Bai Chen's words, waved his hand and said, Hey Gu, your figure is not good. Let me do it. Little E, come. Uncle Fatty will take you to fly high. With that, PDD crouched down and directly placed EE -E on his neck and stood up. We'll fly high ha 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 ha. Looking at EE's -E unbelievably happy appearance, Bai Chen and the others' faces were also overflowing with smiles. After watching the float parade, PDD brought a few people to play Alice in Wonderland Maze. Hoodie Cowboy Carnival and so on some not very exciting projects. Amusement projects play tired. The crowd will be all the way to wander into the adventure island. Hey there's a boat there. Listening to EE's -E's exclamation. Bai Chen and the others have to look aside. Only to see in a piece of cove parked several canoes. In a plaque on the side of the chute, explorer canoe, a few words. Eh is this paddling available? I didn't have this program last time I came. After PDD muttered to himself, he then looked at EE -E again and asked with a smile. What? Does EE -E want to go boating? After EE -E heard this, she lowered her head and thought for a while, shaking her head and saying, Forget it. It's not like the big boats on TV. Listening to EE's -E somewhat disappointed tone, PDD rubbed her head and laughed. Ha ha ha, the big boat you're talking about can be seen on the beach tomorrow. This small boat, if you want to play with it, let's go and experience it together. I haven't played this program yet either. Bai Chen nodded after seeing this and said, I think it's fine. We're all tired after walking for half a day. Why don't we rest for a while while riding the boat? After all, from 1 o'clock at noon to almost 6 or 7 o'clock now. Although everyone is having a lot of fun here, but tired is also really tired. So several people also nodded their heads in favor of this proposal, and prepared to row the boat for some fun. Subsequently, PDD then went and chartered a dugout boat that happened to be able to accommodate 7 or 8 people. And after giving EE -E a life jacket, he got on the boat with a professional program guide. We'll row the boat. Looking at the happy EE, -E, PDD was sitting on the boat with one hand holding up a selfie stick and one hand rubbing his ankle shaking his head and sighing. Sigh it's better to sit comfortably. Walking for so long is going to break my feet. However, just when PDD and the others thought they could rest on the boat for a while, suddenly, the staff who were still on the shore were seen walking over with a few oars. Seeing this scene, PDD froze for a moment, and then an ominous feeling rose in his heart. Eh? This big brother, what are these oars for? Hearing PDD's words, the staff then smiled and said, Our project it is called Explorer Canoe. In order to let everyone experience experience a thousand years ago tribes around the world's original inhabitants, how to use tree trunks, reeds or animal skins made of canoes on the water form, hunting. At the same time we also encourage everyone's spirit of adventure. You can paddle the boat at your own speed by your own strength, and enjoy the magnificent scenery in the two theme parks of Treasure Bay and Adventure Island up close. Listening to the words of the staff, PD only felt a buzzing in his head. With so many words he only heard and understood one sentence. That is, this is not an electric boat. It's a pure manual gear. Okay please pass the oars to each other when you are seated. Ready. Set sail. Before the staff could wait for PDD to speak, they saw him standing at the stern of the boat, 
using his large oar against the shore, and with a single push, then he pushed the canoe out with the current. Ha 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 paddle paddle together. Looking at EE who was sitting beside Bai Chen who was incredibly happy. PDD was holding a selfie stick and said to the camera with a desperate look on his face, saying, Brothers, which one of me is here to play today? Clearly I'm here to lose weight. It's too hard. Bai Chen on the side saw PDD in such a state, so he patted him on the shoulder and said, It's okay. Rowing is always slightly easier than walking. At least you can sit down. Well, that's true. Although they said they were tired. In fact, most of the motivation came from the staff who were rowing hard at the back of the boat, and Bai Chen and the others only needed to experience the fun of rowing. Since it was Yi's first time on a boat, she was a bit scared at first as she felt the subtle bumps. However, in the company of Bai Chen, PDD and others, she also quickly relaxed, feeling the breeze, looking at the waves of the boat rowing, shaking her little head and softly singing, Let's swing our oars. The little boat pushes away the waves, listening to Yi's song. A few people smiled and then sang along with EE. Let's swing the oars. The boat pushes away the waves. The sea reflects the beautiful castle, white tower, surrounded by green trees and red walls. Since this world's culture was also partially overlapping with his previous life, Bai Chen wasn't surprised that everyone could sing this song. And so, accompanied by the beautiful song, the group slowly sailed deeper into the paradise in their canoes. Wow is that a castle? After paddling for a while, EE's exclamation of surprise suddenly came from the front. Bai Chen several people looked over from afar, and saw a small European-style castle not far ahead in front of everyone's eyes, although it is not very huge and magnificent, but this castle is very beautiful, if it is really from the animation world out of the same, have come to Disney PDD smiled and said, that's the final destination, dream castle, by the way, today there seems to be a fireworks show, should be 8 o'clock to start it, eh can we still watch the fireworks, when she heard the word fireworks, EE's eyes immediately glowed, and PDD nodded his head when he saw this. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's go. It's not too late now. We should be able to see it when we walk over there. 8 o'clock in the evening exactly. And the sky was getting darker. Crackling rumbling. Accompanied by a loud bang. Colorful fireworks burst into bloom over Disney's castle. The seven colored light illuminated the entire castle turned colorful as well. And it really looked like it was in a fairy tale world. Come on cheese. Ee -e smile. Bye Chen. You and your sister won't take a picture? Come on. Let's all take a picture together. As the incomparably gorgeous fireworks bloomed, Bai Chen and the others also took out their cell phones and stood under the fireworks and in front of the castle, recording this incomparably beautiful moment. Are you happy today EE? -E? Of course I'm happy thank you Uncle Fatty and Big Brother for playing with me. And Mommy. After the fireworks ended, today's trip also came to an end. Looking at EE's happy and joyful appearance, we all felt very happy and relaxed inside. Perhaps this is the charm of fairy tales. No matter what troubles you have in your heart, the moment you step into this fairy tale world, the troubles in your heart will be wiped away as if by magic, and all that is left is happiness and joy. By the way, tomorrow go to the beach to play EE -E want to play something not? Listening to PDD's words, EE -E tilted her head and thought about it and said, M. Swimming. I've always wanted to go to the beach and swim, but have always been in the hospital. Didn't get a chance to go. At this time, EE's -E's mom said, somewhat helplessly, from the sidelines. It's windy at the beach, and EE -E likes to swim and play in the water. I wouldn't dare to take her there with her health. Listening to EE's -E -E's mom's words, PDD also took a breath and nodded his head and said, Hiss yeah, it's windy on the beach these days, and you have to swim. That won't do. Yui, if you really want to go swimming at the beach, we can wait until you get better. After saying this, EE -E still nodded her head understandingly and said, It's okay. I'm satisfied to be able to see the sea. Looking at little EE's -E -E's expectant eyes, Bai Chen also smiled and asked. It seems that EE -E likes the sea very much. Why do you like the ocean so much? After thinking for a while, EE -E answered. Because the sea is very big and beautiful. And the fish that live in it are free and easy to go wherever they want to go. And there are no worries. If only I could become a free-spirited little fish. Looking at EE -E who seemed to be fantasizing that she had turned into a small fish, Bai Chen touched her head and said gently. It's okay when you get well. We'll definitely accompany you to the sea for a good time. The side of the PDD also nodded and said, Well, I may not be able to dive, but I know a good place where there are a lot of small fish in the shallow water. If you want to see big fish, there are big fish in the oceanarium, but it seems to be open lately, so I can't go there, but I'll take you to the oceanarium to see the big whales when you get better. Big whales? Really? Really? Uncle Fatty's word is his bond. Pull the hook. Pull the hook. After pulling the hook, 
Several people were about to walk out along the path of Disney Town towards the outside of Disneyland when, suddenly, Ee's attention was then caught by a burst of beautiful music coming from a short distance away. Eh? Someone over there seems to be singing eh? At this moment, not only Ee, but Bai Chen and the others also heard what seemed to be someone singing not too far away. And Bai Chen also knew that Ee was interested in music. And after looking at the park's closing time which was still more than half an hour away, he looked at PDD and said, Let's go and have a look. Let's go. Afterwards, several people followed the direction of the song and walked for about three minutes. They saw two men and one woman singing in a vacant lot. The man was in charge of the keyboard and guitar, and the woman seemed to be the lead singer. But I don't know if it was because people were tired at this hour, or because they were singing an English song. There weren't many people watching. The passersby just stopped to watch for a few seconds and then left the place again. However, even though she didn't understand the English song, Ee -E was still waving her little hands to the rhythm with interest. The female vocalist also noticed Ee, -E, a small audience member, and interacted with her with a wink. After three minutes, after the song was finished, the female vocalist came to the front of the audience, smiled at Ee -E and said in fluent Chinese, Hello, how are you, little friend? Hello sister, Ee -E replied politely. How cute. Do you have any songs you want to listen to? Listening to the words of the lead singer's sister, Ee -E frowned and pondered for a while before shaking her head and saying, I don't know. Don't know? Then which singer's song do you like? I can sing Chinese songs too. This time, Ee -E didn't hesitate, but pointed to Bai Chen, who was watching the show, under the surprised eyes of the young lady. Like it. I like listening to Big Brother's songs the most. Can you sing Big Brother's songs too? Hearing Ee -E's words, the foreign young lady froze for a second as she looked towards the duck tuned hat wearing by Chen. Big Brother's song. Shouldn't she like to hear him sing? Thinking. The foreign young lady then reacted very quickly and walked over to Bai Chen with a slight smile and said, Hello my name is Lisa. We're a small band that sings here. Are you interested in playing a song? In fact, Lisa called out to Bai Chen to interact with a purpose. In order to attract a little tourists to come over to see. After all, their own kind of dry singing without an audience, but also quite meaningless pulling a dragon nation over to liven up the atmosphere, said it wouldn't be better, listening to Lisa's words, PDD, on the other hand, his eyes instantly glowed, looking at Bai Chen with some anticipation, before we're in the live studio to listen to him sing, today seems to have the opportunity to listen to a live O, and some hesitation Bai Chen looked at PDD and little EE that little eyes of anticipation, but also shook his head and smiled, okay, I won't bother you, oh, how can I bother you, we'll welcome you, do you need an accompanist? Listening to Lisa's words, Bai Chen shook his head and said, Just lend me a guitar, please. Okay, no problem. While Bai Chen was preparing, PDD had long ago taken his selfie stick and found a good angle, ready to shoot. Ee -E was also squatting in front of Bai Chen with an expectant face looking at him. Looking at the movements of several people, Bai Chen smiled slightly before taking a deep breath and, the next second, a whistling sound that sounded melodious and relaxing. Accompanied by the guitar's unique timbre slowly came out. Listening to this light and joyful intro, PDD's eyebrows gently raised. Did this change styles again? As for Lisa and the others around by Chen, they were also slightly startled after hearing this ear-catching and unique intro. Doubtful this whistling sounds good. Hmm, indeed. It gives one a very relaxing feeling. Just as a few people were whispering, by Chen's beautiful singing voice slowly came over. I heard that Snow White is running away Little Red Riding Hood is worried about the big bad wolf. I heard that Windcap likes Alice the ugly duckling will turn into a white swan. I heard that Peter Pan always grows up Jack he has a harp and magic. I heard that in the forest. This time, Bai Chen's voice wasn't hoarse or low. Instead, it gave off an ethereal, fantastical color in it, sounding euphonious and unmistakable. Moreover, his voice seemed to be full of magic, giving rise to countless reveries. Snow White, Little Red Riding Hood, Big Bad Wolf. Wait, aren't these all characters from fairy tales? Accompanied by Bai Chen's beautiful singing voice, these familiar fairy tales were like slideshows that flashed through the minds of the crowd, and also perfectly blended these images together to form a fairy tale town full of beautiful, dreamlike stories, the heartwarming and deep affection between Windcap and Alice, the inspiring story of the ugly duckling turning into a white swan, all kinds of beautiful images made people feel immersed and mesmerized, my goodness, is he singing Grimm's fairy tales? I didn't realize that a song written with so many fairy tales blended together would be so beautiful. Right. I've been here in Dragon Kingdom for so long. How come I haven't heard this song before? Wonderful. Too wonderful. Just as Lisa and the others were marveling over Bai Chen's song, Bai Chen's chorus also arrived quietly. There's always a colorful river that meanders through Storybrook, tainted with magic, yet twisted in love. 
The river lifts up the water and rolls into a curtain of time into the water. Let all the long, long ago, come to a happy ending. The gentle and beautiful song echoed in everyone's ears. It's so good it's so good. The moment the chorus sounded, the crowd felt their scalps tingle. There was nothing that could describe it. It was just so good. And at this moment, many of the tourists who were preparing to leave Disneyland froze for a moment after hearing this moving and incomparable song as they passed by. They then followed the sound of the song and came here, with a few moments of curiosity and delight, looking at Bai Chen who was singing not far away. And when did Disney have a singer for sale? Hiss, what is this song he's singing? It's a bit good aha. Uh Indeed quite good to hear. Will it be Disneyland new what activities? Like a promotion song, theme song or something like that? Hmm. But this song sounds so healing and relaxing. It feels like I'm suddenly not tired after a long day of fun. I feel the same way. After looking at many passers-by who had gathered around, PDD thought if he and the others had been recognized and was taken aback. But after he turned his head he realized that. These onlookers did not even look at their side of the glance. Are just surrounded by peace and quiet to listen to the song after? Only to put down his heart. But this is normal. Whether it was himself or by Chin or EE. -E, although it might be hot on the internet. In reality not many people would really go and observe everyone carefully, unless they did something to attract attention. As for Bai Chen, since he was wearing a large pair of sunglasses on his face, no one would also realize that the person singing was Bai Chen. Although it might be funny to wear sunglasses at 8 o'clock at night, this was Disney. No one would find it strange even if you wore your red underwear outside. At this moment, Bai Chen was still using his singing voice to tell a scene that happened in a fairy tale. I heard that Sleeping Beauty was buried the Little Mermaid was looking out over the Golden Hall. I heard that Apollo turned into a golden crow there are running saber-toothed tigers in the grassland. Only the wise river knows Sleeping Beauty escaped the torments of life. The Little Mermaid smears the sunlight into eye shadow and throws herself into the arms of the foam. Since this was Disney, it was already a happy place full of fairy tale magic. And now in conjunction with Bai Chen's singing voice, the onlookers were easily drawn into it. Accompanied by Bai Chen's cheerful and relaxing singing voice. Many people had smiles on their faces and spontaneously raised their hands to sway to the rhythm of the song. Even EE -E was giggling happily and shaking her little head. And after hearing this, Lisa's two keyboardists and drummers behind her couldn't help themselves and, they came to Bai Chen's side, adding flowers to the single guitar accompaniment according to the chords of Bai Chen's song. With the keyboard and drums, the melody of the whole song was more full of rhythm and layers. Listening to the movement coming from beside him, Bai Chen paused for a little while and after turning his head to nod slightly with the two foreigners, he sang the final chorus. There's always a colorful river that meanders through Storybrook, tainted with magic's well-behaved scent. There's always a dreamy river that meanders through Storybrook, separating the ideal from the real and meeting again at the mountain pass ahead. The river's continuous flow raises a splash of water and rolls a curtain of time into the water. Let all the long, long-ago moments come to a happy ending. Strange again. Ah, ah, woo-woo-woo-woo, ah. At this very moment, Bek Tatsu, who was humming softly, looked at the surrounding onlookers who were all smiling and holding up their cell phones and turning on their flashes, as if a shining nebula was gently swaying in front of their eyes. Since this was the first time Bai Chen had experienced so many people watching him sing, looking at the smiles on the people's faces under the flashing lights, for some reason, Bai Chen immediately felt a different touch in his heart, an inexplicable sense of accomplishment, and a warm sense of healing. Soon, after the song was finished, these dozens of passers-by who had gathered around nearby applauded. And, good, this song is okay, one more, come one more. Looking at the crowd that applauded for him, Bai Chin smiled and shook his head before returning the guitar in his hand to Lisa. Thank you, for disturbing you guys. Oh how can I say that I'm bothering you? I'm lucky to hear such beautiful singing, can you tell me the name of this song? Looking at Lisa's curious eyes, Bai Chin also truthfully said, This song is called Storybrook. Storybrook? Listening to the title of the song, Lisa nodded thoughtfully. All right, we'll leave you guys to sing. Bye. Saying that, Bai Chen then picked up EE, -E, while PDD opened the way in front to squeeze out of the crowd, leading the crowd out of here. How come they just left? Is this not singing anymore? How do I feel like that group of people just now looks a bit familiar? Looking at the passersby who were still talking about Bai Chen and the others, Lisa narrowed her eyes slightly and waved and said, Hello, if you still want to listen to songs, you can order songs here in both English and Chinese. Ha, huh, can I order a song? Any song that sounds good. Come one, come one. Since there was still a little while before Disney closed, these passers-by were also slightly tired after a long day of playing, so it was not bad to listen to songs here. So quite a few people just sat down on the ground and relaxed listening to the music of Lisa and her band. And at this time, Bai Chen and the others had also left Disney and were already on their way back. 
Did you have a good time today? Happy. As soon as PDD's words fell, he saw EE -E happily cheering in the back row, looking at EE's -E adorable appearance through the rearview mirror. PDD also laughed joyfully and said, Happy is good. It's just a pity that the beach can't be visited at the moment. After a period of deliberation, the plan to take EE -E to the beach to play is shelved. After all, to go to the beach cannot be avoided to play on the beach. To EE's -E current physical condition if the sea breeze, cold and flu, then it will not be worth the loss. Listening to PDD's words, EE -E was a bit depressed and said, I'm sorry. She also understood. It was because of her own health that she had delayed her plans to go to the beach. Looking at E's self-condemnatory demeanor, Bai Jia, who was sitting in the back row, gently consoled her. It's okay EE, -E. we can go to the beach anytime we want to play it's not like we need to rush these few days. When your body is well, we will definitely accompany you. That's right, I've pulled the hook with you, how can I lie to you? Listening to the comforting words of the crowd, EE, -E, on the other hand, shook her lips, lowered her head and whispered, but, I'm afraid that I won't have the chance in the future. After hearing Yi Yi's words, Bai Chen several people suddenly froze for a moment, and even Yi Yi's mom drifted off for a moment. Right. Although it was said that the problem of Yi Yi's treatment costs had now been solved, the most fundamental and fatal difficulty had yet to be solved. The bone marrow. Since Yi Yi's matter was exposed on the internet until now, three or four days have passed. Although the internet is abuzz with rumors, no bone marrow matching Yi Yi has been found so far, and PDD and the others seem to have overlooked one more thing. Don't look at the internet now many people good people say wanna help EE. -E. Willing to help her find the right bone marrow. That's because their bone marrow does not match. Do not need to donate themselves. If it really involves themselves, really want to go to extract the bone marrow for donation. Even if it is paid, the letter will still be someone quite a few people hesitate. At this moment, the originally relaxed atmosphere in the car instantly became a bit gloomy. Looking at EE's -E appearance, Bai Jia wanted to say something comforting but she swallowed her words as they came out of her mouth. After seeing the atmosphere drop, PDD could only say in a hurry, Hey Gu, don't think badly about it. It's only been a few days. Bone marrow extraction. Testing models do not also need time. Maybe tomorrow there will be news? Don't worry. As long as there's news about the bone marrow, the hospital will receive it right away. And we can arrange for the operation directly. E, you just need to rest and recuperate. And when you get well, we'll go to the beach together. Okay? And after Ee looked at the sudden change in mood of the group because of her words, she said with a crooked head and a smile, It's actually okay. Actually, it's okay. I'm already very happy to be able to get to know Big Brother and Uncle Fatty. Big Brother gave me a song, and Uncle Fatty took me to Disney to play. I feel like I'm already the happiest little kid in the world. Thank you. Saying that, Ee's body slightly leaned forward and gently kissed by Chan and PDD on their cheeks. Only to see PDD touch the place that was kissed by Ee also smiled and said, all right, all right, let's not talk about this for now. Do you guys have any more plans for tomorrow? Do you want to go somewhere to have a look? Listening to PDD's words, EE's mom hugged EE and shook her head, saying, I'm already thankful that I was able to let EE have such a happy day today. The time behind, EE and I will stay at the hospital and wait. Bai Chen, on the other hand, looked at PDD and suddenly spoke. I do have something for tomorrow. I might have to trouble you. What is it? You tell me. Subsequently, Bai Chen told PDD about his preparations to go to the studio to record a song. After listening to Bai Chen's plan, PDD then frowned and said, You, can you handle recording so many songs at once? Can't you do it when you're better? Bai Jia in the back row was also worried and discouraged. In response, Bai Chen just shook his head and said, I know what's in my heart. Recording a song is not running a marathon. It won't affect anything. Seeing Bai Chen said so, PDD also no longer say anything more, nodded and agreed. Subsequently, after sending Bai Chin and Ee back to the hospital, PDD went home. Time came to the next day. Early in the morning, Bai Chen was called over by Director Li. In the doctor's office, Bai Chen write, according to your condition, we're going to give you four courses of chemotherapy to see the effect. Each course is about four weeks at a time, basically three to five days at a time. According to your request, we will give you the best drugs, and counting the other expenses, it will cost about 100. Zero 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 dollars for one cycle. If you're sure, sign here. You can start your first treatment tomorrow. Listening to Director Li's words, Bai Jia, who was beside Bai Chen, hesitated for a moment and then asked, Doctor, I'd like to ask, in four sessions, my brother will probably, about what condition can he recover to? Is there any chance? Although Bai Jia didn't finish her sentence, Director Li still understood what she wanted to ask. 
only to see Director Li contemplating for a short while before looking at Bai Chen and saying, Actually, the role of chemotherapy is that it can help you eliminate some of the diseased cells, but you have to be clear that this is not something that won't continue to spread and become diseased if you eliminate it. I can only say that chemotherapy definitely has an effect on your condition, but how far this effect can be played, I can't say. But if the chemotherapy is very effective and can make that piece of tumor in your brain a bit smaller in scope, there might be a chance of removing it completely when you choose surgery. So, I hope you can relax your mind. After all, the patient's mood will affect the condition. A good mood will be beneficial to their own recovery. Maybe after chemotherapy will have a very good effect? Though she said so. But Bai Jie also understood. The so-called very good effect in the doctor's mouth should only be a small probability. After seeing Director Li say this, Bai Chen frowned and asked, Doctor, do I have to stay in the hospital during chemotherapy? Or is there a drug that can compare to the effects of chemotherapy? Listening to Bai Chen's words, Director Li shook his head and said, This depends on your physical condition after chemotherapy. If it's good then naturally you don't have to stay here all the time. As for the kind of medicine you mentioned, there isn't one yet. After all, chemotherapy is just a collective term for a series of treatments. Hearing this Bai Chen could only nod his head and say, Hmm, I see. Thank you. Sign here, right? Yes. Afterwards, Director Li said a few more things about the matters that needed to be taken care of for chemotherapy. Bai Chen and Bai Jia also left the office. Sis, you've heard it too. It's not as bad as you think. There's still a chance, isn't there? So you don't have to stay with me like this. And you have your life. I also have my own plan, right? Back in the hospital room, Bai Chen began to persuade Bai Jia again. And Bai Jia also knew what Bai Chen meant, but still a bit put out. Can only say wait until after this chemotherapy. Just as the two were discussing, suddenly a knock came from outside the ward. Knock, knock. Hello is Bai Chen here? Is anyone there? Ha, huh? who is it? Bai Jia heard the commotion and then walked straight over to open the door, while Bai Chen frowned slightly. This voice, why does it sound a bit familiar? Ka Ching. After Bai Jia opened the door to her room, he saw a man wearing a pair of black mask and black sunglasses, holding a bouquet of flowers in one hand and carrying a fruit basket in the other hand appear before his eyes. Are you? Looking at this man who was dressed somewhat strangely, Bai Jia's eyes flashed with a hint of doubt. A a a a don't be nervous. I'm Bai Chen's friend. May I ask if Bai Chen is here? Bai Jia hesitated for a moment before she still nodded and said, Uh, yes, Bai Chen, your friend is here to see you. At this moment, Bai Chen, who was listening to the commotion at the door, was also a bit puzzled. A friend? He didn't have many friends in Magic City, but PDD should be considered one. At the time when Bai Chen was puzzled, after seeing the man walk in, he took off the sunglasses stuck on his face and looked at Bai Chen and laughed. Didn't disturb your rest, right? Hmm, Mr. Shui. After looking at the person who actually came with Shui Jichen, Bai Chen was also a bit surprised. Even Bai Jia, who was on the side, froze for a moment when she learned that it was actually Shui Jichen, but she quickly reacted to the situation. Eh? This. You sit down for a while first. I'll get you a glass of water. You guys talk. With that, he ran outside the ward to look for a glass of water. Bai Chen, on the other hand, looked at Shui Jichen with some surprise and inquired about pouring. Mr. Shui, why are you here? Seeing Shui Jichen put down the fruit basket in his hand, he smiled and said, I heard Lu Mao say that you and Ee -E are both hospitalized here, so I came over to take a look. Oh you went to see Ee? -E? After mentioning Ee, -E, Shui Jichen sighed and said, I did, she's a very cute little girl, I just heard that there's no news about the bone marrow yet, right? Listening to Shui Jichen's words, Bai Chen also nodded inside. Maybe everyone has known about it for too short a time and hasn't found it yet. After hearing Shui Jichen's words, then he patted his shoulder and said, You've done what you need to do. Let's just look to the heavens next. By the way, how is your situation now? Just, to what extent? When asking Bai Chen, one could see the worry and a hint of regret in Shui Jichen's eyes. After all, after learning that Bai Chen was such an outstanding musician who actually suffered from cancer, who wouldn't feel sorry for that? Me? It's okay, I won't be able to hang up for a while. Bai Chen shrugged and joked, looking at Bai Chen's appearance. Shui Jichen nodded thoughtfully and said, It's good that it's okay. I came to see you because I was afraid that you might have a knot in your heart and not be able to think straight. After all, listening to those two songs you sang at the beginning, I could imagine what kind of mood you were in when you wrote and sang them. But after hearing you sing that mountain and sea song a few days ago, I think you've also been suppressing it for a long time, right? Listening to Shui Jichen's words, Bai Chen just nodded without saying anything. After all, Shui Jichen was a songwriter, 
so he was naturally able to hear all the emotions he was feeling while singing. Afterward, the two of them chatted idly with one word from you and another from me. Although they were chatting, Bai Chen vaguely guessed that Shui Jiqian shouldn't have come here just to see himself or Ee. -E. There should be something else, right? Sure enough, after the two of them had chatted for five or six minutes, Shui Jiqian suddenly asked, Right Bai Chen, I, I don't know if it's convenient to talk about it. Looking at Shui Jiqian's look of wanting to say it but not being able to, Bai Chen smiled and said, Mr. Shui, just tell me what you have to say. Seeing Shui Jiqian touching his nose, he hesitated for a while before saying, I recently had a concert in Magic City. After learning about Ee Ee's matter, I want to. I want to make this concert a public service concert. For children like Ee Ee or patients to speak out, do a little bit of their own power. But my songs may not be suitable. So I wonder if I could invite you to sing a few songs as my guest of honor for this concert. A public service concert? After listening to Shui Jiqian's purpose for coming to him, Bai Chen froze slightly, looking at Bai Chen who didn't say anything. Shui Jiqian took a deep breath and said, I also know. This request of mine is very presumptuous. But, I think that your songs are very powerful and full of meaning, and I hope that more people can hear your voice. That's why I've been thinking about it for a long time before I came to you. But the decision is still in your hands. Looking at Shui Jiqian's serious look, Bai Chen shook his head and said, I'm sorry, Mr. Shui, my treatment will start tomorrow, so I might not have the time. So, listening to Bai Chen's words, Shui Jiqian sighed and shook his head and said, No need to apologize, can understand. I'm just trying. Looking at Shui Jiqian's somewhat regretful expression, Bai Chen suddenly said, If Mr. Shui thinks any of my songs are good, you can sing them yourself, but, you'll have to pay extra. After listening to Bai Chen's joking tone, Shui Jiqian smiled and shook his head, saying, Some songs, no matter how much you cover them, it's hard to bring out the flavor of the song itself. Your song can only be yours, and only you can sing its original flavor. Forget it, let's not talk about it. You need to get well too. I'll leave you alone. Saying that, Shui Jiqian was about to get up and leave the place when he just walked out the door of the room and saw PDD also walk in. And Mr. Shui, you're here too. Oh, Mr. John, right, hello. Since it was the first time Shui Jiqian and PDD met in reality, the two exchanged pleasantries at the door. Are you here to see Bai Chen too? Shui Jiqian casually asked. After PDD sniffed, he rubbed the back of his head and said, Pretty much, Bai Chen is preparing to record and release a song. I happen to know a good recording studio, so I'm going to take him there to try it out. Recording a song? Seeing this, Shui Jiqian looked at Bai Chen inside and then at PDD, and said after a moment's thought, I'm familiar with recording songs, just go directly to my place to get it Ah, uh, My studio is quite good, and do not need to spend a sum of money, and I can make the audio directly after recording, so you don't have to wait a few days or anything. It's, it's not troublesome, is it? Recording a song is just a matter of fixing the tunes and such. It's not troublesome. Listening to Shui Jiqian's words, PDD thought for a second and was right. Isn't Shui Jiqian more knowledgeable than himself in this area? So, PDD went in and discussed with Bai Chen, and finally decided to listen to Shui Jiqian. Then the three of them rushed to Shui Jiqian's studio in Magic City. Two hours later, Shui Jiqian's studio, one cup for tomorrow one cup for the past, the body that supports me, thickens the shoulders. Though I never believed in the so-called long and high mountain, life is too short to forget, only to see that outside the recording room, Shui Jiqian looked at Bai Chen, who was recording his sorrows in the recording room, and his eyes were filled with shock. PDD was also growing his mouth, looking very surprised. After seven whole songs, Bai Chen actually didn't lose a single note, and didn't run out of tune. From start to finish, it was all smooth, without a single mistake. Sit in front of the tuning equipment Shui Jiqian, hands did not even touch the soundtrack, need to get just a little bit of reverb, or to coordinate the volume of the accompaniment and vocals on the line. Such live singing skills, it's really top notch. Maybe some people say singing is not a singer's basic qualities. In fact, in the circle do not know how many singers live and recorded version is completely two versions. That run tone run ah. I can't even listen to them without adding electro. After recording four songs, Bai Chen walked out of the recording studio and looked at Shui Jiqian and asked, How about it Mr. Shui, do you need to re-record any of the songs? Listening to Bai Chen's words, Shui Jiqian marveled without mincing words. Honestly, I can even say that you're a walking CD. The singing is simply perfect. But I think there are a few places where the accompaniment could be moved around a little bit. Just fine tuning it might be better. There's no rush now. Let's rest for a while and work on it. After hearing Shui Jiqian say this, Bai Chen didn't refuse. After all, 
people's musicianship was still top-notch, and since he said there were places that needed fine-tuning, then he definitely had to be fiddling with it. Next, after the two of them rested for a while and had a lunch, Bai Chen and Shui Jichen were directly immersed in the sea of music. PDD, who was on the side, didn't think it was a problem, but rather felt that it was a novelty, and watched it with interest. Several people stayed in the recording studio like this until the evening, before they retreated from it with some fatigue. TSK TSK TSK, Bai Chen I really admire you. I didn't even think that chord could go like that. That's awesome. Hearing Shui Jichen's praise, Bai Chen also waved his hand modestly. There was one thing to say. This experience of diving headfirst into the recording studio to make music was still very enjoyable for Bai Chen, and it seemed like there was only music around at that moment, nothing else. Looking at the two who were still discussing music, PDD somewhat helplessly touched his stomach and said, Finished? Why don't we go and have some barbecue later? Sure, I know a pretty good one. At this time, Shui Jichen also felt a little hungry, and nodded in agreement. Bai Chen, on the other hand, shook his head and refused. I'm going to start my treatment tomorrow, so I can't really eat these things. Although it is said that there is nothing to avoid in chemotherapy, but because his condition is tumor type, barbecue and these things are better not to eat. That's right. Then let's go eat something lighter. Okay. PDD nodded and was about to take out his cell phone to find an okay restaurant when, suddenly, EE's mom called. Hello, Sister Lou, is something wrong? Only after PDD picked up the phone and asked, the, the next second. Then he saw the look on PDD's face suddenly become grave, and asked, somewhat hastily, SH, what, what happened to EE? -E? Big sister Lou don't panic, speak slowly. 20 minutes later, Magic City Hospital, the two of them, PDD and Bai Chen, rushed to EE's -E hospital room in a panic. Shui Jichen didn't follow them because it wasn't convenient. At this moment, only to see lying on the hospital bed EE -E slightly closed eyes, face looks a little pale. Breathing has become a little rapid and heavy, hands also playing a drip. EE's mother is at the side of the dead hand holding EE's other hand, red eyes, looking at EE on the hospital bed. Bai Chen's pupils sank violently. Yesterday, she was still fine, so how could she suddenly, suddenly like this? Big sister, what's wrong with EE? PDD also came to EE's mother's side, soothing EE's mother in a fine voice while asking what exactly happened. Seeing the two people who came to the hospital room, Ee's mom shook her head in grief and said in a choked voice, Just, just last night, Ee -E suddenly started to have a high fever. But after taking some antipyretic medicine, the fever stopped. But, but this afternoon she started to have a fever again, and it wouldn't go down even after taking some medicine. And then there were, there are also bleeding symptoms. The doctor just came to see her and gave her fluids to make her feel better. Looking at the fear and disorientation in Ee's mom's eyes, PDD also had a sinking heart, and hurriedly asked, Then, then what condition caused this? Where are the doctors? Where are all the doctors? I don't know. The doctor drew some blood from EE, and then he was busy going for a checkup. After saying that, the atmosphere in the hospital room became frozen all of a sudden. No one had expected things to turn out the way they were today. Just as Bai Chen and the others all fell into silence, not knowing what to say, a nurse outside the ward suddenly knocked on the door and came in whispering, Excuse me, please trouble Chen EE's family to come out. Hearing the nurse's call, a few people looked at each other after a glance. PDD looked at EE's mom who was not in a very good state and said, Big sister, just stay with EE. I'll go ask the doctor what's the situation now. I, I'm fine. Only to see EE's mom shaking her head before she had to stand up holding onto the edge of the bed, walking towards the door with some anxiety. Seeing this scene, PDD had no choice but to get up in a hurry and chase after her. Bye Chen, just don't run. Rest here and take a break. And by the way, take a look at EE. Listening to PDD's words, Bai Chen glanced at EE who was lying asleep on the hospital bed, and after thinking about it, he moved a chair and sat beside EE. Ah, uh, only EE's brows were slightly furrowed. The torture of the disease had caused her to lose her usual vigor. Mom, mom, I hurt. It hurts. Listening to EE's unconscious cries, Bai Chen had a hint of tenderness under his eyes as he gently massaged and kneaded her body with his own hands. Whom, EE seemed to have sensed something, and after her eyelids trembled, she opened her eyes with some effort. Big, big brother? Looking at Bai Chen who appeared in front of her eyes, Yi e Yi's eyes flashed with a slight color of surprise, and then a smile surfaced. After seeing Yi e Yi e wake up, Bai Chen softly said, How do you feel? Is there anywhere hard to feel? Listening to Bai Chen's fine words, Yi e Yi e shook her head and said, I'm fine. Eh, where's mom? Where did mom go? Yi e Yi e asked with some concern after surveying the surroundings and not seeing her mom. Don't worry. 
Your mom went out with Uncle Fatty. She'll be back in a while. After Ee -E sniffed, the light under her eyes dimmed slightly. And she said, somewhat downcast, Is, is it because of me? I'm sorry big brother, I made you guys worry. Listening to Ee -E's words, Bai Chen touched Ee -E's forehead and comforted her, saying, It's okay, Ee, -E, if you're sleepy, go back to sleep. I'll be here with you. After Ee -E shook her head, she didn't say anything, but turned her head to the side and looked out the window. After a while, Ee -E had only turned her head and looked at Bai Chen and whispered, Big brother, I, am I not going to have the chance to go see the sea with you guys? When she said this, Ee -E's long eyelashes covered the loss in the bottom of her eyes, and when Bai Chen heard this, he immediately felt his heart flutter. Then he hastily shook his head before tugging at the corners of his mouth to squeeze out a smile and said, How could it be? Ee -E don't think nonsense. Just take care of your body. You'll definitely get better. Listening to Bai Chen's comforting words, Ee -E did not nibble. Instead, she lay on the hospital bed and looked at the ceiling above, a smile faintly appearing at the corner of her mouth. And, big brother, I, can I listen to you sing again? Faced with Ee's request, Bai Chen naturally wouldn't refuse. Okay, what song do you want to hear? Can I give you a little red flower? Only a hint of cunning flashed under Ee's eyes as she shook her head and said, Hmm, I want to hear something I haven't heard before. I'm afraid, I'm afraid that I won't have the chance to listen to Big Brother sing in the future. Looking at Ee Ye's appearance, Bai Chen clenched his fists and wanted to say something but didn't know how. He could only tense his eyes and use his own hands to hold Ee's hand that looked a little cold and nodded. But after a few minutes of thought, Bai Chen said, I'm afraid that I won't have the chance to hear Big Brother sing. After thinking for a few minutes, Bai Chen looked at Ee Ye and took a deep breath, then slowly hummed in a soft voice. The waves of the sea silently drown the night, roaming over the corners of the sky's end. Big fish swim through the cracks of dreams gazing at your sleeping silhouette, listening to Bai Chen's pure and natural, incomparably gentle yet beautiful singing voice. The corners of Yi's mouth also lifted slightly, and she closed her eyes. At this moment, it was as if she felt herself coming to the beach with Bai Chen, feeling the waves lapping at the soles of her feet and the gentle breeze blowing on her face. Look at the sea and sky and listen to the wind and rain, holding my son's hand to blow away the pale, smoky waves. The wings of the big fish are already too vast. I loosen the rope of time. Listening to Bai Chen's song, Ee -E was already completely immersed. It seemed as if everything in the lyrics was presented in front of her eyes, and she had come to the ocean of her yearning like a soundscape. See so beautiful, so full of picturesque scene, lyrics without gorgeous rhetoric piled up out of the delicate artifice, as water out of hibiscus, natural carving general. The words and phrases are all beautiful to the extreme. At this time, looking at Ee -E's look on the hospital bed, Bai Chen's emotions were also a bit out of control. His eyes became slightly red and he, tightly holding Ee Ye's small hand, his voice also became with a few points of trembling, I'm afraid that you'll fly far away I'm afraid that you'll leave me, I'm even more afraid that you'll stay here forever, every tear flows towards you, flowing backwards into the bottom of the sky, meanwhile, inside the doctor's office, the attending doctor in charge of Ee Ye's side, after looking at PDD and Ee Ye's mom who looked incredibly serious, took a deep breath and said, you guys don't have to be so nervous. Ee's condition in the afternoon doesn't mean that she has reached that stage. Fever and bleeding are some complications of leukemia. Listening to the doctor's words, PDD was sort of relieved. Just now, when he heard the doctor say for Ee's family to come here, he thought if he was going to issue a critical notice. Then, then what's the situation now? Is the matter of the bone marrow still unsettled? PDD asked somewhat anxiously, only to see that the attending physician paused after hearing this, looked at the two and said, Ee's current situation. I can only say that it hasn't reached that point yet. As for the bone marrow, I was a bit late in informing you. The bone marrow has already contacted the donor. The extraction and storage has already been completed. And it's being shipped here. It should be here soon. After hearing this, E's mom, who had been keeping her head down, raised her head violently, with some anticipation and excitement in her eyes. And PDD's eyes also glowed with joy and hurriedly said, Found it. That's great. Then, then when can the transplant take place? Looking at the excitement of the two, the doctor sighed and shook his head, saying, that's the reason I called you all here today. I'm also giving you guys a shot in the arm first. Just, because the treatment of EE's disease is a bit different. Leukemia treatment doesn't mean that you can just have a surgery and that's it. This leukemia treatment needs to be in a warehouse. That is, in a sterile environment to start the treatment. And then this treatment cycle is very long. To get hematopoietic stem cells these transplantation process, it basically takes about a month. Given Ee Ye's current physical condition, I can't guarantee that she'll be able to last until she leaves the warehouse. So, 
Whether or not the operation will be successful depends on the process. If she can carry on, she'll be fine. Of course, time is still short for EE. If you decide, I can arrange for her to be admitted tomorrow. If time drags on, the chances will become increasingly slim. After listening to what the doctor said, the light in EE's mom's eyes dimmed, and PDD's smile froze on his face. At this time, in the middle of the hospital room, Bai Chen looked at EE who had fallen asleep on the hospital bed in a somewhat stunned manner. Just 10 minutes ago, after he himself finished singing about the big fish, he didn't expect EE to smile and say, since the ocean is so beautiful, then I must go and see it with my own eyes. At that moment, Bai Chen was once again impressed by EE's strength. EE Shi was much more resilient than he had imagined. Alas, thinking that, Bai Chen looked out the window and sighed deeply. Just then, with a click, he saw PDD and EE's mom return. After looking at the two people's expressions that seemed to be a bit heavy, Bai Chen's brows also slightly wrinkled. Gently got up and came to the front of the two to ask in a low voice, What did the doctor say? What's the situation now? Only seeing PDD shaking his head after looking at EE who had already fallen asleep, he said, Let's go out and talk. Give EE some rest. Big sister, you also go to bed and rest for a while. The nurse here will also take care of EE. Ah, uh, thank you. EE's mom nodded with tears in her eyes. What's going on now? Did you not find the bone marrow? In the hallway, Bai Chen looked at PDD and asked uneasily, Ugh, it was found. But, after PDD told the doctor's original words, Bai Chen also felt some blockage in his heart. After a long silence, he said, It's alright, EE -E is such a strong child. She has carried through these years. How could she fall at this hurdle? You think so? PDD nodded with a long sigh after sniffing. That's right. I also think so. Not just a month. EE -E will definitely be able to get through it. EE's -E mom has also agreed to the treatment. It should start tomorrow. EE's -E strength was evident to her. In fact, in many life and death crises, People with a strong mind are often able to support themselves and survive. Only if they don't give up on themselves will there be hope. Ah right, you're also starting your treatment tomorrow right? It's not getting early. So hurry up and rest and get ready you. Listening to PDD's words, Bai Chen nodded slightly and said, Hmm, you should go back soon. I've delayed you a lot these past few days. PDD waved his hand and said, Hey, I don't have a lot of time on my hands. Okay, I'm going home first. Call me if you have any problems here. Bye. Afterwards, PDD left the hospital, and Bai Chen returned to his hospital room. What did you do? Why did you come back so late to record a song? After returning to the hospital room and looking at Bai Jie's worried eyes, Bai Chen said with a light smile, Nothing, I just went to take a look at EE. Listening to Bai Chen's words, Bai Jie gave a blank stare and said, You, you, take care of yourself first, okay? Looking at his old sister's blank stare, Bai Chen shook his head and said EE's things out. Bai Jie was also silent for a long time. After a while, she saw Bai Jie come to Bai Chen's side, just like when she was a child. She hugged his head and softly said, Don't worry, EE -E will be fine, and you will be fine too. By the way, do you want to eat some hometown food after the chemotherapy is over in a few days? I'll go grocery shopping and cook some for you. You cook? Sis, you don't want me to report to the king of hell, do you? You brat. Eh 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 eh. Wrong sis. Wrong wrong. The footsteps of the summer were getting closer and closer, and the temperature of the magic city was also somewhat elusive, cold and hot. During these few days, the outside world was also very concerned about EE's situation. It even attracted a tracking report from the official TV station. News flash, the little girl with leukemia, EE, has found bone marrow with everyone's help and is now in the treatment stage. The station will continue to track and report the news about EE. Many netizens have seen EE, who is undergoing treatment in a sterile warehouse through the glass window of the TV news report. At this moment, seeing EE surrounded by a number of therapeutic instruments, some large and small infusion tubes connected to EE's small and thin body, many netizens feel very distressed. Hiss EE to be treated like this for a month? I'm heartbroken to see her like this. Alas, it can't be helped, but as long as she survives this time, EE will be fine. Go for it. Indeed, the darkness before the dawn is always the hardest to endure. Go for it. I'm sure you'll get through this. You've got to work hard. Countless netizens left their blessings under the news released. And just in the few days that EE -E received treatment, Bai Chen's first chemotherapy treatment also ended. In one of the high-class wards of the Magic City Hospital, the Bai Chen, who had already shaved his hair, was seen lying on the hospital bed somewhat tiredly, also looking at the news of EE -E reported on the TV. Watching the news again. Don't worry about EE -E either. I just went to see Big Sister Chen. She said that EE's -E current situation is quite stable. 
so we don't need to worry so much. Come, try my stir-fried pork, as well as fish and steamed eggs. Only to see by Jia walking carrying some fruits as well as a bucket of boxes containing meals. Moreover, these foods were all foods that Bai Jia had gone to learn about, all of which helped to replenish the body after chemotherapy. After looking at Bai Jia placing the food in front of him, Bai Chen sat up with his bed and came forward to smell the food and laughed. So fragrant? It won't be the fast food you secretly went to buy, right? After seeing Bai Chen still being poor, Bai Jia grunted and said, Your sister, I've been working for so many years, at least I've practiced, right? Normally, if you want to taste it, you won't be able to crave my skills. After listening to Bai Jia's words, Bai Chen smiled and then picked up his chopsticks and ate. But before Bai Chen could eat a few bites, he saw his face suddenly change and, turning his head, he began to dry heave into the trash can. Vomit vomit. Looking at Bai Chen's reaction, Bai Jia immediately put down the dishes in her hands and gently patted his back. What's wrong? Is it not appetizing? Hearing Bai Jia's worried tone, Bai Chen, who had finished dry heaving, waved his hand with red eyes and said, Nothing. It's just a sudden nausea. Some side effect of the chemotherapy. Keep eating, said Bai Chen. Bai Chen picked up the bowls and chopsticks again and ate. After finishing her meal, Bai Jia took the lunchbox to the bathroom to clean it again. Bai Chen, on the other hand, was lying on the bed with somewhat nothing to do, fuming, for this chemotherapy, how to put it, the effect didn't reach perfection, it only slowed down the deterioration of the disease a bit, moreover, Bai Chen felt a bit uncomfortable after the treatment, and even though he was lying down every day, although he lies down every day, he still feels unusually tired, and he gets nauseous from time to time, and there were four more cycles of chemotherapy, even more, thinking about having to undergo chemotherapy for such a long period of time, Bai Chen couldn't help but feel a little heartbroken. Just when Bai Chen was feeling a bit distracted by this, the system that he hadn't seen for a long time suddenly appeared. Ding your little darling is online. Listening to the system tone coming out of his head, Bai Chen rolled his eyes in the same way Bai Jia did. He didn't pay any attention to the system that didn't have much use. The system next door was either a one-click recovery or a variety of life renewals. So how did it pull so much on itself? I'm sorry host, this system is a little trash cannot do against the sky to change life. Listening to the system's words, Bai Chen's expression didn't change much, but instead he faintly asked, So, didn't you say before that music can heal everything? Lying to me? Air, not exactly, because, you've actually started to do it, isn't it? After hearing this from the system, Bai Chen froze for a moment. Did he? Have you already done it? At this moment, Bai Chen suddenly thought of EE. He also thought of the heartwarming comments and replies under his singing video. Just as Bai Chen was in a bit of a trance, the system continued to say in his own mind. Actually, the system feels that this good music should remain in this musically barren world to fulfill their significance. I also understand the host's situation. So, given the host's recent performance, reward the host with three years of life. During this three-year period the host's body is no different from a normal person. Don't worry about doing what you want to do. Reward the host, the previous life song library completely unlocked. The system mall to use on their own. Lastly, I'd like to give the host a word of advice, time is not about how much you have, but how you use it. Ding. Ding your little cutie is about to go offline. Let's. We'll see you soon. I'll see you later. The words just fell. Before Bai Chen could react to what was going on, he suddenly felt a strange energy surging through his body. A bit warm, and after this warmth skimmed through his body, those after effects from the chemotherapy miraculously disappeared, and his body wasn't as fatigued as it had been in the past. After feeling the changes in his body, Bai Chen froze for a moment, frowning as he tried calling out in his mind. System. System? Time passed quietly once again. Nearly half a month had passed since Bai Chen's first chemotherapy session. And during this period of time, after examination, Dr. Li was surprised to find the diseased cells in Bai Chen's body had suddenly become inactive, as if they had fallen into a dormant period. For this relatively rare situation, Dr. Li could only attribute the cause to the individual's physique. After all, Human beings have not yet researched this kind of cancer cells thoroughly, and human beings are also full of infinite potential, who could not possibly anticipate what would happen, but all in all, this was definitely good news, since the diseased cells were no longer active, it meant that there was no risk of spreading in metastasis for the time being, and according to Dr. Li's words, by Chen's current situation does not need to be hospitalized, just live a normal life, chemotherapy, then come to the hospital for treatment. To see the follow-up there is no miracle effect on the line. Knowing this news by Jia is also very happy. The heart of the pressure of the big stone also lightened a few points. In this regard, 
No the cause of the white chin also did not say anything more. Follow up chemotherapy things can wait to find an excuse to muddle through on the line. The system quietly went away. Just as it quietly came in general. In these days Bai Chen is also feeling mixed feelings inside. After all, some of the things he now has, but also the system is brought. Three years. Three years was not too long to say, and not too short to say. It was enough time to do a lot of things on one's own. Bai Chen, that teacher of yours, Mr. Shui, sent over a few tickets, asking if you're interested in going to see it? Just as Bai Chen was lying on the window pondering something else, Bai Jie's voice suddenly came from behind himself. Hmm, what ticket? Looking at Bai Chen's puzzled expression, Bai Jia then pulled out two tickets from her own bag and handed them to Bai Chen saying, he said last time that he wanted to do some kind of public service concert. He sent two tickets over today and asked if you're interested. If you want to go, I'll go with you. Hearing Bai Jia's words, Bai Chen froze for a moment before picking up the two concert tickets, only to see that the lower left side of the tickets was printed with a cute, angel-like cartoon image of a girl. The background of the tickets was printed with a small, light red flower, and the very center of the tickets was written with the words, Angel Charity Concert. And there was even a small line at the bottom that had a note about some of the proceeds from the concert being used for donations. At the beginning when Shui Jichian said this matter, he thought he just had this idea. I did not expect to actually do it so quickly. There may be some who say that this is using the E thing for show. It's setting up a persona, etc. But no matter what his purpose was, at the very least, he really did go ahead and do this, not just talk about it. After looking at this original concert ticket, Bai Chen's pupils flickered. Some of the words that the system had said earlier suddenly surfaced before his eyes. Hello? What are you gawking at? If you really don't want to go, that's fine too. After watching Bai Chen froze with the tickets, Bai Jia thought that it was because he was a bit reluctant to go, but hesitated because he was worried about Shui Jiqian's face. Hearing Bai Jia's words, Bai Chen immediately nodded and said, Go, right. When does this concert start? There are still a few days left? After seeing that Bai Chen seemed to be a bit anxious, Bai Jia said with some doubt, it's not written on the ticket. There should be about a week left. What's wrong? Looking at his sister's expression, Bai Chen shrugged and said, We're all going. Then there must be something to do, right? I'll go make a phone call first. And at this moment, Shui Jiqian's concert was also spreading rapidly on the internet. Hot search hashtag Shui Jiqian. Magic City Charity Concert. Hashtag Shui Jiqian Concert Tickets Little Surprise. Hashtag. Hashtag the popular singer Shui Jiqian opened a charity concert. After the end of the concert will be used in the concert of personal proceeds for donations and charitable causes hashtag. Looking at this one hot search with rapidly climbing heat, many netizens have also talked about it. Wow Chen Chen finally came back to the Magic City to open a concert ah. It's a pity I didn't grab a ticket. Upstairs. The Magic City concert has long been said to be open, but this time it seems to have been advanced, but also changed into a public service concert. Did you guys notice that the cartoon girl on Chen Chen's concert ticket looks like E? You don't have to tell me. It really looks like E. It's got a little red flower on it. I noticed it too. Does it imply that he'll be singing a little red flower for you at the concert? I don't know. I think I need the copyright to sing someone else's song, right? Could it be that Shui Ji Chen asked for Bai Chen's copyright? Be bold. Is it possible that Bai Chen will come too? He seems to be in Magic City too. Crap, really? Will Bai really come? The millions of Bai family members have been homeless for weeks. Many netizens had noticed the small red flower on that unique concert ticket and had associated it with Bai Chen. To know, since the end of the concert finals, Bai Chen had disappeared as if he had vaporized. If someone else has such heat, can't wait to take advantage of this wave of heat crazy business, or on a variety show into the entertainment industry, the traffic will be realized. But Bai Chen is like a missing general did not do anything, and even did not open the neck, teasing these social accounts, resulting in some of Bai Chen's hardcore fans are also very distressed. And now, after seeing the small red flowers on the tickets, these fans have to make up for it will not be in the implication of what. And even some marketing numbers are saying that this Shui Jiqian's concert by Chen will be the guest of honor, resulting in the concert's heat again soared a lot. At this time, in Shui Jiqian's studio, Mr. Shui, it's rumored all over the internet that Bai Chen will be the supporting act for this concert. Do we have to make a statement? Or clarify? Listening to the words of the staff on his side, Shui Jiqian nodded after thinking for a while and said, We'd better send out a statement later, to prevent the internet from spreading more and more exaggerated rumors. After the staff heard this, they were ready to go and send out a scarf statement. This kind of thing is still very necessary to clarify. Or else by the time Bai Chen's fans come to see this concert and find that there is no Bai Chen, the impact would not be good. Just after Shui Jiqian finished his words, his cell phone suddenly rang with a ding-dong sound. 
After seeing that the caller ID was Bai Chen, Shui Jiqian directly answered the phone. Hey Bai Chen, did you receive the tickets? If you want to come and have a look, come, it's okay if you don't. After all, it's the body that counts. Wait, what did you say? Only to see that while speaking, Shui Jiqian's eyes suddenly glazed over, and in surprise with a hint of doubt, he asked, You, are you sure it's okay? I have no problem at all, and I have enough time. I'll take you to the band teacher in the next few days. Okay, okay. Well, even if the situation stabilizes, you still have to take care of your health. Okay, see you tomorrow. After hanging up by Chen's phone, he saw Shui Jiqian's eyes reveal a hint of excitement as well. The staff at the side also guessed something from the call between the two and looked at Shui Jiqian and asked, Mr. Shui, it's, bye, Mr. Bye, aha, uh -huh. then, are we still sending this out? Listening to the staff's words, Shui Jiqian thought for a moment and shook his head and laughed, saying, don't worry about it, we don't need to send out anything, when the time comes, let's give a little surprise to the fans and friends who come to the concert. In the next few days, Bai Chen was running to Shui Jiqian's site almost every day. After all, singing in a concert was not the same as singing in a normal day. Singing well and not being off-key were just the basic requirements. Bai Chen also had to discuss with Shui Jiqian about the picture effects and lighting effects on the stage, as well as the coordination with the band teacher and harmony teacher. It was a huge workload to complete these things in less than a week. But although the workload was enormous, every single staff member had no complaints. His teacher Bai is really great. Yeah, I didn't expect the same song to have a completely different mood after he changed it like this. That's awesome. I was already thinking, what will be the reaction of the fans who came to the concert when they hear this adapted version of the song? I can only describe it as crouching, inside a small, temporary venue. All the staff looked at Bai Chen, who was rehearsing with the band teacher not far away, all with a look of admiration. They even felt that the songs Bai Chen had prepared would definitely blow up if they were performed perfectly in this concert. Stop it. Stop it. There's only three days left. Let's finish our mission quickly. Indeed. We must make this concert beautiful. Go for it. Go for it. At this moment in time, no one was treating this concert as an ordinary concert. This was a, a different kind of concert. Time passed, and three days passed in the blink of an eye. Bai Chen, tonight you'll have a good night's rest. I'll just keep an eye on the rest of the work over here. See you tomorrow night. Listening to Shui Zhiqian's words, Bai Chen didn't push back and nodded, saying, Okay, you rest early too. Bye. Okay. After exchanging a few pleasantries with Shui Zhiqian, Bai Chen left the small venue where the concert was being prepared. He didn't go back to his home, though. Instead, he took a drop and arrived in the middle of the Magic City Hospital. Hello, excuse me, can we go take a look at Chen Yi e now? After asking at the nurse's station and receiving permission from the nurse on duty, Bai Chen followed her through one small door after another, arriving outside a small room with transparent glass on the walls. Through the glass, Bai Chen could see that Yi's e mother was accompanying Yi e under treatment inside the sterile warehouse. Since Yi e age was too young, guardians were still allowed to accompany and take care of her inside. Just use the landline here if you want to say anything. You can call me anytime if you need anything. After saying that, the nurse on duty went to the side to busy herself first, looking at Yi e, whose face was a bit pale and without much vigor in the sterile warehouse. Bai Chen also sighed a bit heavily. And at this time, Yi e e's mom also noticed Bai Chen outside the glass window. After beckoning, she pointed to the side, and then signaled Bai Chen to use the landline phone to talk. Hello, you came to see Yi e e again. Ah, uh, listening to Yi e e's mom. Bai Chen nodded before inquiring. Yi e, she's, how is she? Is she okay? Listening to Bai Chen's inquiry, Yi's mother looked down at the sleeping Yi with some heartache, and after seemingly sighing, she raised her head to look at Bai Chen and smiled, saying, the doctor said the situation is okay, the recovery is not bad, you do not have to hang on like this. A few days ago, that chubby little brother also took a look at Yi. E. Chubby, brother Lu? Yes, 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 that's him. I really don't know how to thank you guys. If it wasn't for you, Yi, e. I'm afraid she would have. After watching big sister Chen choke on her words, Bai Chen hastened to comfort her, saying, you don't have to be like this. After all, we all want Yi e. to get better. Oh yeah, I have a small gift I want to give to Yi. E. I'll ask if I can send it in later. Saying that, he then saw Bai Chen pull out a concert ticket out of his own pocket with his own and Shui Jiqian's blessing written on it. After seeing this special concert ticket through the glass window, Yi's mom froze for a moment and, this, what is this? Looking at Yi's mom's puzzled expression, Bai Chen smiled and told her about the charity concert that was going to start tomorrow. After hearing the ins and outs, Yi's mom also nodded and smiled, saying, 
Good, good. If, if everyone in the world was like you, maybe EE -E wouldn't have to suffer so much. It's okay. It's not too late. It's not too late. Bai Chen said. After EE's -E's mom heard this, she nodded with tears in her eyes and gently stroked the sleeping EE. -E. If EE -E knew that you went to sing at the concert, she would have been very happy. But in this situation now, she can't leave here. She can't hear you sing. During the course of the bone marrow transplant treatment, in order to avoid some effects, cell phones, radios and other equipment could not be brought in. Although it was a bit regrettable, there was nothing that could be done about it. Looking at EE -E on the hospital bed, Bai Chen shook his head and smiled, saying, It's okay. I believe. She can hear. And will definitely be able to hold on. Whom? Afterwards, afraid of disturbing EE, -E, after hanging up the landline phone and handing his things to the nurse on duty, Bai Chen left the hospital and returned to his home to prepare for tomorrow's charity concert. The next day, the already congested Magic City was even more waterlogged with the addition of Shui Jiqian's charity concert. Shui Jiqian's fans or Bai Chen's fans from all over the country came to Magic City, even in order to solve the traffic problem, as well as to avoid some accidents and traffic congestion. The Magic City officials have opened a special subway and high-speed rail line specifically for this concert. Of course, the officials were not only able to do this because it was a celebrity concert, but mainly because the significance of this concert was different. From the point of view of charity and public welfare, this concert will also improve the reputation of Magic City to a certain extent, so the official is also very important to this. The online netizens are also looking forward to this concert, and some of the fans who came to Mordor have also taken pictures and sent them to their friends, the Magic City to play cards. Let me see which unlucky person didn't grab the ticket. Tickets were snatched. But the high-speed train tickets are so hard to snatch. Brothers, don't even say it. I traveled 12 hours to Mordor. If you didn't get a ticket, look over here. Do you want a ticket? Don't trust scalpers. I was just cheated. At this moment, 2 p.m., there are still 4 hours to go before the concert. But as far as the eye can see, a lot of people have gathered outside the Magic City Honko Stadium, chatting with each other. With the time slowly passing, 3 hours before the concert entrance time, on a wide road outside the Honko Stadium, one bus after another slowly came from the distance, as far as the eye could see. As far as the eye could see, these buses were sort of like a long dragon. After the buses stopped at the side of the road, all the passengers on the buses couldn't wait to come down from the buses, and you could even see some people holding up support boards and colorful support sticks with Beck Tatsu's name written on them. Although there was no confirmation of Bai Chen's appearance, it didn't stop them from being enthusiastic. At this moment, some of the reporters and paparazzi who had come outside the stadium early were very surprised to see the huge crowd coming down from the bus. Are there so many people here so early? There are still three hours to go before the start of the entrance Ah, These fans are so fanatical. Although the magic city is not so hot now. But in this big sun under the sun is not comfortable Ah, Don't look at that all black pressurized a piece of a head. This is still to see the concert part of the people only. After all, the entire Honko Stadium was large enough to hold more than 30. 000 people. But even so, tickets for the concert were still hard to come by. From this, how passionate everyone was. Time passed by. It was finally 6 p.m., accompanied by the official start of the Angel Charity concert entrance. The audience gathered outside the stadium were carrying their concert tickets as well as their own valid ID cards, passing through a fan of security checks, gates verifying faces, and ID information consistently verified and passed, before entering the huge stadium. Before entering the stadium. The first thing that comes to mind is that right above the stage, there is a nearly tens of meters large cherub model. In its surroundings is hanging a heart, flowers and so on some decorations. Some people even noticed that there was a small heart printed on everyone's seat, and some small items specially prepared for the concert were placed on the seats. Then at the back of the stage there were also four huge displays that could be provided to the audience in all four directions within the stadium. The audience was also amazed by the display of these details, and at this moment, the color of the sky was gradually dimming. In the seats at the front of the stage, the disguised PDD looked around, and looked at the sea of people in the arena and couldn't help but sigh. Bud, it's so crowded, he said. Bud yo, so many people? In PDD side of the white Jia is also the first time to come to the concert. See the scene also feel a little shocked inside. Under such a huge flow of people, the entrance process took more than an hour before it was over. Of course, due to the large number of people, for fear of accidents, both Shui Jiqian and the Magic City officials had arranged quite a number of security personnel inside the venue to maintain the order of the scene. Tisk the security work is still quite good. I heard that the tickets for this concert are being snatched up like crazy, and I can listen to the scene for free. He 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 who isn't. It's still VVVLP bleachers. But then again, 
Is Bai Chen really coming back for this concert? He he you're a fan of Bai Chen too? Of course. I just saw the rumor on the internet that Bai Chen is coming back. So I made a lot of connections to get the top to arrange for me to come over here. I don't know if Bai Chen will be here. After all, Shui Jiqian didn't announce any special guest list. Hey, it's okay. I like Shui Jiqian anyway. In fact, a lot of Bai Chen's fans thought the same thing. Although the official did not give a clear message. But come to see a old Shui's concert and can listen to the songs. But also can watch the sketches and listen to the comedy. Even if Bai Chen does not come is not a loss. And if Bai Chen really came, it would be blood money. At this time, there were still 10 minutes before the concert officially started. Some of the lighting and sound effect tests on the stage were detected. Along with the live preparation BGM, many of the audience waved their highlighters in their hands, flashing like the stars in the night sky. The four big screens at the back of the stage were also all lit up, following the camera teacher's angle to put the audience's smiles on the big screens. As long as a young couple coming to the concert was captured on the screen, it would cause the entire audience to burst into laughter. It would cause a burst of uproar from the entire audience, along with the laughter of the crowd. Snapped. All the lights on the stage and in the stadium suddenly dimmed. Immediately after that, the accompaniment of something from outside the sky slowly started to play. Immediately after that, Shui Jiqian's singing voice also slowly came out from it. You landed so suddenly. I just happened to be passing by. It's a rare and subjective opportunity. I want to steal it but I can't touch it. You brought me joy and made the world a little colorful. Under the spotlight, only Shui Jiqian slowly rose from the elevator in the center of the stage and appeared in everyone's view, waving his hand at the audience while singing the opening song. Woohoo! Shui Jiqian, I love you! After seeing Shui Jiqian appear, the audience in the arena was also very excited and cheered. And at this moment, Bai Chen, who was waiting backstage, saw the scene of people's voices, his pupils were flickering, and he felt a bit restless inside. This, is this the concert? In fact, at the beginning, Shui Jiqian was planning to let Bai Chen go to open the show. After all, Bai Chen's songs were more in line with the theme of this concert, but Bai Chen refused. However, the good thing was that this song was one of Shui Jiqian's fire songs, so it was really good to use it to open the show. At this moment, after Shui Jiqian finished his opening song, he joked with the audience on stage as usual and casually chatted for a few moments before starting his next song. Bai Chen watched Shui Jiqian perform one song at a time and was slightly mesmerized by the crowd around the stage, not noticing the passage of time in the slightest. Cough teacher Bai? Teacher Bai it's almost your turn. Time to get ready. The staff's reminder pulled Bai Chen back. HM, is it just me? Right away. Mister. Shui has already sung five or six songs on stage. That fast? Bai Chen's eyes were a bit surprised. I didn't expect that after watching. So much time had already passed. Alright, let's go then. Saying that. Then he saw Bai Chen leave the backstage and follow the staff to prepare his entrance. At this moment, Shui Jiqian had been singing on stage for almost two hours, but he hadn't seen Bai Chen in the slightest, and Shui Jiqian hadn't mentioned anything else, causing the audience under the stage to become a bit confused as well. Hiss, didn't you say Bai would come? Where is he? I don't know ah, uh, the three hour concert has passed two hours, how come Bai Chen is still not on stage? Ugh, I told you it's just a rumor on the internet, Bai won't necessarily come. Ah, don't. What, brother Bai won't come? No way. Refund the ticket. Refund. Refund ticket refund ticket refund ticket. Only to see Shui Jiqian, who had just finished a song on the stage and was drinking water. After hearing the sound of ticket refunds coming from the audience below, he was directly choked by the water. Refunded tickets? What's wrong with me today that I need a refund? My mouth didn't scoop. And I didn't forget any words in my singing? Listening to Shui Jiqian's words. A loud audience member under the stage directly roared. I want Bai Chen. Refund your ticket if you don't have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's Bai Chen? Bai Chen, Bai Chen, Bai Chen. After looking at the audience chanting Bai Chen's name, Shui Jiqian on the stage rolled his eyes and pretended to be unhappy, and said, Hey, what's wrong with you guys? This is my concert. Come on audience friends, join me in shouting. Shui Jiqian, Shui Jiqian, you. After hearing Shui Jiqian shouting his name, the audience all cooperated with him. Boo! In response, Shui Jiqian just scratched his head. Shui Jiqian only scratched his head and laughed. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not joking with you guys, but refunding the tickets. Of course it's impossible, because as you all know, this concert is different from my usual concerts. This is a charity concert. After getting to the point, Shui Jiqian stopped being playful and said seriously, how to say it. I believe everyone knows about EE's incident a while ago, right?
During this period I also took the time to go and take a look at little EE, -E, looking through the glass window at EE's -E's appearance that is receiving treatment. Really, I felt my heart aching, but at least it seems like she's recovering pretty well, and this treatment is something she had to go through, and at that time what I thought was, EE, -E, this little girl, she's unfortunate, but she's also fortunate. Unfortunately, her family couldn't even afford to treat her, but fortunately, she met us, and all of you who helped forward it to us, but then, maybe where we can't see, there's still the first E, the second E, countless E, and what's waiting for them, maybe it's death. At this moment, the audience who had just been so enthusiastic suddenly fell into silence after listening to Shui Jiqian's words, because he was right, E was able to find the bone marrow in time, it wasn't because of Bai Chen, because of the song club. The songwriters club broke the news about her on the internet, but other people who were in the same situation as EE, their or family, what to do, ugh, it was only on one of the seats in the arena that, Dong Kai, the paparazzo who took the picture of Bai Chen and EE, looked up at the night sky and let out a long sigh, he then touched the camera in his arms and smiled with some emotion, himself, was also considered one of the participants, right, in fact, ever since that day, Especially after hearing Bai Chin sing a song about Little Red Flower, Dong Kai suddenly felt that a certain heartstring inside of him had been fluctuated. After that, he suddenly didn't want to continue the doggy industry. After all, he had made almost enough money, and with his major in photography, the camera in his hand could probably be put to more use than snooping around on celebrity gossip. As Shui Jiqian said, there may be countless EEs in the world. Then, so can you use your camera to record and photograph these people who are also suffering? So that society can pay more attention to them and provide them with some help as much as it can? Suffering does not deserve to be glorified, but it deserves to be seen. Let everyone see that the world is not everyone as bright and shiny as the internet. Those, it's just a small group of people. At this time, Shui Jiqian continued on stage, saying, So, the purpose of this concert. I hope to pay attention to the surrounding as much as I can, and care for those people as much as I can, so that we can make this society become warmer and warmer. And last but not least, I wish, world peace, yes, well said, world peace, la shui I love you, pa 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 After Shui Jiqian finished speaking, the entire audience erupted in thunderous applause. Looking at the audience's reaction, Shui Jiqian smiled and said, All right, I won't waste any more time. You'll be screaming for refunds again. Next, let's continue to listen to the song. After making a joke, the, there was a bang. The lights on the stage dimmed once again, appearing pitch black. After almost 10 seconds or so, a melody that sounded incredibly familiar slowly came out from it. After hearing this melody, the, quite a few audience members froze for a moment, staring with wide eyes and unbelievable faces. This melody, is the bottom of the sea? Happy Children's Day. Ahem, personal reasons to deal with a little thing. The 10th resumed updating, and to all the kids in the college entrance exams, cheers, and eh, this intro is like the bottom of the sea. Like hell, it's the intro to the bottom of the sea, okay? It's not right. This seems a bit different from the previous Under the Sea. This melody sounds a bit brighter. Could it be that old Shui got the rights to Under the Sea and adapted it himself? Maybe. Listening to the familiar feeling yet different accompaniment, many viewers became interested. Scattered falling moonlight, through the clouds, hiding from the crowd, laying into the scales of the sea. As soon as the first two lines came out, the audience in the arena instantly lit up before their eyes. They could hear that although these two lines were exactly the same as the original, what was presented was completely different, and that was just the beginning. In the next second, a shocking scene appeared, along with the sound of the song, the, with a snap, a white light instantly lit up in the center of the stage, and, immediately after that, a figure dressed in a pure white suit slowly descended from the giant cherub statue with a wigwam. At the same time, on the huge screen at the back of the stage, a video of a raging black sea was shown along with the light shining from afar, it looked, it was as if a god with 10,000 lights shining on his body was slowly landing in that black sea, eh who is that, old Shui, changed his set of clothes so quickly, brother your ears aren't good, this voice clearly isn't old Shui's, right, crap, look at the big screen at the side door, it's brother Bai, what, at this moment, after looking at the figure projected on those four big screens, it was none other than Bai Chin, the entire audience first froze for a moment, afterwards, Woohoo! It's really my brother Bai? Bai Chen! Bai Chen! Bai Chen! Only at this moment, the, the entire crowd instantly flushed, excited beyond measure as they stood up and chanted Bai Chen's name. Before going up to the stage, Bai Chen was still very nervous inside. 
After all, it was his first time to sing in such a big occasion. However, after hearing the audience in the arena cheering for him, I don't know why, that burst of cheers seemed to turn into a force that dispelled by Chen's inner tension. He sang with more dedication. Listen to the depths of the sea, whose whale is guiding. The soul didn't fall into silence. No one woke you up. The song, Under the Sea, was the entry song for many by Chen fans, but at the same time, people also dare not listen to more, because the original tune of this song is too funereal, like really cannot see the slightest light in general. And now this song has been adapted to the bottom of the sea. The melody seems to be much brighter and more spacious. Listening to it is also much more comfortable. Just as the crowd slowly shook their highlighters, listening to this slightly different undersea song with smiles on their faces. The next second, the next second, Bai Chen's voice suddenly lurched and opened his mouth to sing. You love the salty breath of the sea breeze, stepping on wet gravel. You say that people's return should be back to the sea. After listening to Bai Chen that lowered his voice and sang this part with a vocalization similar to hooting and rapping, the, the entire audience couldn't help but stare in disbelief. The small eyes were filled with great surprise, astonishment, and shock. This, this is rap? Crap brother Bai still knows this stuff? Brother Bai is so awesome. And this vocal transition is really awesome too. But, what's the point of adding rap to a good song? It's not necessary, right? I don't like rap either. Although many of the people in the venue were fans of Bai Chen, and many of them were surprised by the different singing style in just a few lines, there were also those who felt that it wasn't a bit unorthodox to suddenly add a rap to the song, either way they didn't expect it. The real shock was yet to come. At the end of the rap which once again returned to the previous melody on the main song, the audience realized that in the midst of the cloud-covered, dark and depressing-looking sea projected on the stage's big screen, it was vaguely as if something was about to rush out. After a few seconds, the after a brief interlude, suddenly, a low but firm drumbeat appeared in the accompaniment of the ocean floor. The, along with this change in the melody of the accompaniment, Bai Chen's eyes stared. The climax is coming. Scattered moonlight, through the clouds, our lonely hearts, sometimes like the bottom of the sea. Sadness is not something that can be empathized with in a few words. Tears have no sound, but I want to hold you tight. You're an important presence someone star. When you walk alone, when you say being loved is just a fluke. Child please don't forget that there were warm voices calling out your name. You ask me where the road leads. The road leads to. I'll be waiting for you. Upon hearing this, the audience all stared wide-eyed and trembled with excitement and shock. Even those who didn't like rap before were completely overwhelmed by Bai Chen's adaptation of this paragraph. Every word was filled with strong hope and the power to rise up and struggle. If the original version of this paragraph feels like the despair and numbness of a person who is plunged into darkness and falls to the bottom of the sea, while this version after changing the lyrics. It does give a sense of redemption that tells desperate people that there are still people who love you, and that there is still a light of hope in this world. Even those who weren't fans of Bai Chen froze after feeling the shocking power conveyed in the song. This, is this still the bottom of the sea? Is this still the dark and boundless seabed? At this moment, the crowd suddenly felt that the seabed was not so cold and dark, while the audience was shocked. The song continued. Scattered moonlight passes through and slips into the bottom of the sea. A light is looking for you. It wants to warm you. It says listen to you listen to you, someone is calling you back. At the same time as this verse of lyrics appeared, the dark clouds that enveloped the ocean on the big screen slowly dispersed to both sides, and a ray of brilliant sunlight slowly sprinkled down from above the sky and shone on top of the sea. It was like a guiding light, wanting to guide the people who were plunged into the bottom of the sea away back, as if saying, come back child, I am here. The soft light in conjunction with Bai Chen's sincere singing voice warmed the hearts of the entire audience. In a flash. Looking at the figure on the stage that was wasting away under the spotlight, countless people at the scene directly burst into tears. He really, too gentle. Crikey this is simply absolute. Bai's opening this is absolute. Bai Chen YYDS. Seal the gods. This version of the seabed directly seals the gods. All of the people, whether they were fans of Bai Chen or not were amazed by this different version of the seabed. Combined with the unrivaled stage effects, everyone felt their hearts being shaken. How depressing the original version of Under the Sea sounded then how hopeful and full of power this version was. All the loneliness and dead silence was dispelled by Bai Chen's song. And at the same time, Shui Jiqian, who was watching Bai Chen's performance backstage, was also filled with admiration. Although he had already heard this different seabed as early as the rehearsal, but now with the stage lighting and the effect presented by the video on the big screen, it still shocked him. Always pulling a smile on cool people. People on the shore have light and dark on their faces. Years and years on earth. Who dares to say it's like smoke? At this time, Bai Chen was still performing this song of hope with his sincere and incomparable singing voice. 
the entire audience was also staring intently at Bai Chen on the stage. And just when many people had just regained their senses from Bai Chen's amazing rap, they hadn't expected the final climax. It came, only to see Bai Chen slightly pause for a moment, looking at the densely packed fluorescent sticks under the stage, the corner of his mouth slightly upturned before he, holding the microphone in one hand, he opened his arms and took a deep breath and sang, too late, too late, you used to laugh and cry, it's too late to sing to you, spring rains summer cicadas sing, tomorrow is a good day, autumn winds rise, snowflakes are light, the seabed can't see the seasons, accompanied by this climactic heaven sent Brahma sound, the dark clouds on the big screen had completely dispersed, and the dazzling sun hung high in the sky, the originally dark, dead sea looked blue and vivid under the sunlight, full of vitality, and at this moment, after Bai Chen's last note fell into the end of the song, there was no thunderous applause in the arena, but rather a silence. Looking around, one could see that almost everyone kept a slightly open mouth and a somewhat stunned expression. Spring rains, summer cicadas, tomorrow is a good day. Autumn winds rise, snowflakes are light, the seabed is invisible to the seasons. Almost everyone in the arena was shocked by these few short new lines. The unique and beautiful scenery of those four seasons instantly filled the minds of the crowd. Blooming flowers birds and flowers. Such a world. How beautiful is it? The original version sang about falling, but this version, but this version has the feeling of a phoenix reborn in nirvana, like pulling someone who's in despair and taking them with him to nirvana. At this moment, Bai Chen seemed to transform into a light, a light of hope. This light might not be dazzling, but, but it could allow everyone to be able to see, to be able to follow this faint searching path from the bottom of the sea back to the shore. This song is salvation. Although the song was about being too late, what was heard in the ears of the crowd was, it's too late, it's too late. At this moment, Bai Chen on the stage also froze for a moment after looking at the silence under the stage, but the next second after that, cheers like waves resounded throughout the entire arena. Bai Chen, Bai Chen, Bai Chen, what grass, this change is too awesome. One song under the sea is depressing, one song under the sea is healing. Who says the earth is not worth it? Seal the gods, directly seal God. I love you Bai Chen. Looking at the audience's cheers for himself under the stage, Bai Chen smiled a little and had an indescribable feeling inside. This seabed was the first song that he ever sang. At that time, he was also in a dark place, trying to struggle, but more than how to break free, but slowly coming to the present. His state of mind has also undergone a radical transformation. As the saying goes, everyone has two lives, and when he realizes there is only one, the second life begins. And this song at the bottom of the sea is also considered an official farewell to his past self. At this moment, the performance has finished for a long time, but the applause and shouts from the stage still continued. In the face of this scene, Bai Chen froze for a moment before reacting and waving his hand at the countless audiences under the stage in response. It was at this time that, Shui Jiqian also walked onto the stage and looked at the audience below the stage and snickered. Whoa, you people are so biased. This is my home ground, my home turf. Why wasn't there so much applause and cheering when I was on stage? Are you still my fans? Come and repeat after me. Shui Jiqian, Shui Jiqian. Looking at Shui Jiqian's somewhat comical stuff, the audience under the stage laughed and then continued to shout up Bai Chen without giving the slightest bit of face. Seeing this scene, Shui Jiqian also rolled his eyes helplessly. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. Let's get back to the point. Let our Bai Chen say a few words. After looking at the microphone handed over by Shui Jiqian, Bai Chen froze for a moment, and after receiving the microphone in a bit of a hurry, he paused for a few seconds before saying, Ah, uh, duh, hello everyone, I'm Bai Chen. Only Bai Chen made a short self-introduction and then ran out of steam. After seeing this scene, the Shui Jiqian also froze for a moment. Why did he stop talking? And then after realizing that one of Bai Chen's hands was pinching the corner of his coat, it became clear. This, you're nervous about seeing so many people after you've finished singing, aren't you? but it's understandable. After all, the number of people in this concert has long exceeded 10,000. Facing so many people on stage for the first time is not nervous strange. After watching what seemed to be a bit of a lull, Shui Jiqian would like to take over the microphone as a mouthpiece for Bai Chen. I didn't expect. The audience under the stage was once again in an uproar. Bai Chen, Bai Chen, Bai Chen, Shui Jiqian. Is the audience so generous this time? Why don't you get this kind of treatment? I don't want to lose face. Fake fans, all of them are their own fake fans. Of course, this is also a joke. His own fans are a virtue he knows. After the audience's cheering stopped, Shui Jiqian then brought another microphone and looked at Bai Chen and laughed, saying, I can see that our mister, Bai seems a bit nervous. Actually, 
I was the same way when I was on my first big stage, but there's a solution that's very practical. Listening to Shui Jiqian's words, Bai Chen looked at him with some confusion. Shui Jiqian then didn't sell himself short. After taking a look at the audience below he laughed and said, It's very simple. Just ignore the audience as air. If you really can't ignore them, just treat them as pigs, cows, and animals. That way, you won't be nervous. Audience, I treat you as an idol, but you treat me like a cow or a horse? Refund your ticket. Refund the ticket. Refund your tickets. Watching the scene of old Shui and his fans falling in love with each other, Bai Chen on the side also smiled slightly. He immediately felt a lot more relaxed. Afterwards, then, after seeing old Shui and the fans flirting with each other for a few more moments, he continued, All right, all right, I'm not going to talk to you guys. Back to the topic. Our Bai Chin just sang this brand new version of the seabed. Do you all like it? With that, old Shui then stretched the microphone in his hand to the front. The audience underneath the stage also shouted at the top of their lungs. Love it. Bai Chen I love you. Hubby. Hubby? This can be barely understood if female fans shouted. After all, the entertainment industry. But Shui Zhijian saw that this husband was shouted by a male fan under the stage. And the shout was so heartbreaking and sincere. This session our fans are so crazy it. Shui Zhijian also snorted and continued. To be honest, not only do you guys like it, even I, a person who asked myself to mix in the singing world for decades and experienced so many stages. I've never felt that a song can penetrate the heart so well. Perhaps only those who've experienced a real low point can realize the greatness of redemption and be moved. Bai Chen's adaptation of this song really touched my heart. Looking at Shui Jiqian's sincere eyes, Bai Chen knew that what he said was not just a scene. But, I don't know if there's anything Bai Chen would like to say. For example, why would you want to adapt a song like this to come out from the bottom of the sea? And it seems like I've heard. The first song you performed was also under the sea, right? Facing the topic that Shui Jiqian threw at him, Bai Chen held the microphone and briefly pondered for a while before opening his mouth and saying, M, I don't know where to start. I can only say, I've experienced a lot during this period of time, and I've seen many things that I've never seen before. And the main reason, the depressed version of Under the Sea is a bit negative. I've read all the comments underneath the song, and found that many people said they felt tired, couldn't hold on, couldn't even live didn't know why or how to live. I also have a heavy heart after seeing these comments, and I also know that these pressures are not due to everyone's own reasons, but the sadness of this society and this era, which may be something we can't change, but I think, in fact, we all live for the sake of living itself, not for the sake of living anything other than living. Living is to feel the happiness and hard work in it by oneself, no matter in mediocrity and so on. Maybe living itself is hard, but that's also why it has a deep meaning. So I hope that this different song, under the sea, will bring a little bit of strength, a little bit of power to persevere. Thank you. Although Bai Chen's voice wasn't high, it even seemed a bit low. But, these simple few words kept reverberating in the ears of the audience on stage, and even had a deafening feeling to them. Only, after the audience under the stage was silent for a while, another burst of applause like a tidal wave resounded within the arena. And aside, Shui Jiqian also nodded and once again patted Bai Chen's shoulder and laughed, saying, life is all about smiling. As long as we don't give in, life won't be able to take us down. If you can't hold on, you can think about our little friend EE. E. Her strength and perseverance should be heard of, right? As far as I know, little EE's e. recovery is very good. Bai Chen, who was on the side, nodded in agreement after hearing this. That's right, EE's e. current situation is not bad. She survived the toughest period of time. Here I'm also replacing EE e. and thanking everyone who helped forward EE's e. situation earlier. Thank you all. Saying that, Bai Chen also seriously bowed to the front. The people under the stage who had previously helped EE e forward her news, or who had provided some financial help, were also overjoyed when they heard the good news. Although the news had also informed EE e of the news, in terms of authenticity it shouldn't be as good as Bai Chen's own words. Afterwards, Shui Jiqian glanced at the time before speaking again, saying, As you all know, it's not easy for our Bai Chen to come and participate in this concert, so I won't delay everyone's time with more nonsense. I'm going to be fined again if the concert goes overtime. Now for the last song. Let's give it to Bai Chen. As soon as Shui Jiqian spoke, the entire audience and friends once again boiled over. What? Bai Chen has one more song? Crap. I should have said so earlier. I'm getting ready to leave after seeing that it's almost time. Bai Chen. Bai Chen. Bai Chen. Looking at the horrible cheers from below the stage, Shui Jiqian smiled and patted Bai Chen's shoulder, winking and said, and oh the song Bai Chen is singing next. It's a new song. Bang. After saying these words, the lights on the stage instantly went out, becoming pitch black. 
and Shui Jichen also took advantage of this time to quietly retreat, leaving the stage to Bai Chen. And at this moment, the, the audience under the stage was frozen. At what did old Shui just say? I don't know. It was too noisy just now and I didn't hear it. I heard a little bit. It seems like he said something. A new song? New song? What new song? It seems to be Bai Chen's new song? Really? Although it was said that when they saw Bai Chen on stage, there were quite a few people who thought about whether or not there would be a new song from Bai Chen to listen to today. After all, ever since the start of the song club, every time Bai Chen's appeared on stage, he brought a new song with him, and sitting in the front row, PDD's eyes were also startled, turning his head to look at Bai Jia who was curiously asking, Eh, does Bai Chen really still have new songs, or did I hear it wrong? Bai Jia, who was at the side, shook her head after hearing this and said, I'm not sure, but there should be. I've recently seen him writing something on the sheet music when he's not busy, but I don't know anything about music, so I can't read it. Hearing Bai Jia say that, PDD nodded thoughtfully, just as the audience below the stage were all mingling and discussing. Bai Chen on the stage, however, smiled slightly, and then that magnetic voice came out from the stage. Thank you all for your support. Next, a song once I wanted to get it over with for you all. I hope everyone will enjoy it. Really a new song? Listening to what Bai Chen had just said. For a moment, the entire audience was restless with anticipation. It was important to know that ever since Bai Chen's debut, the new songs he created had never disappointed the crowd, because every song he brought was not only melodious and attractive, the lyrics were also considered superior. My god, this Bai Chen guy has a new song? To be able to hear Bai's new song debut at this concert is simply blood money. It's a good thing I didn't leave the stage early just now. I've thought about getting it over with. Just listening to the title of the song makes me feel that it's a bit interesting. The new fans are still having fun, but the old fans are ready for the tissues. Crap, did I cry too early at the bottom of the sea? Stop talking. It's starting. Just as the audience was still discussing with great anticipation, a burst of beautiful and incomparable, gentle piano sounds slowly rang out. Just the prelude alone instantly grabbed everyone's ears. The fans who had just been murmuring quieted down, closing their eyes and listening quietly. Soon, the brief intro ended, and by Chen's gentle, magnetic voice slowly appeared. I once thought of getting it over with when I heard the seagulls wailing, floating and sinking between the waves drifting endlessly, please take my bad times away, I once wanted to be done with it, when I saw the apricot blossoms in full bloom, wrapped in the dappled spring light, I fell asleep under the shade of a tree, can I turn into dust and not ask why, this lyrics, the lyrics are absolutely perfect, combined with the soothing and low tones, it instantly brought the audience below the stage into the mood of the song, the seagulls, waves and so on appear in the lyrics, it's as if seeing those views is like you're meaninglessly wandering around these places, trying to throw away your sad past in hopes of seeking meaning in your life. But there is only the dilapidated and bleak scenery because there is only pessimism and powerlessness in the heart, not knowing where one's heart should rest. Many of Beck Tatsu's old fans understood the lyrics the moment they heard them. This song, what was written seemed to be by Chan's own experiences and feelings as well, right? Because they saw a familiar feeling in the first few lines of the lyrics, Somewhat similar to the depressing feeling of despair and lack of hope in by Chen's previous works. Is it another depressing song? Just then, suddenly, with the addition of the drums, the build-up before the chorus begins to arrive. Old bicycles rusting away dark lighthouses in abandoned harbors. Standing alone in the cold streets. I want to go but I don't know where to go. Yesterday's shadows still linger today. Don't expect to change if you don't want to. I know it all. I know it all. But, after hearing this, Many people's eyes had begun to redden slightly, although the lyrics were not about people, just some simple things, but the audience off stage saw themselves in these things. The old bicycle rusts because no one uses it, because it is abandoned. The lighthouse serves to guide the way, and a dark lighthouse represents a loss of direction, and the harbor. What it represents is the tender place in everyone's heart, and what pokes at the heart even more is the next two lines. I know, but, yes, the truth is that people who are down and out want to be positive more than anyone else want their empty hearts to be filled, and know that they have to make a change, but it's hard for them to take a step when they're in a depressed, downtrodden situation, in fact, they know all of those things, probably more than anyone else, but, but it's the but, at the end that's the hard part, ah, who wouldn't want to live a good life, after hearing this, in an instant, many viewers got goosebumps, because the lyrics were all about the darkness and loneliness, it's really a depressing type, right now, at this moment, after the but line, which sounded like a question or a desire to get an answer, the climax of the entire song, it's here, seeing by Chen's eyes slightly closed, his hands tightly gripping the microphone, he took a deep breath, 
and then sang with all his strength and full of emotion. I once wanted to get rid of it all. My heart has been emptied and I can't bear it anymore. Huddled in a gray corner, sinking into memories and withering away. What's left to keep after the dream wakes up? The first chorus ended. The audience under the stage didn't have the slightest reaction or cheer because they were already completely immersed in it. The mind-blowing lyrics combined with Bai Chen's emotionally charged vocals brought the song to its fullest. What can be retained after the dream wakes up? Shui Jiqian in the background looked blankly at Bai Chen in front of him and murmured. He thought of himself when he had just started his career, and after a song exploded in popularity, he had thought that he would be greeted with a brilliant future, thinking that his talent would be recognized by the public. But what he didn't expect was, the song was a hit, it was played in the streets, but that was all. What awaited him was not an avenue of splendor, but instead, he was plunged into almost 10 years of sinking and not being known. No one knows what it took for him to reappear in the public eye, for his work to be heard and recognized by more people, without a doubt. Bai Chen's song also sang into his heart. In fact, it wasn't just Lao Shui. The audience below the stage also had their emotions swirled and thought of themselves. In fact, everyone will always have the hardest and darkest time, to themselves, to life, to the world, full of disappointment and hostility, to themselves cannot be forgiven, denial of themselves, doubt themselves, loss of confidence in life, the world is full of anger, why the society is always beaten by their own, why no one can come to understand and help themselves, and so on, even in the toughest times, the idea of suicide to end and escape from all this can arise, but, what person hasn't had such thoughts, but no matter what, these are always have to go through, there is no way to avoid and escape, can only be brave to face, at this moment, all the more emotional audience, has taken out a tissue to wipe the tears remaining in the corner of the eyes, in fact, many people listen to the song to cry not because of the song itself, but because through the song melody, lyrics associated with their own, this is a kind of resonance from the soul, and Bai Chen continued to sing, and although the lyrics weren't repeated, the mood portrayed was the same as the previous one, making people feel a bit depressed, looking at the sound and shadow on the stage, many of the audience sighed inwardly, Bai Chen, it's the one that understands depressogenic, meanwhile, Bai Chen's beautiful singing voice continued, I once thought of getting it over with, suddenly I saw your bright smile, it turns out that I always thought about the end, and I didn't see through my destiny, it's just because I didn't find a reason to stick with it, when the song came to this point, the audience suddenly realized that the mood of the song had changed, it was no longer as sad as before, as if something was about to come out, and just then, the song came to its final chorus stage, I once also thought about getting it over with, at the time when I didn't get to meet you, to have someone like you exist in this world, quietly awakening the joy in my sleeping heart, to have someone like you exist in my heart, makes me start to look forward to this world a little, at this point, the song ended, this song, I used to want to get it over with, once again shocked the entire audience, especially this chorus twist at the end, it was sung with a sense of hope towards death, when he sang the first part of the song, there was a sense of despairing hissing in by Chen's vocals, a kind of shouting and saluting of life. However, when he sang the last line, which should have been the climax of his emotional outburst, by Chen's voice slowly calmed down. People felt a slight warmth in their hearts. It was as if a prairie that had been swept by wildfire had welcomed spring rain, and a touch of hopeful seeds were slowly sprouting. This is a beginning of hope, and the intent of the song isn't to be depressing. It's healing ah. Although there were no accompanying dancers to embellish the performance of this song, the lighting on the stage wasn't flashy, and there was only a simple beam of white light shining on Bai Chen, but it was the simple layout that emphasized Bai Chen's sincerity in singing the song. Good. Just as the crowd was still immersed in the emotions of the song, a loud and clear yes interrupted everyone's emotions. Immediately after that, the applause rang out. This time, the applause was louder and longer lasting than any of the previous ones, because, this time, the applause was not only applauding for this amazing piece of work that Bai Chen had brought, but it was also applauding for his own self, who had bravely taken on the line of life, facing the enthusiastic applause from the fans below the stage. Bai Chen didn't speak, he just stood quietly in the center of the stage. After a long time, the, the applause gradually dissipated. Bai Chen picked up the microphone and swallowed before slowly speaking. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you all. This song is for everyone who's doing this. I hope that no matter what difficulties you encounter, you won't sink down alone. Maybe the light is waiting for you ahead. I also hope that this song can give everyone a little bit of strength. After a brief speech by Bai Chen, Shui Jiqian also returned to the stage. Hmm, well said. The singing was really great. Honestly, those who came to the scene today really earned it. Don't you guys think so? Yes. Is Bai Chen's new song good? It's good. 
Old Shui went up to embrace Bai Chen while skillfully interacting with the audience, listening to the neat and incomparable responses from the stage. Old Shui smiled and continued, saying, So did you have fun listening today? Happy. Then let's end our singing here today, okay? Good. Wait. Not good. It's only a few o'clock. Why is it over? Yeah, I haven't had a good time yet. No. One more song. Or you'll get a refund. Right. 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 Refund your ticket. After watching some people bring up the rhythm of refunding tickets again, Old Shui was also a bit helpless and said, Big brothers and sisters, our concert has already exceeded the time limit. I'm going to lose money if we keep singing. And as you all know, this concert is a charity concert, and everyone's ticket money will be used for charity. I'm not making any money, so how can you bear to see me lose money? Tolerance. Ha! Huh? Listening to the audience's responses, Old Shui covered his chest to make a look of heartache. Bai Chen, who saw this scene, also smiled. But then again, did this concert time pass so quickly? Two and a half hours had passed? He himself only felt like he had been here for about an hour, only to see Shui Jiqian take a deep breath before returning to normal with a straight face saying, all right, all right, no more fooling around, after all, this is still a contract, the impact of a long time overtime is not good, don't you think so? Listening to old Shue's serious words, the fans under the stage also stopped making noise, but it always felt a bit unwilling to end it like this, especially for Bai Chen, it was not easy to listen to the scene once, and it was only after two songs, there was always a feeling that he hadn't heard enough, and at this moment, suddenly an audience member shouted out, how about a little red flower song? After hearing this, many audience members brightened up. That's right. Since this is a charity concert, how can we not have the song a little red flower for you? And so, the fans in the audience followed and shouted. Yes, one more. Little red flower, little red flower, little saffron, come one. Listening to the shouts of the fans, Shui Jiqian's eyes also flashed with a hint of hesitation. If it ended like this, it seemed like something was indeed missing. Forget it. Overtime is overtime. Anyway, it's not like his concerts have never gone overtime. It's not like he's just going to lose some money. Thinking, Shui Jiqian then glanced at Bai Chen, asking for his opinion with his eyes. When Bai Chen saw this, he nodded his head and looked at Shui Jiqian, smiled and said, I'm fine with it. Should we both sing this last song together? Shui Jiqian sighed and shook his head and said with a smile, Sigh, I can't do anything about you guys. Then let's do one. The last one. Don't make a fuss when you're done singing. After seeing Shui Jiqian promise not to end the concert immediately, the audience in the arena cheered. Afterwards, after seeing Shui Jiqian say something to the band teacher, she came to Bai Chen's side. The two of them were going to sing this song together to give this concert a happy ending. And the entire audience was very facetious. Shouted out the names of both old Shui and Bai Chen. And so, amidst the shouts of the audience, the familiar intro of Send You a Little Red Flower slowly sounded. Send you a little red flower. Those who can sing follow along. Send you a little red flower. Meanwhile, in the middle of the Magic City Hospital, sending you a little red flower blooming on your new branch bud that grew yesterday, only to see that in the isolation room in the hospital, little EE -E was also humming this song softly. While on the side, E's mother was using a sterilized towel was helping E little carefully wipe her body. Listening to EE's humming with a childish voice, EE's mom smiled and asked, How are you feeling EE? -E? Do you feel anything uncomfortable? Listening to her mom's words, EE -E shook her head without thinking and said, I don't feel sick. I feel much better than before. Although EE -E said so, this healing process was actually quite difficult. After all, every day, she had to inject different medicinal liquids and take some potions. The consumption of the body was still quite large. As for EE's -E mother, a trace of heartache flashed in her eyes after she heard this, and she squeezed EE's -E little hand without saying anything. And just at this moment, the communication machine inside the isolation warehouse suddenly rang. Lu Yi's mom, please come out. Director Zhao is looking for you. After listening to the nurse's shout from the communicator, Yi Yi's mom frowned, a hint of doubt flashing in her eyes. This director Zhao was the attending physician in charge of Yi Yi's treatment, and was said to be a domestic expert in this area of albinism. However, this director Zhao never looked for himself these days. Even if he came to the isolation barn, he only took a brief look at Yi Yi's situation and left. Even if he asked him about Yi Yi's situation, he only nodded his head a little vaguely and said, he only nodded his head a bit vaguely and said, that the situation was fine, and that he would continue to take a look, and now suddenly looking for himself, it can't be something bad, right? Looking at EE -E in front of her, EE's -E -E's mother's heart suddenly tensed up, whom, EE, -E, be good and sleep for a while, the doctor is looking for mom, mom will go out for a while and come back, okay? 
listening to her mom's words, Ee -E nodded her head obediently. Hmm, gave a cry. Afterwards, after Ee -E's mom covered the quilt for Ee, -E, she walked out of the isolation barn and followed the hospital's walkway to the middle of a physician's office. Uh, Lu Ee -E's family, right? Please have a seat. Wait for me for a moment. Director Zhao, who was sitting in front of the office computer, looked up and greeted her before busying herself with the matter at hand. Seeing this, Ee -E's mom didn't say anything more and found an empty seat, waiting with some apprehension. After almost a minute or so, I saw Director Zhao stop the action in his hands. After rubbing his eyes, he said to Ee Yi's mom while rummaging for something on the desktop, Mrs. Lu Ee Yi, I've called you here today to talk to you about your child's situation. Ahem. She's. Ah. Uh, as she spoke, she saw Director Zhao suddenly pause for a moment, briefly scanning through a lab sheet that turned up in her hands, while Ee Yi's mom pursued with some anxiety and asked, Ee Yi. She. What's her condition now? Is there, is there any hope? Looking at Ee Yi's mom's look, Director Zhao, who was rechecking the labs, said with a slight smile, Don't worry, I came here to talk about this. Then, while looking at the data on the labs, he said, After this period of treatment, your child's hematopoietic stem cells have basically recovered to a normal value, although it is still relatively low, but at least it has reached the standard line, and the bone marrow remodeling in the past few days is also very good. In almost another week, your daughter will be able to leave the warehouse, and then transferred to the general ward for a period of observation. In a nutshell, the surgery was a success, and her life is basically not in danger anymore. Listening to the doctor's words, E's mother froze for a moment, her eyes flashed with a touch of joy and excitement, her lips slightly trembling. Really? Really? Looking at E's mom's eyes that instantly turned red, Director Zhao also nodded with a smile and said, How could I possibly lie to you? This is Ee's list that was just sent over today. Just take a look and you'll know. Ee Yi's mother received the list from Dr. Zhao with trembling hands, and her eyes had become moist. Although she couldn't read some of the medical terms and specialized data on the lab sheet, she understood. Ee Yi was really out of danger, and the surgery was really successful. At this moment, the corners of Ee Yi's mom's mouth couldn't help but rise upwards, while tears poured out from her reddened eyes. The heavy and hard mountain that had been pressed on her heart for several years finally disintegrated at this moment. At the same time, E's mother's emotions in her heart could no longer be expressed in words. Looking at the doctor in front of her, her throat rolled a bit, wanting to say some words of thanks but because of the choking, she was unable to say them for a long time. Looking at this scene, Dr. Zhao got up and gave Ee's mother a glass of water and said, Pitying parents, I can also understand how you felt during this period of time, but you're finally getting over it now. I heard from your caregiver, Xiao Lu, that you haven't slept much during this period of time. That's not good. Don't let the baby get well and your body fall apart again. Take a good rest these days. I'll let Xiao Lu take care of Yi Yi's side. Listening to Dr. Zhao's words, Yi Yi's mother cried with joy while nodding her head repeatedly and squeezing out a cry from her throat. Ah. Uh, meanwhile, inside the soccer stadium, the concert was gradually drawing to a close. Sending you a little red flower. Sending you a... Looking at the tens of thousands of spectators below the stage, while softly singing along with the accompaniment and waving the red glow sticks in their hands, from afar it looked like a sea of bright red flowers gently swaying in the breeze. What was even more beautiful was the smiles on every audience member's face. Everyone was smiling so happily, so gently, smiling like a flower. In this concert today, all the audience members felt an inexplicable sense of warmth. And this wisp of warmth comes from the thin figure on the stage, a healing version of the seabed. A song I've thought about once and for all, a song to send you a little red flower. No matter which song, they are all comforting their own hearts that have long been full of holes. No matter which song, it is like a ray of brilliant sunshine warming the lonely heart. No matter which song, it brings a seed of hope. Even after the entire song had ended and the accompaniment had disappeared, the audience under the stage was still immersed in this warmth, singing the last lyrics over and over again. Seeing this scene, the old shui on the stage was also very moved inwardly. He had held dozens if not hundreds of concerts, but none of them could have such a feeling as today. Thinking about it, Old Shui stole a glance at Bai Chen, who was waving his arms and repeating along with the audience, and a touch of respect faintly emerged in his eyes. Someone who could create such a soul-stirring song deserved respect. Even though everyone was so reluctant inside, the dispersal was finally ushered in. Looking at the reluctant expressions of the audience under the stage, Shui Jiqian, with a smile on his face, waved his hand and said, all right friends, today's concert really has to come to an end. I believe that tonight must have been unforgettable for everyone, right? Unforgettable. Why was it memorable? Because of me. Or is it because of 
only to see Shui Jiqian suddenly pass the microphone out as he spoke, and the audience shouted very knowingly, Bai Chen, listening to the audience's neat reply. Bai Chen on the side also waved his hands in response and bid farewell to everyone. All right, all right, everyone go back early, have a good rest and sleep well, remember to be safe on the way back, goodbye everyone. Along with Shui Jiqian's words falling, the spotlights on the stage went out, and after the lighting around the arena was lit up, the security personnel maintaining order urged the audience to leave the venue. Ugh I haven't heard enough, how did this time pass so quickly? Right, right, I came here for brother by today, and I've only sung three songs, that's not enough, it's okay, at least we got to hear brother Bai's new song, that's right too, if only Bai Chen could have a concert of his own. None of the audience members leaving the venue were discussing Bai Chen. What they didn't know was that one day in the future, the chorus of sending you a little red flower that everyone sang in this concert was known as the most powerful song of all time. It was known as one of the most shocking 10, 000 person chorus. Countless people, when they heard the melody of this song, would miss that night, that figure that was wasting away on the stage, but was as dazzling as the sun. Late night, after the concert ended by Chen several people did not go back. Instead, he asked PDD and the band teacher to find a nice restaurant together, and ate dinner while chatting, old Bai, ah oh yo, you were awesome today, you didn't feel it on stage, but I was sitting downstairs and felt that the audience behind me was going crazy, shouting your name and almost splitting my ears, and that new song of yours, it's amazing, it's amazing, now I really feel that it's my honor to have you in my song club, without further ado, here's to you, seeing that PDD was obviously a bit drunk, with one hand wrapped around by chin, he copied the cup with one hand and drank the contents in one go. The few people on the side also nodded slightly upon hearing this, because by Chen's current works, no matter from which angle, could be said to be superior works. Even Shui Zhichen, who was on by Chen's other side, also opened his mouth to praise him after hearing this. Seriously, you're the only person I've seen write a song in the past few years who can write into my heart, and I'm envious of your writing speed. It's only been a short time. You've written almost 10 songs, and they're all of such high quality. This is amazing. Listening to Shui Zhichian's words, the surrounding band teachers also reacted. Right. How long has it only been? How could he write so many songs? This Bai Chen couldn't really be a musical genius. Could he? When Bai Chen saw the crowd looking at him with those monster eyes, he thought of a reason and explained. Actually, there are some songs with melodies that I thought of before, and then recorded them. After adding some of the recent events I felt, I filled in the lyrics and perfected them as well. Listening to Bai Chen's words, the crowd nodded without any doubt. After all, those who made music knew that the thing called inspiration was important for creation. There were times when you didn't have inspiration, and given a year you wouldn't be able to write a good song. But if inspiration came, you might be able to come up with a good song in a few minutes. It's not easy to say about this kind of thing. Plus, Shui Jiqian knew more or less about what had happened to Bai Chen. So it was probably because of these experiences that he was able to write such a song. After thinking about this, PDD who was eating his steak, suddenly looked up at Bai Chen and hesitated for a moment before asking, by the way Bai Chen, that's, how have you been lately, I've been busy making up hours these past few days, and I haven't had time to come and see you, listening to PDD's words, Shui Jiqian also looked at Bai Chen, although the two had worked together for a few days, Bai Chen hadn't said anything about his condition, so it wasn't too good for him to ask more, recently, only to see that after Bai Chen also stuffed a piece of steak into his mouth, he waved his hand while eating and said, I've been doing quite well lately, I'll be ready to be discharged from the hospital after a while. Oh, discharged after a while? That's good. It's good that you're fine, but you still need to pay attention and rest more. Hearing Bai Chen's words, several people were first shocked, then delighted, and raised their glasses to bless him, because although they all knew that Bai Chen had cancer, they weren't sure if it was in the early or late stages, they only knew that he had it. But now since it was said that he would be able to be discharged from the hospital after a while, it meant that it should be the kind that could be cured. And on top of that, Bai Chen looked to be in good shape these past few days, so Shui Jiqian and the others didn't doubt his words. After thinking about this, Shui Jiqian was also happy for Bai Chen from the bottom of his heart. After all, if such a musician died of a terminal illness, it was simply God's jealousy. After learning this good news, several people were also happy. A few people are also happy to drink up. Originally Bai Chen also want to drink together. Originally Wai Chen is also to drink together. But ultimately in the old Shui, PDD two people strongly prevented. Heart to Wai Chen cup of beer changed into iced tea. Let Bai Chen to tea instead of wine wait for the disease completely well and then painfully drink a game. Time passes slowly. After three rounds of drinking, 
The simple meal was coming to an end. At the time of leaving, Shui Jiqian suddenly thought of something and looked at Bai Chen and asked, "Eh, hey, right, Bai Chen, do you have any plans for the future? That is, after I leave the hospital." Listening to Shui Jiqian's words, Bai Chen frowned slightly and shook his head somewhat doubtfully, saying, "Hmm, a little bit. What's wrong? Is there something wrong?" Only to see Shui Jiqian think for a moment before smiling and saying, "It's not a big deal." It's just that I'm going to be a mentor for an audio program in the second half of the year. I've heard that the investment is quite big, so I wanted to ask if you're interested in participating. Although you may only be able to participate as a contestant or mentee, this variety show should be quite hot, and it will help you in your future development. When he said this, Old Shui was actually a bit speechless. After all, Bai Chen's strength himself has seen such strength, not to mention when the students, when the mentor is more than enough. But there is no way. To mix the entertainment industry not only depends on the strength, but also depends on the background and connections. Listening to Shui Jiqian's words, Bai Chen shook his head after a moment of silence and said, "Hmm, thanks, but I'm still thinking about it." After seeing Bai Chen say this, Old Shui also nodded. "That's fine. Anyway, we won't start recording until the second half of the year. So let's talk about it after you're discharged from the hospital." Actually, Bai Chen also understood that this was Old Shui wanting to use his resources to help himself out a bit. But he also had his own arrangements. These things are better to wait until later. Time passed in an instant. A month had passed since that shocking Angel Charity concert. During this period of time, quite a few things had happened. The first thing was that the little EE -E that everyone was concerned about was successfully released from the warehouse and had been transferred to the general ward for convalescence and observation. After watching the news report that EE -E was safe, many people who had helped EE -E felt a sense of joy in their hearts. This is undoubtedly good news. Not only that. What happened to EE even alarmed the officials. The officials not only issued a notice to encourage the development of charity, but also gave a death order to investigate and punish those companies that are doing unscrupulous things under the guise of charity. Must ensure that these donations are realized in the hands of people in need of help. However, for the official release of this news, some people strongly support this. There are also some people to maintain a wait and see attitude. After all, after all said and done, can really do this step also depends on the actual performance. But all in all. Ee's matter is considered to have gotten a happy and perfect ending. And the second thing was that the Angel Charity concert had undoubtedly made it to the top of the hot search list, and it had continued to dominate the list for a whole week. In the past few days, after many netizens swiped the clips of Bai Chen singing in the concert, both his fans and passersby were convinced by Bai Chen's singing voice. Even those who had previously spat online that Bai Chen's seabed was too depressing had shut their mouths after hearing the adapted version of seabed in the concert. And after hearing Bai Chen's new song, I've thought about getting rid of it all. It made people feel as if they had seen a beam of light in the boundless darkness, warming them up, and was called a healing song. The final chorus of "Send You a Little Red Flower" made netizens cry. Even many netizens were envious of the audience who arrived at the scene that day. Damn, it's too bad that I didn't grab a ticket for this concert. Stop it! I'm regretting it to death. This undersea adaptation is too successful, especially the line "Spring rain, summer cicadas, tomorrow is a." It gave me goosebumps. I think Bai Chen's new song is even better. It feels like another tune that could seal the deal. I do prefer the ten zero 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 person chorus segment at the end. It's so moving. And what's even more surprising is, Bai Chen was officially named. Of course, not named for dismantling the sewing machine, but named for praise. Hashtag official one hashtag it sends you a little red flower, felicitous and heartwarming for the creator Bai Chen. Kudos. Although it was just a simple compliment, the gold content of it was utterly incomparable. After the official release of this message. It also instantly ushered in countless fans of Bai Chen to gather around and praise it. Naming a performance, Brother Bai is awesome. Voice breaking, brothers. Do you think Brother Bai has a chance to be on the Spring Festival Gala? Ed W C. Right O. The officials have praised him by name. Will it be too late for him to go to the Spring Festival Gala? Even if Bai Chen doesn't go on, Bai Chen's song should be able to go on, right? Hiss yeah. Should we top it so the officials can see it, brothers? Be sensible. Take your time. Don't bring up the tempo. Be careful of giving brother by a black eye. That's right. It's not like you can just say you're going to be on the Spring Festival Gala, right? After the official post of praise, the China Cancer Care Association also followed suit, first praising Bai Chen afterward, and also wanting to list "Send You a Little Red Flower" as their song. But it seemed to have no follow-up because they hadn't gotten in touch with Bai Chen. But no matter what, the amount of topics Bai Chen had been talking about during this period of time could be said to have been pulled right up to full capacity. Even higher than when he had participated in the song club before. But what was puzzling was that, with this kind of traffic exposure, Bai Chen 
Disappeared. Of course, it wasn't that he had really disappeared, but under this huge wave of traffic, Bai Chin still hadn't opened any accounts like a scarf. Within this month again, it was even rumored that there were quite a few entertainment companies that wanted to sign Bai Chen, and there were also media that wanted to interview him, but no matter what, no matter what, they didn't get in touch with him. In response to this, some of the new fans felt strange. With this kind of traffic explosion, shouldn't he show up more often and participate in some entertainment variety shows? Oops. It's so hard to powder by Chen's little brother. How come this person doesn't have a scarf or teaser account either? Yeah, yeah, I was thinking of following him. Is it that the fire was so sudden that he didn't have time to register yet? Looking at these puzzled new fans, by Chen's old fans guessed what was going on and explained to these new fans after sighing in their hearts. Ugh new here, right? Brother Bai has disappeared again should have gone to cure his illness. Cure a disease? What do you mean? Haven't you swiped it before? Just search more and you'll know what it means. I hope brother Bai is okay and gets well soon. And so, some of the new fans went to archaeology by Chen, and after realizing what was going on, they felt a tremor in their hearts. This, this online news are real. Not marketing number cut it? Bro, it's true. Suddenly it's even harder. Such a good and talented person. How could he get this disease? Ugh, no wonder he can write such a song. But, now that medical technology is so advanced, it should be curable if it's detected early. Let's hope Bai Chen can recover soon. Indeed, just let Bai rest for a while. Maybe he'll come back when he's better. That's right. Although they said so, there was actually no lack of some rather crazy fans. After learning that Bai Chen was hospitalized and recuperating, and also learning through previous news that Bai Chen was in the Mordor hospital, he actually personally went to the Mordor hospital in the middle of the hospital in an attempt to look for Bai Chen. But no matter how they searched, they were unable to find Bai Chen's figure in the hospital. Because, as early as a few days ago, Bai Chen had already left Magic City. Late at night, Jianghai Province, outside an old neighborhood, a yellow taxi stopped at the entrance of the neighborhood. Pretty boy, we're here, the fare is 50. 50, right? Sweep it over. Thank you, master. Okay, don't forget to take the stuff. Pretty boy, said, then see wearing a thin white shirt, wearing a duck tongued cap of white chin, from the cab down with a bag of fruit and a small box of wine in his hand, he stood outside the entrance of the neighborhood, looking at the building in front of him with complicated eyes. Alas, after seeing Bai Chin stand for a long time and sigh, he slowly walked in with his things. After entering the neighborhood and arriving at his own doorstep, Bai Chen once again stopped in his tracks. Here, was his old home, and going home should have been a very happy thing. But at this moment, looking at the somewhat rusty iron gate, he only felt a little blocked in his heart. No other reason. Just do not know how to explain his current situation. Although it was said that his parents didn't pay attention to some things within the online entertainment industry, but what if they just knew about it? After all, the internet was spreading so fast now, but if they had known, they would have come to call themselves to ask about their situation, right? And in fact, in the beginning, when he said that he wanted to go home, Bai Jia was all but stopped, saying that he was being treated well, and the results were still good, so why did he suddenly want to go back? And Bai Chen can only lie, said he wanted to go back to stay for a period of time. Chemotherapy can also be chemotherapy at home. In this regard, Bai Jie also thought it was Bai Chen is not going to talk to the family about this matter, hesitated for a long time before nodding to agree. Thinking, Bai Chen also hesitated for a long time before walking forward and knocking on the iron door. Not a moment later, a shout could be heard coming from inside the house. Who is it? Coming. Wait a moment. Old Bai, go open the door. The voice inside the house had only just fallen. I heard a squeak. After the door of the house was opened, a middle-aged man wearing a pair of old-fashioned glasses with a bit of white hair in his hair poked his head out. After looking at his father's incomparably familiar face appearing in front of his eyes, the Bai Chen's lips trembled for a moment. Then he rolled his throat slightly and spat out a sentence. Dad. The moment he saw Bai Chen, old Bai's pupils clearly shrunk and froze for a moment. Subsequently, in the next second, he saw a flash of surprise erupt from his eyes and the corners of his mouth instantly grinned with a happy smile. Cinnabar, you're back? He then looked up and down, and before Bai Chen had time to speak, he continued to say to himself, you child, this child of yours, it's been two years before you could come back to take a look, just go home. What else to mention? Listening to old Bai's words, Bai Chen smiled and said, don't you like to drink? This is a box of matai that I got from a friend, the quality is quite good. Old Bai smiled with some relief after hearing the words, after all, he has no hobbies, his biggest favorite is this one or two sips of wine, and just at this time, in the kitchen in the busy Bai Chen mother heard the movement outside the door, 
Frown to frown put voice asked. Who is it? Old by? Old way from next door? What old way? It's our son who's back. White mom heard the words of the old white is also froze for a moment. And then also immediately put down the hands of the matter. Immediately rushed to the outside. Really? Chen Chen is back? Yeah. Why did this child of yours come back without saying anything? After seeing Bai Chen walking into the house, Bai Ma was overjoyed and immediately walked over. Thin, you've lost weight outside. Feeling the pleasantries and condolences of old Bai and his own mother, Bai Chen immediately felt an extraordinary warmth in his heart. But just when he wanted to open his mouth to say something, he was once again blocked by Bai Ma. Eh you haven't eaten yet, have you? You're quite good at picking a time to come back. Old Bai and I haven't eaten either. You wait. I'll go make a few more dishes. Old Bai on the side also interjected and said, Right. It just so happens that the day before yesterday, Old Wei gave us a fish. So let's make a soup directly, as well as the beef in the refrigerator. Okay, okay, okay. Looked at the mom and hurriedly went to the kitchen busy up. Bai Chen looked at the dad some doubts. Said, It's almost 8 o'clock. You haven't eaten yet? After seeing the two walk to the living room and sit down, Bai Chen smiled and said, Your mom and I at home are when you are hungry when to cook and eat. After all, two people eat casually get into it. There are times when we eat early, and there are times when we eat later. Bai Chen also nodded after hearing this. Afterward, the two of them chatted with each other. During the chat, old Bai didn't seem to know about Bai Chen's business, nor did he chat about Bai Chen's work, not even asking Bai Chen how he suddenly came back. Instead, he chatted about something like the international situation, the direction of the country, and so on. After chatting like this for almost half an hour or so, Bai Ma made the meal and brought it to the dining table. Come, eat first. The fish soup needs to be boiled for a while before it becomes flavorful. It smells really good this soup. You also quickly sit down to eat it. Mom. Okay. Afterwards, a family of three sat around the table, while eating and chatting. Come on, eat a little more. See how thin you are outside. Yes, eat more. As he ate, Old Bai suddenly looked up at Bai Chen and asked. Eh hey, yes, where's your sister? She didn't come back with you? Listening to Old Bai's words, Bai Chen then frowned slightly. How come listening to this tone? They seemed to know that Bai Jia was within himself some time ago? Could it be that his old sister had already said something? But it didn't feel quite like it. And so, Bai Chen pondered for a while before asking in return. Sister, she had something to do with the company. So she went back. Eh? Mom, how do you know that my sister came to see me? As the words fell out of her mouth, I saw Bai Ma's eye slant, gave Bai Chen a glance and said, How do we know? What? We're not allowed to know? And you? You don't say a word about anything. How long are you going to keep this from your mom? Hiding? Listening to his mom's tone, Bai Chen's heart violently trembled. She, did she really already know? After thinking about this, Bai Chen clenched his fists and pursed his lips as he was about to say something. Unexpectedly, Bai Ma suddenly gave Bai Chen a piece of meat and continued. If it wasn't for the square dance the other day, those dance partners said that my family has a big star, all on the concert. I really don't know what kind of showbiz you've been sneaking into instead of going to work. Concerts? Showbiz? After hearing this, Bai Chen froze for a moment and also reacted. Can't it be that what mom said she was hiding from her? So it's this thing? For a moment, Bai Chen's pupils flashed. Bai Chen's pupils flickered, and he secretly sighed in his heart. I don't know if I should be happy that I wasn't found out, or if I should say something else. What's wrong? Not happy? Tatsuya, I'm just saying a few words. Your dad and I still support whatever you really want to do. Actually, as long as you like it, there is nothing wrong with being a star. I heard it's quite profitable. Looked at the thought as not to say their own two sentences after the unhappy mom. Bai Chen squeezed out a smile and shook his head and said, Not unhappy. Just, it's just that I didn't have time to tell you before. And I'm not really a star. I just have a friend who brought me here. Listening to Bai Chen's words, Bai Ma laughed and said excitedly, Old Bai, you don't say. Chen Chen has really grown up. What's it called? The concert, right? A lot of people were shouting our son's name. He sings beautifully, but his hair doesn't look good. He's got a bald head. Look at it. Look, she said. Bai Ma was about to take out her cell phone to show the video of the concert to old Bai. On the side, Bai Chen was looking at his mom and dad with complicated eyes. It seems like they don't know about his illness. It seemed like they didn't know about their illnesses, but only noticed that they were at the concert a few days ago. That's understandable. After all, in the end, Bai Chen's situation was only understood a little by the group of fans at the concert. Although it was said to be a big deal at the time, it was only during that time. It was covered up by other hot searches, and didn't reach the point where it became public knowledge. After all, maybe some people have heard of Bai Chen's songs up until now. 
but didn't actually know who Bai Chen was yet, let alone know about him. Actually, Bai Chen didn't mean to hide it, but he really didn't know how to open his mouth and say it all. If you can drag it out, just drag it out first. After thinking of this, Bai Chen also sighed with a somewhat helpless smile. Subsequently, Mom also asked Bai Chen how he suddenly wrote a song and sang, so Bai Chen also found a reason that could be said to excuse the past. After dinner, Bai Chen's mom went out for a square dance. At home, Bai Chen and old Bai opened a bottle of Mao Tai and sat on the balcony blowing the night breeze chatting. How long are you going to stay back this time? Old Bai asked casually after taking a sip. How long to stay? I don't know. Stay and see. What? Am I interrupting your old married couple's two-person world? Bai Chen made a joke. And old Bai just shook his head and laughed. Since you're back, stay home for a while longer. Your mom is quite nostalgic about you. And, you've suffered a lot in these two years outside, right? After hearing these words Bai Chen looked at old Bai with some consternation, not knowing why he would suddenly say this. Looking at Bai Chen's reaction, old Bai picked up a small wine cup and touched it with Bai Chen before taking a small sip and continuing, saying, you've lost so much weight, your eyes are all sunken in, can't I tell? The old you didn't talk much, but you didn't sigh so much, and when we were eating, did you have something to say? After seeing old white turn his head to look at himself, Bai Chen locked eyes with him before lowering his head and falling silent. And after seeing this, old white didn't urge anything, but said to himself, saying, you, since you were young, you've been relatively self-reliant, so we won't interfere too much with what you want to do, but outside even if you are busy, but also pay more attention to the body, eat well, and ah, uh, you want to mix what showbiz although I do not oppose, but which people can make, which people cannot make you to see clearly illegal and taboo things don't get involved in. After listening to the old white that usually does not have much to say that concern nagging, listening, Bai Chen's eyes suddenly became a little moist. Perhaps in the past, when listening to him say these words, one would only feel impatient or not perfunctorily. But nowadays, his heart was a little clogged, and old Bai chattered like this for almost tens of minutes before he managed to stop and, after glancing at Bai Chen, he didn't speak anymore. The two were sitting quietly on the rooftop covered by the night sky. I don't know how long it has been, Bai Chen suddenly spoke, Dad, if, if, I mean if, one day I, I leave, you guys, you guys, what to do, only Bai Chen's voice was heard hoarse with a bit of choking, only to see that old Bai on the side suddenly trembled a little with his cup hand after hearing these words that seemed to be a little unclear, then he turned his head to look at Bai Chen, Bai Chen noticed his father's gaze, but never dared to look at the expression on his face at the moment, the atmosphere suddenly froze at this moment. Bai Chen also seemed to regret what he had just said, and immediately coughed twice and looked up at old Bai and smiled and said, Hey, I don't mean that, I recently wrote a couple of songs, there are a lot of fans who suffer from depression and can't keep going, then I wondered if one day, I'll be like that too, it seems like there are a lot of people in the entertainment industry who suffer from depression, that's it, just as Bai Chen's tone became a bit incoherent, and he was even a bit unsure of what to say to alleviate the frozen atmosphere brought about by the words he had just spoken, Old Bai suddenly lit a cigarette before placing his palm on Bai Chen's shoulder and, he looked up at the night sky in front of him and was silent for a long time. A cigarette burned out before opening his mouth to say, the songs in your concert. I also listened to them. Very good. I don't know how you've been doing out there all these years, and I probably can't help you. But, but no matter what, home is here. If you feel lonely or anything, just call us more often. Your mom and I will be there for you. And creative people like you do have a lot of emotions inside you. If you're really depressed, go out more, travel and see the world. When you're tired, go home and stay for a while. Seize every moment of your wonderful life. As for what you said before about leaving, in fact, one day, both you and I will leave this world. Since we're both leaving, live a life worth remembering. After all, people, this night, Bai Chen and Old Bai talked for a long, long time. But after that night, neither Bai Chen nor Old Bai were mentioning the things they talked about that night and Bai Chen wasn't sure if dad he had already guessed something from his own words. Two weeks have passed. During this time, although Bai Chen didn't do anything, he was once again on the hot search. As for the reason why he was on the hot search, it was because his song had finally been officially launched on Netsuke Cloud. Hashtag hot search, Bai Chen's song is officially online on Netsuke Cloud. Warm Sun Trilogy, sending you one. Hashtag hot search, White Chen's song is officially online at Netsuke Cloud. Hashtag hot search, shocked. Bai Chen's song has been online for an hour and the total number of plays exceeded 10 million. Hashtag hot search, Bai Chen, Bai Shun. Along with the various endless hot searches on the list, the play volume of Bai Chen's song on Netsuke Cloud has also increased exponentially. It even directly dominated the top 10 of the Net Suppression Cloud's hot songs list. 
As long as it was a song sung by Bai Chen, every song was on the list, and one of the most played, without a doubt, is to send you a little red flower, the seabed adapted version of the next, the third song is that day, that night sang and cried countless people a meat and vegetables, many fans were even more frantic when they saw the famous scene that dominated the charts, ah 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 waited for months for the song is finally officially online, I love you Bai Chen, finally, I don't have to drag the video progress bar to listen to the song, WC, all the songs are on the charts? This is the first time we've seen this in the industry, right? Bai Chen? White God. Although Bai Chen's song was online, it caused a huge wave. However, as if this matter has nothing to do with Bai Chen, I haven't seen any response or publicity from him. In response, the fans can only understand that Bai Chen is still recuperating and doesn't have time to pay attention to this. Maybe we'll hear his new song in a while, but no matter what, to the fans' surprise, the man disappeared? Time flies, half a year has passed in the blink of an eye. During this period of time, the entertainment industry was still very active. I don't know if it was influenced by Bai Chen, but many new songs of good quality were coming out one after another. It was as if the entertainment industry had come to life, and it didn't want to be like a trip to stagnant water as it had been before. But no matter what, many people feel that something is missing. That's right, it is Bai Chen. Half a year ago, many netizens thought that Bai Chen just went to recuperate. After a while we'll be able to re-see his figure, and then no less can hear his new song, right? But never thought that. This wait is half a year long, and do not know how long to continue to wait. Wai Chen is like really missing retired general, in the network to find any trace of him. Even the old Shweta participate in the new program I am good voice. Many netizens know that Bai Chen has a good relationship with Lao Shui, and they all thought that Bai Chen would not go to participate in this program to show his face. But the result is still disappointing to the netizens. The list of this program. There is no Bai Chen. Bai Chen, you're so cruel, leaving us homeless. Bai Chen, where the hell are you? Bai Chen, you've gone too far this time. What's wrong with you? Yes, yes, why did you disappear for half a year without saying a word? You have to leave a letter for us fans. Two, brother Bai, even if you lie to us, you can't lie to EE ah. Didn't you say that you accompanied EE -E to go to the beach to play together? How come PDD sent the beach photos without you? Do you guys think Bai will get snowed in? Snowing my ass. Bai didn't even sign up with an entertainment company. He relied on his own talent. How could he be snowed in? Looking at Bai Chen, who hasn't been heard from in half a year, whether it's the old fans or the fans who have been fanning Bai Chen since the concert, they all started to get anxious. How can a living person disappear just like that? Even if you want to withdraw from the circle and not sing, at least you have to give the fans an explanation, right? And just when many fans feel anxious about this, an unexpected hot search suddenly topped. Hashtag hot search one. Condolences singer by Chen. May you have a good journey. Candle 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 candle. The moment I saw this hot search, all of by Chen's fans froze. What does this mean? What does this mean? It's not. What the hell is this? It's a lie, right? It seems. It seems to be real. The picture above has the hospital's critical notice, and the name on it is Bai Chen. When I clicked in, there was indeed a picture of a critical care notice, and the name on it was indeed Bai Chen. For a moment, countless people felt a violent shudder in their hearts, a little unwilling to believe it all. At this moment, Shui Jiqian, who was recording the program, also froze for a while after being told the news by the staff. He then frowned slightly. Who said that? The staff member shook his head at the news and said, I don't know. Someone on the internet sent out a picture of the sick notice. Looking at the picture on the staff's cell phone, Shui Jiqian took a deep breath before hastily taking out his cell phone and opening WeChat, sending a message out. Although the staff didn't know who Shui Jiqian was contacting, it could be seen from his somewhat trembling hands that he was not in a calm mood at the moment. But after a few minutes, the only old Shui's cell phone was heard to ding dong. In the next second, one could see Shui Jiqian's nervousness instantly disintegrate showing a hint of speechlessness, he muttered to himself, nowadays, people on the internet, are they so fond of rumors, do you really think rumor mongering isn't a crime, then he looked at the staff and apologized, ah, I'm sorry, let's continue recording, at the same time, PDD's live broadcast room is also the same, looking at the pop-up screen are sending white brother all the way good words, PDD similarly froze, afterwards, he also lowered his head and tinkered with his cell phone, after a few minutes, PDD raised his head again, and with a bit of anger in his eyes, he looked at the camera and said, Friends, friends first stop, don't brush the screen, no, 
Who posted this picture online? Messing with people here huh? Listening to PDD's words, many pop-ups wondered. SH, what do you mean? Pictures posted in the hot search ah, how is it messing with people? Could it be that the screen swiping is affecting Saw Pig's ability to go on air? Did not say that the Tart Pig and White Chen relationship is good at. Now White Brother gone, come here everyone together that a little. Sue Pig is not happy? After looking at the pop-up screen, it seems that some people have misinterpreted his meaning. PDD also did not much gabbing, directly sucked a mouthful of electronic cigarettes in the live broadcast said. Pinch mom, the news on the internet is false. What kind of rumor is this? Scared me to death. Everyone who's worried about Bai Chen. Don't worry, Bai Chen is fine. He's still fine. Although PDD didn't seem to be telling lies, some viewers were still hesitant and said, rumor mongering? It can't be. Yeah, after all, brother Bai hasn't appeared for half a year. Could it be true? Is he really not cured? Some fans went to the hospital to look for Bai Chin before, only to find that Bai had left the hospital a long time ago. Didn't they say at first that brother Bai knew his days were numbered and went to accompany his family? Right, right. After looking at some viewers who were still skeptical, PDD also directly put out his chat records with Bai Chen. After seeing the chat logs, many viewers also finally believed it. This news was really a rumor? At the end of the day, this rumor-mongering hot news was announced to end with the rumor-monger being dug out and directly arrested by the police. As for the rumor-monger, it seems to be just a youngster who wanted to rub off on a wave of heat, and then open a live broadcast to bring in the goods on the strength of that wave of heat. In response, netizens are also furious and have demanded that the police must heavily sentence the rumor monger, and the person in question, Bai Chen. After seeing this news at home for a moment, he was also a little bit in tears, himself. This is an early experience of the whole network to send off the line? Time can wash away everything, especially in today's internet era, due to the fact that there are so many things happening every day. There are so many things that people are exposed to every day, causing them to be a little overwhelmed by all the information. A full year and a half has passed since the last time Bai Chen was rumored to have died, during this period of time. At first, you can still often find videos about Bai Chen singing and Bai Chen concerts on some short video media. Nowadays, Bai Chen, who was once a sensation all over the internet, has completely disappeared. He seems to be a flash in the pan, whether on the internet or in reality. There was no trace of him. It was as if he had really been forgotten. That's not true. Even in this entire two-year period, even if Bai Chen hadn't appeared in front of the public's eyes, his songs had long since spread throughout the streets and alleys, even until today. Can still see Bai Chen's songs in the top 10 of the Hot 100 list. Some of Bai Chen's Iron fans, on the other hand, were active in the song's comment section. No way no way. It's been a year and a half there can't be anyone still listening to this song? Archaeology punch card asterisk 1. Brother Bai. Was he tricked into going to Karma Waste? Right. Squeak if you're still alive. Scum, you just left your fans behind, didn't you? Ugh without buy. I haven't heard any good songs for over a year. Indeed, the NNN plus TH day of missing by Shun. Ugh when will that man come back? At this moment, in Zhanghai province, inside the auditorium of a certain high-end restaurant, guests family members, welcome to be able to attend the wedding of Mr. Yang Kong and MS. Bai Jia, I'm the host Wu Tian, welcome to all of you. As promised, on this special day, Allow me to say a few more words. Actually, when you meet someone who pleases each other, it's as beautiful as seeing a beautiful rainbow. There are so many people in this world. At this time, on one of the seats inside the auditorium, one could only see Bai Chen wearing a slim suit, with a warm smile hanging at the corner of his mouth. Today, was his own old sister's wedding. Only at this time, Bai Chen's image was completely different from two years ago. The Bai Chen who had just appeared in the public I could be described as white and clean, with a short haircut and looking a little handsome, while today's Bai Chen is left a face of beard, hair also raised a lot longer, tied up a pigtail, face meat also more up, but it didn't look greasy, instead it had an artist's sense of panache, anyway, it was a completely different temperament from the sickly look he had before, only to see the host continue to speak on stage, unexpected encounter, for words that make us full of imagination for the future, for life, because, when you least expect it, those people in your life who only belong to you will appear in your world like a rainbow, like our protagonists today, M.S., by Jiet and Mr. Yang Kong. Now, let's invite today's two newcomers. Everyone applaud, along with the host's words falling. Outside crackling a burst of firecrackers filled with joy rang out. The music of the wedding march also began to play. The, the tightly closed doors of the auditorium also suddenly opened. The, then, see wearing a white wedding dress by Jiet. 
holding her lover's hand step by step walked out, looking at the happy smile on his sister's face, Bai Chen also applauded for her, expressing his blessings, in fact, at first, Bai Chen planned to get his old sister a gorgeous and incomparable wedding, after all, he had earned a lot of money from those few songs, but in the end, Bai Jie turned it down, saying she didn't like to make it too ostentatious, said she didn't like to make it too exaggerated, not to mention simple, just get a normal wedding, but even so, Bai Chen still personally to Bai Jie selected a set of valuable wedding dress, after all, to be able to see their own sister married, married to a good person after, it was also considered to be free of the hang-ups that had always been there, the wedding process was very smooth and lively, until the afternoon, Bai Jie's friends and the man side of the friends had not dispersed, celebrating for the two, but Bai Chen was not among them, instead, he stayed outside, sitting on a stone pier and smoking a cigarette, why don't you go in and keep your sister company, can't bear to part with her, Bai Chen's head tilted slightly, it was his own dad coming over, can't bear to part with it, kind of, Bai Chen thoughtfully replied back, alas your oldest sister got married, the big stone in my heart and your mom's heart is also considered to have been put down, it's you kid, why don't you get the hang of it, listening to his dad's words, Bai Chen's eyes flashed, he didn't say anything, after a long time, Bai Chen suddenly got up, turned his head to look at his dad and said, Dad, I, I'm going out for a while in two days, going out for a while? Old Bai was a bit surprised, but didn't ask anything more, but silently nodded his head, going out, it's good to go out and get some air, even though it said that you're writing songs at home, what, what music behind the scenes, but it's also still important to go out more, since these two years, Bai Chen hadn't been idle, and while he had used this time to accompany his parents, he had disguised himself as the person behind the music, writing down quite a few songs from his memory, after all, just as the system had said, some of the good songs from his previous life were still worth keeping, in his own situation, he definitely couldn't keep so many works, so he could only reach the system's wish through this way, right, nowadays, he had also accompanied his family for almost two years, although he said that there was still some reluctance in his heart, but, I still have to leave, after all, this world still has a lot of worth, do not take a closer look at the words in the walk, the first thing you need to do is to get a good deal of time to get a good deal of time to get a good deal of time, three days later, after saying goodbye to his parents and his oldest sister, Bai Chen will carry a travel bag, a guitar, the last journey on his own, three days later, Wu clunk 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 clunk, a train that had been heading south since was slowly traveling on the tracks, in one of the carriages, sitting on a soft seat Bai Chen relied on the window, tilted his head and looked at the scenery outside the window in a somewhat leisurely and cozy manner, this train from Bai Chen's hometown, Jianghai, with the destination of Dianan, would take about 25 hours to travel, and the reason for going to Dianan, there's no special reason, it's just that I've heard that the place has a good climate and beautiful scenery, so it's a good place to travel, so, Bai Chen came, as for why he chose to take the train, although it was said that one could also choose to travel to Dianan by airplane, or by train, but if that was the case, it would be a bit too boring, after all, sometimes the fun of traveling is not just the moment of seeing the beautiful scenery, but more importantly, some of the people or things that you meet on the way of traveling, as the saying goes, the train is ahead of the train, where the end is is not important, the important, it is the scenery outside the window, families, women college specialists extreme travel challenge, the second bullet, this time, I'm taking my family on a three-day challenge to eat all over Yunnan, our first stop is known as the spring city of Koandu, there are local babies can recommend fun, delicious places oh, at this time, the train that has been traveling for two hours has stopped at the station of a small city, is looking out the window on their own position, waiting for the train to start, suddenly was not far away from the movement attracted, raising his eyes, he saw, see not far from a backpack, looks like a large travel bag, there is a bit of youth on the face of the female college students are holding up a selfie stick, seems to be in the live broadcast and so on, three days traveling around Yunnan, this is a bit exaggerated, right, at the time when Bai Chen was surprised, the female university student came to Bai Chen with a big bag on her back, after glancing at Bai Chen and the empty seat next to him, she murmured, 08, uncle, is this your bag, please, I'll put something away, uncle, hearing the girl's address, Bai Chen froze for a moment, then he stroked his beard, right now, he did look quite old in this look, oh, sorry, after Bai Chen smiled slightly, he picked up the backpack he had placed on the seat next to him and placed it at his feet, and after the girl also placed her luggage on the luggage bar above, she sat on the seat beside Bai Chen, holding up her selfie stick and continued, saying, ouch I'm exhausted, 
babies you really don't say. Now this green train is not as bad as you say. It's clean. And there's no strange odor. The seats are just a bit narrow. The female college student took her cell phone and took a picture of the surrounding area. She is right. Now the green train is not as dirty and messy as before. The overall look is still quite clean and tidy. But if there are many people it will be a little crowded. Bai Chen on the side glanced at the girl's cell phone and found that the number of people in her live room was quite high. Found that the number of people in her live room is quite a lot. There are nearly a thousand people watching. Size counts a good travel blogger should be. However, Bai Chen also just glanced at and did not talk to it more. After a glance, then I slightly closed, waiting for the train to start. The end of this train for Dianan in this small city stopover is not long. Almost after 10 minutes or so, such as passengers are waiting for the car is completed. All over the sound of the melodious whistle slowly to the far away. I don't know how long. Bai Chen opened his eyes in a bit of a daze. Originally said it was to close his eyes to refresh himself, but never thought of how to close his eyes and fall asleep. After waking up, Bai Chen slightly rubbed his temples. After taking a look around, he realized that there were two more passengers directly across from him at some point. Since Bai Chen hadn't chosen a seat, he was automatically placed in a seat with two rows of seats facing each other, with only a table in the center. At this moment, the two men on the opposite side of the table, who looked to be around 30 years old, seemed to be chatting with the female college student on their side. Awesome. Sean, you actually went to so many places by yourself. He he he. No no. When I was your age, I just stayed in school all day. I wouldn't even think of going out and having fun when I was on vacation. Right. If I had known that it would be like this now, I might as well have gone out more on vacation when I was in college. Listening to the two men's words, Xiao Shan then smiled and said, Actually, I don't have any classes for my internship next semester. Then I thought the internship wasn't much fun, and the major I studied was pretty mediocre. So I just tried to do some short videos while traveling, and try to make some short videos, doing something I like. That's right. I'm trying to get some video footage from my travels. Do you mind if I record it? Listening to Xiao Shan's words, the two men first nodded and, it's okay, it's okay, short videos, we understand. Then they shook their heads and sighed, alas words back, I really envy you young people, free and easy, you can travel whenever you want, do whatever you want, right, your big brother M.O. and I aren't so free. Looking at the two men's expressions, Xiao Shan blinked her eyes and asked with a bit of curiosity, whom, listening to the two big brothers, is it possible that it's not easy for you guys to come out and play? As soon as Xiao Shan's words left her mouth, one of the men shrugged and said, We all have families. We don't have much time for ourselves. Alas, the other man nodded in agreement. Xiao Shan, on the other hand, blinked her eyes and said with some curiosity that, You guys, you're all married. Ha, huh? that, then sister-in-law isn't with you guys? Hey, that's why you're young. You've got a tigress with you. What's the point of having fun? Right, and my family is so strict. They might not even let me come out to play this trip. Listening to the words of the two of them, Xiao Shan made an expression of I get it. A strict wife. It's okay then. As since auntie is so strict, how did you guys run out? After hearing this, the two men looked at each other and smiled. And the one of them called old M.O. said that. Truth be told. Actually before getting on this train, he and I had just gotten off work and were about to buy groceries to go home. And then, old do. That's the guy. Suddenly sent me a message. Asking me if I wanted to play something exciting. I was when I heard, exciting, I didn't know what to think, my brain was hot, and I agreed in a daze, then I followed this guy on this train in a daze, if I'd known this was a trip, I'd have brought my daughter-in-law along, now it's too late, that's too bad, although old Imo shook his head and said it was too bad, Bai Chen, who was on the side, could clearly see, this guy's eyes were glowing, is he regretting not bringing his daughter-in-law along, old Mo's friend, Lao Du, rolled his eyes and said, come on, Still regret. You this guy from the car to now. Happy corner of the mouth has not come down. Now your daughter-in-law and my daughter-in-law are not in. We brother and sister can finally breathe this long lost taste of freedom. Looking at the two brothers, Xiao Shan also laughed happily and said, Good guy. The two big brothers are traveling as soon as they leave. When you go back, you won't be afraid that Sozi will make you kneel on the rubbing boards? Hey, we'll talk about it when we get back. The main thing is to make the first move before the last. I'm not afraid of kneeling on the clothesline. I'm kneeling on the durian. Ha 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 ha. Listening to these three chattering away. Bai Chen on the side also laughed lightly twice. I didn't realize that these two men who had already started a family were quite interesting. And at this time, Xiao Shan on the side also noticed Bai Chen who was snickering. And turned her head to take a look and. Hey uncle. You're awake from your nap. 
Did we talk a bit too loud and disturb you? Sorry sorry. On the opposite side of the room, old Mo and old Du also thought that they had disturbed Bai Chen with their chatter and apologized. Seeing this polite and incomparable couple of people, Bai Chen also waved his hand and smiled. Bai Chen also waved his hand and laughed. No no. I was just squinting. You guys continue chatting. I won't disturb you. Old Mo and the others nodded after seeing Bai Chen say this. Xiao Shan, on the other hand, took out a bunch of melon seeds, potato chips, and other snacks from her backpack and placed them on the table, ready to eat while chatting. He also invited Bai Chen to join him. Seeing this, Bai Chen just smiled and nodded. At this time, Xiao Shan, who had stuffed a mouthful of chips, looked at the old duo again and asked, Eh by the way big brother do, why did you suddenly think of going on a journey? And just so hastily pulled big brother Mo into the car. Old Du's eyes flashed with a hint of fatigue after he sniffed and said, Sigh actually, old Mo and I have long wanted to go on a trip. Even when the two of us were in college, we said that when we graduated, we would go to Lhasa for a trip to see the picturesque scenery. But when we graduated, we were busy looking for jobs, and forgot about traveling. Then we agreed to work for a while, save up some money, and go on a nice trip. But after a few years of work, our family wanted us to get married, and we used up all the money we had saved. After we got married, we said, we'd wait a little while until our family was settled down. As a result, we waited and waited, and delayed and delayed. Until yesterday at work, I swiped to a video. It had a quote written on it. What's it called? Let's see. Oh it says, youth has no selling price. Hard seat straight to Lhasa. That's what I heard. All of a sudden I felt the blood boiling, as if all of a sudden back to the time of the university. So directly pull on the old MO. Not in the hesitation. Not wait a minute. Directly buy a ticket dry to Lhasa. Youth has no price. Hard seat straight to Lhasa. This really sounds quite hot blooded. But, only Bai Chin frowned slightly. And Xiao Shan on the side was also looking at the two with narrowed eyes. Eh? You guys, are traveling to Lhasa? Yeah. Lhasa? Why? Old Mo nodded suspiciously. Not noticing in the slightest that old Du's expression on the side seemed a bit off. But, this, this train seems to lead. Passing through Dianan. Old Mo. Looking at old Mo's dumbfounded expression, the Lao Du scratched the back of his head and smiled sarcastically and said, Hey, I forgot to tell you, I couldn't get a ticket to Lhasa. When I was looking at the tickets, there was only this one class, and I was thinking, I don't care where we go, let's just get on the train first, and now that we're here, why don't we play directly from Diana to Lhasa, wouldn't that be even more enjoyable? Listening to old Du's explanation, old Mo shrugged his shoulders somewhat breathlessly. Now. This is the only way to go. On the side, Xiao Shan also looked at old Mo and said, Yeah, we're here. It's not the same where we're traveling to. There are a lot of interesting places in Dianan. Old Mo nodded thoughtfully. That's right. Let's go to Dianan to have a look. Eh by the way, is this little brother also traveling to Dianan? Only to see old Mo suddenly look at Bai Chen and ask. Xiao Shan and old Du also looked at Bai Chen. The three of them had sort of chatted semi-familiarly on this journey, while Bai Chen hadn't said a few words at all and had been listening on the side. And when Bai Chen heard this, he didn't avoid anything. Smiling, he nodded and said, Well, after staying at home for a while, I plan to come out to see more. It's good to come out and look around. I see you're not too young. You're not out to hide from the tigress, are you? Ah ha 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 no no. I'm not married yet. Just as Bai Chen and old Mo were talking to each other, Xiao Shan, who was eating a small snack, realized something and, Suddenly staring at Bai Chen with a hint of surprise in her eyes she said, Ha uncle, is this your guitar? Only to see Xiao Shan pointing at the guitar set beside her seat and asked, Oh, it's mine, what's wrong? You, you can play it? After seeing Bai Chen nod his head, Xiao Shan's eyes dilated as she looked at Bai Chen and uttered a sentence that seemed very brainless, and Bai Chen was amused by the words, If I can't play it then what's the point of bringing one of these on the road? Decorations? Ah this, I, I don't mean that. Old Du and the other two also looked at Xiao Shan and joked, Ha 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 who in their right mind wouldn't play a guitar and still carry one around? Right. And I see that little brother has this artist look. He can't be a musician. Right? Probably an artist. Eh by the way little brother. What do you do? Listening to the words of the two, Bai Chin didn't hide anything and nodded his head, saying, You guys guessed pretty much. I usually just write songs and stuff. Make some music and such. This is not not much inspiration. Just travel out to find inspiration. Bai Chen's words just fell. He saw the somewhat naive old Mo come over and stared at Bai Chen and muttered, I'm a good boy writing songs, making music? Is it possible that you're a big star? But how come I haven't seen you on TV again? Look at the old Mo that look. 
the sight of the old do a hand to pull him back. Go go go. Who says you have to be on TV to be a big star when you're in the music and art business? Maybe he just doesn't want to show his face, and prefers to concentrate on his work. Although he said so, but in his heart, old do thought, Bai Chen might be one of those 18th line singers, but we are all out to play. This kind of talk will inevitably make people's faces hang in the balance. So he said a set of words that would be more appealing to the ear. Bai Chen looked at the two men's expressions, waved his hand and said without any concern, I'm not a star either. Just, just scribbling on my own for fun. Oh, at the same time, Xiao Shan was also sizing up Bai Chen and smacking her lips, saying, TSK, TSK, TSK. I didn't realize you were really an artist. Say, what songs have you written? Do you want me to help you publicize them? Let my fans support your creations. Bai Chen shook his head in a hurry after hearing this. That's, no need, no need. I'll just write for my own fun. Looking at Bai Chen's attitude, Xiao Shan had no choice but to call it quits, although she was also quite curious about what songs Bai Chen had written. But if people weren't willing to talk about it, it wasn't good for them to pursue it more. But after a short while, Xiao Shan suddenly thought of something, and with a turn of her eyes she looked at Bai Chen and inquired, Eh, that's right, uncle, that, since you know the guitar, why don't you play a song? Why don't we sing a song together on the train to cheer us up on this trip? A cheer? Bai Chen frowned slightly. This, not good, right? There are quite a few people resting on this carriage. Hearing Bai Chen's concern, Xiao Shan stood up and looked around before sitting down again and said, Aya it's fine. I just took a look and everyone is either chatting or playing with their cell phones. It should be fine. And don't you think this train is too boring? Why don't we have a song to lighten the mood? Come on, come on, come on. Listening to Xiao Shan's words, Bai Chen held the guitar case in his hands and turned his head slightly. Looking out the window, only the mountains and lakes on both sides of the train were so beautiful, and his mood was extraordinarily relaxed. Want to play a song? Bai Chen murmured. It wasn't long after that. Under the expectant eyes of Xiao Shan as well as Lao Du, Bai Chen took the guitar out of the guitar case and, let's have one then, wait for me to tune it. Woohoo okay yeah, no rush uncle, you tune it slowly, we'll wait for you. Just as Bai Chen took out his guitar and tuned it, Xiao Shan also took out her cell phone, ready to record this moment. At the same time, the few passengers just around Bai Chen's few people, after noticing the commotion over here, also cast their curious gazes over. After Bai Chen had tuned the pitch of his guitar, the, there was no warning, no prelude, only a burst of magnetic, low and melodious singing suddenly came out, nothing can stop, but after Bai Chen sang the first line, those slender fingers also began to strum on the guitar, listening to the melody that was calm with a hint of manic feeling, this ear enticing melody in an instant, it attracted the idea power of Xiao Shan's several people, nothing can stop, you're yearning for freedom, the sky is the limit, your heart is free, through the dark years, you felt lost, the moment you look down, you realize the path beneath your feet. Along with Bai Chen singing, on the side, Xiao Shan's expression changed from one of anticipation to one of shock. Even, she even forgot to eat her snacks, holding half a chip in her mouth and staring at Bai Chen with wide eyes. There were only two words inside. Crap. Song, Blue Lotus original singer, Su Wei. I Lu a pro mother Lu. What is this song? At this moment, not only is Xiao Shan, the old Du Lao Amo brothers on the side are also shocked. Just simple and incomparable four lines of lyrics, coupled with Bai Chen's horse and full of stories voice, word by word, all knocked straight into the depths of the two men's souls. This, what song is this? Only old Imo gulped and looked at old Du, and old Du could only shake his head. Earlier, Bai Chen said that he could write songs. Could it be that he wrote this song? Although the two were curious in their hearts, now was clearly not the time to ask. At this moment, accompanied by the scenery speedily passing by outside the window, Bai Chen played his guitar. His brows vitically furrowed and his eyes narrowed as he continued to sing. The world of the free land in my heart, so clear and high, blooming and never withering. Blue lotus flower ah. After the high notes, there was a long and beautiful guitar accompaniment. Bai Chin didn't use too many techniques to sing this song, and sang it in a spontaneous and natural manner. Especially during the final high notes, it sounded uplifting and powerful as if it was going straight to the clouds. Xiao Shan's scalp tingled and goosebumps turned all over. The two old Du and old Mo on the side were also very excited. When they heard this song, they seemed to return to the time when they were still in college, when they were so spirited, talking about their future, their dreams, but whatever in time, I have changed my mind as if I were a different person, even a small trip to travel, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that, delayed until now to set off, I only saw old Mo's eyes transfer a moment, looked at old Du and gulped and said, old, old Du, I, 
I have a bold idea. Hmm, it's all out. Why don't we? Why don't we go abroad for a while? Thailand, Cambodia, whatever. Why have you gotten so hard all of a sudden? Going abroad. If your family finds out about this, you'll be on your knees in durians. And I don't dare to go there. I don't want to lose my waist. Ah, uh, ha ha. Just kidding, just kidding. And at the same time, not only the three of them, Xiao Shan, but the passengers in this carriage were also attracted by Bai Chen Song. They stood up one after another and searched for the source of this burst of freedom-filled singing with curious gazes. Crap what kind of song is this? It's kind of interesting. The lyrics. Simply sings my heart out. It feels like as soon as I open my mouth. I feel like I've already reached that heaven of freedom. Among them, a man in the next seat, whose hair had begun to turn bald, was looking at Bai Chen, who was playing the guitar, with reddened eyes. This song, this song really and completely stuck into his heart. As a programmer, he, young in age, a head of hair but has long been full of wounds. Every day's work is boring, either knocking code or knocking code, just like this year after year day after day. Living a glance can see the head of the day. But, he also had a dream. His dream was to become a game developer. Was to become a game developer. But now he has a house and is about to get married. If he quit his job rashly, to go into game development, his family wouldn't agree. So, struggling with dreams and reality, he could only choose to take a leave of absence for a period of time, through traveling to take a break and ask himself, what he really wants. And just today, right here in this carriage, he, seemed to have found it found what he really wanted within himself, only to see the man's eyes gradually change from confusion to determination as he looked at Bai Chen. His mouth was humming along with the melody sung by Bai Chen in a low voice. At this moment, after an interlude, Bai Chen was completely mesmerized by the ocean of music. Through the darkness of the years, I've felt at a loss. The moment you look down, you realize the path beneath your feet. The free world in your heart is so clear and far away. Blooms and never withers. Blue lotus flower. And since the melody of the song was very simple, it was basically something that could be hummed after hearing it once. This led to quite a few passengers waving their hands and humming along with Bai Chen after realizing that he was singing, especially the line at the end of each verse. Blue Lotus, singing it simply felt soothing, especially after singing that line on a train like this. The feeling in my heart can't even be described in words. Blue Lotus ah, pa 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 pa, as the high-pitched tenor of the last line faded out. The passengers of the entire carriage applauded for Bai Chen. Good. Well sung. Woohoo good. Hearing the applause from the people around him, Bai Chen also got up to express his gratitude. Sorry to bother you all. Sorry sorry sorry. Hiya it's alright. Do you want another one? Not again. After exchanging pleasantries with a few of the more social passengers around him, Bai Chen sat back down on his seat. Before his but could sit still, Xiao Shan directly came over and stared at Bai Chen with wide eyes, exclaiming, Crikey. That's great. Uncle, what's this song called? Why haven't I heard it before? Looking at Xiao Shan and Lao Du's curious eyes, Bai Chen scratched the back of his head and laughed. This song is called Blue Lotus. I wrote it myself for fun. It hasn't been officially released yet. Wrote it for fun? You call this writing for fun? Facing Bai Chen's Versailles speech, Xiao Shan directly threw a blank stare, and then asked, a little more cautiously, Eh by the way Ajasi, just, it's that clip of you singing just now I, can I post it online? Facing Xiao Shan's request, Bai Chen nodded his head after thinking for a while and said, You can post it if you want. Just remember to make a mosaic for me. Otherwise it's a bit of a pain in the ass. Although Bai Chen's current image was different from that of two years ago, his overall facial features hadn't changed. So it was inevitable that he would be recognized by some careful iron fans. If recognized, this journey by himself might not be that easy. After all, the fanaticism of some fans in the rice circle today could simply be described with the word crazy. Listening to Bai Chen's words, Xiao Shan nodded her head repeatedly, and in her heart, she had another high opinion of Bai Chen. With his own understanding of short internet videos, singing this scene today and posting it online, the song would definitely cause quite a ripple and heat, and yet he asked himself to make a mosaic. This is definitely a conscientious musician who just wants to create without fear. Kudos. In the time that followed, Xiao Shan was using her laptop to edit the video of the singing she had just done, as well as some of the material. Bai Chen, on the other hand, was chatting with both old Du and old M.O. Clang, clang, clang the train was still continuing to move forward. The sky was also gradually darkening. Only at this moment, Bai Chen was frowning tightly and pounding his back with his fist. Although it is true that traveling by train has its own flavor, it is a bit difficult to sit for a long time. Not to mention that, just this waist is sitting quite difficult. Fortunately, I bought a soft seat. If it is a hard seat then, 
It would only be more difficult. Eh? Here. This is for you to cushion for a while. It will be more comfortable. Seeing that Xiao Shan on the side seemed to have noticed that Bai Chen's seat was a bit uncomfortable. She pulled out a small cushion pillow from her backpack and handed it over. Ah. No. No. You can just pat it. Bai Chen shook his hand and refused. But Xiao Shan still forced it over. Hey you're welcome. I've got one of my own. It looks like you've been on the train for a long time. So you're inexperienced. Ahem. Thanks. After Bai Chen placed the cushion pillow against his backside, it did feel a lot more comfortable. And Xiao Shan seems to have finished the matter at hand. After putting the computer away and leaning on the chair, she looked at Bai Chen and chatted idly, saying, Right. Where are you going to play when you come to Dianan? Is it to Dali, or Li Jiang, or somewhere else? In the face of Xiao Shan's question, Bai Chen looked out the window and contemplated for a while before shaking his head. I don't know. Don't know? You don't do any strategy even when you come out to play. Is it hard to just say go like old brother Mo and the others? Bai Chen suddenly fell silent. Although he said that he had thought about traveling a long time ago, he didn't have a specific plan. To put it simply, go wherever you want, and everything about the journey is full of unknowns and surprises. This is considered Buddhist traveling? But then again, you can't really travel aimlessly like this, right? Thinking. Then he saw Bai Chen look at Xiao Shan on the side, smiled and said, mainly because I don't know where to go. As a travel blogger, you should have done a guide to Dianan, right? Any recommendations? Xiao Shan rolled her eyes after sniffing and said, It's my first time in Yunnan. I don't know what places are worth going to, but, I think there's a place that should suit you. Ha, huh? what place? Bai Chen looked at Xiao Shan with a bit of curiosity, only to see Xiao Shan scanning Bai Chen up and down for a moment before opening her mouth and saying, Dolly, Dolly? Bai Chen was first surprised for a moment, then he nodded thoughtfully and said, I've heard of Dolly. I've heard that there's the Yarai Sea there, and there's also the Dali ancient city, right? But why say that place is suitable for me? Looking at Bai Chen's puzzled expression, Xiao Shan didn't sell her story and directly introduced herself, saying, Firstly, the scenery in Dali is quite nice, like the Yarai Sea you mentioned and such, but in the final analysis, the scenery in southern Yunnan is good everywhere, no matter where you go, you can see different beautiful scenery, so let's not talk about this first. Secondly, I've heard that a lot of people who like folk music are traveling and living there, and you happen to be a musician. You should like the atmosphere there. After hearing this Bai Chen nodded slightly. Immediately after that, then he saw Xiao Shan suddenly smile mysteriously and looked at Bai Chen a bit thievishly and said, Thirdly, I'll ask first, do you have an object? A date? No. What's wrong? Bai Chen said with a shrug. No, then Dolly would be too good for you. Ha, huh? oops. Third. It's all about love affairs. Dolly's love affairs are not inferior to Lee Jones. The wind at the bottom and the flowers at the top. The snow on the Tsangshan Mountains and the moon on the Yarai Sea. Can't you experience that? Looking at Xiao Shan's more and more energized appearance, Bai Chen also smiled somewhat helplessly. Yen Xiao, what is a racy encounter? Is it love at first sight? Or is it just love at first sight? Or is it just both sides having their own needs? One seems to. You don't seem to need it? Or is it? Just as Bai Chen was pondering, Xiao Shan on the side continued to say with great interest. Actually, if it weren't for the fact that I'm a bit rushed for time, I'd also like to go to Dali to have some fun. I heard from my classmates that people there, it seems that everyone there can find something they like. Those who are artistic can relax by the Arai Sea, cultivate their emotions in the monuments left by humanities and geography. Those who like sports can hike and ride between the mountains and the sea. And those who like to eat can taste the different flavors of various ethnic groups. In my impression, Dali is a city of freedom and romance. If you don't know where to go, Dali is the place to go. If you're still not sure, I'll introduce you to other places too. I've done quite a lot of guides. The next time Xiao Shan introduced Bai Chen to the Diane and travel guide she had prepared, and old Mo and old do both listened with interest. Until late at night, everyone is also tired. Only a few people leaned against the chair and slowly fell asleep. The next day, early morning, the sun was only slightly rising. Woo woo. Accompanied by the sound of the train's incredibly long whistle, the train that had been traveling for the whole day finally arrived at the terminal and slowly came to a stop. The passengers on the train also grabbed their luggage and walked out of the station. Wu it's finally here. Xiao Shan carried her large backpack and walked down the carriage with an excited face. My goodness. It's good that we're only going to Dianan. If we were going to Lhasa I doubt I'd have died on the train. I also. I Luo old waste yo. Just see get off the old mo Lao do as a face of pain touching their own back. This infrequent train ride is indeed a bit uncomfortable. Who eh? You don't say. This Yunnan air is really quite good ah. Inhale a breath of fresh air. Well indeed. Look at this sky. It's so blue. 
I don't know how long it's been since I've seen such a blue sky. I don't know. It should be when I was a kid, right? At this moment, Bai Chen, who was squeezed to the very back, was carrying a tourist bag and a guitar, rubbing his head while slowly walking down from the carriage. He didn't know whether it was because he had been sitting in the car for a long time, or because he wasn't accustomed to the altitude of this place and had a bit of high altitude sickness, but Bai Chen felt that his head was a bit dizzy. Hi, uncle, here. Seeing Xiao Shan not far away shaking his hand to greet, Bai Chen saw the situation and walked over. What do you say? Do you want to stay in Kundu for a while first and have a meal together? Xiao Shan asked, looking at the three. Old Mo and Old Do nodded and said, Yes, we just bought tickets from Dianan to Lhasa the day after tomorrow. We are going to adapt to the altitude in Dianan and then go to Lhasa. Okay, how about you? Xiao Shan looked at Bai Chen again. In the face of a few people's invitation, Bai Chen is shaking his head and politely refused to. I will not eat. The next bus in an hour will be sent. Ha, huh? the next bus? Where are you going? Xiao Shan, Lao Mo and the others all looked at Bai Chen with a curious expression, only to see Bai Chen faintly smile before softly saying, To Dali. Oh rushing to Dali. That's a pity. Yes, I also said that it's fate for the four of us to meet each other and have a good meal together. Just as old Mo and old Du were feeling sorry for not being able to have a meal together before leaving. Xiao Shan, on the other hand, was looking at Bai Chen with a bitchy look on her face, looking at Bai Chen with a look of I get it and snickering, saying, he 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 still heartbroken right? Go go go. Be safe on the road. Be even more careful when you get to the place. After all, it's dangerous for a boy to be alone outside he he he. Afterwards, after exchanging a few more pleasantries with the three of them, Bek Tatsu headed in the opposite direction of the transfer entrance. Aya it's a shame we can't have a meal before we go. Right. I wanted this little brother to sing something again. Blue Lotus, by the way. Sean, let's leave each other contact information. Maybe we'll have a chance to travel together in the future. Ah, uh, okay. Just as Xiao Shan was about to take out her cell phone, she suddenly froze for a moment. Then she seemed to have thought of something. Immediately turned her head, while shouting, Ah Jussie, wait, leave A. Only to see Xiao Shan turn around, wanting to call out to Bai Chen when he. But she realized, Bai Chen's figure had already disappeared into the sea of people. At this moment, inside a small restaurant in Koendu. Aya, why is this person walking so fast? Why is he in such a hurry? Looking at Xiao Shan's look of regret, Old Du smiled and said, It's okay, it's okay, maybe we'll see each other again in the future. Right, I might be able to see this little brother on TV in the future. That Blue Lotus song I feel will be on fire. I feel the same way. Eh yes Xiao Shan, didn't you record a video? Can you send me one? I forgot to record it. I really love this song written by Xiao Shao so much. Okay but let me go borrow a charging battery. I used up the battery on my cell phone and the charging battery I brought with me yesterday when I cut the video. After that, Xiao Shan got up and went to the front desk to get a rechargeable treasure. But for some reason, after a long time did not see go to borrow the charging treasure of Xiao Shan after returning. Old Du and Old Mo felt a bit strange. Eh, it took so long to borrow a charger? HM, something's wrong. After all, this side is near the border. It's still a bit dangerous. Let's go. Go out and take a look. Said. Lao Du and Mo were a bit anxious to get out of the restaurant's box, but when they went out to take a look, see, Xiao Shan is holding her cell phone, standing at the front desk motionless, as if frozen in general. Xiao Shan, what's wrong? Is something wrong? After seeing that Xiao Shan's demeanor seemed a bit off, the two hurriedly went up and asked, but just after the two thought if something was wrong, only to see Xiao Shan swallow her saliva, her eyes filled with incredulity, she said, I, we seem to be on fire? Ha, huh? on fire? What do you mean? Looking at the somewhat confused old Du and old Mo, Xiao Shan, who was also in a state of confusion, handed his cell phone to the two, only to see that there was a video on the teaser interface on the phone. This video, on the other hand, was exactly some blog videos on the train that Xiao Shan had edited and released yesterday. Xiao Shan's special forces travel. Eh, isn't this your account? Wait, what grass? Two million likes. I'm tired of kissing my mom. What happened? When seeing the short video released by Xiao Shan only yesterday, it actually has so many likes. The two of them were also dumbfounded for a while. Only to see the video released by Xiao Shan not only has nearly 2 million likes, the amount of retweets also reached a staggering hundreds of thousands. This is also too exaggerated. What in the world happened? Looking at the two people's shocked looks, Xiao Shan also took a deep breath. Slowly, she said, It seems, it's because of that song by uncle. Song, Blue Lotus? See for yourselves. Said, Xiao Shan then clicked on the comments section of her video. What Chao? 
What kind of fairy song is this? Why didn't I search for it? Nothing can stop me from yearning for freedom. What a beautiful word. Hearing this song, for some reason, I suddenly felt the urge to ride my 2-8 bar to Tibet. I haven't traveled for a long time, and I've done the Tibet strategy countless times, but every time, I've been delayed by other things. I'm ready to leave tomorrow. I'm not going to sell my youth. I'm going to go to Lhasa. Ahem. I was going to turn myself in, but suddenly I didn't feel so tired and decided to run for two more years. Sure. Hiss this song is full of stories. It's sung by that big guy, how come it's mosaic After seeing that quite a few people in the comment section seem to have been brought here by Bai Chen Song, old M.O. and the two of them weren't surprised why it caught fire. After all, if a song that sounded so freeing didn't catch fire, it was simply unreasonable. What a few people didn't know was, not only is the video on fire, it's even on the teasing sound hot search. A lot of official cultural and travel number released videos use this music. Hashtag hot search one take a trip to Lhasa. Youth has no selling price. Hard seat straight to Lhasa. Hashtag. Hashtag hot search to a blue lotus. Resignation 318. Hashtag hot search three blue lotus. Does it evoke the freedom you buried in your heart? Hashtag. Hashtag Tibetan culture in tourism at blue lotus welcome to Lhasa. Zach Sidler. Hashtag Yunnan cultural travel at blue lotus. Hashtag. Driven by this huge flow of traffic. More and more people have seen this video of singing Blue Lotus on the train. More and more people were also touched by Bai Chen's song. Nothing can stop you from yearning for freedom. What a powerful phrase. A trip. A trip to go. These words may have been on the lips of countless people, but they've never taken the first step. Maybe it's the work, the study, or the trivialities of life, or other things that hold this step back. But is it really these things that hold you back from traveling again and again? Maybe not. Because as long as the faith in your heart is strong enough, there is no cage that can trap a bird that wants to be free. At this moment, inside the office of a small company, a man with glasses looked at the video on his cell phone. His eyes glittered and he clenched his fists. This, not the life he wanted. Every day, year after year, day after day, he goes to run the business, pulling in clients. What's the difference between that and being dead? Nothing can stop. I quit. Thinking. The man immediately opened his cell phone and sent a message to the company's WX workgroup before dragging off his suit and leaving the office without looking back. Ding dong ding dong. Only to see that the employees of this company who were working heard the beep in the workgroup, thinking if there was any important news, they put down their hands, opened the WX and took a look. But the next second, everyone was dumbfounded. No, what's the situation? We employees haven't resigned to pursue freedom yet. But you, the boss, ran away first? The key is, you ran away. Who's going to feed us? A little bit of skin. At this time, Bai Chen still does not know that because of his song on the train, it will cause a network-wide resignation craze. At the same time, in the middle of the Kuan Du train station, ding travelers, please note that the G asterisk 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 train from Kundu to Dali is about to enter the station. Passengers on the G asterisk 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 train are requested to go to the ticket gate as soon as possible to check their tickets and enter the station. Passengers and friends, Please pay attention to. Only after Bai Chen waited at the high speed train station for a short while, the moving train to Dali had already arrived. And Bai Chen also got up and slightly stretched his waist before picking up his bag and boarding this train to Dali. Almost an hour or so later. Ding gentlemen and ladies, the train is about to arrive at Dali station. Please take your belongings with you if you are getting off the train. This gentleman, please wake up. We've arrived at the station. This gentleman, only to see that beside Bai Chen. A steward is slightly bent down to call out to the sleeping Bai Chen. Perhaps it was because the previous train ride was too tiring, or perhaps it was because the business seats on this high-speed train were quite comfortable to lie on, causing Bai Chen to squint not long after getting on the train. And after hearing the call beside him, Bai Chen also woke up leisurely and rubbed his eyes. Are we there yet? Sir, we've arrived at the station. Here's your luggage. Have a nice trip. After watching the stewardess hand over both his luggage and guitar. Bai Chen took it while turning his head to look at the stewardess and smiled slightly. Thank you. After saying that, he picked up his bag and got up to leave the place. And Bai Chen didn't realize that during his own departure. The, that stewardess had been staring at herself, a hint of doubt showing in her eyes, and murmured in a small voice. Eh, that smile. It seems like I've seen it somewhere alone, long time ago. E, don't just stand there. Quickly come and clean up. Ah, oh, coming. At this moment. After getting out of the car, Bai Chen lazily stretched his waist. He saw the bright sun hanging high in the blue mirror-like sky, shining on his body and feeling warm, and from time to time, there was also a warm breeze that brushed by. The moment I stepped into the city, the, for some reason, 
Bai Chen felt a leisurely and cozy feeling in his heart. Look over here. People from the colorful cloud regiment. Gather here. Don't get lost. The people from the park brigade come here. Just as we walked out of the station, one could see many tour guides holding up flags, gathering the tour group's travelers. It's obvious. Dali was still a very attractive place. Bai Chen, who was traveling on his own, naturally didn't sign up for any tours. Instead, after leaving the high-speed train station, Bai Chen waved and boarded a taxi. Hello, Graham which point? After getting into the taxi, a middle-aged driver with sunglasses asked in a dialect. Listening to the driver's words, Bai Chen thought for a moment before opening his mouth and saying, Master, do you have any recommendations for a BNB? Something with a better environment. Since he had been riding in the car all day, Bai Chen was a bit tired. Moreover, he was not in a hurry. So Bai Chen planned to rest comfortably for a day, and then feel the local customs of Dali. B and B? Hearing Bai Chen's words, the driver paused for a moment, then he turned his head to look at Bai Chen, and inquired in a not-so-standard Mandarin, saying, Are you traveling here? Aha! Uh -huh. Eh? Young man, if I may say, there's no need to spend that kind of money to stay in a bed and breakfast when you come to play here. Just spend a hundred bucks or so on a hotel. A B and B. That guy's a real pain in the ass. Especially now that we're approaching the peak tourist season. The prices. It's up to $400 or $500 a night. It's not easy to earn money now. There's no need to spend that kind of money. Listening to the driver's words, Bai Chen also smiled and shook his head and said, It's okay. I've come all the way here. I always have to take a look. After saying that, then he saw the driver shaking his head and sighing. Young people ah. The BNBS are basically located in the old city. I'll take you there directly. Okay, thanks, he said. Master then kicked on the gas and drove Bai Chen on the somewhat narrow sidewalk, heading towards the direction of the ancient city. In the car, Bai Chen looked through the car window and surveyed the city he had never been to before, realizing, although the small city didn't have the skyscrapers, wide avenues, and elevated buildings of the big city, it had its own unique flavor. Half the city is cozy, half the city is beautiful. The distant Sunshine Mountain is covered with a layer of snow and the white clouds on the blue sky into one. When you pass by the Arai Sea, you can still see a water bird circling freely on the lake. This a water fragrance dense small city, really as a beautiful landscape painting general unforgettable. Road vehicle horn. Vendors may also be very noisy, but this hustle and bustle will not be distracted. But there is a kind of childhood home the kind of fireworks in general. People feel at ease. The pace of life is also slow and comfortable. Even lazy. No wonder some people will choose to come to this kind of place to retire. If, if I were fine, I would probably choose to come to a place like this and spend the rest of my life in peace, right? The journey from the station to the old city wasn't long. After almost 20 minutes or so, they arrived at their destination. After paying the fare and getting out of the car, Bai Chen saw the ancient and solemn city gate building, a green stone paved pathway winding out of the city, and some people dressed as characters of the journey to the west taking pictures with tourists at the entrance. Bai Chen didn't stop at the entrance and walked towards the ancient city. As it was midday, the, because it is midday, there are not many tourists in the ancient city at this time, appearing to be by a hint of quiet, walking in the green stone paved path, beside a clear brook slowly flowing, looking at the street on both sides of the ancient colorful residential small buildings, all kinds of stores, Bai Chen suddenly felt the rich warm and simple national flavor, as for the BNBS, it was even more of a walk to see one, in front of the wooden door of each bed and breakfast, there was a small blackboard, on which, in addition to some cute and adorable hand paintings, there are also some beautiful couplets on the board, such as, bamboos through the clouds, ancient mauve is quiet, the breeze comes to the tourist's sorrow, the mountains and the water are so beautiful, the ancient charm is so beautiful, between the Tsangshan Mountains and the Arai Sea, the ancient city is over a thousand years old, etc, 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 as each of the lodgings seemed to be full of the flavor of a small courtyard, they were all quite nice. Bai Chen had a bit of trouble choosing what to go for. After wandering around in this not-so-small ancient city for a whole half hour, Bai Chen is also a bit unable to resist. See not far away there is a bed and breakfast. Then walk straight to the past intends to take a look and then say. After walking over, in front of the door of this BNB, there was a staircase made of stones, and some flowers and plants were planted next to it. Above the gate was a wooden sign that looked a bit old, with the words, In Yun Shao Yuan, written on it. Below the wooden plate is a small couplet. The mountains and water are dense. The song around the ancient city beads turn. Just see Bai Chin read once in a low voice, then also not in the tangled. Carrying luggage will walk in. After stepping through the courtyard door, appeared in front of the eyes is a beautiful front yard. In the center of the courtyard, 
there was a rockery with flowing water, and the soil around it was planted with some purple bamboos, flowers and grasses, as well as some succulents planted on stone platforms piled up by strange stones, all of which looked fat and plump. Not only that, in one of the southeast corners there was also a gazebo with a tea table, and beside the gazebo there was also a swing, as well as a small hammock, but it is obvious, that this small hammock was not meant for people, because there was a big golden hair that looked like it had a clear brow was lying on it, eyes slightly closed, lazily basking in the sun, and at this moment, the, the big golden hair seemed to notice that Bai Chen had walked in, and after opening his eyes and taking a look at Bai Chen, he actually raised his head and nodded in the direction of the living room next to the front desk, it seemed to be signaling Bai Chen to go over, seeing this incomparably spiritual appearance of the big golden hair, Bai Chen also smiled, and then walked down the path in the direction of the living room, walking into the living room, he saw sofas, tables, and other unique wooden furniture, however, there was no one to be seen behind a counter in the shape of a guitar in front of them, anyone, boss, accommodation, anyone, Bai Chen faintly called out twice before no one answered, could it be that the boss wasn't here, just as Bai Chen wondered where the boss of this place had gone, the golden hair outside the door suddenly walked in, and after nodding his head two more times at Bai Chen, his eyes seemed to carry a hint of helplessness as he headed for a dark door in the corner of the living room, eh, did he go to call out to the boss of this place, although I don't know if my guess is right, but I've come, let's wait for a while then, afterwards, Bai Chen then wandered around the living room, only to see that on the right hand wall of the living room here was what appeared to be a pentagram, with some artificially drawn little notes on it, on the left side was a wall of photos, but what was special was that these photos weren't some traveler's scenic photos, but some similar photos of bands and musicians with this BNB, and just as Bai Chen wanted to see if he could find the owner of this BNB in these photos, a voice suddenly came from behind himself, these are some of the folk singers and bands that have come to stay here, hearing this sudden movement from behind him, Bai Chen turned around to take a look, then he saw, a hair clad, of a big man appeared in front of his eyes, it was only that the big man looked as if he was in his thirties, with long, artful hair, and a physique that appeared a bit lanky, after the big man looked at Bai Chen and smiled, he continued to point his finger at one of the photos above and said, here, the one on top of this one is Zhao Lei, he wasn't even on fire back then, this one is XX, this is triple X, listening to the boss's tone that seemed a bit like he was showing off, Bai Chen smiled and said, worthy of being boss you, you really live up to your name, the big man froze for a moment after hearing this, and looked at Bai Chen in confusion and said, you, have you heard of my story, no, you have stories written all over your face, boss you, just kidding, just kidding, it's not the banner on this picture that says, happy birthday to boss you, Bai Chen said as he pointed to a group photo, and in the center of the group photo was none other than this big man, listening to Bai Chen's words, boss you also laughed and stretched out his right hand, haha little brother speaks with quite a sense of humor, but I am indeed the boss here, your name is Yu, Yu Hong, are you here to stay, do you want me to show you the room first, sure, show me around, let's go, just leave your luggage here, after the two casually exchanged a few words, Yu Hong led Bai Chen up to the third floor, while walking, boss you also generally nagged and said, I'd say you've come at the right time, little brother, if it was a little later, if it's the tourist season, it'll be hard to find a place to stay, not only will it be hard to find a place to stay, but the prices will be much more expensive, here we are, take a look here, this is the best room here, you can see the whole of the old city with the window open, and Sanshan Mountain is right behind it, you go in first and take a look, 301, looking at his room number, Bai Chen nodded, after boss you opened the door to the room and Bai Chen walked in, he immediately felt a brightening before his eyes, the entire room seemed to be decorated by some kind of wood with some carvings, while the walls were hung with some embroidered paintings, it looked simple but not monolithic, and it smelled of a fresh scent of grass and wood, and the bed here was a very big round bed, it just looked very soft, and the sofa, TV and all other furniture were there as well, the light blue curtains on the side had some graceful patterns embroidered on them, and when you pulled them open you could see the ancient city below, while on the other side there was an oversized floor-to-ceiling window, through which you could see the entire Tsangshan mountain in its entirety. When you come to the bed, you can only see a small wooden sign in the shape of a love heart hanging on one side of the bed, with some warnings written on it, and this room is also equipped with a not-so-small rooftop, on which there is a parasol, some wooden chairs and tables, and a Taiwanese chair, overall look down are quite good. Afterwards, Bai Chen then turned his head to look at Boss Yu and asked, How much does this room cost a night? this room is the biggest one I have here, so it's a bit more expensive, 388 a night, after saying that, the boss seemed to have thought of something, he hurriedly added, 
Of course, the other rooms are also very nice, just a little smaller, but it's big enough for you to stay alone. Those rooms are 188 288 a night. Do you want to take another look? Listening to boss use words, Bai Chen shook his head after thinking for a while and said, No need, this is it. Although 388 was indeed a little bit expensive for accommodation, it wasn't that expensive if we're talking about this kind of BNB with a decent environment. Having come here, then it's time to spend and play and have fun. After Bai Chen confirmed his stay, Boss Yu then very enthusiastically brought his luggage up from downstairs. Right. I'll have to trouble you to come down with me and do the check-in procedures for you. Check-in procedures? Bai Chen was a bit puzzled. In his own thought that this kind of BNB does not need to do some formalities. Looking at Bai Chen's somewhat surprised gaze, Boss Yu smiled and said, We're a regular bed and breakfast. Some formalities still need to be done. We are not like some of the BNB. At night, you can also sneak in and stuff small cards to you. It's very messy. Small cards? Hey, 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 hey. Of course, Bai Chen is not interested in such things as small cards. Because, generally speaking, the quality of small cards is generally not very good. Cough, cough. Afterwards, Bai Chen walked down the stairs while chatting with the boss. Eh, by the way, I see you're carrying a guitar. You quite like music too? He only saw Boss Yu fiddling with the computer's operating system while raising his eyes to look at Bai Chen and asked. And Bai Chen shrugged his shoulders and said, somewhat flatly, usually like to write random stuff and sing it myself. As soon as Bai Chen's words fell, he saw Boss Yu laugh after raising his eyebrows and said, can write songs? That can be ah, you've come to the right place. After all, most of the people who live here are friends who like to make music, but now they are all going out to play. So I'll bring you to meet them when you have the chance and exchange ideas together. And staying here, you can sing whenever you want. And the rooms are soundproof. You don't have to worry about disturbing other people. By the way, can I have your ID card? Boss Yu said as he operated the check-in system. Bai Chen sniffed and then handed over his ID card. To be honest, the atmosphere here is quite helpful for you to write songs. Maybe at some point, you'll be able to write a hit song with a flash of insight. Eh, are you staying for a few days? Stay. Let's stay for three days first. Good. Wait a while. It'll be done soon. Just as Bai Chen was waiting to check in. But suddenly. The next second. Holy shit. Only Boss Yu suddenly exclaimed in shock and. Immediately afterward. He raised his head violently and looked at Bai Chen. What? What's wrong? Boss Yu's reaction gave Bai Chen a shock as well. Only to see that Boss Yu didn't say anything either. But looked down at the ID card in his hand. And then looked up at Bai Chen. With. With a few moments of unbelief in his eyes. And a few moments of expectation. He opened his mouth and tried to say, You, are you Bai Chen? In the face of boss used doubt, Bai Chen, who had already prepared for this, smiled and waved his hand, saying, How can I be that Bai Chen? It just so happens to be a coincidence. Every time someone hears my name, it's the same reaction you have. Right, have you finished checking in yet? In the face of Bai Chen's words, Yu's eyes clearly showed a touch of skepticism. However, due to the fact that the photo on Bai Chen's ID card was from his previous high school days, while now he was sporting a big stubble and long hair look. Da. So Boss Yu just narrowed his eyes and scrutinized Bai Chen for a while before he smiled and waved his hand and said, Oops sorry sorry, I thought it was. Ha ha, I got a little emotional. Check in is done. This is the room key. Saying that, Boss Yu then handed Bai Chen the room key along with his ID card. Okay trouble. Just after seeing Bai Chen receive the key and his ID card, he turned around and went up to the third floor. Da. Boss Yu. On the other hand, was at the front desk, wrinkling his brows and staring at Bai Chen's back, his pupils flickering, only to see Bai Chen who returned to his room just briefly rinsed off before lying down on the bed. Originally, what he wanted was to lie down and swipe his cell phone, rest a little and then go out to eat a lunch. But he didn't think. After lying down for not even a minute, a slight snoring sound rang out. Perhaps the two days of traveling really makes people very tired, or dolly really when people feel very relaxed, restful, causing Bai Chen to open his eyes again when it it was already evening. At this moment, the sun was setting in the west, and, the reddish light illuminated the white clouds in the sky, and some of the sunlight was shining through the gaps in the clouds in the shape of a dispersed office haloing a layer of beautiful light on top of the ancient city. At this moment, this beautiful light seems to give the whole ancient city a layer of psychedelic light veil, looks exceptionally beautiful and full of charm. At this moment, Bai Chen, standing on the balcony, holding a pot of fragrant poor tea in his hand, blowing the cozy Irai wind, appreciated this gorgeous moment. In this moment, Bai Chen was suddenly thinking, if it wasn't for his own physical reasons, 
Perhaps he wouldn't have developed the idea of traveling, then wouldn't he have missed this scene, this moment, and, this was just the first stop, thinking about it, seeing his thoughts drifting further and further away, Bai Chen immediately shook his head to get rid of the thoughts in his head, afterwards, he turned around and returned to his room, casually tidied up a bit, and headed downstairs, after resting, it was also a good time to rest, now that it's cooler, it's time to take a good stroll around this thousand year old city full of charm, yo going out for a stroll, little brother, when I came to the first floor, I saw Boss Yu, who was fiddling with a guitar, look up, aha, going out for a stroll while it's cool, hearing Bai Chen's words, Boss Yu nodded and said, indeed, it's too hot to stroll around with the sun shining during the day, and the ancient city at night is not only cooler, but also a bit more lively, oh by the way, are you free at night, at night, there shouldn't be anything, why, Bai Chen had a somewhat puzzled look at Boss Yu, nothing much either, if you have nothing to do at night, if you're not doing anything at night, you can come to this tavern and have a drink together, this tavern is also owned by me, it's right over by the south gate, let's have some fun and get to know each other, mountain grass tree house, facing boss Yu's invitation, Bai Chen didn't refuse, nodded and smiled, saying, okay, I'll come over tonight if there's nothing else, okay I won't bother you to stroll around the ancient city, see you tonight, bye, after saying hello, Bai Chen leisurely walked out of the BNB, at this moment, although it was evening, but the streets of the entire ancient city were very lively, with the sounds of tourists laughing, buyers hawking, there are too many to count, there are also some young ladies and brothers in ethnic costumes, standing on the street to take photos with travelers, and there were all kinds of snacks on the street, among them, Bai Chin bought a local specialty food, it's called something like roasted milk fan, it tasted like milk, not bad, but the flavor was still a bit uncomfortable for Bai Chin to eat, here in addition to a lot of snacks, the stalls are also all kinds of colors, in a variety of stalls there will always be a small commodity that makes your eyes light up, such as some wooden bracelets, shiny necklaces and so on some small commodities, but that is to say small commodities, take a look at the price, it's not cheap, it's basically 50 to 100 dollars, luckily, Ai Chin is a boy, if a girl comes to shop, then, if it was a girl who came to shop, she would probably be able to empty her wallet if she shopped down one street, Bai Chen was just wandering around alone with nothing to do. Hello, do you need divination? Excuse me, do you need divination? On the street, a young lady wearing a long black dress with a veil covering most of her face sat cross-legged behind a square piece of cloth, holding a deck of tarot cards in her hand and politely asking the travelers coming and going. But the strange thing was, this woman also seemed to have a walking stick beside her. Divination? Bai Chen turned his head to look, only to see that there was a small blackboard in front of this girl, on which was written, divination, divination, the answers you want are all here, surname reading, $15, face reading, $25, divination, $38, this price is honestly, it is not very expensive, but these are undoubtedly not fortune tellers that set of words, this divination divination and so on may be a bit childish for children, but for adults like yourself, such as 2677 is just right, thinking, Bai Chen came in front of her, hello, do you need divination? The girl looked at Bai Chen and asked with a smile as her one eye curved into a crescent moon shape. Is it accurate? Bai Chen said with a raised eyebrow. Accurate or not? Don't you know after the divination? Saying that. Then she saw the girl turn around and take out a stool from a backpack behind her for Bai Chen to sit down. After seeing this, Bai Chen also smiled and sat down without saying anything more. So we'll start then? Now, please close your eyes and mentally think about what you want to ask. Open your eyes when I'm done talking. After Bai Chen heard this, he also obediently closed his eyes and waited. Afterwards, then he heard a low murmuring sound coming into his ears. This girl seemed to be chanting something in general. All right, you can open your eyes now. After almost a minute or so, Bai Chen opened his eyes. He then saw four sets of cards appear on the black cloth in front of him. Now please pick a set of cards. The answer you want is inside. Listening to the girl's words, Bai Chen looked at the deck of cards in front of him and pondered for a while before pointing to the second group and saying, This one. Okay. Saying that. Then she saw the girl turn over the four cards in the second group, only to see that among these four cards, there was one with what seemed to be a magician on it, one with what looked a bit like a mage's staff on it, and the remaining two were unreadable as to what they were. This, what does it represent? Looking at the four cards, Bai Chen questioned with some curiosity, and this first magician card, represents development potential. It means that you're doing things right now that are still going relatively smoothly but there might be some accidents in the middle of the process that don't go the way you expected in your mind. This second card is the scepter, which represents conflict. Though it won't hurt anyone, 
just your own inner mind. The third card is, all in all, the hint given by this deck is, the end result doesn't matter anymore. You don't have to feel anxious because it's your growth in the process that counts. That's pretty much what it means. What you just had in mind should be, about with the results and such, right? How was it? It's not bad, right? Listening to the results of the girl's divination, a flash of surprise appeared in by Chan's eyes. And, yo it's okay, pretty good, 38, right? Aha, uh -huh. do you want to do some other math? Give you a discount. Hearing the girl's words, Bai Chen waved his hand and laughed, saying, I still have some things to do, I'll come back to you to count if I have the chance next time. Sweep past, bye, bye. After saying that, Bai Chen got up and left this divination stall after a polite and courteous conversation with the girl. To be honest, during the divination just now, in fact, Bai Chen hadn't thought about anything in his heart, he was purely emptying his mind, because in that instant, he really couldn't think of any questions he wanted to ask, but I have to say, the hints or metaphors represented in this divination, it's kinda interesting, after all, whether it's divination or fortune telling, in fact, regardless of whether it's spiritual or not, believe it or not, what people like is just the advice it gives you and the feeling of letting you slowly change for the better, after leaving the girl's divination stall, after leaving the girl's divination stall, Bai Chen continued to wander around the ancient streets filled with white-walled and green-tiled buildings. Along the way, he also bought a Tsubaki chicken claw, which was quite tasty and spicy. The book picks up where the previous one left off. Above that corner of the formation, someone shouted out, Lu Bu, don't go wild. Yen Man Zhang Fei has arrived. Just as Bai Chen was eating his chicken claws, he suddenly heard a high-pitched and loud voice from not far away, walking over to take a look. Yo ho! Only to see that under the big tree in front of a small bookstore, a storyteller wearing a white cloth coat was sitting in front of a small four-sided desktop, and was talking about books with his hands and voice, pulling in customers for the bookstore. Listening to the content should be talking about the three kingdoms. In his surroundings are also surrounded by a lot of people. Here the wonderful place will be applauded and applauded together. Seeing a scene by Chen is also extremely interested in, although the story of the three kingdoms themselves know, but their own look and this kind of storyteller to tell the feeling is completely different. After watching this for a while, Bai Chen turned around and left the place. Walking like this, unknowingly, the sky has long been darkened. At this time, the ancient city is also brightly lit. Looks more lively. Bai Chen, who had been strolling around for several hours in a row, was a bit tired at this time, so he searched for the tavern that Boss Yu had mentioned in the afternoon. He planned to go over there to take a look and have a rest. According to the directions that Boss Yu had mentioned, Bai Chen walked south for almost 10 minutes before, he saw the, mountain grass, tavern that Boss Yu had mentioned, only a row of wooden fences surrounded the tavern, and inside the fences were some flowers and plants, on both sides of the plaque above the wooden door, there were two lanterns hanging, and outside the tavern was a cloth sign that read, welcome to the mountain grass tavern, there are both stories and alcohol here, today's performance band is not available at the moment, free show, is this the place, Shiratsu murmured before walking in, one cup to freedom, one cup to death. Forgive my mediocrity to spell the confusion. Only when he walked in, a familiar and incomparable melody came from it. Looking up, only to see that on a small raised platform in the center of the tavern, a young man with a mustache was playing a guitar and singing White Tatsu's dissipation with a hoarse, hissing voice with an intoxicated face. The surrounding guests in twos and threes were sipping their glasses of wine while listening to the song, while some were chatting with their friends. The entire tavern was decorated in that kind of solid wood that was on the retro side making it look very cozy and the atmosphere very relaxing. Hello here. Just as Bai Chen was wandering around the tavern, he suddenly heard someone seemingly shouting after himself and, turning his head to take a look, he saw that in one corner of the tavern, the bearded, burly man Yu Hong was waving at himself with great enthusiasm. Beside him were two men who looked to be in their thirties. When Yu Hong saw Bai Chen, he immediately came over and put his arm around Bai Chen's shoulder and said, How's this little tavern? I'm here to drink and listen to songs and chat and if you want to sing, you can go up and sing, there's nothing messy, well, that's good, but you've opened a B&B &B and a bar, are you too busy, hey, 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 rhubarb, the golden hair, listening to Yu Hong's words, Bai Chen instantly wanted to laugh. Are they all so casual? Go go go. Let's drink together. Yu Hong said and then pulled Bai Chen to a wooden table in front of him. Then he pointed at one of the brothers with long curly hair and said, Introduce. This is Fan Chang, a drummer. This is Zhou Qing, 
a bass player. They are all friends who play music together. Listening to Yu Hong's introduction, Bai Chen smiled and nodded his head with the two men. And just as Yu Hong was about to introduce Bai Chen, but paused for a moment, after a few seconds before saying, This, this is Mr. Bai, here for a few days. Mr. Bai, only Fan Chang and Zhou Qing's eyes flashed for a moment after hearing this title. After all, the word teacher was not used casually, especially in terms of this circle. Calling each other teacher either had a background or a work of strength, then this teacher Bai was. Actually, it wasn't just them who were puzzled. Bai Chen was a bit surprised. Although it was said that this boss Yu was quite warm and polite, but impolite is not so much as to only know the first day to address yourself like this, right? Just as a few people were having their own thoughts, Yu Hong said from the sidelines, Come come come, have a seat. Do you want some beer or something else? I'll call someone to make you one? Hearing Yu Hong's words, Bai Chen waved his hand. No need, just drink the beer. Afterward, Bai Chen drank while listening to them chatting about some idle knocks. Eh, are you all locals here? Drinking Bai Chen suddenly looked at a few people with a bit of curiosity and asked. Because while chatting, Bai Chen realized that the three of them were speaking Mandarin, not the dialect of this place. Listening to Bai Chen's words, Yu Hong on the side smiled and said, I'm not local, this old Zhou and old Zhao are from here. Oh then you are settled here now? Listening to Bai Chen's words, Yu Hong took a sip of his wine before shaking his head and saying, Settled, not really, it's just that I feel like it's a good place to stay, so I've stayed here for a long time where I'll be in the future. I'm not sure. Oh, are you a band? I've heard you guys say that you have performances and stuff. Bai Chen suddenly looked at Yu Hong who was at the side and asked. He was a bit curious because he had just heard them chatting about some singing stuff. Hearing Bai Chen's question, Yu Hong then waved his hand and laughed, saying, it's not exactly a regular band. It's just a group of like-minded people who play together. The so-called performance. It's just some music lovers who live here and have parties from time to time, and we'll go to them for fun. A music party? Such an atmosphere was indeed quite good. Bai Chen nodded slightly. Eh by the way, are you interested in going up and singing? The equipment I have here are pretty good. And right at this moment, Yu Hong suddenly looked at Bai Chen and said, with an inexplicable glint in his eyes, only to see that before Bai Chen could say anything, the two Zhou Qings on the side started to coax. Eh yeah, didn't you say that mister? Bai often writes songs. We also write a lot of gadgets. Why don't we exchange ideas? If you want a backing track, we'll play it for you, or we can play the audio for you. Come one come one. There was an air of watching the show in the eyes of the two Zhou Qing men. Of course, it wasn't the kind of watching a show with hostile intent, but rather the kind that wanted to see what kind of ingredients this teacher Bai was in the end. And at this moment, perhaps it was because Bai Chen was slightly drunk, or perhaps he was influenced by the atmosphere here, and he himself kinda wanted to sing casually. Since he was interested, he would sing. So Bai Chen nodded and said, all right, let's sing it will then. Cool do you need help with the tuning? Getting the tone a little wetter or drier? No need. Do you have a guitar? I have mine at my place. Harm that's a good thing. Said. Soon, Yu Hong brought a pretty good guitar and handed it to Bai Chen. And without much embarrassment or shyness or anything, Bai Chen directly came to the small elevated stage and found a chair to sit in front of the microphone. He didn't say much. After sitting in front of the microphone and lowering his head to fumble with the chords for a bit, he... He squinted his eyes and frowned, began to fluctuate in the hands of the guitar slowly saying, Are you not satisfied with your life? I haven't laughed in a long time, and I don't know why, since otherwise happy and don't like it here. Why don't we go all the way west? Go to Dali. After listening to Bai Chen's voice that was full of graininess and full of stories, Zhou Chang and Fan Chang were both shocked for a moment. Is this a random song? Two people are also playing music to play some years. This Bai Chen as soon as he opened his mouth. The two knew that this person was the type that really had strength, and what was even more surprising was that, this song he hadn't heard before, he wrote it, song, going to Dali lyrics slash composer, Hao Yun, while Zhou Qing and the two of them were surprised, Yu Hong on the side was looking at Bai Chen in front of him with an excited face, he, he was definitely Bai Chen, the Bai Chen from two years ago, there's no mistaking it, although the current Bai Chen's appearance had changed a bit, and his temperament was completely different from before, but his demeanor when he sings, as well as some of his habitual small gestures will never change. For example, Jia liked to lower his waist when he sang high notes, and Shui couldn't stop his hands from singing, like he had ADHD. Bai Chen, on the other hand, would have the habit of tilting his head and frowning slightly when he sang slow songs eyes slightly closed. A kind of, eh? A kind of half-dead devotion? Hey whatever. It's exactly the same anyway is exactly the same ah. In fact, in the beginning when he saw Bai Chen, Yu Hong felt a little familiar. 
So he thought to contact to see if it was really that by Chen. So he thought about him to the bar to play a game together. I didn't expect. I really guessed right. However, it seemed that Yu Hong was the only one in the room who recognized him, but it was understandable. After all, Bai Chen is not the kind of heavenly king level fire for more than 10 years of characters, is a person no? Plus in fact, most people have only heard of Bai Chen sang a few songs just, and if you don't see the name on Bai Chen's ID card, maybe you won't even think about it. After all, two years of hiding, it's really been too long. I never thought that I would actually meet Bai Chen here, who has been missing for so long, this is really lucky. Just as Yu Hong was secretly excited, Bai Chen on the stage continued his fight. Bai Chen on the stage continued to use the calm voice to tell. The journey is a little rough the air is a little thin. The wider the view, the lonelier the heart. I don't know who's waiting where. I don't know the later of the later. At this moment, quite a few people in the tavern were attracted by Bai Chen's song, and were looking over with some curiosity. While some pulled out their cell phones to record this moment, this ballad, it was a bit interesting. At the beginning, the song seemed a bit confused and disheveled, not knowing what he was going to do. But the second line, going to Dolly, it's as if the clouds have been lifted from the sky, and the feeling of disillusionment is banished. Once I heard that, a scene will come to mind, and with the aroma of the wine, many people who were drinking were completely immersed in this calming song. At this moment, in another corner of the tavern, the girl who had divined for Bai Chen before had come here at some point, and seemed to be divining for the guests at the corner table. At this moment, however, because Bai Chen, that table couldn't care less about divination or anything else, and focused on listening to the song, and the girl also put down the tarot cards in her hands, a little surprised to look at Bai Chen not far away, only to see that while everyone was immersed in this wonderful and incomparable moment, suddenly, Bai Chen's head tilted slightly, his eyebrows tightened, and his voice suddenly rose a few tones to sing, whose head doesn't have dust on it, whose shoulders haven't had teeth marks, maybe love is waiting by the RIC, maybe the story is happening, the song was simple, no matter the words, or the song, without any flashy embellishments, and Bai Chen has no hissing shouts, no high-pitched high notes, this with that bland single guitar tone, accompanied by his own singing voice full of storytelling, with such a simple song, he sang everyone in the mountain grass tavern at this time, quite a few people were mesmerized by it, even after the tune ended, many people frowned slightly, this, this is gone? How come it's gone? Right. Sing it for a bit longer. Little brother. This song has so much feeling. Let's do it again. Looking at the group's invitation, Bai Chen quickly waved his hand and said with a smile, I'll just sing a few lines at random, so I won't bother you all. You guys keep drinking. You guys continue. With that said, Bai Chen then walked down with his guitar. The people in the tavern sighed when they saw this, and didn't say anything in more uproar. After all, people singing is their freedom. Not singing is also their freedom it just feels a bit of a pity. While others were directly taking out their cell phones to search for the lyrics of the song Bai Chen had just sung, but they found, can't search for the song at all. Tisk it's not bad for Mr. Bai, this ballad can be written so well. Just after he came down, he saw Yu Hong get up and applauded, listening to Yu Hong's words, and combining them with some of his previous performance, Bai Chen's eyes narrowed slightly. He also guessed that Yu Hong must have guessed something, but after all, everyone was an adult. Not everything would be lifted to the surface to be said. So Bai Chen also nodded and laughed, saying, Ugh no no no. Randomly written. Sit sit sit. This Bai Chen's words just fell. Then he saw Zhou Qing take a sip of wine and looked at Bai Chen and said, Aya, uh, Mr. Bai, don't be so modest. I've written a few ballads myself, but they're nothing compared to yours. You're so good at this, but what I've written is just a pile of shit. Alas. Fan Cheng on the side also shook his head inside. Mr. By this song is indeed absolute ah, the words are simple but not simple, every sentence is very poke the heart, are talking about myself the same ah, listening to the words of the two, Bai Chen also picked up a cup of wine and laughed, saying, hey, 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 don't say that, in fact, songwriting, there is no such thing as good or bad, especially for ballads, what you write is what you want to write, isn't singing about stories, ideals, far away, come on, 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 TSK, 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 stories, ideals, faraway places, Mr. I said it well, drink one, for this line, I'll blow one, come on, come on, after the four clinked glasses and drank it all, 
Yu Hong looked at Bai Chen again and asked, smilingly, By the way Mr. Bai, what's the name of that song you just sang? It's called Going to Dali. Bai Chen said while chucking a piece of padded cucumber and pressing it slightly. Going to Dali. Good. But I guess this song should have been written before you came to Dali. Right? Listening to Yu Hong's words, Bai Chen slightly raised his eyebrows and, Hmm, why do you say that? Looking at Bai Chen's somewhat puzzled expression, Yu Hong then put on a serious look and said, Because there's no love by the RIC, and there's no little sister who'll frown at you. Only, only the Simones in the ancient city will smile at you and ask you to buy her colorful rope. Bai Chen, ha 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 ha, just kidding just kidding, should I say no, with this look of Mr. Bai, it's quite popular with the girls here. This look? Bai Chen touched his stubble after sniffing and shook his head and laughed without speaking. But the next second, he heard a burst of hot air coming from his ear. Handsome man, were you the one who went up to sing just now? The singing was really good. Do you mind? Would you like to get acquainted? Let's play together? Turning his head, he saw a woman in a colorful dress come beside Bai Chen at an unknown time, staring directly at him with a pair of seductive eyes. Seeing this scene, Bai Chen instantly froze then sent out a look signaling for help to Yu Hong and the others, but without ever thinking about it, the Yu Hong and these few people, actually didn't come out to say anything and looked at Bai Chen with a smirk in their eyes as they watched the show, Aya, uh, don't be shy, little brother, didn't you just sing, maybe, the story is happening, facing the young lady's eyes that looked as if she wanted to eat herself, it was almost as if she was going to pull the wool over her eyes, Bai Chen then waved his hands and politely refused for a while, in the end, after seeing that it was hopeless, the young lady only picked up a glass of wine and said, somewhat regretfully, all right, then one drink is fine, right? Sorry. Bai Chen also picked up a glass of beer and clinked a glass with her before drinking it all in one go. Afterwards, the young lady sighed before going back to her table. TSK, 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 it's still Mr. Bai who has a lot of charisma. Ugh people can't even look at old men like us. Only to see Yu Hong also looked at Bai Chen and flirted with him with a smile. How come you rejected it mister? Bai, maybe this is the arrival of love? Listening to Yu Hong's words, Bai Chen rolled his eyes and said, Love is not a one night stand. You didn't see that look in her eyes. I can't stand it. I can't stand it at all. I'm not young anymore. I can't stand it. Listening to Bai Chen's words, several people seemed to think of something. Also all smiled. Indeed not young anymore ah. But then again, the song you sang just now, if it was after coming to Dali then it probably wouldn't have been written with the same feeling. Yu Hong said somewhat meaningfully after taking a sip of wine. Looking at Bai Chen's curious eyes, Yu Hong didn't rush to explain. Instead, he slowly said, Later, after 11 o'clock, take you to People's Road to see the Dali in the early morning. You may understand. Dali at that time is both realistic and unreal. Bai Chen nodded after hearing this and didn't ask anything more. Afterwards, a few people then drank while chattering. It was almost 11.30 when, Yu Hong then got up and shouted, Xiao Han, come over here, eh coming. Hearing this somewhat familiar voice, Bai Chen turned around and looked. He saw, the girl who had previously given herself divination on the streets of the ancient city, with a veil covering half of her face, walked over with a bit of a limp. What's wrong big brother you? I'm taking my friend out for a stroll. You help watch over it, and closed the door at 2 o'clock later. With that, Yu Hong took out the key to the tavern and handed it to the girl. Oh by the way, Later on, you remember to turn off the music in the bar. Remind the guests a little if they are too loud. Call me if you need anything. I'll go out first. After saying that, Yu Hong looked at Bai Chen and said, Let's go. Go out for a stroll. Ah, uh, Bai Chen and the girl glanced at each other with a slight nod and a smile to signal. Then followed Yu Hong out. At this moment, although it was already late at night, the ancient city was still bustling. The stores on both sides of the street have long been closed, but in their place are a variety of vendors occupying both sides of the road. There are holding ethnic clothing, hawking in the middle of the street. There are photographers who are shooting the night scene. There are holding up a cell phone in the live broadcast of the anchor, and so on and so forth. And the most is the stalls. Only to see them can be said to be a few cushions a guitar, can also be a piece of cloth and a postcard became a small stall. Compared to the hordes of tourists in the afternoon during the day, it seems that this time of the year is the real ancient city. Eh by the way, who was that girl just now? Your daughter? Bai Chen suddenly looked at Yu Hong and asked, only to see the corner of Yu Hong's mouth tugging at his words, Girl, Xiao Han, I'm not that old right, and I'm not even married, where would I get a daughter? She, can be said to be a little sister I recognized here. What? Bai Chen shrugged his shoulders and shook his head and said, Nothing, I just met her when I was wandering around this afternoon, she also helped me with my divination. 
Yo, that's quite a coincidence. Yu Hong's eyes flashed a trace of surprise, then he shook his head inside. In fact, this little girl is quite poor. She seems to have had a little incident before. Her legs became crippled. Resulting in this side of the mixed livelihood is not good mix. Not many people are willing to hire her. Some time ago, I saw her in my bar doing some kind of divination. After running into her a few times and learning about the situation, I kept her on. Usually just helps me look at the BNB in the bar. And helps take care of things like this. Oh you're quite a nice person. Listening to Bai Chen's words, Yu Hong shook his head and smiled and said, Our kind of music, it's all about emotion. Can't stand to see this. Of course, I'm just doing some small things. Mr. Bai, you're the one who really makes people feel admiration awe. Listening to Yu Hong's words, Bai Chen also smiled without saying anything. After the two of them had walked in the hot and bustling night alley of the ancient city for almost ten or so minutes like this, they, then they heard a burst of singing, laughter, and playfulness from not far ahead. Nothing can stop you, your desire for freedom. Only to see that not far away from the street, a group of youths of all colors were sitting in a circle, while bottles of wine were placed all around them. The person in the center was playing the guitar, and the people beside him were singing together in chorus the song that Bai Chen had sung on the train. Everyone's faces were filled with smiles, looking exceptionally happy, and there were many such scenes. Basically, if you walk about 10 steps, you can see a circle of literary youth gathered together. Some of them were drinking, some of them were singing, and some of them were laughing and crying when they had drunk too much. Even if they don't know each other, even if they come from the ends of the earth, it doesn't prevent them from finding like-minded friends here. Let's go. Go over and have a seat. Before Bai Chin could say anything, he was pulled over by Yu Hong and found an empty spot and sat down. Yo brother Yu is here? Your tavern is closed? Only the man who was just playing Blue Lotus saw Yu Hong and immediately got up and handed over two bottles of beer. Brought a friend over for a stroll. You guys play yourselves. Don't mind us. Okay Lu. Subsequently, the man continued to play and sing. And it sounded as if it was still an original song of his own. The melody sounded very comfortable and calm. The sea. Over there is the sea. The mountains. Over there is the mountain. Spring is bright on your side, and on my side. Listening to the man's raspy ballad voice, a hint of surprise flashed through Bai Chen's eyes. Oh this expert is in the folklore. Nice writing. Although it might not be considered very stunning, it was still pretty good to listen to. It was better than some love beans. Looking at Bai Chen's surprised expression, Yu Hong opened the wine in his hand and said, His name is Wangi, he's pretty awesome. If it wasn't for that incident in the past, he might be quite famous now. Ha, huh? Bai Chen gave Yu Hong a puzzled look, only to see Yu Hong take a sip of wine and say, he participated in a singing competition program in the past, and as long as he was in the top 10, he could be signed by the company and supported. At that time, his strength was also quite strong, than the strength of the top 3 if it does not matter. The back, to put it simply, it's a shady program. He was screwed, and when he found out, he was not convinced. He did some stupid things, which led to no company signing him and then he came here to stay. In his words, here you can forget everything. Bai Chen nodded thoughtfully after hearing this and then, suddenly asked, so has he forgotten? Ha! Huh? Yu Hong froze for a moment, looked at the empty bottles beside the man in a circle, shook his head and laughed. Who knows? Afterwards, the two listened to a song, and after exchanging pleasantries with Wangi, then they got up and continued to wander around. How does it feel? I wouldn't say the atmosphere here is unique in the country, but it's still relatively rare. Yu Hong slipped a bottle of beer that he had shunned from Wang Zun in one hand, pinched a cigarette in the other, and looked at Bai Chen. I feel quite good, quite like this spontaneous, free-spirited atmosphere. It even feels like everyone here is quite happy, quite happy, just like, just like, just when Bai Chen wanted to describe it, but couldn't think of how to say that word. Yu Hong smiled and said, it's like the utopia people talk about right? Utopia? Bai Chen smiled and didn't say anything. Yu Hong, on the other hand, took a big gulp of beer, shook his head inside, saying, it would be nice if this place was really a utopia. Ha, huh? if you live here for a long time, you'll realize that, the freedom and liberty here is not what you think it is. Everyone who comes here and indulges in it, is actually running away from something. False freedom has made this place a place of indulgence, misanthropy, laziness, promiscuity and even degradation for some young people. So it's just a utopia for people who want to run away and suck. The longer you stay here, the less you find yourself. So it's not so much about freedom and romance as it is about soulful confusion and nowhere else to go. Don't you think so? Listening to this big paragraph spoken by Yu Hong, after looking at the surrounding group of youths who were laughing incredibly loudly and drinking staggeringly, Bai Chen, 
Bai Chen shrugged his shoulders and smiled, saying, Life is so hard. It's nice to have a place to escape to, isn't it? After Bai Chen finished speaking, Yu Hong nodded after taking a deep breath. By the way, why did you come to Dali? And stayed here for so long? And also to escape from what? Listening to Bai Chen's words, Yu Hong shook his head and laughed after drinking half of the beer in his hand, saying, Because of a woman. A woman? Only to see a flash of light in Bai Chen's eyes. The kind of light that has melons to eat. Just like that. He looked at Yu Hong and waited for his following. Looking at Bai Chen's eyes that seemed to be glowing, Yu Hong immediately felt a group of dark clouds flying over his head. It's not as complicated as you think. It's that I came here 10 years ago to travel and met a girl, and then talked for a period of time, but at that time because I have to go after that so-called music dream, and then propose to break up, and then, split up? She didn't agree, so I just put my guitar on my back and left, and then, then the music dream didn't come true, and she disappeared when I came back here. I couldn't find her. Doesn't it feel like I'm kinda stupid? Ha 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 ha. Listening to Yu Hong's glib tone, Bai Chen laughed and said, Who's young and hasn't been stupid? That's right ha 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 ha. Although Yu Hong didn't explicitly say why he had been living here for the past 10 years, he did give an answer. But there are times when, maybe missing it is missing it. What about you? I drop white god. Why did you suddenly disappear for such a long time? If I hadn't run into you here, I'd have thought I'd been hidden for offending someone. And I almost didn't recognize you at first. After Yu Hong lit a cigarette, he looked at Bai Chen and asked with a bit of curiosity. Listening to Yu Hong's words of clear license, Bai Chen also smiled and said, Nothing much, just want to rest for a while, more out to see just. Yu Hong sniffed, also thought that is not Bai Chen think their fire is too sudden, a time is not ready, so he nodded and said, That's right, it's good to settle down. After all, you're so hot, there will be a number of entertainment companies, commercial cooperation to find you, and then there is no opportunity to calm down to write a song. It's getting late. Let's go back and rest first. Let's go. On the way back, the two also encountered a drunken man who stood by the wall of the residential housing to urinate. Yu Hong saw it and went up and scolded, scaring the man away. Then he said a bit helplessly, Alas to be honest, there are some people here who are looking for freedom, indulgence and what not, but the quality is a bit low. Drunkenly urinating and vomiting everywhere, even singing at 4 or 5 in the morning, Sometimes it's really noisy. Bai Chen shook his head and laughed at his words. It can't be helped. Maybe what they do sometimes is not good. But it's also them that have this different atmosphere here. Maybe it's the good and the bad. That's what made Dolly what it is now. TSK. Kind of makes sense. Finally. It was already 2 in the morning when the two returned to the BNB. After returning to their room. Probably also a little tired. On top of the fact that they drank quite a lot of wine today. Bai Chen didn't even bother to take a shower directly to the bed ally, the legs of a stirrups, eh you guess what, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that, the time came to the early morning, a man who has just returned home after working overtime and has messy hair is happily lying on his bed with his left leg resting on his right leg, brushing his jitterbugs, at this moment, maybe it is the most relaxing time for many people, just as the man finished watching the last short video of a long-legged sister dancing, his thumb slid slightly upward and, ready to brush through these last billion bars and go to bed, a quiet, soft guitar sound came out lazily. Isn't it not too happy with life? Haven't smiled in a long time. Listening to the grainy vocals. The, the man was giggling one second because he was looking at his long-legged sister. But the next second he suddenly closed his two large incisors that were exposed. This, is it time? It's time to e? Thinking that, he got up and lit a cigarette. Looking at the man in the video, who was singing under the somewhat dim light. The man frowned slightly, his pupils fluttering slightly. Himself. It seemed like it had been a really long, long time since he had laughed, even though he was smiling just now. The joy. It was only temporary. A flash in the pan. Since I'm not happy and I don't like it here, why don't we go all the way west to Dolly? To Dolly? Listening to the song, the man shook his head with a bitter smile. What's going on lately? One minute nothing can stop and the next going to Dolly. Although listening to the song, one's heart was yearning for a distant landscape, but it's just a longing, a fantasy in my head. You can't just quit your job and go traveling. After all, I have a life to live. After listening to the song, after listening to the song, the man shook his head inside, put out the cigarette in his hand, then turned off the light, lay back on the bed and closed his eyes. Time passes by one minute by one second. Almost after more than a child, the man who should have been asleep suddenly jerked up. The man who was supposed to be asleep suddenly jerked his eyes open and, fuck, to Dolly. At the same time, Many people who heard the song on short video sites were up and attracted, searching for Dolly. 
Looking at the descriptions of Dali on the internet and on the video, it was a place that filled a lot of people's hearts with beautiful fantasies and expectations for this place. I'm sure I'll have to go to Dali when I have the chance. Yes, life in Dali must be very good, right? I was going to go there this year, but I was delayed by other things, so I'll definitely go next year. I'd like to open a small bar there when I have some money, and maybe Dali will let you down, but no matter what, you're still welcome. With the video being liked by more and more people, the discussion, it even made the word Dali a buzzword at one point, and the word Dali also continued to provoke many people's inner hearts, the desire to escape. And by Chen, who was sleeping, did not expect that. The songs he had unintentionally sung along the way would soon cause a wave after wave of tourist craze. Time came to the next day. Originally, Yu Hong intended to take Bai Chen to the Arai Sea, Sanshan Mountain, Butterfly Spring and other attractions to play a little, but the weather was not favorable. But there was no way that the weather was not favorable, and a gentle rain fell in the dim sky, obviously not suitable for traveling. So Bai Chen took advantage of this weather and simply nestled in the house and slept comfortably until more than 2 o'clock before getting up. Oomph, 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 oomph. After getting up, Bai Chen hummed a little song while casually washing up before carrying his guitar to the rooftop. Nothing to do today hookah. Ahem. A little singing for a while. Watching the gentle rain fall from the gray hazy sky, enveloping the ancient city. The water on the green stone road reflects the streets and stores on both sides of the road. It was as if the entire town had been turned upside down feeling the gentle breeze and the fine rain of the clouds at. For a moment, Bai Chen had an extraordinarily relaxed, cozy feeling. Then he sat down on a chair with a cozy smile on his face and, after seemingly thinking of what song to sing to himself, Bai Chen's fingers then gently strummed on the guitar, sending out a beautiful light-hearted melody, and hummed it casually. It's a simple little love song, singing about the twists and turns of people's hearts. I think I'm happy when there's your warmth. The air around my feet turns, although Bek Tatsu's song wasn't loud. But since it was quiet all around, so Bek Tatsu's song accompanied by the ticking of the light rain, it slowly came down from upstairs. The big golden hair downstairs seemed to have sensed something, and poked his head out of his nest, and glanced upstairs at the rooftop. Woof woof woof. Grinning, he wagged his tail as if he was barking in agreement with something. Meanwhile, Xiao Han, who was downstairs cleaning up with a mop, noticed the faint. After the beautiful singing, she also stopped the action in her hands. Eyes flashed a trace of novelty. Quiet side ear listening. This is a simple little love song. Singing about the dove in our hearts. I think I'm well suited to be a singer-songwriter. Youth floats in the wind. Tisk as expected of the white god. Up so early to open your voice. Yu Hong was seen walking out of his room with his hair scattered and rubbing two dark circles under his eyes. It was obvious that. Had also just woken up. It's not early. It's already two o'clock big brother you. HM, two o'clock? Hearing Xiao Han's reminder. Yu Hong glanced at his cell phone in a bit of a daze. Indeed, it's more than two o'clock. He had just gotten up and looked out the window to see that it was a bit dark, and thought that it was only seven or eight o'clock. Hey, I overslept again. Xiao Han, help me make a cup of tea and send it up to. Said Yu Hong suddenly paused for a moment, without any trace of sweeping a glance at Xiao Han some slightly limp legs after, waved his hand and said, forget it, you rest for a while. These days there are not many people do not need to clean so diligently. I'll go out later. If there are guests coming, you can entertain them, I said. I took out a bag of tea from the front desk and was ready to brew it and send it up to Bai Chen Wen. Xiao Han came to the front and said, It's okay, brother you, if you have something to do, go and get busy first. I'll take care of the tea. It's not inconvenient for me to go up and down the stairs. Listening to Xiao Han's words, Yu Hong hesitated for a moment and then nodded. That's fine, you slow down a bit, later when you go up and buy, and your brother by say hello for me, said. Yu Hong took an umbrella in his hand and rushed out. After Yu Hong left, Xiao Han glanced upstairs, and then immediately went to prepare the tea set to go. You know even if the heavy rain turns the city upside down, I'll give you a hug. I can't stand to see your back coming. Write down my hard-earned quarrels that last like years, even if, just as Bai Chen was singing, immersed in the ease and comfort of the moment, suddenly, he heard a light knocking at the door. Knock, 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 ha, come in, the door is unlocked. After hearing the commotion, Bai Chen paused and rushed out the door of the room before speaking with I. With a click. Then he saw Xiao Han open the door of the room with a tray of tea utensils and, after seeing Bai Chen on the balcony not far away, her eyes curved into a crescent shape and she smiled politely and asked, Mr. Bai, brother you is out for something. Let me come up and make you some hot tea. Didn't disturb you, did he? After looking at the person who came with Xiao Han, Bai Chen first froze for a moment, and after reacting, he nodded with a smile and said, 
Oh, I'm not disturbing you, I'm not disturbing you, trouble you, said, then see Xiao Han some limp came to the side of Bai Chen, while tea sat on the small stone table, after pulling a plug plugged into the hot kettle, waiting for the water to boil, golem 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 golem, in no time, a wisp of white smoke drifted out of the kettle spout, during this time, Xiao Han sat obediently on the side, and when the water boiled, she used the hot water to swish the teacups and tea leaves, Bai Chen was casually plucking the strings of his zither, while looking at Xiao Han in a strange way, she was wearing the same thick, long-sleeved dress as last night, and had a beautiful headdress on her forehead with a black veil covering half of her face, and just then, Xiao Han, who was making tea, also slightly raised her eyes for a moment, when she saw Bai Chen gazing at her, she blinked those clear eyes, somewhat puzzled, she said, Bai, Mr. Bai, what's wrong? After seeing this, Bai Chen also smiled and said frankly that, nothing, I'm just a little curious, are you a minority here? Xiao Han's eyes flashed with a hint of surprise after she heard that, well, how do you know? Seeing that you're dressed a bit, a bit unique, Bai Chen said as he compared his face with his hand, listening to Bai Chen's words, a flash of complexity seemed to appear in Xiao Han's eyes, and, then she squeezed out a smile and shook her head, saying, this is not our national costume, it's just, I just like to dress up like this, oh it's quite nice, Bai Chen said as he nodded, hearing Bai Chen's praise, a flash of joy appeared in Xiao Han's eyes, but it quickly dimmed again, immediately afterward, and seemingly to change the topic, she, pouring the steep tea on Bai Chen's cup, she handed it over, this is a good tea from Big Brother Yu's collection, please have a taste, Mr. Bai, careful, it's hot, the words just fell, only when Bai Chen picked up the teacup, there was a fresh scent of tea that hit his face, after blowing a little, Bai Chen gently tasted a mouthful of, wonderful ah, well it is indeed quite good, if I were to brew it myself, I wouldn't be able to brew this kind of flavor, after all, a good pot of tea depends not only on whether the tea is good or not, but also on how good the tea maker's craftsmanship is, hearing Bai Chen's praise, Xiao Han also laughed and said, tea making is also something I learned from Big Brother Yu, Big Brother Yu's tea is the best I've ever had, and then I followed and learned a little bit, Yu Hong, aha, Bai Chen's eyes glazed over for a moment, I didn't realize that Yu Hong, who looked like a brown old man, he actually had this skill, and Xiao Han seemed to have seen Bai Chen's surprise, and after a hefty laugh, he said, don't look at big brother you, he's usually lazy and casual, but he actually knows a lot of things, whom, indeed, Bai Chen nodded in agreement, last night, while chatting with Yu Hong, he himself had learned that some of the decorations and crafts in the tavern and BNB were all made by his own hands, have you always lived in this ancient city, Bai Chen asked after taking a sip of tea, Xiao Han shook her head after sniffing, I only came here in the last two years, HM, you're not local, looking at Bai Chen's puzzled expression, Xiao Han shook her head and said, my hometown is in a small mountain village around Dali, I just came out to the ancient city to find something to do, after all, there's not much going on in the village, and the young people have all gone out, oh, Bai Chen nodded thoughtfully before asking anything else, by the way mister, Bai, can I ask you a question, after Xiao Han filled up the tea, she suddenly looked up at Bai Chen and asked, HM, you said, it's, what song did you sing just now, it's nice to listen to, it sounded so relaxing, a very cozy feeling, looking at Xiao Han's curious eyes, Bai Chen gently smiled and said, it was just sung ah, it's called, little love song, a little love song, no wonder it sounds a little sweet, Xiao Han murmured in a small voice, sweet, Bai Chen smiled and didn't say anything, when he first heard the little love song himself, he felt that it was indeed sweet and innocent like a young love affair, but then he would feel faintly sad after listening to it more, but no matter what this song is really quite good, in his previous life it was also considered one of Bai Chen's favorite songs, did you write this song as well? Listening to Xiao Han's words, Bai Chen touched his nose and nodded, in the next second, he saw Xiao Han looking at Bai Chen with a face of surprise and admiration, wow, so powerful, the song you sang in the tavern yesterday, that song going to Dali is also super catchy. But, Mr. Bai, if you're so good, why don't you go to a music variety show? You'll definitely be hot. Listening to Xiao Han's words, Bai Chen froze for a moment. It seemed like Yu Hong hadn't told her who she was, so this was quite good. Afterwards, Bai Chen shrugged and laughed, saying, Sound synthesizing and whatnot is too troublesome. Not that interested. When a free and easy musician is not good, write their own want to write the song. Sing their own want to sing the voice. Let the worthy people hear our songs is not on the line. Listening to Bai Chen's words, Xiao Han frowned and nodded and said, That's right, I heard brother you and the others say that any music variety show nowadays is black as hell. 
Bai Qin didn't deny it after hearing what he said. After all, just a short while ago, Old Shui had sent himself a message when he participated in the Huaxia Good Song as a mentor. Old Shui, Wowzer Bai Qin it's a good thing you didn't come to this program. This program is too exciting. Guess what? This chair will turn on its own eh? So amazing oh. In this regard, it is possible to know how outrageous the shady secrets of these programs are. Simply unimaginable kind. And Xiao Han continued. And it seems like Brother Wine was also offended by someone in a music competition, causing him to become like this. It's really too hateful those people. Brother Wang? It should be the original musician named Wangyi that he met yesterday, right? Looking at Xiao Han's somewhat indignant look, Bai Chen smiled and changed the topic, saying, Looks like you're quite familiar with the musicians here. Not really. They're all friends of yous. They often sing together and exchange ideas, and I listen to them sing. I like the atmosphere too. It just feels like in different music. I can see a different world and hear different stories. Looking at Xiao Han's eyes that seemed to be fluttering a bit, Bai Chen was about to say something when he, suddenly, a sharp knock came from outside the house. Knock, 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 Xiao Han, old Bai, anyone? After listening to Yu Hong's loud voice from outside the house, Bai Chen also responded inside the house. Come in, the door is unlocked. The words just fell. Click a sound. Will see Yu Hong a push open the door of the room? Some hurriedly walked in. Back, dealing with something went. So urgent? Looking at Yu Hong who walked straight through. Bai Chen opened his mouth and asked. Xiao Han, on the other hand, brought a cup and poured a cup of tea for Yu Hong as well. It's not urgent. It's just a bit sudden. Yu Hong dragged a wooden chair to sit down while picking up a cup of tea and taking a sip before looking at Bai Chen and continuing. Didn't I say before? From time to time, I would organize and participate in a music party here. That's what I went out to do just now. A music party? Bai Chen raised an eyebrow. And after Xiao Han on the side sniffed, her eyebrows slightly wrinkled as she asked with some doubt. Ha! Huh, a party? This isn't usually an event before the year. How come it's prepared so early this year? It's only July ah. Looking at Xiao Han's puzzled expression, Yu Hong rubbed his temples and said somewhat helplessly. That's why I said it's a bit sudden. And this time, it's not the same. Just went out to the Cultural and Tourism Bureau. A friend of mine, Lao Zhao. A friend of mine from the Bureau of Culture and Tourism, Lao Zhao, contacted me, asking me to organize and see if we can get an Old Town Music Festival going next Sunday. Cultural and Tourism Bureau? Ancient Town Music Festival? Now not only was Xiao Han puzzled, even Bai Chen was a bit puzzled. According to Yu Hong's words, before they played like this, it was just a party for some original musicians to entertain themselves. And how did this attract the people from the Cultural and Tourism Bureau? Looking at the two people who did not understand, Yu Hong also did not hide, after drinking a mouthful of tea, said, I don't know if you've heard the song the other day, just that song, nothing can stop it, just that song, you should have heard it, right? Looking at Yu Hong's incredibly serious look, Bai Chin kind of inexplicably wanted to laugh, so he stuck his hand on his cheeks to hold back the smile on his face and nodded, um, seems like I've heard it before, I think I've heard that song too, but what does that have to do with letting you organize a music festival? Brother Yu? Xiao Han cocked her head. Were the two things necessarily connected? Old Zhao said. Because of that song, there's now a travel craze all over the internet. Even for several consecutive days, tourism has become the hot word on all the major platforms. Plus the travel season is coming up soon. So Old Zhao probably wants us to publicize Dali in the form of singing, to show off the scenery and customs here. After saying this, Yu Hong also took a look at Bai Chan and skimmed his lips, saying, This ancient town music festival thing. It has something to do with you too. Me? Bai Chen was a bit surprised. Yu Hong nodded and continued. Last night, the song you sang at my place, called, Going to Dali Right? It was posted on a short video website. It's also a hit. Many netizens said that after hearing this song, they couldn't wait to come to Dali to experience this place. People from the Cultural and Tourism Bureau also heard the song and felt it was quite effective. So they decided to publicize it in the form of a music festival. Do you think it has anything to do with you? Listening to Yu Hong's words, Bai Chen also instantly cried and laughed a little, waved his hand and said, This is also a good thing. To promote the development of your tourism here is not. The thing is indeed a good thing. Is a bit tight. I have to go to the contact. After Yu Hong sighed, his eyes looked into the distance. I see that you have a wide range of contacts here. Pull a few people to participate in the problem is certainly not big. And today is not only Monday. There are still five days time. It's not too late. In the face of Bai Chen's words, Yu Hong silently nodded, but the next second, only to see that he seemed to think of something in general, his eyes suddenly erupted with a ray of light, fiercely glancing at Bai Chen, 
Then he looked at Xiao Han, who was at the side, and said, Xiao Han, you go rest for a while first, I'll just clean up here, I'll talk to your brother by about a little something. Xiao Han didn't ask anything more after seeing this and left the house. Afterwards, I saw Yu Hong pick up the teapot to pour water for Bai Chen while opening his mouth and laughing, saying, So what, Mr. Bai, you should be able to play here for a few more days, right? Hearing Yu Hong's words, Bai Chen smiled and said, I, it depends. What? Yu Hong also said directly with a hefty smile. I wonder if there's a chance for you to play with us. If you can make an appearance at this music festival, then everyone will be pleasantly surprised. Sure enough, facing Yu Hong's invitation, Bai Chen gently sipped his tea without saying anything, according to the scheduled itinerary in his heart. Almost playing in Dali for a few days, he was ready to visit other places. After all, there are a lot of beautiful scenery in this southern Yunnan. Looking at Bai Chen who didn't say anything, Yu Hong took a breath and continued, saying, isn't this music festival still five days away? We can still play around here during this time. Of course. In fact, I also have a bit of selfishness. You know, I'm also a fan of the songs you sang back in the day. I was really touched. I felt that this is a real musician. Since then I decided to do music. I should learn from you. You are my idol ah. Only then I don't know why you lost your voice. Now that I've finally met a real person, I'm wondering if I'll have the chance or the honor to work with you. Mr. Bai, of course, if it's inconvenient, then consider me not saying this. After saying that, Yu Hong looked straight at Bai Chen with a pair of sincere eyes. Being looked at by such an old man with affectionate eyes, Bai Chen only felt that his goosebumps were coming out. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. After Yu Hong had finished speaking, after several seconds, Bai Chen picked up his tea and drank it. Bai Chen picked up the tea and drank it all in one go before lightly laughing and snickering, saying, Is there any appearance fee? Yu Hong froze for a moment after hearing this, and then a flash of ecstasy erupted in his eyes. This was a promise? Really? Really? There is. Of course there is. You name a number. Eh? As long as it's not too that, I should be able to negotiate it all down. This music festival event was originally organized by the Dali Culture and Tourism Bureau to promote Dali tourism. Now that he had invited Bai Chen, the musician who used to pull all the talk on the internet, to give this program a boost, he thought that the officials would be very happy to do so. Looking at Yu Hong's serious look, Bai Chen shook his head and lost his smile, saying, forget it, I'm just kidding. Anyway, there's not much going on lately. Let's go have some fun together maybe. Listening to Bai Chen's words, Yu Hong was a bit unhappy. This can't be done. You've already given face by agreeing to come to this event. How can I still let you contribute for nothing? I'll go talk about this later, and make sure you're satisfied. With that, Yu Hong didn't give Bai Chen a chance to rebuff, smilingly picking up the tea and pouring it while saying, Honestly, it's really my honor to work with Mr. By this time, no no, will, Yu Hong suddenly said again, By the way, Mr. Bai, originally said that at noon to take you to taste this side of the special hot and sour fish, the result was delayed by this, later in the afternoon we will go to eat it, and then Xiao Han, this child is only 18, still small. Just now if there is any hospitality is not good understanding a little. Listening to Yu Hong's words, Bai Chen was a bit surprised. Oh she's only 18? Looking at Bai Chen's expression, Yu Hong's eyes narrowed and said, What? It's not possible that you're interested in someone else's little girl? I can treat her as my sister. Don't tell me. Seeing Yu Hong say this, Bai Chen waved his hand and laughed. How could that be? I'm just a little surprised. Just chatting with her. I felt she was quite mature and understanding. But I didn't expect her to be so small. Bai Chen still vaguely remembers. When he was 18, he was still sitting in an internet cafe, right? This child is indeed quite understanding, but she's also quite pitiful. When I first met her, alas, after Yu Hong sighed, he paused, while Bai Chen didn't ask anything more and took a sip of tea and waited. Do you know where I met this child? Yu Hong turned his head to Bai Chen. Hmm, didn't you say before that you saw her several times in the ancient town and thought that it wasn't easy for the little girl to leave her behind? Listening to Bai Chen's words, Yu Hong shook his head. After lighting himself a cigarette, his eyes flashed a trace of memory slowly said, The first time I met her was by the Arai Sea. By the Arai Sea? Hmm. It's a bit of a remote place, but the scenery is better than some of the popular spots here. And we usually go there for band gatherings and picnics. And that night, Old Fan and I went to the side for a drink after their performance. Memories. Yo brother you, you've been here for so many years. Why don't you find a girl to settle down with? Right. Although you're not very good looking, you're really charming when you sing. Didn't you see how many young girls were mesmerized by you just now? Or is it that you can't see our dolly girls, brother you? In a small tent under the starry night sky, 
Yu Hong, Fan Chang and Zhou Qing were surrounded by some beer bottles poured seven across, and all three were flushed. It was obvious that they had already drunk a lot. Listening to the two men's flirting, Yu Hong waved his hand and said in a bad mood, Fuck you, Lazi was tricked into coming over here by your dolly girls. Yo there's a story? Carefully wordy? Upon hearing this, the eyes of the two Fan Chang instantly lit up, staring at Yu Hong waiting for his next words. However, Yu Hong did not do what the two wanted, but stood up shakily. Hey, there's nothing to hear. You two don't be blindly curious. I go out to drain a flood. Later come back to continue to drink. After saying this, Yu Hong stumbled a bit and walked out, only to see the night sky on the bright moon emitted fluorescence spread on the lake surface of the Arai. Accompanied by the breeze blowing, the lake surface flooded a ripple. A time wave light flashes. At this time, the Arai looked very beautiful and pure. However, Yu Hong obviously didn't have the heart to appreciate this beautiful scenery. Instead, he rushed to find a place with lush grass and trees before starting a moment of relaxation. Hush hush. HM 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 HM. Just as Yu Hong finished zipping up his zipper after his convenience and was about to go back to continue drinking, his eyes suddenly drifted off. Under the light of the moon, only a silhouette seemed to be seen not far from the edge of the Arai Sea. Although this place is very remote, it is not that no one comes to it, so Yu Hong didn't care. But just as he was about to withdraw his sight, he suddenly realized that something was wrong. The silhouette seemed to be moving, as if it was walking step by step towards the middle of the Arai Sea. You have to know that now is the winter season. It is impossible for people to come to the sea at night to play in the water or swim, right? After thinking about this, Yu Hong's drunkenness instantly dissipated by half, and he immediately shouted over there. Hey, what are you doing? There's a small cliff over there, and the water is very deep. Don't go over there. Yu Hong's thick voice spread out. The silhouette seemed to pause for a moment after hearing it, but it didn't stop her from moving forward. Watching that silhouette slowly walk towards the lake, the surrounding darkness was swallowing her little by little. Yu Hong frowned, directly striding towards that side to chase over. Hey, little girl, don't go forward. Along with the distance, Yu Hong could also see what seemed to be a little girl's back, but no matter how much he shouted at her, it was as if he couldn't hear her, so Yu Hong also cannot wait to take off the clothes directly down to the shallows of the big strides after up, a drag on the girl, the girl does not understand the words is not at ah, this lake in front of a small cliff, how many people have drowned, still go forward, do not want to live, is not it, right, sorry, only a thin and incomparable voice was heard coming from the girl's throat, listening to the girl's voice, the cursing Yu Hong frowned a bit, his voice eased a bit and said, I'll take you back to shore first, don't catch a cold in the middle of winter, saying that, Yu Hong then took one of the girl's hands and prepared to bring her back to the shore when he suddenly froze for a moment, only to see the girl's arm is a bit strange. The most conspicuous is its surface skin color forward is not normal skin color, but white mixed with a piece of dark red, and its epidermis is even different from normal people. Looks wrinkled like kneaded newspaper in general. This is, previously scalded by boiling water, or burns. Seeing this scene, Yu Hong's pupils flashed for a moment, but did not ask more questions. But the next second, when the little girl turned her head and looked over, Yu Hong's heart suddenly thumped, only to see the little girl appearance exquisite incomparable, curved eyebrows under the big black bright black eyes if not dead silence, that will be very touching, completely is a small beauty embryo appearance, but this description can only be used in her half face, compared with that angelic right face, the left side of the girl's face seemed to have been touched by the devil, the original smooth skin is as if it had been shelled, covered with traumatic earth general unevenness, the eye socket part is as if turned out in general. There is no bit of human appearance. Incomparable hideous. When Yu Hong was in a daze, the girl seemed to have sensed something. The girl seemed to have sensed something. Her eyes dodged for a moment before she slightly lowered her head. Right. I'm sorry. This faint voice. It seemed to be apologizing for scaring herself because of her appearance. At that moment, Yu Hong's eyes became a little complicated as he looked at the girl. Looking at the lifelessness of the girl's dark pupils. He also vaguely guessed what the purpose of her coming here was. After such a delicate atmosphere lasted for a while, Yu Hong seemed to take a deep breath. Don't stay here anymore, you'll catch a cold. After saying that, he didn't care about the girl's reaction. He bent down and picked her up, walking towards the shore. So, that girl is the current Chao Han? Bai Chen looked towards Yu Hong. He only saw Yu Hong nodding, putting out his cigarette and falling silent. And at this moment, Bai Chen also finally realized why on the day he came when the weather was obviously hot. Xiao Han, however, was wearing a costume that just looked tight, and also knew why she always wore a veil that covered half of her face. I'm afraid, it's to cover those ugly scars. Half of her face is completely dehumanized. 
such a trauma would have a very huge impact on any person, let alone the fact that Xiao Han was still a girl. So, has she followed you since then, little Han? Not like what you said before, encountered many times? Facing by Chen's question, Yu Hong smiled before replying. I can't just say this to someone when I meet them and keep revealing their scars, right? But I wasn't exactly lying to you before. So I asked her if she was willing to follow me. But she seemed to have some concerns and refused. Then I met her several times and asked her several times before she agreed. Oh, after I saved her, I also asked her about her situation. I know that these burns on her body were left behind when she was 6 or 7 years old when she encountered a mountain fire that burned the village. Her leg disease was also left behind at that time should be. And it seems that her parents were also lost in that fire. Although it usually seems that she is quite cheerful. But I'm afraid only she herself knows how she really is inside. At this time, Bai Chen listened to Yu Hong's words and also let out a slight sigh. He himself didn't ask why he didn't go to the hospital to get a skin implant or to have a surgery such a silly question. After all, if there is that condition, why would she not want to become the same as a normal person? As for Yu Hong words, can leave her here to make a living for her, but also enough benevolence. Both of them were silent for a while. After Yu Hong finished the tea in his cup, he got up and said, Hi, I'm going to leave you alone. I have to go out and contact the music festival later. Let's go out for dinner this afternoon. Okay you go and get busy with your business. Bai Chen waved his hand. However, he only saw Yu Hong walk out for a few steps and then seemed to think of something else. And looked back at Bai Chen and said, By the way, Mr. Bai, if there's anything you want to sing at this festival, just tell me directly. I can arrange it directly from my side. There's also, regarding our cooperation, if you have a suitable new song, we'll do our best to cooperate with you. Mr. Bai, although we're not famous, our music skills are still good. We won't let you down. Looking at the smiling Yu Hong, Bai Chen naturally knew what he was thinking. Is trying to get himself to get a new song out ah. Although Bai Chen did have quite a few good songs in his head, he didn't immediately agree to them, but waved his hand with a smile and said, This new song can't be written overnight, but if there's a suitable inspiration or idea, it won't be a problem for us to collaborate on a new song together. Although Bai Chen's answer was a bit vague, Yu Hong didn't show a disappointed expression, but instead nodded his head repeatedly and said, that's natural. All right, all right, I won't nag you anymore. We'll talk again when we eat in the afternoon. Afterwards, Yu Hong left the place. As for Bai Chen, he then continued to drink tea while looking at Xiao Han, who was teasing the big golden hair in the courtyard downstairs. Even here, she didn't want to take off her disguise and still wrapped herself up tightly. After all, there is no girl who does not love beauty. Those marks on her body. I'm afraid she can't face the shadow of a lifetime. Alas, after Bai Chen sighed slightly, he also withdrew his sight, casually sweeping the strings in his hand. In his mind, he was thinking, is there a suitable song for it? Time came to the afternoon. Yu Hong brought Bai Chen to a local Dali hot and sour fish restaurant, accompanied by Zhou Cheng and Fan Cheng two people. Xiao Han did not come together. A few people just like the first time in the tavern to meet that while eating and chatting, when Yu Hong said the music festival Bai Chen. When Yu Hong said that the music festival Bai Chen will also work with them, the two also looked very happy. Said very happy. After three rounds of wine, the day is getting late. A few people ate and drank enough to go back. Time came to the next day. Early in the morning Bai Chen was shouted up by Yu Hong, originally thinking that he had come to find himself to discuss the rehearsal of the music festival, but he didn't realize that he was asking himself to go out for a stroll. Hey, there's no rush for rehearsals, there's still a lot of days left, and it's my fault that you haven't had a good time in Dali yet, so let's have some fun in the next few days. Let's go to the butterfly spring later. Maybe if we look around and play, the inspiration for the song will come? With that, Yu Hong winked at Bai Chen. Butterfly Spring? The name of this place made it feel like it would be a very beautiful place. At this Bai Chen also smiled and nodded. He had indeed come here for these two or three days and hadn't visited any other places besides the ancient city. Let's go. I'll drive. Butterfly Spring is still a bit of a journey. We have to set off faster. Said. Then pulled Bai Chen toward the outside. Eh? Xiao Han not going to have some fun together? Bai Chen glanced at Xiao Han who was at the front desk and asked, only to see that before Yu Hong could say anything, Xiao Han waved her hand and laughed, saying, no need mister, bye, I'm the one over here, I can go anytime I want to, and I still have to help big brother you look after the store. Listening to Xiao Han's words, Bai Chen nodded and didn't say anything else, turning around, he got into Yu Hong's small jeep, and the two of them drove off in the direction of Butterfly Spring, almost after traveling for more than 40 minutes, the the two came to one of Dali's famous scenic spots, Butterfly Spring. Walking into the scenic area, there is a carved stone pagoda, which is hidden in the shade, through the pagoda, 
Walking along the green stone steps to the depth of the shade, you can see a large pond surrounded by stone railings. In the pond is also set on the top of a colorful flower stone, engraved with Mr. Guomorua inscription Butterfly Spring three big words, beautiful and incomparable. Come to the pond, you can see the clear spring pool, gurgling water, flooded with crystal water, the pebbles at the bottom of the pool, colorful, clear and countable, coupled with the water surface that appeared somewhat ghostly blue, it gave the entire butterfly spring an ancient, yet mysterious beauty. Seeing this scene, Bai Chen couldn't help but sigh at the beautiful scenery here. While Yu Hong, who was on the side, shook his head as he said, It's a pity that it's not the season to come, if you come in April or May. If you come in April or May, you'll see the real butterfly spring. At that time not only can you see a variety of colorful butterflies fluttering, you can also see this butterfly tree in the flowering season, full of trees bloomed with yellow and red petals. At that time, before the wind, under the moon, lifelike jitter, really like thousands of colorful butterflies, that scene. I can't forget it for the rest of my life. Looking at this ancient tree in front of him, Bai Chin could feel the beauty of its flower season just by listening to Yu Hong's description. TSK. That's indeed quite a pity. It's not the right time to come. Bai Chen seemed a bit sorry. Harm it's okay if you miss it. It's okay if you come back next April to have fun. If you don't have time next year. If you don't have time next year. The year after that. Or even every April from now on. I'll be here all the time anyway. Next year. The year after that. Listening to Yu Hong's words, Bai Chen drifted off for a moment, but then his eyes regained their clarity and he smiled and said, I'll come if I have the chance, definitely. Looking at Bai Chen with that look, Yu Hong thought that he was regretting that he couldn't see the most beautiful butterfly spring, so he went forward and patted Bai Chen's shoulder and said, It's fine, it's fine, come along then, go go go. In front is a butterfly museum, which is full of Yunnan's rare butterfly species, only you can't think of, no you can't see. What is the white flower spotted dish? Jade dragon brown phoenix dish. Although the butterfly spring is beautiful, but the lack of butterflies naturally less flavor. So Bai Chen and his two men casually strolled around for two or three hours before leaving the place. The peak behind the butterfly spring is Tsangshan's first peak, Yunlang Peak. While we're out early today, we can still go climb Tsangshan Mountain. Any interest? Hmm. Hearing Yu Hong's words, Bai Chen looked up and saw a towering mountain looming over him. Eh? Climb? What I think is not necessary. For climbing mountains, Bai Chen really can't bring up interest. Years ago he climbed Mount Tai once, almost died of exhaustion halfway up. Although the scenery along the way is indeed very beautiful, but tired is also really can die a person. Looking at Bai Chen that look of resistance, Yu Hong is also a heart of joy. To be honest, he himself does not like to climb the mountain. It is indeed too tiring. So the two of them hit it off and came to the Tsangshan Mountains ropeway station and chose the ropeway to go up the mountain. On the ropeway, Yu Hong pointed to a clear stream below and said, This small stream that surrounds the mountain is one of the attractions here, the Qingbi Theater. Bai Chen looked down in the direction of Yu Hong's finger, and saw a stream that was as clear as its name suggests, lying quietly in the embrace of the Tsangshan Mountains, and could also see some tourists throwing coins into the stream. Wishing for, you can also hear their playful sounds echoing in the mountains. Along with the passage of time, the distance to the top of the mountain is also getting closer and closer. Not a moment later the two rode the cable car drilled into the clouds. Bai Chen suddenly had a kind of clouds and fog, floating in the clouds of the marvelous feeling. When Bai Chen closed his eyes and felt the charm of nature, suddenly felt a cold air attacked, and even a little bit of breathing is not smooth feeling. Looking at Bai Chen's frowning somewhat uncomfortable appearance, Yu Hong immediately said, Breathe slowly, don't be nervous, the altitude here is a bit high, a bit of dizziness is normal. Ah, uh, I'm okay, although he said so. But the first time he came to such a high altitude, Bai Chen still felt very uncomfortable no matter how he breathed. But fortunately, not long after the end of the mountain, Yu Hong immediately went to buy a bottle of oxygen and handed it to Bai Chen. With the help of the oxygen supply, Bai Chen felt a little more comfortable, but his head was still a little dizzy. Didn't I say Arai Moon? Sanshan Snow. How come there's no snow? Facing Bai Chen's doubts, Yu Hong shook his head and said, This is another case of not catching up. Normally there's snow here only after November. After all, you know the climate in Yunnan. It's impossible to have snow all year round. But if you stay here for a few months, you'll be able to see that Sanshan snow. Listening to Yu Hong's words, Bai Chen smiled inside and said, Alas it seems like it's not the right time to come. Come back later when you have the chance. Afterwards, the two of them strolled around the mountaintop scenery for a while and felt it for a while before they started to look for a way down the mountain. After all, the top of the mountain is really too cold although it is not yet winter, but Bai Chen feels that the top of the mountain is colder than even winter, 
Plus the high altitude sickness is a little bit difficult. So before feeling more of the beauty of the top of the mountain, he is forced to go down the mountain. After enjoying the beauty of Butterfly Spring and Sunshine Mountain, the, the next day, Yu Hong brought by Chen to the Three Pagodas scenic spot, the iconic buildings of Dali's Buddhist kingdom, only to see the Three Pagodas with their backs to the Tsangshan Mountains and facing the Arai Sea, looking magnificent and spectacular from afar. See that the largest tower, it also has a very nice name. Walking into the scenic area, Yu Hong pointed at one of the white pagodas and said, HM, what's the name? Bai Chen raised his eyebrows slightly. It's called Thousand Search, Thousand Search Tower. As he said the name, Yu Hong looked up at the tower inside a long sigh. Thousand searches ah, alas let's go. Go to the Chongsheng Temple in front of us. Looking at Yu Hong with this look, Bai Chen guessed that he should be thinking of the girl he mentioned before. After arriving at the Chongsheng Temple, Yu Hong spent money to buy some incense, but also begged for a sign, and Bai Chen also came all the way here, so he simply begged a piece for his family. In the afternoon, the two of them casually looked around at some of the small attractions in the neighborhood. On the third day, Yu Hong and Bai Chen then came to a remote town, Shashi Ancient Town. At first, Yu Hong said that he would take Bai Chen to the ancient town to take a look at the ancient town body. Bai Chen was still a little puzzled by this. Doesn't he live in the middle of the ancient city? And when Bai Chen after more than an hour's journey, came to Shashi Ancient Town after, only then did he finally understand what a real ancient town is. Compared to the ancient town, there is no hustle and bustle and there is no heavy commercial atmosphere. The whole town is like an old man who has been through the vicissitudes of life, quietly enjoying his old age here. There is a clear river in the town, and on both sides of the river are some residential houses, just like small bridges and flowing rivers. Seeing such a simple and beautiful town, Bai Chen suddenly thought of a saying, I had no intention to enter the south of the river, but why the south of the river into my heart? The whole town or cottage is not very big. Two people slowly slowly stroll, almost an hour to stroll out of the head. Although strolling is finished, but Bai Chen somehow does not want to leave here like this. So they pulled Yu Hong, casually found a small drink store is open for business ordered a cup of coffee, brush a moment of cell phone to read a book, so sitting outside the store to enjoy the peace and quiet, let the time pass. Seems to be just like that sentence find a place where no one knows, seriously when a waste general, time came to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. The two of them had already returned to the ancient city from Shashi ancient town, although Bai Chen had already been in Dali for several days. For some reason, not only did Bai Chen not feel a trace of aesthetic fatigue towards this place, but instead, he also developed a desire to stay here all the time, especially after feeling the serenity of the Shashi ancient town. How about it? Are you tired of playing these few days? Yu Hong handed Bai Chen a cup of hot tea. Tired? To be honest, in the past I would have felt quite tired from traveling, but coming here didn't have such a feeling. It was even quite relaxing Bai Chen shrugged and laughed, but these past few days did give you trouble especially since you had to be busy with the music festival side of things. Listening to Bai Chen's words, Yu Hong waved his hand and said cheerfully, Trouble what a trouble. There are friends from afar to come is not not happy, and can also make a friend like you, Mr. White. Worth it. As for the music festival side, I'm just a puller. Can't be counted as trouble. After Bai Chen sniffed, he didn't say anything, and raised the teacup in his hand to toast Yu Hong. After all, these few days of eating and drinking are all Yu Hong Street. Eh by the way, speaking of the music festival, isn't it coming soon? On this weekend right? Bai Chen suddenly asked, only to see Yu Hong nodding his head after counting the days on his fingers. It's indeed almost here. Today is Thursday. There are still three days left. Three days? Then don't we have to discuss what songs to sing and find a time to get together? Bai Chen said with interest. To be honest. To be honest. For a band to play music together and do live things like this was something he really enjoyed. Especially after experiencing that charity concert. Singing in that kind of environment and singing with accompaniment were two completely different feelings, as if you were truly integrated into the music. As soon as Bai Chen's words fell, he saw Yu Hong rubbing his hands together somewhat expectantly and said, Hey, I'm actually going to mention this even if you don't. I actually intend to call the old fan and the old Joe two people to discuss together to get a little, but I am afraid that you play a few days a little tired. I also thought about whether to say tomorrow. Listening to Yu Hong's words, Bai Chen took a sip of tea and said, don't worry about tomorrow, we should play, we should do the right thing. After seeing Bai Chen say this, Yu Hong also nodded and said, okay, then let me let Zhou Qing and his two pack up a guy thing, ready to prepare to engage in music, and so ready I call you, okay, I'll go and get ready. After saying that, Bai Chen went back to his room, found a sheet of music and wrote something on it, while Yu Hong also made a phone call and contacted. Two hours later, when Bai Chen, who was upstairs, 
saw Yu Hong outside the courtyard. He was busily moving some tents, barbecue grills, large iron pots, and so on a series of picnic props to the jeep. His brain slowly typed a dash? It's not. It's not about music. How come it's a picnic party? So Bai Chen walked downstairs with a question. This, is this the, specialty, instrument here? Listening to Bai Chen's connotative tone, Yu Hong smiled and responded that, it's not a musical instrument. It's just picnic gear. Bai Chen, big brother, you also know that this is a picnic utensil? At first, Bai Chen thought that Yu Hong said guy's thing is just keyboards and other musical instruments only. Really did not think it was these things. Looking at Bai Chen's frozen in place look, Yu Hong finally reacted. Ah, uh, oh, I forgot to tell you. We don't like to do our music at home. We like to go out and find a place with a nice view by the Arai Sea. And we eat, play, and do our music at the same time. Making music by the sea with the wind blowing? That's a great feeling. It's kind of fun to think about. You guys are pretty good at this. What about the instruments and equipment? Bai Chen asked. Don't worry about that. Zhou Chang and the others will bring it over. Yu Hong explained and then turned his head towards Xiao Han's room and said, Xiao Han, come out as soon as you've packed your things. We'll wait for you in the car. Right. Don't forget to bring Big Yellow too. Go. Let's get in the car and wait for her. Listening to Yu Hong's words. After getting into the car Bai Chen asked with some curiosity that, Is Xiao Han going with us this time? Only to see Yu Hong open the window and light up a cigarette said, Well, she does not like to go to other places, but we go out to play music picnic she is quite happy, and this child also quite like music, but also a bit of talent, so we engage in performances or rehearsals or whatever she will be on the sidelines to help adjust the equipment, tuning these behind the scenes work. I'm also thinking of training her in this area, so that even if I leave here, she'll still have something to eat, behind the scenes, it's also quite good, Bai Chen nodded thoughtfully, however, after waiting for a while for Xiao Han to come out, Bai Chen thought that waiting was also waiting, not if he took out what he had just written and gave Yu Hong a look to see if it was to his liking, so he took out a sheet of music from his backpack and said, eh, right, didn't you ask me last time if I had a new song, this one I feel is quite suitable for this performance, do you want to take a look, looking at the sheet music in Bai Chen's hand, Yu Hong first froze for a moment, then in the next second, his eyes lit up, and he said with incomparable surprise, a new song, it was written so quickly, for the man in front of the song, Yu Hong is looking forward to a, after all, this guy since the debut since, there is not a song is not extremely good song, even in his hottest period of time, there is a comment on the internet for Bai Chen, that is white god production, must be fine, looking at Yu Hong's excitement, as if he wanted to eat his own appearance, Bai Chen expressed some fear, it's not very fast, these days a little inspiration to write a little, a little inspiration to write a little, just went upstairs just in time to give it a perfect melody, you take a look first, saying that, he handed over the sheet music in his hand, and Yu Hong also immediately took the sheet music, his eyes staring, after 3 seconds, Yu Hong's hand seemed to be trembling a little, as if what he was holding was not the sheet music, but a beautiful woman, he could even be heard chanting in a low voice, once I dreamed of traveling the world with a sword, take a look, this word, it's too great, on the road, Yu Hong clutched the steering wheel in his hands, but his mind was all about the song written by Bai Chen, tasteful, too tasteful, only to see sitting in the back row of the small Han, a little puzzled to look at the red face, has been in a state of excitement Yu Hong, do not understand what he is excited about, Bai Chen, on the other hand, put his hand on the car window, cozy looking at the blue sea, blowing a soft and cool breeze, Time just like this one minute by one second passed. After traveling for almost one and a half hours in the direction of Xuanlong, passing through a piece of forest, and walking through some potholes and curved dirt roads, he finally arrived at his destination. After getting out of the car, a small clearing with an open view suddenly appeared in front of Bai Chen's eyes. Just in front of this gravel clearing was the Arai Sea, and on the other side of the sea was a high mountain. Coincidentally, at this time, the sun was setting in the west. I saw the beautiful sunset in the sky through the clouds, dyeing the sky into three colors of psychedelic blue, pink and yellow, and the water of the Arai Sea was also sparkling and exceptionally beautiful. In the past, when Bai Chen looked at some photos of the Arai Sea on the internet, he thought that they had been refined and photographed, and just when he was here, he realized that the original infinite scenery here doesn't need you to do too much decoration at all. A casual shot is an absolutely beautiful landscape painting. How about this place? Just as Bai Chen was immersed in this beautiful world, Yu Hong's voice came from the side. This place is a treasure I found with great difficulty. Normally, we like to come here to pitch a few tents, bring a big pot, grill or something, and sing songs while having a picnic. Looking at the beautiful scenery in front of him, 
Bai Chen couldn't stop the corners of his mouth from lifting up, and even his mood was instantly much happier. TSK, it's indeed a good place ah, to be able to sing while enjoying the scenery in a place like this, it's simply not too pleasant. Looking at Bai Chen's enjoyable look, Yu Hong also smiled and said, who says it isn't? Da da. Right at this moment, accompanied by a horn sound coming from behind, Bai Chen turned his head to look. He saw a pickup truck parked in the open space behind him. Old Yu, teacher Bai, Yo Xiao Han is here too. After the truck stopped, they saw the two of them, Fan Chang and Zhou Chang, walking down from the truck while greeting each other. This, what is this again? Looking at the truck, Bai Chen said with some confusion, Aren't we going to make music? That's our instruments up there. You two came pretty fast ah. Quickly, quickly, move down the things above. Just see Yu Hong to Bai Chen explained a sentence, then hurriedly went up to the truck's cargo box to open. You can see above the professional keyboards, drums, and some sound equipment and so on. Looking at Yu Hong's monkey-like appearance, Zhou Qing raised an eyebrow and, Yo why is brother Yu in such a hurry this time? In the past, didn't you always set up the pots and pans? Get the barbecue and eat comfortably before you could think of making music? Right. Why is it so abnormal this time? Fan Chang, who was at the side, also made a snide remark. Listening to the yin and yang of the two, Yu Hong skimmed his mouth. Fuck you. Stop nagging. Quickly move the stuff down. After seeing the new song written by Bai Chen, Yu Hong was tickled and didn't want to delay a moment. He wanted to sing the song first. By the way, Bai, why don't you and Xiao Han help us set up the tent? The three of us will do the heavy lifting. Yu Hong said to Bai Chen, Okay, I have little contact with this equipment, so I'll leave it to you guys. Bai Chen sniffed, also did not polite. So he turned around and looked for Xiao Han to go get the tent together. AAA old UTM move slow point. I have more than 30,000 keyboards. Don't break the drum for me. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go play on the side of the rhubarb. Don't come and hang around. Eh, 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 eh. Don't piss on my broken drum. Ah, old you look at you, this old dog. Old fan UTM curse too? In Yu Hong, they move the instruments in full swing. This side is supporting the tent of Bai Chan and Small Han is a piece of the years. This place is really good feng shui land. Ah. I really don't know how old you found it. Bai Chen sighed while supporting the tent. On the side of Xiao Han, after hearing Bai Chen's words, he said with a narrowed smile, Big brother you, he usually likes to come to this kind of remote place to hang out when he's not doing anything. So maybe that's how he was able to discover this kind of beautiful place. Bai Chen nodded his head in agreement after hearing this, before turning to ask, By the way, I heard old you say that you like music quite a bit. Usually they engage in band performances and so on you will follow, right? Well. This may also be influenced by Big Brother Yu. Slowly fell in love with music. Xiao Han said as she used the pegs to staple the tent in place. Then she got up and stretched out. Looking at the Arai C in front of her and smiled. But there's actually another reason. But there's actually another reason. Sometimes when I'm in a bad mood. Listening to them sing makes me feel better for some reason. It's like it can dispel some of the haze that's built up in the heart. Bai Chen also nodded. I am also sometimes in a bad mood just think of singing. Roar a roar. Really quite comfortable. But if you like music, how come I haven't heard you sing? I haven't seen you sing in old Yu's bar either. Is it old Yu that he hasn't taught you to sing? Listening to Bai Chen's words, Xiao Han shook her head and said, Tot, just, it's just that I get nervous when I sing in a crowded place, so I usually hum by myself. HM, social terrorism? Aren't you still working in the old city as a card player? How come you're still sociopathic? Bai Chen laughed and joked, only to see Xiao Han pursing her lips and shaking her head. She said, Not really. Maybe it's just that too many people will be nervous. In the past, big brother you let me sing in a bar once. And as a result, once I got on stage and looked at the people below me, I forgot how to sing. Nervous? Listening to Xiao Han's words, Bai Chen nodded thoughtfully. In fact, ever since learning about what happened to Xiao Han's body, Bai Chen thought about whether he could do something about it. Maybe the scars on her body could be covered up by surgery, but the trauma in her heart was definitely indelible. But maybe he could help a little with what he was good at. It was only when Bai Chen was thinking of asking Xiao Han to hum a couple of random lines for himself to see if her tone was suitable for a song he had in mind, but he was suddenly interrupted by Yu Hong's loud voice. Mr. Bai, please come over here. Hearing Yu Hong shout, Xiao Han, who was on the side, laughed and said, Big brother Yu is looking for you. I'll take care of it here. 
Bai Chen looked at the tents and saw that they were basically ready. All that was left to do was to get the grill and such, so he nodded his head. Okay, then I'll work hard for you. He then walked towards Yu Hong's side, only to see that in the position of about 5 meters in front of the tent, Yu Hong's few people had set up a bracket similar to a parasol, while underneath was a series of equipment such as drums, keyboards, speakers, microphones, and so on, all complete, and there was also a generator in charge of power supply. Yo is everything so complete? Only by Chen's eyes lit up for a moment. If he got a stage here, this was exactly what a small stage on the beach would look like. He 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 we like to engage in music. Not a little money are spent on these equipment. Let's not talk about this. Give these devices a little electricity. Brothers and sisters look at the sheet music. We want to go through it first? When Yu Hong finished speaking, he saw Zhou Qing frowning. No way old you. What the hell is wrong with you today? First you're in such a hurry to move the instruments. And now you're busy singing for a while before your ass even hits the ground? And out to now my stomach is still empty. Not first get some small barbecue, small beer in the singing? And Fan Cheng on the side captured the key. Wait, what sheet music? You're not making a new song, are you? This, to be honest old you, you say you sing well. I'm convinced, but don't touch the songwriting stuff. I also think, your lyrics are not as good as my nephew's elementary school essay. Faced with the two men's flirting, Yu Hong's old face brushed red his own creative ability. It was indeed a bit of a crotch pull. Go 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 fuck off. I didn't write this song. It was written by Mr. Bai. Old Top. Mr. Bai. After hearing Yu Hong's words, the two froze for a moment before looking at Bai Chen. Although the two of them didn't know, and had never asked Bai Chen which teacher he was in the circle. From the first time they met, after hearing Bai Chen's song going to Dali, the two had been deeply impressed by Bai Chen's ability. He, definitely had something. Mr. I wrote it, then I'm interested. I still remember Mr. Bai song about going to Dali some time ago. It really sang it into my heart. Quickly, what song? Show me. Looking at Zhou Qing, two people heard that the song was written by Bai Chen. Instantly came a 180 degrees change of face. The waist does not hurt. The stomach is not hungry and not far away. Xiao Han also looked over with an expectant face after hearing that Bai Chen had a new song. Looking at the expressions of a few people, Bai Chen took the written sheet music out of his pocket and smiled and said, This song is pretty simple. It should be pretty quick to go through it once. You guys take a look at it first. With that, he handed over the paper score, and Zhou Cheng and the two of them took a look at it. Afterwards, then they saw the two people similarly froze in place. The pupils in their eyes slowly dilated, and their eyes gradually became excited. This, this cripple, crap, this song, bull, quick, old fan you go turn on the generator. Screw, engage it first. Listening to Zhou Qing's words, Fan Chang was equally excited and said, Indeed, I can't even eat if I don't get this song going again. Although the two of them hadn't yet taken a closer look at the main melody above the lyrics, but just based on the lyrics, one could tell that the song was definitely not bad. Just as the two were preparing their singing equipment, Yu Hong said, smilingly, Hey, you just laughed at me for being in a hurry, but now you're not in a bigger hurry than me? Right, Mr. Bye. Let's go through it first before we eat. Is that okay? Facing Yu Hong's inquiry, Bai Chen nodded and said, No problem. I'm not hungry right now either. So it's fine to play for a while before eating. With that, Xiao Han, who was not far away and was working on the grill, also said, Brother Bai, Brother Yu, you guys just mess around first. This barbecue will not be good for a while. Just leave it to me. Good trouble you little Han. Do it yourself and be careful. Yu Hong also instructed a sentence. Aha. I know. Very quickly. Zhou Qing and the two of them then got everything ready before coming to Bai Chen's side and listening to his command, only to see Bai Chen holding the sheet music in one hand, while looking at Yu Hong, who was in charge of the keyboard and guitar. He said, I've also written the accompaniment score for this song, so feel free to take a look at it. It's just C, G, I've written the chords for this song, so feel free to take a look, just C, G, and these chords, and you guys can add the rest yourselves. By the way, Old you, you can play electric guitar, right? Aha, uh -huh. I've been playing guitar for decades. I don't know anything about guitar, but I can play bass. Okay, you can play electric guitar. I'll take care of the guitar. No problem. Then Bai Chen looked at Fan Chang, who was the drummer, and said, The rhythm of the drums is pretty simple, so I didn't have time to get it. It's pretty much just from the word, you start in. The rhythm is basically dong. Da, da da da, da. It's a loop. The only thing you might want to watch out for is the climax where you leave a cut, a couple of beats and then you come in and push up, and then for the climax, 
We'll all just follow the drums and push up. That's pretty much it. For the main song, I'll sing it first and see how it goes, and then we'll split the lyrics later. Several people nodded as they listened to Bai Chen's arrangement. Although the three of them weren't stars or singers, they had been playing music for 10 years or so. The basic skills were still very solid. So for Bai Chen said a few points are also very clear. Casually in their respective instruments after touch once, but also basically understand what the meaning. Are they all ready? Only to see Bai Chen standing in the center, holding Yu Hong's guitar and looking towards the three. Okay. No problem. Da go go. Okay. Then let's just walk to one side at random. After saying that, Bai Chen gave Yu Hong a look. Buzz. As Yu Hong fluctuated the strings of his zither, a string of pleasant, somewhat dreamy melodies slowly flowed out, accompanied by the flow of notes. The crowd soon entered into the state of the song, and not far away, Xiao Han was similarly attracted by the melody, slightly tilting her ear sideways, waiting for the following. Ten seconds passed. Clang. Along with the appearance of the first sweeping string, Bai Chen spoke. Once I dreamed of traveling to the ends of the earth with a sword, to see the prosperity of the world. The heart of a young man is always a bit frivolous, and now you're at home in all four seas. In just four lines, Bai Chen used his own vicissitude, story-filled voice to make both Zhou Chang and Fan Chang sink into the song. As for Xiao Han, when she heard this, the goosebumps on her body instantly turned over, slowly rocking her body to the rhythm of the song. When the song reached this point, Bai Chen continued singing after glancing at Yu Hong with his afterglow. The girl who once made your heartache is now gone without a trace. Love always makes you long and feel troubled. It once left you bruised all over. Even though Yu Hong had already read the lyrics once, when he actually heard the words, he would still feel like a bolt from the blue. Only to see that at this moment, Yu Hong's eyes had begun to redden, and tears were flickering in his eyes. He seemed to see the figure of a teenager appearing in front of his eyes. That teenager had an undying ambition and a single mind in the distance, like himself. Once he walked on the road of pursuing his dream, the people around him left one by one, and slowly became a loner. And the girl who once loved him, also disappeared on the road of pursuing the dream. It was himself. I lost her. And now he has returned to this place where he met her, in the vain hope of finding her again. Unfortunately, it can no longer be found. That's right. This kind of behavior. It's nothing but a boat seeking a sword? Even if one really found, then would she still be the her in her own memories? Thinking. Yu Hong also can only be helplessly shook his head, and right at this moment, the first climax of the song was finally ushered in, it was only heard that the live music suddenly lurched, immediately after that, Bai Chen was seen clutching the microphone with both hands, his voice rising as he hissed, Dilla la danda, bang, at the end of Beck Chen's voice, Fan Chang hit the wipe hard, and along with a fierce drum beat, everyone worked in unison to bring the song to a climax, Dilla la danda, walking on the path of courage, Dilla la danda, there's sadness and there's excitement. After the chorus was sung by Bai Chen in that stirring voice, the several people immediately felt a sense of enlightenment and transparency, especially with that hissing high note. It was as if he had shouted out everything that was depressing. Cool, it was too good, especially Fan Cheng who was the drummer. At this moment, he was as if he was simply crazy, shaking his hair while using all his strength to beat the drums. That maniacal appearance, even to Bai Chen were startled. It wasn't until the interlude. Only then did he slow down the tempo, and it was only then that Bai Chen adjusted his emotions and continued to sing. Every time I'm sad, I look at the ocean alone, always remembering how many of my friends walking around me are healing. Dilila Danda. At this moment, Xiao Han, who was listening to a few people singing at the top of their lungs, her eyes became moist unconsciously. She thought of once, when she was still young, she would often run to the Arai coast with her village pals to play carefree until the afternoon before being called back by her parents. And of course, there was no shortage of a warm scolding. After all, I was still young at that time, and it was always unsafe to go to the Yurai Sea. But anyway, that time was the happiest time for me. I thought I could spend my childhood carefree like this, but no one expected. The arrival of a fire would ruin everything for himself. Although he was lucky enough to survive that disaster, everything changed. Once playmates began to avoid themselves, and even bullied themselves, with solid cold words in their mouths and their relatives at home directly contacted the local orphanage, and they were even under the gaze of countless strange eyes, slowly grow up. Since then, he or she likes to come to the Arai Sea by himself or herself to feel that moment of tranquility, and one looks forward to, maybe time will smooth out everything and it will slowly get better, but I didn't realize that life would only get bumpier and bumpier, just as Xiao Han was immersed in her memories, a burst of loud, cheerful laughter suddenly came over, raising her eyes, she looked, he saw Bai Chen and Yu Hong several people laughing and joking around. 
seemingly very happy, watching the last rays of the setting sun pass through the mountain peaks, when it shone on by Chen and the others, Xiao Han suddenly felt an inexplicable warmth, knowing that it was already beginning to fall, the wind in Irai was still quite harsh at night, but at this moment, looking at the innocent smiles on their faces because of the music, it was like a spring breeze warming the surroundings, only Xiao Han's mouth also slightly surfaced a smile, his mouth muttered in a voice that only he could hear, walking on the road of courage, cheer up, Mr. White, oh no, brother Bai, I have to toast you today, this song today, I really enjoyed it, I have to honor you too, how can I, Fan Chang, be involved in this kind of work, I can't imagine, I can't imagine, eh don't even say it, let's toast brother Bai together, as night fell, Bai Chen and the others sat around the barbecue grill, one person carrying a bottle of beer in his hand, Zhou Chang and the others didn't care how old Bai Chen was, and shouted with a mouthful of brother. Tisk I have a feeling that this song of brother buys from this music festival is definitely a king bomb. More than a king bomb. It's a nuclear explosion alright. It's really too awesome. I don't even think we need to rehearse. Just take this version today and sing it. It will definitely blow up the venue. Looking at the several people whose faces were already a little red, and whose expressions of excitement were incomparable, Bai Chen was also very happy. This feeling of having a musical collision with friends was something that really couldn't be described in words without experiencing it firsthand. Hmm, I think this version could be a bit more perfect. It was only after Fan Chang took a large gulp of wine that he suddenly said. Bai Chen looked at Fan Chang with some confusion after hearing this, not knowing which point he was talking about that wasn't perfect enough, and Fan Chang didn't sell the idea. He directly opened his mouth and said, I think it can be a little bit rockier, so it might be even more shocking. Rock. I'm afraid you don't play the drums well enough? Shit. The drums almost cracked my eardrums during the climax. And you want it to be even more intense? First of all, you're good to suggest it. And second of all, it's best not to suggest it. While Yu Hong and the two of them were disliking Fan Chang, Bai Chen had a flash of light in his head. This song seems to, could really be rocked a bit more. That version of the accompaniment just now did seem a bit bland if it was performed live. Otherwise, just as Bai Chen was about to say something, Suddenly saw Xiao Han pointing ahead and shouting in surprise. Eh look over there. A few people followed the direction of Xiao Han's finger and looked over. The next second, they saw that the originally dark, rippling sea surface of the Arai Sea was covered with fishing lights at some point. From afar, it looked as if the stars in the sky had inadvertently fallen into the sea, dotted with starlight. Incomparably romantic. Nets. Eh, this is the opening of the sea, right? Ah, uh, seems like it. It's September. Han nodded. Hey, I really didn't expect us to run into it today. Yu Hong and the others got up and looked at the sea of stars in front of them and talked. Bai Chen, on the other hand, had even frozen his tracks long after seeing such a wonderful scene. It was the first time he himself had seen such a rosy beauty. Even had the urge to buy a house here. Facing the sea, flowers blossoming in spring. Although this sea is not the real sea, but it has the same magic and charm. And there is a beautiful little star. Time passed slowly along with the laughter of a few people and the sky was completely dark. Bai Chen's few people then gathered around the campfire and chatted with each other about some of the things that had happened in the past. TSK TSK TSK. I didn't realize that Olju was still thinking about that girl now. Great lover ah. Who says it's not? Just now when I sang this song, I saw Olju seemingly dropping his little pearls secretly. Roll roll roll. Screw the pearls. The wind blew them away. To be honest, Yu Hong also didn't expect Bai Chen to write his own experience into the song causing himself to freeze while playing the song. By the way, Mr. Bai, what's the name of this song? Zhou Cheng suddenly looked at Bai Chen and asked, Once upon a time you, Bai Chen said briefly, Once upon a time you? Listening to the title of the song, several people's eyes fluttered for a moment, as if they thought of all the things that had passed away in the past, either in love or ideals. Good name, even better song. Mr. Bai is really too good at writing songs, whether it's going to Dali or this song, it feels much better than some of the drooling songs on the internet now. Indeed. Can those songs online be called songs? All day long they love to die and live. Say, Mr. Bye. You're so talented. How come I haven't heard of your songs before? Right. It seems that in the past two years, the singer who has something in the circle seems to have no surname Bai. Is it possible that Mr. Bai has another stage name? Looking at why Bai Chen is not fire and doubtful two people. Some drink a little bit of Yu Hong waved his hand and said, Ha. Mr. Bai has been on fire for a long time, and it's still a big fire, just in the past two years did not release songs, faded out of people's horizons, he's been hot for a long time, and it's a big hit, Zhou Chang and even Xiao Han froze for a moment when they heard this, and then searched for relevant information in their minds, 
while Bai Chen listened to Yu Hong's words, he waved his hand and said modestly, No, no, I was just lucky to have a small fire. A small fire? After hearing Bai Chen personally admit that he was indeed on fire, a few people were even more puzzled. The singers or songwriters who have been on fire in the past two years don't really seem to have this one person, right? Can it be that the early distance singers? But, Mr. Bai is not that old. Due to the information age, the people who explode on the internet change a batch of people in a month, and the brain simply can't remember every single one of them. So Zhou Qing's eyes turned, so he directly opened his cell phone search engine and typed, the singer surnamed Bai who burst into flames in recent years, having only just clicked on search. The next second, he saw Zhou Qing's pupils shrink violently, frowning as he looked at the first result of the search in front of him. Bai Chen, Chinese mainland male singer, musician, due to participate in the network program, PDD Song Club, and burst into flames, representative works of the seabed, send you a little red flower, a meat and a vegetarian. Bai Chen, to be honest, although two years ago they do know this person, that time also often listen to him sing those songs, his song is really very good, but two years is too long. Moreover, Bai Chen was also on fire for those two or three months, and then he disappeared from the scene, and he didn't participate in any variety shows like this to show his face for exposure. The result is that the marketing number, the self-media and some other for the flow of the blogger, naturally, did not continue to update his news, and Bai Chen these two words are also so slowly faded out of the people's field of vision. However, the songs he sang, but the songs he sang have always had a very good amount of airplay. Now at the sight of this familiar yet unfamiliar name, Zhou Cheng naturally froze for a moment. Mr. Bai, it was Bai Chen? Hiss, it's not right, is it? Only to see Zhou Qing's brows heave into several layers as he looked at the picture of Bai Chen on his phone, and then looked at teacher Bai who was sitting in front of him. M, not quite the same. The picture of Bai Chen looked white and thin, while Mr. Bai was a little muscular, and didn't look so weak plus that sexy beard. It's like two people's temperament, but the facial features look similar. Not sure. Take a look. After watching Zhou Qin keep glancing down at his cell phone and looking up at Bai Chen, Fan Cheng on the side also directly came over and looked at Zhou Qin's cell phone and said, What are you looking at? Looking at Mr. Bai like this. Eh? Bai Chen? Why are you searching him? He's making a comeback recently? Wait. Bai Chen? Bai? Mr. Bai? Fan Cheng, who had already drank a whole box of it was obviously a little too big for his reflex arc, and froze for a while before seeing him react. Afterwards, then he saw Fan Cheng staring with a pair of eyes, incredulously looking at Bai Chen and asking, Mr. Bai, you are Bai Chen? The Bai Chen who sang Shanghai? After looking at Fan Cheng who wasn't afraid of the embarrassment of recognizing the wrong person and asked directly, Zhou Qing also looked up at teacher Bai, and then looked at Yu Hong with inquiring eyes. After all, this guy had been in contact with teacher Bai for the longest time, so he definitely knew something. In the face of Zhou Qing's inquiry, Yu Hong didn't answer for Bai Chen either. Not very well. As for Bai Chen, who was the person in question? He had actually guessed that it would be like this. After all, he had never deliberately hidden himself, afraid of his identity being exposed or anything like that. And he is not on fire for decades that kind of heavenly king level characters, out of a door on someone to recognize. In fact, most know. The most people know is just the few songs that he sang. Listening to the two inquiries, Bai Chen frankly smiled and nodded. I'm not going to be able to do that. It's really Bai Chen? After seeing Bai Chen personally admit it, the two didn't doubt it. After all, a person's name can be faked, but their own strength can't be faked. Surnamed Bai, whether it was his singing or songwriting ability that was so top notch, who else could there be besides Bai Chen? Only to see Zhou Qing's eyes instantly become respectful for a few moments, holding the bottle of wine and rising to salute. He said, I didn't realize that you, teacher, are really Bai Chen, long time no see, those few songs of yours I really, admire, I'll blow it off, feel free, with that, he picked up the bottle of wine and swirled it into his mouth, while Fan Chang on the side was excited, brother Bai, I really like your song mountain and see too much too much, it's been on a single song cycle all the time, I never thought I wouldn't know the true face of Mount Lushana, I hope to have a chance to work with you on that song, I'll play one too, after saying that, he also looked at Yu Hong and spat. You old you. You know I like mountain and sea. But you didn't tell me that the original song was right here. And you hid it from me. You have to get up and blow one together too. Listening to Fan Cheng's words, Yu Hong can only be helplessly smiled and got up. Well well well. Brother three together to honor brother by A. After saying that, he picked up a bottle of freshly opened beer and. Hair a flip. I'm ready to blow the bottle. Looking at the three who were about to blow up the bottle at the drop of a hat. 
Bai Chen, who was sitting in his seat, froze for a moment. The next second, he also took over a bottle of beer, got up and laughed cheerfully and said, Don't toast me, let's toast to Dali, to this beautiful place. That's right, we met brother by here, and brother you also met here. Then let's toast to Dali. Come on, to Dali to the Arai, ha 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 ha. Only to see the four of them laughing as their bottles collide. And then, tun 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 tea. The spinning was done, just as a few people were blowing out their bottles. No one noticed Xiao Han's eyes, which were filled with surprise and excitement. That, he, he's Bai Chen? The song that had sustained himself through night after night during that darkest of times. Is he the one who sang it? After learning Bai Chen's identity, Xiao Han first froze for a moment. Then she was seen running to her tent, seemingly rummaging for something. After three rounds of wine and almost all the food had been eaten, a few people were preparing to go and sing for a little while when, Zhou Qing suddenly looked pooped, covered his stomach and said, Oops, the grass, my stomach hurts a bit, is there anyone who wants to go to the toilet together? You're straight, aren't you? You want to shit after eating? Are you going or not? If not, I'll go by myself. Let's go, let's go together. Is brother by coming? In the face of the three people's generous invitation, Bai Chen naturally shook his head. In the middle of nowhere, it was really inconvenient for him to come out. Okay, then we'll excuse ourselves for a while, brother Bai. You rest for a while and come back later to continue. Saying that, he saw the three of them walking crookedly towards the distant grove. And just as the trio had left with their front feet, Xiao Han walked out of the tent with her back feet. Eh, where's big brother you and the others? After coming out and seeing that Bai Chen was the only one on the seat, Xiao Han opened her mouth and inquired. They, they went for convenience. Where did you go just now? Why haven't I seen you? Bai Chen spoke while waving his hand to signal Xiao Han to sit over. I, I went to get something. Only Xiao Han had her hands behind her back and seemed to be a bit restrained. HM, what is it? Listening to Bai Chen's words, Xiao Han didn't answer, but hesitated for a while before saying, somewhat nervously, Bai, teacher Bai, that, you, can you give me an autograph? I, I really like the songs you sang. Autograph? Sure. Is there a pen? Bai Chen shrugged. There is. By the way, can I sign here? With that, he took out the thing he had hidden behind him. And after seeing what was in Xiao Han's hand, Bai Chen froze for a moment. What she took out wasn't paper, or some posters uploaded on the internet about herself, but a record box with a CD. And there were two words written on the top of the box. The angel. This is, a physical record of yourself? To be honest, if he hadn't seen this record, Bai Chen would have forgotten that he had even messed with this. It seemed like when the Angel Charity Concert had caught fire online, the person in charge of Net Suppression Cloud had approached himself, asked himself if he had any intention of taking this opportunity to specialize in getting a series of healing song albums as well as physical records, and at the same time part of the proceeds from this would be used to do public service. In this regard, at that time, Bai Chen did not refuse, nodded and handed over this matter to the people on the side of the Net Suppression Cloud to get it. Looking at Bai Chen's frozen look, Xiao Han thought that it was because he was not willing to sign on this, and all of a sudden became a bit anxious. No, can't I? Don't worry, Mr. Bai, I won't put it on the internet and sell it at a high price after you sign it. I promise. Looking at Xiao Han's look, Bai Chen hurriedly waved his hand and explained that. No no, it's just that, when I saw this album, I suddenly thought of something from the past. What happened in the past? Well, M. Are you thinking about Yi Yi's little friend? Xiao Han pulled over a chair and sat next to Bai Chen. Yi Yi? After hearing this name, a soft smile appeared in Bai Chen's eyes, taking the physical record in Xiao Han's hands while in front of him. He said, Yeah, she should have grown quite a bit taller after two years have passed, right? After Xiao Han sniffed, she nodded with her hands resting on her face and sighed softly. I actually kinda envy Yi Yi at times, envying her for meeting you and meeting some very, very good people. Listening to Xiao Han's words, Bai Chen's hand, which was signing, paused slightly, after a few seconds. Here, it's done. Only to see Bai Chen also draw a small love heart after his signature before handing it over. After receiving this record that Bai Chen had signed, Xiao Han held it in her arms as if it was a treasure. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Bai. Hey, no need to be so polite. By the way, which is your favorite song inside? Bai Chen turned his head to look at Xiao Han and asked, M. Favorite? I've thought about getting rid of it once and for all. Oh this one? Well, I used to listen to this song every night when I went to sleep. Right. There's also that song Little Red Flower. These two songs are my favorites. Listening to Xiao Han's words, Bai Chen smiled and said, Since you like those two songs so much, why don't you hum a couple lines? I'll sing along with you. 
Faced with Bai Chen's invitation, Xiao Han first felt a burst of surprise, but then waved her hand and shook her head, saying, Count, forget it, I can't, it's fine, just sing a song, come on, old you and the others aren't back yet, said. Bai Chen then got up and took a guitar over, slowly fluctuating the strings, and hummed, I've thought about getting rid of it all before, when I heard the seagulls wailing. After listening to the familiar melody and Bai Chen's melodious singing voice, Xiao Han suddenly felt a sourness in her nose, and after hesitating for a moment, she whispered in agreement, floating on the waves, please take my bad times away. As she sang, Xiao Han gradually relaxed, and her voice gradually let out, and as Bai Chen heard her ethereal and somewhat hoarse voice, his eyes instantly lit up. This voice condition, it's very good, even Bai Chen felt. She sang this song with a bit more emotion than even what she had sung. There's a talent for it. However, it seemed that Xiao Han was still a bit embarrassed, and stopped after singing half of the song, looking at Bai Chen with a hint of anticipation in her eyes. And when Bai Chen saw this, he complimented her without mincing words. Your singing is really good. Such a beautiful voice condition. How many people are begging for it? You have to be a little confident. In the face of Bai Chen's compliments, Xiao Han's face instantly became red and incomparable. Shyly nodded her head. Afterwards, the two of them then sang together for a while and chatted for a while, until after Yu Hong and the few others came back from the grove. And, Bai Chen then pulled Yu Hong to the side and inquired, Old Yu, did you report the program list for the music festival? Program list? Not yet. Why? I'd like to add a program to it. Is that convenient? Hearing Bai Chen's words, Yu Hong first froze for a moment. Then he nodded with a smile and said, Of course it's not a problem. If you want to sing, it's not a problem to add a few more. By the way, we'll announce the names of the performers at that time. Just write your name or what? Bai Chen thought for a while after hearing this. It's okay, just write my real name. Then I added that program. Write about me in Xiao Han. Xiao Han? Hearing this after Yu Hong's eyes surfaced with a touch of surprise. I used to let her sing on stage with us. This girl obviously sings very well, but just beat her to death. How do you once you are willing to? Looking at Yu Hong's puzzled eyes, Bai Chen sighed and shook his head and said, This is something I haven't said to her yet, but I'll figure it out. From the exchange between himself and Xiao Han just now, Bai Chen probably guessed that Xiao Han was like this. It's because the shadow in her heart always exists, and the gaze of others can make her feel scared, inferior, timid, and so on. Maybe this may be just a small problem, but people who don't know how to change can't change anything. The remaining days, Yu Hong Bai Chen several people are basically in this place, waiting for the arrival of the music festival. Three days flashed by, and in the blink of an eye, the day of the music festival arrived. Bai Chen and the others rushed back from the secret base on the beach at noon, preparing for the festival in the afternoon, and Yu Hong was early to the scene, to do some preparatory work, and some of the design and so on. At this time, 5, 0 p.m., Xiao Han, are you ready? Bai Chen, dressed in a casual outfit, sat on a swing in the courtyard and waited for Xiao Han, right away, Mr. Bai, listening to Xiao Han's voice inside the house, Bai Chen smiled faintly for a moment and, good, there's no need to rush, clean up and dress up properly, aha, uh -huh. after a few minutes, I, I'm ready, listening to Xiao Han's voice that seemed to be trembling a bit, Bai Chen turned his head to look, he saw Xiao Han, who was wearing a half-sleeved white dress, walk out from the house, and on her arms and calves, a piece of folded, Dark red scars leaked out that looked a bit blinding in the sunlight. This, is this not good? After seeing Bai Chen didn't say anything, Xiao Han took a deep breath and said somewhat uneasily. Seeing this scene, Bai Chen got up and came in front of Xiao Han, adjusted the position of her veil that covered her face and laughed, saying, There's nothing wrong with it. This is singing and not going to a beauty pageant, isn't it? Be confident. Your voice is the most beautiful thing in the world. Come on. Everyone will love it. Listening to Bai Chen's soft words, Xiao Han's eyes curved into a slit and nodded. Aha! Bai Chin didn't say anything that falsely complimented her appearance. Because some things happened as they happened. And false compliments wouldn't change anything. What needed to be done, is just to go and bravely face it head on, and then go and discover the other shining points in yourself. 6. 0 PM. Bai Chin arrived at the festival's performance site with Xiao Han, Zhou Qing, and the others. Brother Bai, you guys are finally here. Having only just arrived at the site, before getting off the bus, he saw Yu Hong hurriedly trotting over. There's been a change of plans. After watching our rehearsal video, they're going to let us be the first to sing. How are you guys doing? Is it okay? Listening to Yu Hong's words, Bai Chen's few people had surprises, but they didn't say much, and nodded their heads in agreement, saying, What's wrong with that? I can't wait to be the first one to come. 
Me too. Bai Chen also nodded and said that it was fine. The first one will be the first one. This is not a competition or something. There was nothing to be nervous about. By the way, there's another thing I just realized. This time, the Cultural and Tourism Bureau will open a live broadcast to broadcast the scene. I don't know how many people will see it at that time. We mustn't make a mistake. Live broadcast? Zhou Chang and Fan Chang were both startled. Bai Chen also didn't expect this official to kinda keep up with the times, knowing that online traffic is very appetizing right now, and live streaming is all messed up. Let's all be more serious. Especially you Fan Chen. Don't play around with the live broadcast. Honestly follow the rhythm of the rehearsal. I know. As for Bai Chen, he wasn't nervous about live broadcasting. After all, he had made his debut through live broadcasting. Eh, Xiao Han. Where's Xiao Han? After arranging Bai Chen several people, Yu Hong opened his mouth and shouted, I'm here, big brother Yu. After seeing Xiao Han sitting in the car wearing a skirt, Yu Hong froze for a moment, and then laughed inside and said, Alas, I said you wear more skirts, this is not wearing quite good looking well. How beautiful a little girl. Listening to Yu Hong's praise, Xiao Han said with a smile, Hey, 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 thank you, big brother Yu. By the way brother Yu, when is my program with teacher by going to be on? Looking at Xiao Han's cheerful smile, Yu Hong nodded slightly and, you're in teacher Bai's program is at the finale. Ah, the finale ah? Xiao Han was a bit surprised. That's not. Let's go. Let's go backstage first. Right. Remember to put on a jacket. It'll be a bit cold after dark. Aha. Uh -huh. With that, the group went to the backstage preparation room and waited. Time passed slowly. At 7.30 in the evening, the sky gradually darkened. People were arriving one after another filling up the seats under the stage, and even standing around with a lot of people. It is obvious that the local officials have made a lot of efforts to publicize this event. The ancient town culture and music festival also officially opened the prelude, only to see the host went on stage to make a speech, thanked the leaders, guests, then began the first opening featured program performance, accompanied by a burst of cheerful folk music. See a beautiful girl dressed in by ethnic national costume, have come to the stage, jumped up the light dance, at this time, in a live broadcast room called Wind, Flower, Snow and Moon, Ancient City Music Festival. More than a hundred viewers are chatting here. Eh, this is the white dance, right? It's quite interesting. I think the white girls are more interesting. Color, color, you don't have to say. It's a beautiful day in Yunnan province. The sunset is so beautiful. I'm thinking of traveling to Dali, but I just don't have enough money. I've heard that they're ripping off foreigners on their trips there. Ahem, I'm a local to explain. This area is the same. Is a person or slaughtered you ah? I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to afford it. Can you believe I'm getting 30 bucks for a piece of roasted breast? To be honest, the official wants to publicize Dolly. Suggest not to broadcast any music festival. Broadcast the beautiful scenery in front of you on the line. Not just sing songs. It's not interesting. Upstairs, don't be embarrassed. There are a lot of good musicians in the old city. Plus one plus one plus one plus one. As a result of the Blue Lotus fire some time ago, caused a wave of tourism boom. Generally this kind of publicized the local beauty of the live room are quite hot. Many people will follow the title, point into the live room inside. At this moment, the performance of the outgoing program was about to end. Yu Hong, who was waiting in the background, took a deep breath and looked at Bai Chen several people and said, later on, we'll do what we said before, we'll harmonize together for the chorus, and leave the main song to Bai Chen. Roger. All right. Bai Chen nodded his head a little helplessly. In fact, at the beginning, he intended to sing with a few people, but after rehearsing a few times, he found that the effect was not very good. Not by Chen one person sing so harmonious, have a feeling, and so it could only come like this. But fortunately, everyone has no problem with this. At the same time, after a sudden burst of enthusiastic applause and cheers came from the front of the stage, Bai Chen, Yu Hong, and a few others had a heartfelt look at each other and, all right, it's our turn, go for it, come on. Come on, blow them up. Woohoo up 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 up. At this moment, only to hear the front stage host saying with a smile on his face, please applaud a little more enthusiastically for our lovely white girls. Next we have our old friends, Yu Hong and their mountain grass band. Applause. Just as the host's words fell, the crowd of musicians or audience members on stage applauded. It was obvious. Yu Hong and the others still had a good reputation over here. Looking at the crowd of people on stage who were supporting the show, only to see the host sell his attention saying that, of course, this festival also welcomed a special friend to sing with old friends of Mountain Grass, and it was rumored that the song that would be performed, it's all written and arranged by him, guess who he is? Obviously, 
the emotions of the audience on stage were mobilized by the host, and they all tilted their heads, looking for something with a curious face, the host didn't say much, and said with a slight smile, let's invite Yamakusa as well as White Tatsu, together sing out to bring you a song, once you, applause welcome, as soon as the words fell, the lights on the stage went out in pitch black, and the applause from the stage suddenly paused, the, many people who knew or had heard of Bai Chen froze for a moment and, wait, who was the host just now, Bai Chen, Bai Chen, is it the Bai Chen I was thinking of, no way, when did old you get to play with the white god, impossible, absolutely impossible, at the same time, not only the scene, but even the nearly one, zero 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 viewers who came to join in the fun in the live broadcast room froze for a moment, not brothers, did I hear wrong, Bai Chen, hot man is back, could it be a name bump, air, I think so, just when everyone was wondering, dum 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 dum, p.s., I'm pushing the live version of Once Upon a Time, with a super long intro that doubles the shock, dong 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 dong, accompanied by the sound of thick, ethnic drums, only to see the two big lights on the stage brushing and shining down, illuminated on the two men wearing ethnic costumes and beating the Chinese drums, the two men, dressed in national costume, playing Chinese drums, caused a burst of cheers from the audience, dum 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 dum, accompanied by the increasingly aggressive and surging drums, many people were involuntarily shaking along with the drum beats, it was as if something was about to rush out from within, looking at the expressions of the people below the stage, Fancheng on the stage quietly and silently said on the internal mic, Hey brother by this change is really awesome. It calmed down the people below. Listening to Fan Cheng's words, Zhou Qing on the side looked at him and said, Stop talking, we're going in later. There's still a while left. Chatting, teacher teacher, please disable Fan Cheng's mic. Fan Cheng, after Fan Cheng stopped talking, I only heard that the surging drum beat suddenly paused for a moment. Immediately after, Zhou Qing in charge of the keyboard deep inhalation together. The fingers steadily fell on the keys, played one after another a beautiful melody. As the music progressed, Yu Hong's electric guitar and Fan Cheng's drums joined in, listening to the layers of melody, even with a hint of an inexplicable sense of mission in the prelude. Many of the musicians on stage had their mouths open wide, their eyes filled with excitement. God, this intro was truly divine. Even before the song was sung, the crowd's goosebumps had already risen. At this time, the audience in the official live broadcast room also froze. What chow? This intro is kind of good. I'm listening to this intro, and I don't know why. Suddenly I feel like I can do it again. I have a premonition. The white god wouldn't really be here. Would he? No. It can't be. Can it? At this moment, in the middle of the scene, looking at the rising and falling shouts of the people under the stage, after a hint of a smile flashed in by Chen's eyes, he slightly inclined his head and took a breath before, accompanied by the headlights that were illuminated on his body. He. He opened his mouth and sang, I once dreamed of traveling the world with a sword, to see the world in all its splendor. The heart of a young man is always a bit frivolous. Now you're at home in all four corners of the world. Boom! Exploded all of them exploded. No one could resist Bai Chen's singing voice. The moment these four lines were sung, many people felt their brains buzzing. The door to the dusty memories was pried open by this sincere song, and everything that had happened before quietly surfaced before their eyes, especially the old leaders sitting in the first row their eyes have begun to redden, this is not that they are too emotional, but some songs, is the need for you to have a certain experience, age in order to taste the flavor, as the saying goes, when you first listen to the song, you don't know what it means, but when you listen to it again, you're already in the song, some songs when you listen to understand, already things are not the same, the song is over, the girl who once made your heartache is now gone, love always makes you long and feel troubled once made you partial body scars, when hearing this, some people shook their heads and sighed, seemingly in regret, some people are smiling, seemingly in relief, youthful past all kinds of, the most unforgettable may be that period of youthful and beautiful love, right, the next moment, only to see Bai Chen's voice suddenly elevated, raised his right arm and sang this with a loud hiss, saying, Dila de li denda, walking on the path of courage, Dila lil denda, there's sadness and there's splendor, listening to this cry from the depths of the soul, Shouting out the infinite longing of countless people for the future, beautiful with heartache, a variety of difficult to express in words the taste, but he used the song perfectly expressed, directly hit the hearts of the crowd. Some of the official leaders in the front row were also driven up by their emotions and couldn't help but get up and hum along, and standing on the stage, Bai Chen also waved his hands and continued to sing, every time I'm sad I look at the sea alone, always think of the friends walking beside me, how much is healing, Delilol, at this moment. 
This song once upon a time didn't just blow up the atmosphere of the scene, it was even crazier within the official livestream. Crap. This song. Fuck. This song. This song is so awesome. I didn't expect this little old town music festival to start off with such a bang. I thought it was just a country concert, but I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it. This rock. It's definitely top notch in China. It's a divine arrangement. Rock? This isn't rock. Is it? Shouldn't rock be heavy metal? Death? And criticism? Go, go, go. What do you know? In my heart, rock is about sincerity, about expression and release. This song does all that very well. By the way, does anyone know who wrote this song? Is it a new song? Didn't the host just announce? Bai Chen, Bai Shen, the one who sings in the center? Oh, it's Bai Chen. Wait, what did you say, Bai Chen? And at this moment, in the middle of the scene, only to see an assistant bending over to the front row under the stage, whispering to the front of one of the Mediterranean leaders, saying, Giro Chief Chang, there's a special situation. Obviously, this middle-aged Mediterranean man was the director of the Culture and Tourism Bureau who had vigorously promoted this ancient town music festival, only to see him frown. What special situation? It's that a lot of viewers have flooded into our live room all of a sudden, and the server can't handle it a bit. HM, how many? It's almost over 10. 000 now. As for how many more there will be, we don't know. I see that the pop-ups in the broadcast room seem to be for the one above. Bai Chen, listening to the assistant's words, Bureau Zhang seemed a little surprised, then nodded a little and said, I see, now you contact someone right away. Upgrade the server, directly to the best. It must be fast. Although he knew that this Bai Chen was the one who was quite hot two years ago, but he didn't expect that this young man had nothing to show for two years, and now he actually has such a big influence. But it's good to have more influence the bigger the better. It's also more powerful for this publicity campaign. Speaking of which, Mr. Zhang seemed to think of something else. Zhang seems to have thought of something, and called out to the assistant who was about to leave, saying, Right, we can't let them come here for nothing. When it's over, you can go to. Aha, uh -huh. I know. At this point on stage, Dilla Lidilai Danda, everyone together, Dilil Dilai Danda, only Bai Chen waved his arms, and after listening to both the audience and some folk singers on stage humming the melody together, a genuine smile appeared on its face. Let's drink up a good man's heart is like the sea. After experiencing the indifference of the world, this smile is warm and innocent. Dilil Dilai Danda, the end of the song. Pop 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 pop. After Bai Chen finished singing this passionate song, the, the crowd under the stage gave a warm and incomparable applause, and after Bai Chen politely bowed, he prepared to leave the stage. After all, this was a music festival and not his own personal concert, so he couldn't delay on the stage for too long. Looking at Bai Chen's back as they left the stage, no one under the stage suddenly shouted, White God is awesome, cowardly, Bai Chen don't go, sing another song, right, don't go, Bai Chen, what a surprise, old you really played with Bai Chen, this isn't worse than killing me, just as many people who knew about Bai Chen, or were once fans of Bai Chen, were up in arms, the, the program host walked out from backstage with a smile on her face, thank you, thank you to our mountain grass band, as well as Mr. Bai Chen for their performance, please give them a warm round of applause once again, at the same time, I also know that everyone loves Bai Chen, and I'm no exception, but due to time constraints, there are still quite a few exciting programs to be performed later on, so, please calm down for a while, and Mr. Bai will still have a program to perform, after the show, Mr. Back will say hello to everyone and have a chat. Please understand. Next, please enjoy the ballad singer, Wang Yi, who will bring you an original song, A Desolate Dream. After a few people returned to the backstage, only to see Fan Cheng twirling his drumsticks and said with a little bit of enthusiasm, Phew this song is really cool. I feel like we might be on fire this time. And Zhou Qing on the side also smiled. Yeah, we've kind of dipped into Mr. Bai's light. We really have to thank Mr. Bai for this. Let's go for a drink after tonight, Yu Hong proposed. Hearing the words of these few people, Bai Chen waved his hand and said, No, no, this is all created by everyone working together. After all, it's impossible for me alone to present such a stunning scene, isn't it? Okay, okay, we're all friends, let's not be polite here. Let's talk about it after the show. Let's watch other people's programs for a while first. Right, where's Xiao Han? Bai Chen looked to Yu Hong and asked, after seeing that there was no Xiao Han's voice in the background, Xiao Han, she said she was a bit nervous earlier, she should be practicing her song in the open space behind her now, practicing, I'll go and take a look, okay, you go, at the same time, 
in the official live broadcast room where the number of people had already exceeded 10,000. Crap, he's really the white god. Although the white god's appearance has changed, his voice is, he can't be fooled. Do you remember the song Blue Lotus from half a month ago? I said at the time that it sounded a bit like the white god's voice, and I guessed that the white god had sneaked off to play in Dianan, and now I see that it's really true. Eh? I've got a bit of an impression of this, and the style of that song is similar to this one. So it's all written by Beck Chion. He's back. He's back with a new song. It's him. It's him. It's him. Our friend. Ahem. Case solved. So the white god disappeared for the past two years to sneak out and play. Right? Two years. Do you know how I've lived these two years? Brothers. The place where TM by Chin sings is near my house. I'll go first. Ha 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 ha. I'm already on my way. I've already arrived at the scene okay. Bai Chen is awesome. Crap. I envy my friends who are in Dali. Bai Chen. Who is in the background? Does not know that a group of lovely people, after learning of his trail, have rushed in all directions to this side. At this time, in a small open space behind the stage, only Xiao Han, who was not far away, was sitting on a large rock, gently humming an incomparably beautiful melody. What's wrong? Are you nervous? Bai Chen came to Xiao Han's side and sat down with his hand on the boulder. Ah, teacher Bai. Xiao Han seemed to be startled, but she let her heart drop after seeing that it was Bai Chen. Nervous. A little. I guess. But it feels more like a bit of worry. Worried? Worried about what? Bai Chen asked as he turned his head to look at Xiao Han, only to see Xiao Han's brows furrowed as she shook her head and, I don't know if it's worry, or afraid of something. Maybe. It's the first time I've sung on this kind of occasion. There are so many people under the stage. Looking at Xiao Han's preoccupied look, Bai Chen smoothly picked a dog's tail grass in his mouth and lay down on the boulder, looking at the night sky above his head and laughed. Do you know how many people were under the stage the first time I actually got on stage and sang? Whom? How many people? Tens of thousands of people. Tens of thousands? Was it? Was it the one with Mr. Shui? Xiao Han was a bit surprised. After Bai Chen nodded, a flash of memories flashed through his eyes. I won't lie to you. At that time, after seeing that there were actually so many people at the scene, I was so scared that I had to pee my pants. Listening to Bai Chen's words, Xiao Han asked with some curiosity that, so nervous? Then how did you still sing so well? I heard a lot of people cried by you at that concert. After Bai Chen sniffed, a smirk surfaced in his eyes and said, that's why my eyes were closed the entire time I was singing on stage. It's still something old Shui taught me, said that if you sing on stage with your eyes slightly closed and don't look at the audience, you'll be less nervous, and the audience will think you're singing with passion. And I have another bad habit. I'm a little embarrassed to say it. When I'm backstage preparing for a show, I fart when I'm nervous. Fart. Fart. Looking at Bai Chen's serious look on his face, Xiao Han froze for a moment, not knowing whether to comfort or how. She could only ask with a worried face. Then, what should we do? What to do? That of course is put off ah, or Lu. Hold on the stage to put ah? This is such a simple and clear answer. So that Xiao Han also froze. Afterwards, before Xiao Han could react, he suddenly heard a, a poof sound. Ahem. Sorry. This was just saved on stage. After watching Bai Chen fan the air with his hand, Xiao Han also didn't hold back for a moment. Put. She laughed out loud, and gently pushed Bai Chen with her hand. Teacher Bai, how can you be like this? You're the white god eh? If this gets out and you don't lose face, your fans will lose face. Listening to Xiao Han's words, Bai Chen shrugged his shoulders and said indifferently, What's a white god or not a white god? I'm just an ordinary person. Normal physiological situation. Yuck. It stinks. I can't stand it. Harm. Loud farts don't stink. Stinky farts don't stink. You're stinky and loud. Afterwards, the two were seen walking down from the boulder block one after another, wanting to leave this place full of smell. All right, don't practice here alone. Let's go see the others' performances together. Some things are bad when practiced too much instead. After that flavorful little episode just now, Xiao Han had also relaxed quite a bit, so she didn't refuse and followed by Chin back to the backstage viewing hall. It just so happened that at this time, a burst of cheers as well as applause came from the front of the, listening to the warm applause, Bai Chen looked towards Xiao Han who was also looking at the stage and said jokingly, feel more we go up to sing not to perform, but to enjoy the stage, these applause, you'll have it too, I'll have it too, thinking about it, Xiao Han looked up at Bai Chen and nodded seriously, aha, time passes by one minute and one second, the contestants who went on stage behind them were also all zooming around, and they all brought up their most skillful songs, the level of excitement was not inferior to some music variety shows. Of course, this was also a deliberate arrangement by Yu Hong. After all, 
This time the use of music festivals to publicize the Dali Cultural and Tourism Bureau site is still very important. So he invited to perform musicians in how to say. Also all have a few pounds of strength in. At the same time, inside the official live broadcast room, this little music festival is full of hidden tigers and dragons. Indeed. Originally I heard that Bai Chen was here. Originally. I heard that Bai Chen was here and thought I'd come to listen to Bai Chen sing. But I didn't expect to find a lot of treasure singers. The music atmosphere here is really good. I heard that many of them are wandering singers in the ancient city. Really, in my lifetime, I'll bring my guitar and come here to stay for a while. But when is Bai Chen going to be on? Didn't the host say he had another show? I don't know. I think it's the last one. The opening is Bai Shun. And the grand finale is also Bai Shun. It's a real show. How dare this kid disappear for two years. I'm going to get the white god on the air today. Yo, you guys are still squatting in the live room? I've already squatted at the site. Okay? Vulgaria? You're on the spot too. I'm from Shimanasiki. I'm okay. I'm from the ancient city. At this time, in addition to the audience seats in front of the stage being filled with people, a group of people could be seen gathering on the periphery at some point, seemingly holding something in their hands. Brother, the information won't be wrong, right? Bai Chin really wouldn't have left already? Trust me. I saw the program list from my friend. The last program is Bai Chen's. And it's a new song. This guy cheated us out of so many tears only to disappear without saying a word. We must give him a little surprise today. Soon. Soon. News flash. It's Bai Chen's turn after the song. In the audience backstage. Xiao Han. Brother Bai. Are you ready? You guys are next. Zhou Cheng said at the two after glancing at the program list. Only to see Bai Chen and Xiao Han glance at each other before the two of them nodded their heads. Um. Good. Then you guys go wait for the stage first. Zhou Cheng and I will prepare for the last song and then come cheer you guys on. Cheer little Han. Do it on your own. You can do it. See you later, brother Bai. Just as the crowd went to make their own preparations. The, a burst of applause once again came from the stage in front. This time, for some reason, the applause seemed to be quite a bit more enthusiastic than before. Only to see the previous musician get off the stage. The, the host came on stage and didn't say too much. Smiling, he said straight to the point. Thank you, Dong Kai, for bringing us this heart-touching song. Next to perform on stage. The next performer will be Mr. Bai, the one you've all been waiting for. And this song is also arranged and composed by Mr. Bai. Let's welcome Bai Chen and Su Qinhan, bringing you a song, To the Clouds. Applause and welcome. Just after the host's words, with a pop-tart sound, the lights on the stage went out, and the entire stage became black. Immediately after that, five seconds later, one of the white illumination lamps suddenly shone down and, only to see that on the stage. Bai Chen was sitting on a chair holding a guitar, his fingers strumming on the strings at the, at the same time, the big screen at the back of the stage also lit up, playing a video of an old town, with the noises of passersby and the tea brewing sound of a tea house and so on, these sounds from the town as well as a harmonica accompaniment, blended with Bai Chen's guitar sound that, it seems to be an extraordinary blend, it was beautiful and soothing, and it made people feel very peaceful when they heard it, inside the official live broadcast room, tea on, Another divine prelude? It's so beautiful. Honestly, just listening to this intro, I feel like I'm in the middle of an ancient town. What a beautiful piece of music. How did Bai Chen write such a melody? You really have a system, don't you? The first song is so good. I'm already looking forward to the main song. Expectation plus one. Anyway, with Bai Chen's strength, the intro is so good. The main song will be an absolute blast. At this very moment, just as everyone was expecting Bai Chen to open his mouth, suddenly, Another light came on, spreading a soft, somewhat dim light beside Bai Chen. And, and then, a beautiful, goosebump inducing song slowly came out, toward the clouds over the mountain inside the sea. Which way should the real me go? Before sunset the wind comes, under the stone pier I'm sitting cross-legged. On what basis do people define ugliness? Silence. After listening to this small section, both the musicians at the scene, and the audience in the live broadcast room, all fell into silence. What kind of divine voice is this? ethereal but with a hint of original hoarseness, as if it came from nature, instantly pulling people in irresistibly. Although you can hear that Xiao Han's voice seems to be trembling a bit because of her nervousness, but it is this wisp of trembling, makes her singing voice more real full of feelings, closing their eyes. In the midst of this spiritual and incomparable singing voice, they seem to see the clear blue sky, the vast ocean, seeing all the beautiful things. In contrast to the silence of the scene, the live broadcast room is exploding. Nest test. This is the voice of a fairy? The beauty feels like my heart is melting. I first visualized, 
the word beautiful can be applied to the voice. Although the lights are too dim to see, I bet it's sung by a beautiful girl with a sweet voice. I thought it would be sung by Bai Chen, but I didn't expect it to be a big surprise. I don't know how many times I've said that I want to go to Dali. At this moment, I slightly close small Han does not know these for their own comments. Da. At this time she closed her eyes and put her whole strength into the song. God ah where are you? Mountain ah I'm afraid. Oh see it can't be taken away either. The end is there or not. Accompanied by the shift in the mood of the lyrics, the crowd immediately felt as if their hearts had been struck hard by something. It was as if they saw a lone figure appearing on the top of a high mountain, on the shore of the Azure Sea, and it seemed to be searching, or perhaps praying for something. She, what's wrong? Is there something on her mind? She hoped that the waves would wash away everything, take something away? Many people pondered along with the lyrics. At this moment, Yu Hong, who secretly came to the side stage to watch, looked at Xiao Han on the stage. His eyes had long been reddened. Perhaps only he knows what this song means to this child. Suddenly, just then, the song style changed and the light above Bai Chen's head also changed to a warm yellow color. With a slight smile, he put his guitar aside and got up to sing with a gentle yet powerful voice. If you're sad, why don't you clean up your room first? Stop tossing and turning. The sun will shine next to you later. Listening to Bai Chen's rap, Xiao Han somehow seemed to have a large portion of her inner tension subside all of a sudden, only to see her sneakily open her eyes, turn her head to look at Bai Chen. And, I hadn't thought that. At this moment, Bai Chen was also looking at himself his soft eyes were full of encouragement and affirmation. It's not that it's not as good as it should be. Maybe you didn't walk around your own track. You're really beautiful. Why do you often talk about your ugly appearance? Maybe you feel bereft. Life makes you feel inferior. Then when you hear this song choose to retreat with me. At this moment, looking at Bai Chen who was rapping on stage, many of Bai Chen's old fans wiped their eyes, expressed surprise. I measured up fierce. Bai Chen started to rap? Oh my god. Rap is so cultured. Does brother Bai want to share the cake too? Ahem. Actually, what I want to say is, Bai Shun, your rapping is very good. And secondly, promise me you won't sing raps in the future. Okay? To be honest, I also feel that this song seems to be a bit abrupt with the raps, but the girl in front of me sings really well. It's so good plus one. The melody is really beautiful. I hope for the first time the white god doesn't make a sound. White god don't look. All the bad reviews ha ha ha. Just as many viewers in the live broadcast said they preferred Xiao Han's singing voice, some viewers found by dot. Eh, you guys didn't realize that you were looking at the girl next to you when you were singing this rap? It seems like eh, is the white god in love? Whoa so sweet. Where's the house manager? Give me the damn love brain fork out. At this time, Bai Chin didn't know about the bad comments about himself in the live broadcast room, but instead, with his eyes closed, he swayed his body and accompanied Xiao Han as she gently hummed the last part, to the clouds, to the mountains, to the sea, the real you lies in how to choose, God where are you, the mountains, I'm afraid, the sea takes away sorrow, like taking away every river, after singing here, the crowd under the stage thought it was over and were ready to give a warm applause, but Bai Chen took the microphone and softly sang, Bai Chen, however, took the microphone and softly whistled the main melody, this soft whistling sound once again brought the people into a piece of tranquility, as if purifying the mind in general, only Xiao Han, who was listening to this beautiful whistling sound, had, her eyes were glowing with a clear light, smiling as she looked at the man in front of her who was as warm as the sun, thank you, mister, bye, finally the song ends, with a pop tart sound, only to see the lights on the stage all light up, and the entire stage regained its brightness, and after the audience under the stage came back to their senses, they erupted into a tsunami of cheers, wah, it's so good, little Han sang really well, awesome little Han, divine voice, the little girl is awesome. At this moment, after Xiao Han on the stage heard some of Yu Hong's friends and even some people she didn't know on the stage applauding and cheering for her singing just now, she, a wave of emotions that can't be described in words suddenly surged to her heart like a tidal wave. Although the beautiful clothes could not cover the dark red scars on her body, and even more conspicuous in the bright light. But, from the eyes of the people around the front row she, there was no dislike, no strangeness, and even less malice. There was only surprise, appreciation and even encouragement, as well as the applause that made her own heart follow, looking at this scene in front of him, which had never even surfaced in the dream world, the, in a flash, Xiao Han's reddened eyes surfaced a layer of water mist, as if her throat was blocked by something, unable to make a sound, come on, remember to take a bow after the performance, listening to Bai Chen's gentle voice in her ears, Xiao Han forced back her tears and nodded her head, and, ah, uh, afterwards, Bai Chen held one of Xiao Han's hands, 
and the two of them bowed deeply to the audience in front of them. The singer and the listener were one and the same. There was resonance, both accomplishing each other, especially for the singer. Sincere works and voices often had no shortage of loyal listeners. And inside the live broadcast room, after the lights came on, the crowd in the live broadcast room also finally saw who the person who sang this heavenly voice actually was. This song was sung by this veiled girl? Sure enough, she has a good voice, and she's good looking too. I measured. She's so exotic, and her side view is amazing. I declare her to be my Dong Kai's wife. Eh? Why is there a red spot on her body? A birthmark? A bunch of colorful people. Unlike me who just came to listen to the song. Me too. I hope Bai Chen and her come out with a song soon. I can't wait for the loop. I can't wait for the song to come out. Xiao Han wasn't aware of the online debate. But of course she wouldn't care at this moment. Only after the two bowed and got up. The host also immediately came up with the salutation. Heavenly voice like a dream. As one of the netizens in the live broadcast room said. I never thought that the word beautiful could be used in a voice. Thank you, Su Qin Han and Bai Chen, for giving us this unrivaled and beautiful song. Please give everyone a greeting from both of you. I believe that the scene, especially the friends in the live broadcast room, can't wait. As he said this, the host stole a glance at Bai Chen. Originally, according to the plan, after this song was sung and then a closing song at the end, this music festival would be over. But just before, the top informed himself that he had left some time for Bai Chen to give everyone a greeting and say a few words, and the reason for doing so, it was because at this time, the number of viewers in the live broadcast room had reached almost 50,000, and 99% of the audience was here for Bai Chen, with such a huge flow of traffic, the, as the organizer of the Bureau of Culture and Tourism naturally will not miss, certainly want to grips a grips Bai Chen, listening to the words of the host, Bai Chen nodded and then turned his head to look at Xiao Han, signaling her to say something, Xiao Han shook her head, the corner of her mouth slightly raised, tiptoed up to Bai Chen's ear and said, You do it, I'll go down first, they're waiting for you. Saying that, Xiao Han also used her chin to point ahead before quietly leaving the stage. Waiting for me? Who's waiting for me? After Bai Chen, who was a bit unsure, looked over in the direction that Xiao Han had indicated. The next second, there was a loud bang. Bai Chen's pupils slightly trembled, and suddenly felt that his brain seemed to be shaken by something and froze in place, only to see that behind the audience below the stage, a, I don't know when a group of people appeared, they just stood around the back and watched themselves, some of them were holding the small red flower support lamps issued at the concert two years ago, although they were no longer glowing, some of them were holding a banner with their names written on it, although it looked a bit old, and many more were typing the word by Chen on their cell phones and holding it up high, even if you looked around, you could still see some people not far away, holding some newly made support signs and rushing this way, after seeing this scene, Bai Chen suddenly felt his nose sour, his eyes slightly red, and an inexplicable emotion couldn't be suppressed as it surged up. He or she was a fan of his own? It was obvious. It wasn't a surprise prepared by the organizers, but they had come on their own. Did they rush over after knowing about it through the live broadcast? But at this moment, the, the scene seemed a bit quiet. Bai Chen didn't say anything, and the Chen fans at the back didn't shout. As if they were gambling because Bai Chen disappeared for two years without saying hello, pure and simple elementary school student behavior, and the two parties just stared at each other. After a few seconds, the, finally, Bai Chen slowly raised the microphone and said softly with a somewhat dry voice, saying, Hello everyone, I am Bai Chen. After speaking, Bai Chen paused for a moment. Then he looked towards the group of cuties holding up the lighted signs and waved his hand and smiled slightly. Long time no see, long time no see. Hearing those four words, the viewers in the live broadcast room similarly felt their noses sour. He, has finally returned? And at the scene, after receiving Bai Chen's response, the Chen fans in the back seemed to have let go of the dissatisfaction in their hearts, and their faces blossomed into smiles that, while waving various kinds of support props in their hands, they silently and incomparably shouted, Bai Chen, Bai Chen, the white god lights up hope, the stars shine ahead of you, Bek Tatsu Bek Tatsu, whom, white what the heck star what? Standing on the stage, listening to the slogans shouted out by the fans behind him, Bai Chen smile as the person in question froze for a moment. Eh? This slogan is well written. Whoever came up with it will remember to exit the group themselves later. And at this moment, the group of Bai Chen's fans in the live broadcast room were touched and heartbroken inside after seeing the scene. Long time no see Bai Chen. Two years. Long time no see. Woo woo. You guys still have the nerve to laugh. Two years. Two years. No sound at all. No song right? Tatsu's fans are so easy to coax. Just one long time no see and he's done? Indeed. I have to let Bai Chin sing another song to coax them. No. 
two songs, and they have to be new. Ga ga, what a stupid slogan. Look at Bai Chen's embarrassed face on the stage. It makes me laugh. Hmph, that's the way to do it. Who let him disappear without saying hello? Yes, yes, yes. I suggest we step up our efforts to get back at this guy. At the same time, Xiao Han had just arrived at the sidewalkway. When she saw that not far away from the doorway leading to the backstage, the man who took care of her like an old father, Yu Hong, who took care of himself like an old father, was standing not far away, looking at himself with a smile. The tears in her eyes couldn't be held back anymore, and all of a sudden, they gushed out. Yu, brother Yu, looked at running to their own small Han. Yu Hong is also a slight smile, red eyes open arms, to give small Han a solid embrace after gently patting her back. To be honest, to be honest, this is the first time in so many years that I have seen Xiao Han crying like this. Just as Bai Chen said, her strength and smile are just a layer of armor. But if she wore this armor all day long, one day she would be worn out. Go ahead and cry. Crying is not a kind of release. Xiao Han cried for a while after the emotions have finally slowly calmed down. And Yu Hong also finally opened his mouth to whisper consolation. It's okay. It's all better now. You've done a great job. Old Zhou was just at the back, saying that your voice is really a blessing from the gods and that it's really great. After listening to Yu Hong's words, Xiao Han huffed and puffed. Her face also finally bloomed a smile, shook her head and said, No, it's Mr. Bai Song that's well written. Don't be modest. A good song is a good song. Mr. Bai has complimented your singing in front of us more than once. Well, all right, all right you wait here for a while. We have one more song with Mr. Bai. When it's over we'll go eat spicy fish together. Okay? Aha. Uh -huh. At the same time, Bai Chen, who was still on stage, also looked at the fans not far away and laughed after calming down his complex emotions inside, saying, To be honest, I really didn't expect that so many fans would rush over here today. I also didn't expect that after these two years have passed, you guys would still remember me and still rush right over to see me just like this, which really makes me feel very emotional inside. And, the slogan you guys just shouted, I think it was a good shout. I hope you won't shout it again next time. Fan, you're still still smacking up? The crowd had thought that Bai Chen was going to wax lyrical, but they didn't expect a sudden twist. It instantly caused a burst of laughter from the fans on stage as well as the audience in the live broadcast room, listening to everyone's laughter. Bai Chen pressed down his hand. Just kidding just kidding with you guys. Actually, I still like the slogan, especially the one behind it, stars shine ahead of you, especially for me. You guys, are my stars. Listening to Bai Chen's words, the audience on stage suddenly quieted down for a moment. Even the fans in the live broadcast room weren't sending out pop-ups, waiting quietly for him to speak. He only saw Bai Chin gulp a bit before slowly saying, In fact, everyone who likes me and supports me, in my heart is like the stars shining in the night sky, and I have become shining because of you, and at the same time, I can't leave you. I've thought a lot about these two years, and I've done a lot of meaningful things in these two years when I wasn't in front of the screen. I've been behind the scenes of music, I've done charity work with Mr. Shui, and I've traveled with my family to a lot of places around the country. All of these things are very meaningful, and I've been very happy. But again, not so happy, as if something is missing. Until today, coming back to the stage to sing, listening to the applause and shouts of the big guys. At that moment, I felt truly alive, felt happy and joyful inside, and enjoyed the feedback from the music. Even I was thinking, if I can keep singing until I'm too old to sing anymore how great would that be? So in the time to come, I may still continue to enjoy the great beauty of my country, but at the same time, I'll also bring you more new works. Thank you for your company, my stars. The words fell, listening to Bai Chen's sincere, heartfelt words, many fans who had rushed to the scene had long since wept. Inside the live broadcast room, will you still know that singing is your proper occupation? He shouted at a star he really I die. It's good to be back. Remember to drink lots of hot water and protect your body and voice. As long as you keep singing, I'm willing to keep listening. Bai Chen, we have a deal. We must sing all the time. The stars will accompany you until you grow old. I'll be with you until you grow old. I'll be with you till the end of your days. After saying those words, Bai Chen pretended to scratch an itch, but actually secretly rubbed that moist eye socket and laughed, saying, All right, 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 all right. All right, 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 all right. Next, I have one last song for the leaders, the audience, and the viewers in the live broadcast room. I wish you all a good time tonight. Allow me to go down and get ready for a while. 
see you later. After saying that, Bai Chen handed over the microphone to the host and, he returned to the backstage with Yu Hong and the others to prepare for the final program of the festival. What? Bai actually has a program. I almost quit, but there's still a song to listen to. Great. Oh my god. You can actually hear three of Bai Chen's new songs in one night? I can't even dream of that. I've been waiting for two years, and for the sake of these three songs tonight, I forgive you. I forgive you. He's really, I love it. For this surprise that came out of nowhere, both the fans in the live broadcast room and the scene were overjoyed. Who wouldn't love such a prolific singer? While waiting, the host went on stage and said, Alas the words Bai Chen just said really touched me when I heard them. I envy him for having a group of fans like you, and even more so, I envy him for his feelings towards you. Maybe I'm not sure why Bai Chen used to be so hot, with so many everyone likes, but now, I can only say he deserves it. Such a singer with excellent character and sincerity, deserves your love for him, it's also worth your love. Only to see the host blah 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 blah, the, finally, after hearing the reminder of the completion of the preparation from the headset, he got into the topic and said, time always passes quickly, and this ancient town publicity music festival is finally coming to an end. In this gentle night, with the clear wind and moon, accompanied by the Arai and Sangshan Mountains, at the end of the night, let's welcome Bai Chen and Yu Hong's Mountain Grass Band, to present a quiet and gentle song half of the mountain, half of the sea, to everyone, clap 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 clap, accompanied by the applause of the crowd on the, the lights on the stage first went black, and then a soft and incomparable warm yellow light effect was seen shining on Bai Chen, Yu Hong, and the rest, Bai Chen was picking his guitar, and Yu Hong, who was playing the electric guitar, was gently harmonizing with him, at once, a quiet and gentle intro slowly came out, the live broadcast room, wow, what a gentle intro, I'm in love with it, it sounds like a bedtime rhyme, Look at the big screen. Is that a picture of Bai Chen taken in Dali? Wow. It's so beautiful. Looking at the big screen on the stage playing a beautiful scenery photo, accompanied by such a beautiful melody. All of the people were intoxicated at once. All of a sudden, the crowd was mesmerized. At this time, Bai Chen, with his eyes slightly closed, swayed his body slightly, and sang softly with that soft and magnetic voice. In the sea half of a mountain. The sea half of a mountain. I'm between the mountains and the sea. After singing here Bai Chen gave a beat, only to see Yu Hong take a deep breath and immediately softly pick up, saying, between you and my heart, me in your eyes, hanging on to countless thoughts, don't look at Yu Hong a little rough, but he sang a song to the voice is completely inconsistent with his looks, that song is gentle to death, like a fierce man tenderness in general, these two different but equally soft voices were combined together, weaving into a stunningly beautiful painting that mesmerized people, the song continued, only to see Bai Chen raise his voice tone and sing in that light and airy voice. The mountains have little yellow flowers as companions. The sea there are small boats docked on the shore. You, the stars are winking in the night. People and don't realize that they miss. After hearing this, quite a few people on the scene felt their bodies react with, not goosebumps, but a sudden feeling of softness in the heart, as if someone was blowing on their ears. This singing voice, actually had a feeling of making the ears pregnant. The ear will really be pregnant. Will sing. These two are both too good at singing, especially Yu Hong's harmonizing, which is also a masterpiece. At this moment, after seeing Bai Chen and Yu Hong look at each other, they slowly sang together. At the sea halfway up the mountain the clamor is all gone, quietly listening to the arrival of the waves, how love exists, a few stupid kids, crying and laughing how cheerful, mountains with little yellow flowers for company. And while singing this, the staff in charge of the live broadcast room also knowingly cut a split screen out allowing the cameraman to aim the camera at the Arai Sea in front of the stage, looking at the Arai Sea that appeared on the screen with the marquee fish lights flickering in the darkness of the night, such a scene made people feel a moment of tranquility, and their whole heart quieted down, and the crowd in the live broadcast room was even more blown away by the beauty of this scene, what the hell is this, why is the star in the water, is this a fish light, it's so beautiful, I don't care, I'm quitting tomorrow to go to Dali, this scene really pokes me, ahem, in fact, this scene can also be seen on my side of the family, not just in Dali. I don't care I'm going to Dali. At this point, taking advantage of the interlude before the climax, Bai Chen raised one hand high and said, Friends, please raise your hands together with me. The crowd under the stage heard this and raised their arms. Many people also took out their cell phones and turned on their flashes to follow Bai Chen's slight swaying. After Bai Chen smiled slightly, he sang with Yu Hong in a soft voice, In life, there is always sadness and happiness we will always be together and apart. Those who used to be with us are far away. Perhaps they've turned into stars in the sky, floating on the sea. You can't write too many lyrics at once. 
I heard they'll be plagiarized. Listening to this unfolding song, the audience, both on site and in the live broadcast room, felt their hearts convulse violently. All the beautiful things that had happened in the past couldn't stop coming to mind. Although these people, or things, have long since left us, but that beauty is forever sealed in the heart. Just as we have to say goodbye to many people in different stages of life, meeting temporarily and parting eternally, cherishing the time together may be the best respect for parting. In the live broadcast room, Gong, are you looking at me from the sky? I miss you. There are small yellow flowers on the mountain, and the boat has a shore to dock at, but I have nothing left. I can't stand parting. Why do people always have to go through this? K.A.M. by Chen is really the same by Chen as before. He hasn't changed a bit. He always cheats people's tears. They say to bring your own tissues when you listen to Beck Jean singing, but now I've seen it for myself. At this moment, the song is still going on. The mountains are accompanied by small yellow flowers. The sea has a shore where small boats dock. The stars blink in the night. People, I don't feel like missing. After the song, I'm already drunk. Listening to this deeply moving song. People have long been intoxicated by the images floating in their minds, intoxicated by the good times. Looking around, many people had that rare, innocent smile on their faces, and they didn't realize the tears had quietly flowed out of their eyes. These were tears of nostalgia, tenderness, and happiness. Just like the melody of the song, it was mournful but not sad, calm and quiet, and healing. Looking at everyone mesmerized in that reverie, Bai Chen and the others couldn't bear to interrupt, so they took a bow and quietly left the stage. The host in the backstage noticed that Bai Chen and the others had left the stage. He wiped the corners of his eyes, adjusted his emotions and walked onto the stage with a smile on his face. Everyone always says that the time of joy is short-lived, but I'd like to say, it's also the most unforgettable. There are always sadnesses and joys in life, but I hope that we will miss the good things forever. With such beautiful scenery and sounds, our ancient town publicity music festival has come to a successful end. Let's give a warm round of applause to Bai Chen, to this song, and to that beautiful time, okay, pa 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 Under the host's control, the crowd on stage also came to their senses and applauded. And then, the host also followed the flow, thanked the guests and leaders, and publicized Dolly's customs and people before reluctantly ending this unforgettable ancient town music festival. However, the live broadcasting room did not close immediately, and continued to play the quiet night scene of Dolly at this moment. Shit while I was in a daze, Bai Chen sneaked away again? The fans at the scene don't know what they're talking about, so they're going to tie Bai Ching to the stage and sing 10 or 8 more songs. Ha 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 ha, come on, I'm satisfied to see Bai Chin back, not to mention I got to listen to 3 new songs today. Also right, I have a feeling that in a few days, the hot searches might blow up. With these 3 new songs, they'll definitely be on the top of the charts. Do you guys think this last song, seems appropriate for the Spring Festival Gala? It seems to be a little bit, it's good and meaningful. There's still four months to go before the Spring Festival, right? The program for the Spring Festival Gala should be decided, right? I don't know. I just hope Beck Jean can go on that stage. I heard that the station considered him two years ago. It doesn't matter. I think it's good to have songs to listen to. I don't know. I just want him to be on the stage. At this moment. Hello, mister. Bye. How are you? I'm. I really like you too much. Thank you, thank you. Hello, mister. Bye. You sang so well today. You know. I've been listening since I was a kid. Ahem. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello, mister. Bye. Nice to meet you. Hello. Only to see that in the middle of the backstage preparation room, quite a few musicians who had come to participate in this festival had come over to say hello to Bai Chen. Bai Chen could only smile and nod in response one by one. Facing this kind of scene, Bai Chen wanted to find Yu Hong to relieve himself, but he didn't realize that this guy, he had already slipped away. Just when Bai Chen wanted to find a way to find an excuse to leave this wrong place, a cool voice suddenly came out. A clear voice suddenly came out. Mr. Bai, excuse me for a moment. Is it okay to delay you for a bit? After this voice rang out, the surrounding noises suddenly disappeared, and the crowd slowly dispersed, only to see that not far away, the director of the Culture and Tourism Bureau, who was responsible for organizing this music festival, and his secretary had found their way here at some point. Upon seeing this scene, the, the musicians who had just surrounded them then immediately understood and left the place while greeting Bai Chen. Then what? Mr. Bai, you're busy first. I'll ask you for advice when I have the chance. Mr. Bai, contact me by phone if you need anything. Mr. Bai, we'll leave now. We'll get together sometime. All of a sudden, the backstage preparation room, which had just been bustling with activity, instantly turned cold and clear, and Bai Chen finally let out a sigh of relief. 
He then looked towards the director of the Cultural and Tourism Bureau who was still at the door, and after pondering his name for a moment, he immediately stepped forward and greeted him with a smile, saying, you should be the Zhang Bureau that old you was talking about, right? Good leader, good leader, good. Quickly sit, quickly sit. Listening to Bai Chen's words, Director Zhang also smiled and waved his hand and said, You are Bai Chen right. A table of talent, a table of talent, ah. Sit down first. I'm here mainly to thank you. The songs you sang got me in the mood. In the past, I didn't understand why young people chased after stars, but now I can kind of appreciate it. In the face of Bureau Zhang's compliments, Bai Chen first humbled himself and then complimented back. The two of them exchanged polite pleasantries like this before Bureau Zhang also finally opened his mouth and said, Okay, okay, I won't keep you any longer. I really want to thank you for coming here this time. You've been instrumental in making our ancient town music festival publicity campaign such a success. You helped us promote Dali. So naturally we can't be stingy. Here's your labor fee. Please accept it. After Bureau Zhang finished speaking, he saw the secretary at the side take out a thick-looking file bag from his backpack, and at a glance, he knew that the number was not small. Seeing this scene, Bai Chen also immediately shrugged it off. Aya no no no. No no no. Really no need. You're too kind director Zhang. Thank you Lu. After watching Bai Chen accept it, Bureau Chief Zhang smiled and said, Don't be polite. This is what you deserve. Later have the opportunity to often come here to play. Okay, okay, okay. Subsequently. After the Zhang Bureau left, Bai Chen weighed the file bag and smiled, then went to find Yu Hong them. Late night, in the middle of a bustling hot and sour fish restaurant. Crap, brother by your labor fee is so much? Several of us combined only gave 10. Zero, zero, zero. I don't care. You have to treat us today. In one of the private rooms, Yu Hong looked at Bai Chen with a sour face. In response, Bai Chen rolled his eyes and said, Treat? Fine. Then tell me first. Where did you run off to when I was just surrounded by a group of people? You're damn fast at sneaking around. Listening to Bai Chen's words, Yu Hong's two large incisors that had been leaking out whoosh instantly retracted. Ah, uh, ah, uh, listen to my explanation. It's understandable that the guys are enthusiastic, and mainly because I know them too well. These people see that we can work with you, brother Bai. And cooperation songs are also so good. Surely each one of them are jealous of biting the back teeth. If I don't sneak out, I'm just waiting to get beaten up. Zhou Qing also agreed. Right. I have a feeling that Brother Bai's three songs will be hot tonight. That's nonsense. Brother Bai's songs will be a big hit. By the way Brother Bai, are you going to release these songs or not? After listening to Fan Cheng's words, Bai Chen frowned and pondered for a while, slowly nodded his head. Send. But we still need to find a professional recording studio to re-record it before we can send it. The live sound source is too mixed. Before Bai Chen finished speaking, Fan Chang waved his hand and said, it's a small problem with recording studios. We have a professional one here, and we're quite familiar with that guy. If you need help, just give us a call. Listening to Fan Cheng's words, Bai Chen raised his eyebrows and opened his mouth to laugh, saying, You have a way out? That's good. If we have time tomorrow, let's go and do the soundtrack and record the song together? And Xiao Han, why don't you come along too? Record that song for both of us too. After experiencing this music festival tonight, Bai Chen was also touched by his fans. They loved themselves so much, so they mustn't furiously release a few songs to return the favor? And after hearing Bai Chen's words, Yu Hong Zhou Cheng and the others were brightening up, let's go together. After looking at each other, they laughed heartily and said, Come on, 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 come on. New song sells. Big sale. The meaning of Bai Chen's words was obvious. Asking himself and others to go record together doesn't mean that. Their names will also appear on the list of songwriters for these songs? Of course. Yu Hong and the others won't ask if there's a share of this kind of thing. After all, these songs are all created by Bai Chen alone. And they all have a sense of self-awareness. The fact that their names were able to appear on these songs was more than enough. Soon, after three rounds of wine and a full meal, Yu Hong was a bit slightly drunk, scratching his stomach as he looked towards Bai Chen and asked, Right brother Bai, do you have any plans afterward? Stay here for a few more days or are you leaving? Yu Hong's words instantly pulled the eyes of several people to Bai Chen, especially Xiao Han. Unwillingly and somewhat expectantly, she looked at Bai Chen. Intend to? Bai Chen smiled after taking a slight sip from his teacup and said, In the next two days, I plan to go to other places in Dianan to have some fun. There are quite a few places worth visiting here. Yu Hong nodded his head as well after hearing that. Indeed. But then again, I've been here for so many years, but I haven't played properly in Dianan. 
I haven't even been to Bana. Listening to Yu Hong's words, Bai Chen turned his head to Yu Hong and the others and inquired, So, why don't we go together? It's only fun when there's a lot of people and I'm not familiar with this place. I don't know which places are fun. Facing Bai Chen's invitation, Zhou Chang and Fan Chang shrugged their shoulders and said, We can do it. We don't have much to do lately anyway. After seeing the two nod, Bai Chen looked at Yu Hong again, waiting for his reply. And Yu Hong seemed a bit torn as he looked at Xiao Han. Xiao Han seemed to understand something after seeing this and smiled unconcernedly and said, It's fine big brother you, just go ahead. I'll just guard the store. Listening to Xiao Han's words, Yu Hong gently patted Xiao Han's head. What are you thinking about? I'm asking if you want to go together? After Yu Hong finished speaking, Xiao Han first froze for a moment, and then said with some concern, What? Then, what about the BNB and the tavern? Harm closed the door. What? Still won't allow me to close for a few days ah? Or will I go bankrupt if I close for a few days? Hearing Yu Hong's joking words, the crowd burst out laughing. Let's go Xiao Han, your brother use crappy BNB and tavern are fine. Yeah, big deal. Let that what? Little Wang to visit for a few days. And Bai Chen looked at Xiao Han and laughed. Let's go out and play together. What's the point of being bored at home all the time? Listening to the words of the big guys, Xiao Han nodded as a smile surfaced in her eyes. And, whom? Let's go together. Eh that's right. It's good to go out for a walk. You're all bored at home. Fuck you. I'm already a girl. Ha 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 ha. Nature's ingenious workmanship always makes people feel amazed. And just as Bai Chen was indulging in the beautiful scenery of southern Yunnan, while Bai Chen was indulging in the beauty of Dianan, the small-scale, ancient town music festival, a few days ago was rising in popularity. After the push and pull of the major fans, Bai Chen, these two words without a doubt once again hit the hot search. Hashtag shocked, a certain male star who once burst into flames has actually appeared on. Hashtag, hashtag that man is back hot with his new song. Hashtag, hashtag Bai Chen. Hashtag White Chen's words can be seen on the hot searches of all major platforms. Inside a certain apartment room, only a woman who had turned off the lights and was preparing to go to sleep was, was suddenly woken up by a burst of message alerts coming from her cell phone on her pillow. Only to see her hair draped in impatience, she picked up her cell phone and took a look at it, then turned on the mute button, lay down again, but only to see her just lay down. The next second, both eyes snapped open. The push message that just came from the top of the phone flashed in her mind. It seemed to be saying, there's a message from Bai Chen? He, he's back? Zun do fake duo. Oh, thinking of this, this former Bai Chen fan sat directly on the bed with a carp, picked up his cell phone, and opened the WB topic point about Bai Chen to take a look. The White Chen came back. We used to have a million white powder finally have a home. The year of our lives series ah, this guy finally came back to sing? Upstairs, we're not called white fans anymore. We're called stars. There's been a change of plans. The white god is back and star is back, the white god returns, the star returns, after seeing these comments and topics that have only appeared in the last two days, she saw a burst of light erupt from her eyes, it was Zundu, one can finally follow the stars again, in addition to the news that Bai Chen came back, and even more surprising is that the day after learning of Bai Chen's comeback, people saw the three new songs he performed at the festival, as well as the two songs he sang before have gone online on Netsuke Cloud Music, on the hot version on its playback software, Bai Chen's five songs directly dominated the top ten. Only to let people did not expect is. The song that made it to the top of the hit list was actually the only song that wasn't sung by Bai Chen. Toward the clouds. And the comments on this song are also laughable. Ah 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 this song is really good. Every time I hear this song, I feel like I'm in the middle of a cloudy and heavy mountain when I close my eyes. Who is this Su Qinhan? Her voice is so unique and beautiful. Is she a singer who's not famous? She's not a singer. She's a friend of the white gods from Yunnan. Right? I don't know, but her singing is really good. This song would be better if Bai Chen didn't have that rap. I'm sorry Bai Chen. I'm going to choose Su Qin Han. Ha 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 ha. Looking at these comments, certain netizens who were attentive at the live broadcast that day replied, I guess. In fact, this rap is actually what Bai Chen wanted to say to this Su Qin Han. When I was watching the live broadcast, I found that the skin on this little girl seems to be a bit strange, and her face is also with a veil. I think she has some kind of strange disease, right? I was watching the live broadcast at the time, and this little girl's body looked like it had a large red spot, but it was in the live broadcast room, I couldn't tell what kind of disease she had, if you say so, this song was actually written for her bye bye Chen, I think so, days, this man is still so warm, I love him, aha, uh -huh. at the same time, no matter what kind of disease this little girl Su Qin Han has, let's all wish her a speedy recovery, yes, 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 get well soon.
The red stains on the body of the little Han netizens did not carry out too much discussion, because they know in their hearts, because they also know in their hearts, for a girl who cares a lot about these things. So everyone took the initiative not to pay attention to her body in the end how, but to put more attention on her singing, close your eyes to appreciate her wonderful voice appreciate her flash off point, especially in the midst of Shao Han song, the listeners seem to be able to find and hear that beautiful ideal in life, one voice and one sentence are full of a sense of faith in a better life, silently healing countless people, after all, in this cloudy world, everyone will always harbor a beautiful yearning for the future, hoping to get the fate of the promise in God's favor, of course, in addition to the clouds to the clouds, the much anticipated is once you, blue lotus flower this two songs, originally a blue lotus flower has already caused a lot of people that stupid heart, in the once you are after, it is a complete detonation of this strand of yearning for freedom, I decided, this time to real, tomorrow will resign to find freedom, I resign today, the boss does not give, to the boss listen to these two songs after, the boss ran away with me, sure but why is the intro to once upon a time so long, two minute intro, I almost thought this was pure music, what do you know, that's time for you to pack your bags, if a man wants to go to Tibet, it means he's unhappy, if a man wants to go to Tibet and delays, it means he's poor and unhappy, upstairs, did you put a camera on me, I don't care anymore, I don't care, I'm quitting my job and taking a break first, I'm really stressed out, me too, the moment they saw these comments, the personnel of major corporate companies instantly felt bad, the company is going to be bad, and the one who suffered was the company, the one who benefited from these two songs was naturally Dianan. Within the span of a few days, the director Zhang, who organized the ancient town music festival, the smile on his face never disappeared, even his mouth was crooked with laughter. In just less than a week's time, tens of thousands of Dali's travel vouchers had been sold, and the number of searches for words about Dali had even directly broken a hundred million. To be able to get such amazing traffic, naturally, it couldn't be separated from Bai Chen. He didn't even dare to imagine that this year, the amount of tourism in Dali or the entire South Yunnan would reach such an exaggerated value. The cultural and tourism bureaus as well as the relevant departments in other places all had red eyes after seeing such a great success for Dali in South Yunnan. Of course, they also understood that the publicity campaign for the Ancient Town Music Festival in Dianan was a huge success. It wasn't because of the music festival, but the person himself, Bai Chen. And so, they all sent their official blogs to at Bai Chen. All of them have sent official blogs at Bai Chen, hoping that he can come to their place to help publicize the campaign. It's a pity that, as the party Bai Chen does not play WB, even this WB number are their own early years registered, now long forgotten all, so he does not know, now himself is how fragrant, two weeks passed in the blink of an eye. At this moment, the fourth stop on the Dianfan line beside a highway in Shangri-La,